weird i went to play the intro it locked up on me so i had to watch on my phone to see when it was done which i don't know why it locked up on me because guess what we finally have a new computer we are cooking with canola now stream is moving like super fast i love it love it thank goodness hello hello bnb always first with the popcorn <laughs> hey laura enjoy the replay hun Jenny, did they ever leave? I mean, I feel like Dot and Kim kind of went into hiding there for a while, maybe. Maybe not left permanently, but they did go into hiding. Hey, Salty C. Glitter. Okay, you, you enjoy your sick day, Nicole. We'll let you have this one. But no, seriously, I hope you get to feeling better. Hey, Jameson, Twist, Butterfly Kisses, Rainbow Mom. Melissa, how are you, love? How's everyone doing tonight? Yes, absolutely. Hey, Jen Lu. <laughs> Cheats on the motherfucking streets. That's right. Hey, Grandma Sherry. Hey, Grandma Sherry. The <laughs> hall monitor of the motherfucking streets. Apparently, Jenny. Apparently. That's the word on the street. Allegedly. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, Hakob, Hakob, you're here. How are you? How you been? Did you guys watch Cyber Sleuth? I know I didn't do a stream on it, but like 50 million other people did. So I'm sure somebody, everybody has seen it, right? The documentary on Paramount. Melissa says, I haven't kept up with the Idaho case since BK was arrested. R Melissa, I had not either. I'm with you, girl. Like, actually, I think I dipped out. It was a little after VK. Sorry, I had something in my teeth. It was a little after BK was arrested. I kind of dipped out because it was just getting crazier and crazier. And it was kind of, it was around the time all these trolls really started trolling. But thankfully, some people didn't dip out and they debunked a lot of crap. But if if you guys watched the show, it was insane seeing, you know, let's see, Brad Norton was on there. Um, oh, Chronicles of the Olivia. Chronicles. 
Chronicles of Olivia, not the Olivia. I was thinking Chronicles of the Shady. I mixed it in with Chronicles of the <laughs> Chronicles of Olivia. JLR, Bullhorn Betty. Who else was on there? Um, there was another TikToker. I didn't know the other TikToker. I knew Brat. I didn't know the other one. And then there was the Riley Lively. I love the name she gave herself, which was the Troll Hunter. And I'm like, that is so perfect. Absolutely perfect. You dipped after Kim. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. Why don't I see per? Oh, there's perfectly. I was like, wait, I didn't see perfectly in here, but I saw you be intact. How's it going, love? Hey, Hala. Hey, Hazel Eyes. So, of course, yes. If you guys have not seen my post, in, go to my community post. There is a post from Trev Time about Sebastian Rogers. Trev has been covering this in great detail. I know that there are, um, I think Jonesen did a video on it as well. I have not been able to watch that one yet. I just got back home. And then uh, Duchess has covered it as well. And I think someone else. So, um Oh, such a sad, horrific case. I've been following it through Trev, though, and I really, really hope they find this little guy. But I have him linked in my community post, and I will grab his link later. You guys go check it out and spread Sebastian's photo around on all your social media accounts. Yeah, uh, Brat, is that who you're the other one, Jameson? Yeah. But I like that. Uh, I really like that. Uh, was it? Riley called herself the troll hunter. And I'm like, maybe we should adopt that name. <laughs> hey, evil queen. Ah, uh, thankfully. I we'll have to do a stream on it soon, Trev, because I really want to pick your brain on a few things about that case. Thank privilege, Lily. She's like always right on top of it. Boom. So uh, such a sad, sad case. I was I really thought he was evil queen. I really thought he would be found quickly. When I uh, first heard about it through Trev, I thought, oh, he's going to be found within a day. You know, just I truly, truly, truly thought it, he had just wandered off. And now I'm not so sure. So breaks my heart. Did she? I know like a lot of people on YouTube had debunked that and Twitter. But I mean, here's the thing. We, we think we're in this like small little bubble, this small little vortex of of a true crime community, but it's very, very large. And so it was kind of neat seeing her in this and then going back and looking at some of her other TikToks and being like, oh, she was here, there, and everywhere. So I love that. I did too, Jen Liu. I did too. Yeah, we will sometime for sure. But you're doing a great job. Keep it up. Keep it. And, and Dutchess says too, keep it up. But Cyber Sleuths came out. I don't remember when that was. I needed it. I should have looked that up. I was a little rushed today <laughs> getting home. Me and Morgan went and got our hair done. And not like Nanya, we didn't go to Supercuts. <laughs> Too bad she's not around to hear that little dig at her. She would laugh. But um, it took a lot longer than we just decided to go out for dinner too. So it took us a lot longer than expected. But Kim hadn't really been anywhere since, or that I had seen, since, like, it had been a hot, hot minute. Now, maybe others had seen her. I hadn't seen her running around spreading her absolute filth and garbage and lies and incriminating people all across YouTube. I hadn't seen her in a hot minute. Hey, Shambles. Yeah, you get an early one. You get an early one. Hey, Kelsey. It's just, I know, I know. It has, it is. It just seems like it's never ending. And I and I wonder, Jen, Jen Liu, is it more prevalent or are we just more aware? That's my big question. Is it more, but sorry, not to get derailed, but I, I, I'm with you. I'm like, is it more prevalent or are we just more aware of it? Right, Jenny, there are always new creators to find. Always, always, always. And there's lots of really good ones too. And a lot of really good, like smaller channels. Obviously, I'm a much smaller channel, but like even smaller than that, like in the 5,000 and under, they're just pumping out some really good content. But um, 
Yeah, I think we are more aware. I agree. Hey, just on. So let's start here with WSU mom. She came back live on Drunk Turkey after she showed, you know, after they did the documentary. And I thought, oh my goodness, hang on. What is this here? New computer. I got to grant access to everything. Sorry. One second, please. I don't know why it wants to record what I'm opening. That's so weird. Anyway, there we go. That's okay. Bear with me. Bear with me. Still trying to get the lay of this. Jeez Louise. Okay. Yeah, she is doubling down like a clown. So she went on Drunk Turkey last week and decided that she was just going to. I really was hoping when I first watched this, I was really, really hopeful that she would be like, I knew she wasn't going to come out and say, yeah, I'm a liar. I was a liar or whatnot. But I was really hopeful it was going to be a different outcome than this, a completely different outcome. And it unfortunately was not. Let me see. Oh, welcome to memberships just on. Thank you. We donate 100% of the memberships here. So we'll see that. I know she's, she, she went everywhere. Does, do you guys remember the, and, um, Melissa Jade and Shea Benet have been covering this extremely well, extremely well. But I wanted to have like an open conversation and I'm going to drop the link in a second. If anybody wants to come up and talk about this stuff, I'm just blown away that these trolls have the audacity to continue to double down, to keep doing this over and over and over. I know when we covered um, Andy Bernard and Fred Hill the other night, one of the big questions like kind of poked a little bit of fun at Ziggy for she's like, why would Fred lie? This is why people just lie surrounding cases and I will never figure it out. I don't think any of us with a sane brain will ever be able to figure it out. But people latch on and they just lie right now in a very hot topic active case. I think there are a couple liars there. I said it. I think there's a couple of uh, friends coming forward that are possibly not friends, but Still working on that. Hey, Papa Jones, and welcome, Glowbug. Welcome, welcome. May, may. Now I gotta watch Crazy Can interview after this and definitely trust. Yeah, Sebastian, he's doing a great job on Sebastian for sure. May, may. You've got to check that out. I was hoping so too, Hazel Eyes. And then he didn't. He didn't call her out at all. And in fact, he continued to say, this live was not supposed to be about the Idaho Four. It was supposed to be about Kim's experience. Kim, or as you will see here on the screen, goes by Lou Carter now. That was another thing I've noticed with these trolls is their names are constantly changing. But um, it was supposed to be about her experience on Cyber Sleuths. And he kept repeating that over and over. Yet, I would say 80% of what they talked about was the case. So I was like, why are you just trying to convince yourself of that, bud, or what? Hey, Amethyst, how's it going uh, for attention? People will people. That is that is a fact. Hey, Patrish. Hey, attention-seeking hoes. <laughs> Perfectly is like, let me say it like it is. These are attention-seeking hoes. Yeah. But, but Kendra, I get what you're saying. Like they do anything for clout, but do they want this kind of clout? Do people truly want this type of clout? Because as it does, the truth always comes out in the wash. Always, always, always. So what kind of clout are you seeking here? That is my big question. Okay. 
can't figure out why people who see a case online will go to the extent of showing up on a person's... Ooh, yeah, that's too far. Way too far. Yeah, there is a double-edged sword with that awareness. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Attention seekers don't care as long as they get attention. Oh, I see what you're saying. So, like, even, you know, well, you know what? Perfectly, I think you're right. With some of the, the doc content that we're going to play a little bit later tonight. Yeah. Um, I see what you're saying. They don't care if it's good or bad. They just want it. Yep. To some, any type is okay. Yeah. That's so true. But it's so, hey, rock a bit. Hey, Oki. Yeah, I know. Like, why do you want that kind of attention? Why? Hey, cutie pie broke my heart to hear that the dot person and the tiktoker were messaging steve gonzalez with all that beat so melissa bell yes so the tiktoker tiktoker was brat norton and the messages are a little uh, controversial around here lately but we're gonna get into those in a little bit um but that's youtube everything is a controversy right everything no respect for the actual victim and open an ongoing case, a child. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about in, uh, oh my gosh, why am I drawing a blank? Guys, in, in the case, the hot topic case, it's going, what is, what is her name? Why am I drawing a blank? Y'all fill me in, please. All I have to do is open my YouTube and I'll have like. 50 million lies about her. Soto, what, why can't I, Madeline Soto, why could I, why could that not come to my head? Anyway, yeah, that is uh, no respect for the actual victim in the, yeah. People don't, people forget. With those messages, and I know some people will debate that they're real and some people will debate that they're not real. And like I said, we're going to get into that. But seeing some of the things that were, could have potentially been said to the father of a brutally murdered daughter. I'm like, did it, did people, were they not taught tact? Were they not taught compassion? Where did their empathy go? What happened to empathy? Did we just completely lose that as a society? I was just blown away by all of it. Well, welcome, Grim Adam. If I were ever going to pull up, it would be to the trial, yes, unless it was super local. And then I'd volunteer to search if that's what was needed. An approved search, not all willy-nilly, just me and my phone. They forget, they do, Callie Dime. Dime. They absolutely do. Absolutely do. These people don't care. They will just change their name and start it all over again. I agree, Hazel, they do. Hey, Audrey. How's it going, love? So much disrespect to most victims and families. Grandma Sherry. Thank you, love. Thank you, thank you. All right. Let's play just a little bit of this. Do you, do you guys remember? Is there anybody who does not remember WSU Mom Kim? I feel like everybody remembers her going around spreading her crap all over the YouTube streets implicating people what was it five or six people she had pinned the murders on like real people not just like made up names of like oh it was brad who went to college and then we have to figure out who brad no actual people actual people with real lives which is why i get so frustrated when we talk about like the karen retrial and people you know want to pin colin as the murderer like I understand people being suspicious, but like he is a minor, just, but even an adult, just stop pinning murders on people. You can say, look, this isn't adding up. And I think this person might know more, but like to flat out call someone a murderer just blows my mind that people are willing to do that. Yeah. Gra grandma remembers. <laughs> How could we forget? Empathy nowadays is selective. Yes, yes, it is. Okay, you guys, let me know if this is an echo. Uh, I'm going to watch for the chat on my phone. I hope I did it right, but if I didn't, I want to stop it quickly. I'm not being sketchy. I'm just me. No, I'll tell you. Yeah. My, mom, my name is Kim, and I'm a mom, and I have 
kids that, that went to wazoo and Crap, now i can't even hear anything what the heck i got all the little bugs worked out but apparently not can you guys you guys could hear it i couldn't hear it all right let me see here different colleges around the world the state and okay, the country actually mm -hmm. and i'm just a mom and i just had a message and okay echo no echo we good i'm gonna wait because i don't want it to be echoing on y'all good 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 deal awesome okay that's all. That was whole, my whole purpose. So I'm Luke Carter, but my cousins <laughs> think the funny fact. Uh, uh, if there is a Luke Carter out there, I feel sorry for you because you're about to be <laughs> hounded by some some internet. Some people, through. right? I know, and I will talk to them. And you know what? Honestly, it just totally defeats the purpose of me coming out. I've been trying to come out 100% who I am, so mm -hmm. that other people will come out who they are. And that was the purpose of Olivia doing the Paramount thing with Olivia. First of all, she asked me, and I do anything for her because I think she's a young woman, and I believe in empowering young women. But also. I did it to have other people come out and speak, mm -hmm. and that's important. And if I came out, they said that several other people didn't have to show their face. So I said, well, I'll take the hit. Yeah, so, so well, right. let's start off in the beginning. When So she had to come out so that other people would come out and 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 speak because she claims that allegedly there's there's these other people that don't want to come out and speak on the case. There were a lot of people that wanted to come out and speak on the case. I don't know about you guys, but there was a lot that wanted to come out and talk. We had neighbors talking. We had fake people talking. We had parents talking. There was a lot of people talking. Okay, no echo. Great, great, great. Thank you, guys. I just wanted to make sure I had hooked it all up right. So... Toxic true crime. I'm I was really shocked that Drunk Turkey did this again. I don't know if he thought maybe he it was gonna go a different way than it ended up this time. I'm not for sure, but I shouldn't have been shocked, I guess. When did you get contacted? How long ago was this that they first uh, came up to you and, and how was it proposed to you this docuseries? Uh, it was Olivia. Olivia came up to me and she said, Would you do something for me? And I said, Anything. And she said, Would yeah. you go on Paramount Plus and do a docuseries? And I said, Oh, oh, ow. ow. Let me talk to my husband. So I talked to my husband. He's like, no, I think no. And he said, I said, but it's Olivia. And no, she, so she and did so it for Olivia. It. Said, okay. So then I agreed to do it. But I vacillated. I'm not going to lie. Up until the moment I did it, I wasn't sure I was going to do it. Neither were mm -hmm. they. And I didn't get paid for it. Um, I actually spoke to an attorney about it. Mm -hmm. And um, they did pay for my, they didn't want me to drive over. They wanted me to fly over, which probably was smarter. They paid for my um, accommodations, my where I was staying. And mm -hmm. they provided armed guards. And I was with armed guards. They provided her armed guards. Why would Kim need armed guards, y'all? I did not understand that. Felt a little fabricated to me. It is sped up. I have it on 1.5. She's She is a fast talker, but no, I do have it on 1.5. I, I, yep, he just had her up. When was this? Five days ago. Five days ago. Brought her back on the scene. I know, Callie, and you've seen a lot helping out with the case you've helped out with. Yeah, you're does any yeah, nobody believes for one at least I don't believe for one second that they, they provided this woman with armed guards. Okay, Papa Jones, I'll send you a cash app. You can be my armed guard. <laughs> this is insane. All right, let's see. Mm -hmm. Which was um and transported back and forth. So um but my husband came and picked me up from there. I did not fly home. My husband, as soon as he got off work, came and got me. Because, you know, it's kind of a, it's actually a very, not all of this is safe. There's a lot of danger in this because people, I don't know. I don't know if we want to go there yet. Mm -hmm. So There's a lot of danger in this. I've helped on a documentary before. There was no danger. What, 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 da what danger could there be in this? Is it because you've been debunked over and over and over again on social media? Could it be because nobody believes you? I mean, where's the danger that lies in going and doing an interview for a documentary? Anyone? 
Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Yeah. It follows so fast. Her BS could be her bodyguard. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I promise I'm not going to play the whole thing. This because people, I don't know. I don't know if we want to go there yet. Mm. So uh, roughly, like what month was this again? It would, it would have been, well, it was before Memorial Day. It was after the kids graduated. So it would have been May, early May. I yeah. think. So they came out to you, they told you about this, you know, docuseries. Probably, what's this about? Mm -hmm. They said about solving the case, about all this information that people know. Mm -hmm. So I answered all the information. I said, when you're done shooting, I want an opportunity to come back and say and answer anything that people have to say, because often people get things I say wrong or twisted or whatever, or I say it incorrectly. People often, let, let's hear that one more time. I'll slow it down to normal. I said, when you're done shooting, I want an opportunity to come back and say and answer anything that people have to say, because often people get things I say wrong or twisted or whatever, or I say it incorrectly. I, I mm -hmm. don't hold myself harmless, but I just want to make sure that it's, everything's clear that I'm saying. And mm -hmm. I said, and it's not a hit piece on YouTube. And she said to me, why YouTube? And I said, because I went to mainstream media and they wanted me to say what they wanted me to say. And they gave me a script. So I went on and I said exactly what I wanted to say and avoided their script. And um, actually, they have called me back to go on. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to say what you want me to say. I'm gonna so Kim speaks fluent word salad, y'all. Fluid word salad. Fluent word salad. She is she the vice president, <laughs> right? She just talks and talks in circles. I know. I swear she is drunk. <laughs> no, we shouldn't put that on her. But like she, she's constant word salad with this woman. Constant word salad. So she claims that she had to go because she wanted to make sure her words were right because oftentimes people get what she's saying wrong. Or could it just be, Kim, that you spread a lot of lies, misinformation, accusations, all that? Could that just be why you feel people get your words wrong? Does anybody remember the letter that she sent to several YouTubers? I think it ended up being Trev, not our Trev time. Uh, T Rev. I still call him Trev, but it's T Rev. He's got some numbers after his name. He, he he ended up reading it out. Do you guys remember that one? Hey, Truth Seeker. That's all they are. It bodies just words. It just comes and it's just a jumbled mess. She actually gets her words wrong. Exactly. She spews <laughs> more crap than a baby with a sour tail. I like that one. I like that. Hey, big Al. How's it going, love? We don't need no accusations. Hey, teachers, leave those kids alone. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Jordan Turkey has made so... Yeah, they have. Yeah. Mm. I would like to know that, too, Twist. I've, I'm always curious what their intentions are. What are these trolls' intentions? Is it to just confuse? Is it seriously just for clout? Is there a group of them working together, which might be the case in this situation? Is it, what is it? Like, what is the goal? Is it, I, Some people do feel that, that it is solely for attention. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, BNB. I don't know. I got nothing from what she said. Hakob said. Hakob said, yep, nope, I got nothing. I got nothing. I'm going to listen a little bit farther in this section and then I'm going to jump ahead for you guys. But oh, I will drop the link so that you can go check it out on your own if you want to. I'm going to say what I know to be true. And if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But I'm not going. Actually, they have called me back to go on. And I'm like, no. Oh, yeah. That's the other part. Remember, she went to mainstream media and they, you know, wanted to give her a script. They wanted to give her a script. And she's like, no, I'm only going to tell the truth. I can't follow a script. Are you fucking kidding me, lady? I'm not going to say what you want me to say. I'm going to say what I know to be true. And if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. 
but I'm not going to, um, but you guys, so they told me it wasn't a hit piece. I don't know that it was a hit piece on YouTube. I think that's coming. I'm not going to lie. I'm only going to say what I know to be true. And if it's not true, then, and she never like, she just kind of trails off there. Just trails off. No one has called you back. <laughs> no, this is crazy. I do need to. Yeah. Sorry. I forgot. I was going to put the link out, but. That piece that she did that had, you know, the email that she sent out was so factually wrong. It implicated several different people, but she did that from panel to panel on her own. But then she described the crime scene and it was once the PCA came out, we know that she was just a, well, the, let's be honest. We knew she was a big fat liar before that. And I'm not talking about her weight. She's a very tiny girl. I'm just saying big fat liar. She's a big fat liar before that, long before that. But then that just confirmed it. And here she is all these months later, doubling down, tripling down, quadrupling down. <sighs> Hippies on you. No, she said that they said it was not a hit piece, that Paramount told her it was not a hit piece, but that they said it was a hit piece on YouTube. Basically, she's saying that the people that watched it on YouTube and reviewed it claimed it was a hit piece, but Paramount does not claim that. Well, ma'am, I tell you what, Paramount's not going to say, yeah, we're doing a hit piece on you guys. No, what they did is they showed they made all true crime content creators across every platform look like the laziest people in the world, but they didn't show any sleuths. They didn't show any sleuths at all. They showed people that talked about what was going on, reported about what the news was already reporting on, or people that spread out other individuals like Kim and Dot and, you know, just had people up that just flat out lied. That is not the same thing as digging into details, digging into facts, and staying on topic. Hey, Allie. Hey, Shay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> she, she, uh, it's hard to catch some of her words sometimes. No, there was no sleuthing whatsoever by any of the creators that they covered in that show. It absolutely was a hit piece, and it made them all look ridiculous. Like Joan Jett. It is Joan Jett. Yeah. Oh, yay. Thank you, guys. Well, I'm glad you guys came over from MJ's. I hope she had a good one. I caught. Okay, Amac, I saw you in there. I want to play her in a minute. Let me let me get through. Let me finish getting through here through Kim here first. And I will drop MJ's link because she has done a great. Like I did a lot of debunking in the beginning of the Idaho four case, but it was mainly just you know missing like GLR when he was like trying to pin any white car in a 12 mile radius on the white Elantra and it was ridiculous or, and I did the, the glove that Chris McDonough found debunked it. And that took a long time going back through every inch of video footage to see when the glove showed up on the street because well, everybody was out there recording and taking pictures from day one. So it was easy to figure it out anyway. And you know, Papa Rogers, even though I call him Papa because there's two P's in there, but whatever, debunking it and things like that. And then it just got, like I said, when Koberger was arrested and debunking the people that put out, put out the fake people. Do you remember when Betty and JLR were so excited to be the first ones to announce it? They totally put out the wrong person. Um, but then after that, it just got way too crazy on the streets and I dipped. But Melissa Jade, Shay several others continued and they did an amazing job debunking these people. Absolutely amazing. It would be nice if that would happen, Jen, wouldn't it? 
Do you think it ever will? Unfortunately, I think it's because the ones who have ethics aren't as big. They don't have as big of an audience or big as a, a as big of a following. And <sighs> Paramount wanted numbers. That's I'm going with. They wanted the drama and they wanted the numbers. Although I tell you what, the reviews of the doc documentary are horrible. So I think they kind of fell flat on their face on that one. In my opinion. Some of them it is. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. The glove. The glove. <laughs> it was insane. Glove gate. <laughs> the glove, the glove showed up. I'd have to go back and look at my video, but it was like day three. Um, and then Chris found it like a week later. But it was out in the road. It was out in the middle of the road. And then in the next picture, you could see where it got kicked. I shouldn't say kicked. I don't know how it went from the middle of the road into the like near the trash can maybe somebody picked it up and aimed for the trash can and missed but you can see it show up hey melissa thanks for sending your peeps over thank you Roche, i hear she was confusing me with another brat <laughs> she did i heard that that's true that's true i'd say that a lot of sleuthing that i do I would say 80% of the sleuthing I do, I, it never makes it to a, never makes it to a video because it's just to use those tools to confirm whether something's accurate or not. It doesn't mean we have to put things out on people. You're still confused on, pa see, it's going to be hard for me to say Papa because everybody says Papa. You're still confused on Papa Rogers. Mm -hmm. All righty, all righty. Let's look here. There's a little bit more here, and then we're going to skip to the end of Kim. But I will tell you, I will stand up before everybody and say, that is not what I said. There's several creators mm -hmm. that I feel didn't, were, I was unjustly served by, and um, I'll deal with mm -hmm. them. But I'm not going to take down YouTube, because YouTube, oh, she's you can get to people. YouTube. You know, well, people, well, you, like you have an audience. Right. Well, without saying any names of who these YouTubers were, what, what exactly did they do? They doxed me, but they doxed me saying that there was this other woman who was me. They So they put my picture up there with this other woman and woman and claimed she was I and sent people to her house. And, and did you have did you know who this person was? I have no idea who she was. No idea. And she had I don't think she had any idea what was coming. And it was the night before we shot the Paramount Plus thing, mm -hmm. which explains the bags under my eyes, hopefully. Got you understood. Understood. Yeah, I think I remember. So I don't know about that situation. Did someone truly, truly send somebody to Kim's house? Or to the fake Kim's house because she's the real Kim. They dox the wrong person. And I don't know. I'm so lost on the whole little tirade she just did. I know. I can't. I couldn't find which one you wanted me to put back up of yours, Heather. The white car in the background was a bit much for me, even if it's him outside of. Yeah, it doesn't benefit us at all. Oh, he just wants to see your picture. <laughs> Papa Jones thinks you're attractive, Heather. That's what it is. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You're so ornery. Look at him. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Hey, Wolfie. All right. So, hang on. I got a time stamp here. I'm going to hop to the end because I want you guys to hear this little bit at the end. Most of this is just the same. If you've heard Kim before, you've heard all of this here. We'll just stop here. I think it's a minute or two ahead of time. That's why I remember. And yeah, triplets are rare. Yeah. So that's a thing, too. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Right. right. Let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to 
get a couple of good ones. Let's see if there's some good questions. Good questions. I'll take bad ones too. <laughs> no, uh, I mean, I something that's actually a question. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, right. If it's, uh, I, I put up, sorry about that. I put up stuff that, you know, if people are, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Critiquing what I'm saying or, yeah. or, or, or criticizing the things that I'm saying. I'll bring up their comments so that I can speak on it. I don't hide from anybody as yeah. long as they're being respectful. You know what I mean? Right. Once they start crossing a the line, mm -hmm. then I just put you in time out or block you and you know, <laughs> yeah. we'll go about our day. Uh, right? Go about our day. Yeah, it's not going to bother it's, my I, Right? And you can disagree with me and you don't have to believe me. And I'm okay with that. I truly am okay with not believing me. I get it. I get it. I'm never going to show the Snapchat. I'm sorry. They're not mine. They're my daughters and her friends. I'm never showing them. All I'm right. Sorry. So without divulging me. She's never going to show the Snapchats. Does anybody else remember when she claimed there were none? Then it went back to their R sound. This isn't the part I wanted to get to, but still, like, ugh, that whole that whole situation bugs me. I'm never going to show the Snapchats. Never. Because they don't names, exist. Maybe just kind of describe them if they're a student or if they're friends of someone. Mm -hmm. Question is, where did you hear the rumors about the conditions of the victims? I don't want you to go into those yeah. conditions. The oh, so the police department told you ISK personally? Do you remember the okay, here we go. This is what I want you guys to hear. Hopefully, the bulk of my audience has a brain, has watched enough true crime cases, knows even just a tiny smidgen about how law enforcement operates. Because I want to hear what you guys have to say about this. Of someone, mm -hmm. question is, where did you hear the rumors about the conditions of the victims? I don't want you to go into those. So again, that was in the email that got shared out about. It was so gross. They went so far as to talk about decapitation, which we know absolutely did not happen. It was so vile. But anyway, she's going to tell us where she heard about it from. Conditions. The oh, so the police department told you ISP. personally. Do you remember the ISP officer that was um, he was. We had an ISP officer, I guess, assigned to us to speak with me. I called about a ring. Mm -hmm. Girls, the sorority girls in the sorority wear a little ring, typically, and um, I wanted to make sure that Jasmine got. Um, First, she says she had an ISP officer assigned to her, but then she's telling us she calls about the sorority ring, which is, again, just ridiculousness, but keep listening. Zana's ring, because mm -hmm. I would want Peyton's ring to go to her sister, and it just kind of led one thing led to another. And he Why in the hell would Kim, who does not know these people, doesn't know the victims, doesn't know their families, she doesn't know any of the survivors. None of that. Why would she call about Xana's sorority ring? I'm like, you... She'd been a lot more believable if she could have just came up with a little bit better lies from time to time. But this is... Hang on. He just had the conversation with me. And he gave me the information. That's where I found out about it. It was mm. just, I was asking about a ring. Let me go back. That's one thing led to another, and he just had the conversation with me. And he gave me the information. That's where I found out about it. It was mm. just, I was asking about a ring mm. to make sure that um, it went to her. So Papa Jones, he's a retired law enforcement, still dabbles in it from time to time right here. A major case such as this, let alone any case, you have a random person call you up who has no affiliation to the victims or their families whatsoever, wants to call you up and ask about a sorority ring of one of the victims. Does anybody believe for one second that that ISP officer was going to tell her anything, anything at all about the case? It, it, exactly, Allie. It wasn't even her business to begin with. None of it was her business, even if she actually did, which I don't believe for one second that she called asking about a ring. But even if she would have, it wouldn't have been her business at all. I don't believe it at all. 10 out of 10, do not recommend. Nope. I don't even think b and that she knows what she's talking about. She is a little hard to follow. I, I don't know. 
again, I, yeah, I'm not going to make fun of that or anything. That is a heavy, heavy speculation about amongst people who have debunked her. But, oh, I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> MJ has this really cute Kimball weed thing. Yeah, it's adorable. She is lying, and I know nothing about this case. Absolutely lying straight out of her ass. Six years. <laughs> she did claim one was pregnant. Yep, she sure did. What is up with that claim lately? Like, sorry, another frustration for another day. Let's just put that on everyone. Mm -hmm. She is totally spinning. All she's going to get is shown the door. Absolutely. If she called that officer to talk about a ring, he might be polite and take down whatever information she's calling about and might even be polite enough to say, I'll have someone contact you. And I doubt anyone ever would. But <laughs> Heather Brad's like, let me change my photo. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Papa Jones is harmless, by the way. Um, she doesn't need to make sense in La La Land. I bet. I bet not. I don't believe for one second an ISP officer told her the details in which she gave later. I don't, nothing. I don't think that officer gave her anything. No, they wouldn't. They rarely do under review. That's a, a big thing that people don't understand is that even in, at, you know, active investigations and missing cases, it's very, very rare. Very rare for law enforcement to give even the families a little bit. Now, they might ask some questions that families can kind of, you know, come to conclusions on where they're going with that and stuff. But they really, truly have to keep the case very close to the vest. They, especially this day and age with the way social media is, they have to keep it under wraps as best they can. Or else we have crazy situations like leaked photos and crap like that. It's insane. They do deserve it first before an outsider. Yep. If they get it, absolutely, they're the ones to get it first. So they should be. Mm -mm, I agree. I agree. This is the Idaho 4 case. Connie, Idaho 4. She's suffering from diabetes <laughs> really, really bad. There seems to be a lot of people suffering from diabetes these days. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yes yes love to have you two girls up to break this down feel free to anytime i didn't want to touch on kim too much because you guys do such you truly truly do a really great job of breaking kim down um it should be pinned if it's not let me know i was just blown away by this the only family I can think of that helped law enforcement, they and he did an amazing job, cutie. He did an amazing job listening to him um, in court on those phone calls. I don't know how he held it together. What I would have liked to have he heard, and we're not entitled to it, of course, but you know, him hanging up the phone in that frustration and vent session that he would have had afterwards, because you know that that would have been something. Just him putting up with that was crazy um so i doubt they told her anyone else's business exactly okay they're just not going to do that okay let me play a little bit more here with kim and then we're gonna go to oh uh, let's see let me make a i'm gonna make a poll while we play a little bit more here of who we want to talk about next to jasmine you said this was an isp officer he was an isp officer yes correct what was his name I don't remember his name, Daniel. I think he's in the phone records I gave you. I do not remember his don't name. I remember his name. Convenient. Can you describe? No, because I never saw him. I was only on the phone. Convenient gotcha. again. All right. I'll, um, I, I still have those records. I'll go through okay. them. And... If you go through them and look. And you're, and you're free to and ask him. Yeah. And he just shared it. I don't think he was sharing anything to be share over sharing. I just think it was a moment where I was looking for something and he said, I don't know, that's not really what I do. But, and then he went through and he said, and maybe they can't find them. And that's where it all came out. That. What? And I don't think his intention was bad. I know mine wasn't. It was just to make sure. I'm trying to make that poll. Did you hear that? Listen to how she says this officer came to share information with her. 
listen to this steaming hot pile of garbage. Gotcha. Not her. The All right. I'll, um, out of her mouth. I, I still have those records. I'll go through okay. them. Okay. And... If you go through them and look, and you're, and you're free to and ask him. Yeah. And he just shared it. And he, I don't think he was sharing anything to be share over sharing. I just think it was a moment where I was looking for something and he said, I don't know. That's not really what I do. But, and then he went through and he said, and maybe they can't find them. And that's where it all came out. Hmm. So, this officer that works for the Idaho State Police listens to her inquiry about a sorority ring and says, well, that's not really what I do. So let me, let me go through this, this thing, which she, what, what thing is he going to go through for you on that? And in the course of that details, the murders of four victims to her. Yeah. She lying like a rug. Because there, yeah, there is no one to get in touch with. There's absolutely no one to get in touch with there. Because it's a lie. Yeah. That's the worst part, Hazel Eyes. That is the absolute worst part is that her lies made it to the parents. Because let's just face it, you know, it's 2024, even in 2023, even in 2022. Victims and their families turn to social media for information. They want it just as bad. Or I shouldn't say just, they want it way worse than we do. Way worse than we do. They're craving it. They're doing anything that they can to find it. And they have to hear people like this spew flat out lies. Poor, yeah, that was exactly under review. That's exactly where the officer that was sharing information came from. Yeah, the 4chan threads. Absolutely. Yeah, it's not, you're right. It's not oversharing. It's the detail, the specific details of those victims. It didn't happen. Just flat out did not have happen at all. Mm hmm Does she think everyone has amnesia when she came out saying one of her kids told her what happened? She does. She, th I think she thinks everybody has amnesia. Or does she just not remember that the internet's forever? doesn't matter where you put it. It's out there forever. Hey, Harlot. It reminds you of your daddy, Matt. And Papa Jones is a doll. Oh, my goodness. Special favors, huh? That's a possibility. Oh my goodness, Officer Friendly. <laughs> the shame was settled in it. Okay, I think we're almost done here with this. And I don't think his intention was bad. I know mine wasn't. His it was intention just to make bad. sure. It didn't just to request that the ring not be. It was li the little tiny silver ring. They're little. Mm -hmm. And I know yeah. that my daughters would want each other to have them. Right. That's not for you to decide, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I find it difficult for an ISP officer to divulge some information. Yeah, like at, that. at least he said yeah. that. At least he said that. There was a couple other times throughout this interview where he didn't completely tried to derail her or say no i don't believe that but for the most part he was saying things like that so i will give it to him but still i just probably wouldn't have had her up i just would not have had her up what did, what was the point of it i, I guess the point of it was uh, eleven thousand views i i really don't know what the point of that was There's his link. I think they're, she's done talking about the ISP. Uh, it's really responsible. Which was made very concerning for me. Oh. And that's when I was reaching out to That was. No, okay, that's right. It leads into this. So he tries to steer her in the right direction. And, you know, he say, like, I, I find it hard to believe that an ISP officer would be, you know, divulging this to someone. And they, oh, yeah, that's why it was so concerning. Really? That's why it was so concerning. And that's why she had to do this next thing she's about to tell. It was made very concerning for me. And that's when I was reaching out 
to that was about the same time I reached out to you because I thought, why is he telling me this? And there's so many things that don't make sense. Do you think he could have been just telling you things you may have? I don't uh, know. You know, just to stop the conversation, maybe tell you some things you want to hear, or he maybe. thinks you want to hear. No. Or maybe he want, or maybe to get me to say something that he wants me to divulge, like maybe to find out. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, that's possible. I don't know. I mean, he I mean, could have been. Know. Yeah, he could have told you some like far out lie to see if, if you say no, I didn't hear that. This is what I heard. If it matches something actual, concrete, mm -hmm. you know, think about it, like. Yeah. Oh my god. But maybe. I mean, They're I don't trying. know. I wasn't there. They're trying. Uh, I, like I said, I find it difficult. Um, I find. I did too. Yeah, I find some of the. <laughs> Why did she say I do too there? What did you... Ma'am, we all find this difficult because it didn't happen. It did not happen. Difficult. Um, I find. I did too. Yeah, I find I some of the difficult. descriptions of the, of the bodies with the evidence that's out there, what we know. I find it difficult to believe that it, it's plausible or possible you know which is one of the reasons why i never put that any of that stuff out you know the one right. thing that i was concerned about more than anything was when did your daughter actually find out that something had happened you know because she can actually say i love that he said that basically he's like yeah i think you're a lie girl you're a whole lie you're a liar from liarsville that's why i didn't put any of that stuff out Mm -mm -mm. Uh, you have to dismiss the poll, uh, Melissa, and then it should pop up, but I am going to end it in just a second anyway. Uh, hang on a second. Yes, Heather, you're harmless prat. That's a whole lie. Whether or not this happened at this time or that time. Anything right. else is hearsay and... Exactly. And, and rumor, exactly. you know, exactly now, what you put an out. Officers telling you something. I don't know. I don't know. And I felt uh, the same way as you, concerned about that. No, you didn't. You ran to people and spread a bunch of bullshit in the midst of a quadruple murder. This part blows my mind. Sorry. Yeah, because I thought. That's really inappropriate for him to tell me. Yeah. Right? But there was other things, like the kids had other things to say, which I've told you all of those things, and I haven't shared those publicly with anybody, right. but with you, right? And just because, you know, lucky you, you get me. <laughs> so right there, that is a big, big thing. Huge red flag we see with trolls all the time, right? It's the cliffhanger. They have to throw in the cliffhanger. So right now, to his audience of 11K people who have viewed this, even five if people have viewed it twice, they think that there is something else Kim has. She's holding on to something that nobody else knows. More information in due time will come out. Is living at her teeth. You mean lying at her teeth? It absolutely is lying at her teeth. Yeah, it's the cliffhanger. Every time you see that with these trolls, I was like, oh, I have a bit more info I can give you. All right, let's see the poll. Oh, you guys want to go to the leaked messages next, which I'm glad. Okay, let me dismiss this. So good thing that then you could see the link, I think. Have you guys heard? She got the echo lie going on. I'm waiting on a remix now. Uh, hey, Melissa, I am totally just threw you up here without even checking. <laughs> Hello, okay. I'm not a peen. Oh, good, good, good. I was how like, how are you? I'm good. How are you? How you was your life? It was good. It was good. I'm always interested <clears throat> with Tisha. She's, I swear, I could cover her forever because she just never ceases to bore me. She's so interesting, really. I honestly... I didn't think that it would be interesting listening to it. Like when Allie started covering it, right. Sorry, Allie, I was like, oh no, this isn't going to be good. It is so interesting. It I really am hung is. on every word because it kind of gives us that inside peek into the mind of. 
whatever you want to call her psychotic individual. That's and- what it is. It's like she, I think she's very unique. And with, I mean, I've looked into so many killers, yet Letitia stands so far out to me. And I think moving forward, like she is today's killer. And yeah. I think she's a product of today's society. And I think we're going to see a lot more Letitia's moving forward. Oh, and so okay. I just think it's so her behavior. It's like, I love doing analysis on her behavior itself because there's nobody like her. There really isn't anybody like her. Oh, well, she hopped up and then hopped down. I guess she I did. did? Yeah, she just had to say hi. Hi, Wolfie. <laughs> <laughs> Come back up. I was just getting the screen. I'm like, I can't make this mistake twice tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it is very interesting. And you guys have to go listen. Melissa Jade's been covering her. Jen Liu has been covering her. And Al- Alex Erickson. I almost said Ali Erickson, but Alex Erickson have been covering the calls, the court documents, the jail doc. Those are really interesting. Like some of the things that she's done in jail. It's just it really is really good. Like but, I said, I didn't think it would be, but it was. It truly, no, it really, really was. I like. I'm. I'm just surprised after this long that I'm not over it. But I'm not because you know what? Like it's just that I haven't had the answers yet, and I'm trying desperately to understand. And so it just keeps me pulling in, you know. And I want mm-hmm. more and more. That's what Ali just said. She's like, it's interesting, but it's a trap. How do you look yeah, away? I know it is. It is. It's a trap. But with Kim, because I know you're about to move on to the messages. Yes. Yeah, I tell just, us what you want to tell us about Kim. I just have to say, because even listening to this again, it's very frustrating. For her to say that she doesn't even know the name of this officer, you guys have to realize she said, because she came up on my panel, and so she clarified further, you know, like this is mm-hmm. a direct leak, and that the information that he allegedly gave this officer was so and I know you referred to the email you know and what's within it is so gruesome and so horrific and so specific and for her to minimize this right now it she's backpedaling and she's it. like actually I do have it up right here I was just mm-hmm. watching it the other day yep. and I went to Trev's and got it to see if I could get a clearer image and there it is yep it's so beyond specific and so there's a non-dissemination order on this case, you know, like, you know, or gag order. And so you're telling me that this ISP officer is willing to risk his entire career, Not risk good. going, you know, like leaking this type of information, hindering the case, Brian's right to a fair trial. And now you don't even so much to remember his name. Are you kidding me? And you're minimizing it. Um, as if, oh, I think he had, you know, good intentions, you know, like, I don't think any of the information he released was whatever she was saying. Like, no, like if you are talking to an officer who is releasing this detailed information that even the families you admit in this email, the families don't even have, you will remember his name. You would, you would, remember his name. You would be okay. Let's just be frank here. To be able to remember some of the details that she wrote in here, if it solely came from an officer, and I i mean, obviously the stuff that she claims came from her kids or her kid, but I don't believe it even came from her kid at all. But if I'm trying to find the part where it's just about the crime scene, she would have had to have taken notes. Yeah, she would have had. So there it is. Um. Basically, like, yeah. Zana was pregnant. Here it is. Yeah, Here that's it is. where it so was on start. This is, okay, guys. I don't give trigger warnings typically because I'm like, we're in true crime. It's all a trigger warning, but yep. I will say, be warned. And if you don't want to hear twisted stuff, just know this isn't real. Obviously, no, this isn't real. But she said, so you are aware the information I provided to the FBI is in evidence with my name attached. And some family members have reached out. Kaylee's mom did not see Kaylee, only her dad. She was unrecognizable and her heart was stolen. Jasmine does not know Zana's hand was cut off and her fingers on the other hand were stolen. Which is why the media kept asking about bagging the hands and Ellie said some... Uh, I don't know what she said. Some wrote reply. I don't know what that means there. Uh, Maddie was beheaded, but for a vein. And Ethan was knocked out with a wrench and woke up, which is why he was killed. 
Originally, the guy shaking them down that he saw knocked him out. The killers were different guys, and he woke up, so they tortured him, then let him die. What person needs to know that? But it's your platform. You called me or whatever, so here's your whatever. Drunk Turkey has your receipts, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. She also said Zana was pregnant, and so four people did not die. Five people died. Five people did. That's earlier in it, isn't it? But yeah, it's just so much, so much, so many lies there. But she claims mm-hmm. now she claimed, you know, well, she claimed it then too. This came from, comes from a law enforcement officer. ISP and, officer. Anybody and, believe that for one second. Yep. And she says in it like earlier on that the family doesn't know these families don't know and then that last sentence you read who needs to know this um then why are you why are you sharing it? It? she didn't just share it with one creator she no. shared it with multiple creators she Every, wanted mm. sorry <laughs> no you're fine i i'm furious at this i lady. get passionate about this but every panel that kim went on and there were a lot of open panels where she just hopped up Something consistent she always did, even though she blabbed about everything, there were certain times where she'd be like, I can't get into that. You know, I can't talk about that, but email me and we'll talk. This isn't just one person she told to email any panel she was on. If there were five creators up there, she would say to email me privately and I'll tell you email. She even said the same thing to me when she was on my panel. And so this isn't like, oh, one instance that she's putting this out. No, no. She was willingly giving this information to anybody. And it's all fake. Oh, maybe her internet service provider told her. But the <laughs> internet service provider in her brain, maybe this is, it's just, it's so fabricated. It's so beyond, so far beyond. Like the part where she talks about the hands being removed and cut off because of the the bags. Anybody in law enforcement knows exactly what that was about. It was to preserve any evidence that might be under their fingernails. It's protocol. It is. is. Like the fact that we know two of them now know two of them fought back. That's exactly why they did that. And hoping, hoping for some DNA evidence. And she's going to say, Oh, that means they were, their hands were cut off. Like, come on lady. This is just, sick and it got all the way back to steve because in the messages you're about to go to he refers to this he's like oh you're talking about the whole decapitation and and pregnancy thing and it's it's so horrific to Mm -hmm. imagine that already these families going through what they're like we all want answers but there's nobody that wants answers more than those victims families and the same way we're frustrated because hey things don't add up something seems wrong here they feel those emotions too so i can imagine they're going through every possible avenue no matter how ridiculous it may seem to eliminate what's a possibility Mm -hmm. here and so the emotional and mental turmoil and damage that you're putting them through for what and that's really what motivates me with wanting to figure what like I don't know if they're all connected, all of these people, if they became connected along the way. I don't know. But like they've done so much damage and it's just I don't I don't know how they sleep. It's night. starting to feel like they were connected yep. beforehand. And I'm just saying it's starting to feel that way. I absolutely have zero proof. Mm-hmm. Just been listening and paying attention. Well, I'm working on that to, proof and that's what it's looking like. Right I now. saw your life for tomorrow and I was like, ooh, I bet that's going to be good. Yep. She it's got a fancy I love me count that buckle holds her arms behind her. Okay, you tell me every time. Hey, Jones, and hope you're doing good. Love. Wow. So Kim was it was a wild ride, like mm-hmm. from jump, from jump, and the fact that creators just had her up over and over and over again. But she brought a lot of a lot of views and a lot of content and a whole lot of lies. And there was a little bit of pushback on Thou Shall Not Kill's channel, just a tiny bit. But it wasn't until she hopped up on your panel and you and Shay really laid into her. I don't. She walked into the lines then for that one because she knew how I felt about her. Like, because I was actively calling calling it out every day. Right. And so 
not only did she come in and ask to come up, it wasn't planned. I wish it was. So I was prepared to <laughs> ask the questions. But while she was on my panel, there was another creator actively blowing her up, saying to get down a creator that she paneled up on often. And, and you don't you don't have to tell me, but you know who that is. Yes. And I, okay. I got the screenshots of it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, what are you scared of? Like, if she's telling the truth. Right. I was asking very reasonable questions, in my opinion. You know, like, have you seen anything for yourself? The same way you just played uh, the panel. And she's like, I'm never going to show the Snapchat messages. She admitted on my panel she's never even seen one message mm -hmm. prior to 911 being called. Mm -hmm. So she's not, she does not have them. Um, but the fact that they're saying get down, I think that's really indicative of what the true intentions are there. And that's if she is exposed as lying or not having what she says she has, then we will look like fools continuing to have her up on panels. You can't have her up on a panel if she's been debunked. And right. that's why I think they were trying to get her down. Well, she was bringing in the content because there's, when did she enter this scene? Do you have that like fresh in your mind? If you don't, that's fine. She was in the Facebook groups immediately, mm -hmm. immediately. Um, and at that point she was posting like November, December, she was posting pretty normally, just like a concerned parent. And see, I didn't even know all of that until you and Shay showed it on your mm -hmm. first Kim debunking stream. Right. I, I had no clue that she was yep. being so honest. It seemed honest in the Facebook groups at first. Yes. So that was, that was really interesting to see. And she was advocating for the surviving roommates and literally said anybody who's giving them any type of pushback whatsoever is monstrous. OK. And she also said this because people were theorizing in the Facebook groups and she's like, this is 100 percent not anything to do with drugs. And that's why I call her Kimbleweed, because somewhere mm -hmm. along the way, then she started, she got onto YouTube as far as like public platforms. Um on lives and, and the Chronicles of Olivia video in January. And so, and even at that point, it was my daughter found out prior because she was within a group. But right. then even from there, as months went on, it went so far into this, into this email, into her daughter, her home was used as a fake alibi for Jack and Adam and having all of this involvement and you have to realize that she claimed she knew that days after the murder. So you have to go back to those Facebook posts and keep in your mind as you're reading this, she's supposedly knowing this information while making these posts. And that's when you really realize, no, 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 no. Something's not right there. Because if you knew this information at that time, your posts do not line up with that at all. And it's just so, the thing that baffles me is if you listen to a couple of her like early interviews on YouTube, because I went and went back and did that last week after your first one, after you guys did the first expose on her, because I truly did not pay her a whole lot of attention until like Olivia did the, the release recording, whatnot. And then I'm like, even just listening to that, okay, take that as an example. Even just listening to that, I, I did not understand how anybody believed her at all anybody but people do and they still do today that's the wild thing people believe is dot even though dot today yep. admitted Absolutely. to it not being legit and it's crazy and i don't understand how you don't even have to do any sleuthing on kim or even dot just like your common sense mm -hmm. should tell you hey red flags all over the field on this one like but people, I, I don't understand that part. And that's the part I, I find interesting about true crime or even trauma is, is what people are willing to believe with absolutely zero proof. Just, hey, I'm going to tell you this. Believe it. Yep. And they do. They do. People yeah. are very, it's scary how mm -hmm. quickly they will accept and not question it at all. Kim it does. It's such a funny little thing. She has a cute little uh, tumbleweed going down the 
It's true. Wrote on there. It's really, they are gullible, okay? But it's what people want to believe something. They want to believe something. If, and if something she said could fit their story or help them to make sense of the crime, that's why people latch onto that stuff. But it just scares me how many believe it. Well, and <laughs> I get people want answers. Group. You know, like people are ex like especially <laughs> surrounding this case. And I understand you want answer. I want answers. We all mm -hmm. want answers, but it's, it's just amazing to me that people are willing to turn the blind eye on something that can be proven false. You know, like I saw that with a lot of creators where they were clipping articles or posting videos only in portions. Yet, if you played the full context, it would actually debunk what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Yet, when you show that, people genuinely got mad and it's like, Hey, listen, I have questions too. And I could think that there's something more going on, but if something can be debunked, if something can be proven wrong, right. why would you get mad at that? Like I thought we're in search for the truth. And what I saw happening specifically with the idol case, it, it blew my mind that people were extremely confirmation biased that they would not look at anything that aligned with their particular theory. And then I saw a bunch of people either say, you know, they believe Brian is hundred percent guilty already, or that he, a hundred, there is absolutely nothing. There's no gray that, area. No, a lot of these like, people, we call it gray gang over here. Mm -hmm. Like that, that willingness to try to understand both sides, that willingness to look at the entire picture and then, you know, suss out the truth and find the facts and, and debunk the myths. There are some people who are, no, it, like you said, it's, mm -hmm. it's black or white for them. Yep. It's, it's yes or no. And it's, He's 100% guilty or he had nothing to do with it. It's this giant conspiracy and there are tunnels under the house by golly. Yep. Like it's just insane. Well, and you can lean one way or the other. That's totally fine. But nobody's mind should be made up 100% until trial comes and Absolutely. all of the information is out. But I realize because come trial, it doesn't matter if they do, if prosecution does a slam dunk and it is bam, mm -hmm. there are a great portion of people who will never believe he is guilty if he is truly guilty i realize that and so i had like i'm preparing for trial and what's to come if he is indeed guilty mm -hmm. because this is going to continue this case will never rust because it's already been fueled with so much conspiracy it's it's out of control people you are not that reminds it. me of it, it's Why? the worst case yeah like it's worse <sighs> So many Worse. people continue to this day on it, or even Kylie Rodney. I know there's a couple creators out there who are still pushing some sort of conspiracy or other crime in Kylie Rodney's case. I, I don't, and I, I'm not talking like, okay, so then we have, um, oh, what's his face? Sorry, names are blowing my mind tonight. Scott, Scott Peterson. Okay. Yeah. There's some new information, apparently. There's a possibility of it going back. You know, that's different. Like, there's some different. facts that we may or may not be able to look at and, and come to a new conclusion. That's completely different than just, like, you know, a guy who admitted he did it. And people are still out here saying, nope, it was this or nope, it was right. that. It's just wild. It just, just should go by evidence, you know. Like, people should just go with where the evidence leads you. And it's people, what I've realized, especially with this case, and, and Watts, similar to the Watts, too, is they get too personal with their theory. And it's not about being right with what your theory was. It mm -hmm. should be about what the truth. This isn't our story. Right. This is the victim's story. It's their truth. And so at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if I was right, you were wrong. I was wrong, you were right. It matters that this is the victim's story. It's their truth, and it's about uncovering it and telling their story, not about who was right or who was wrong. It is what it is. Thank you. Thank you. We've been preaching that. Me and uh, I don't know if you know Gavel Geeks and Tracy Ann, we have been preaching that with the Karen Reed case. Like, look, it's not about sides. It's not, you know, it's like, here's the facts, and oh, we know a fraction of the facts, you know? When it goes to trial, we'll end up learning a lot more. And yes. your opinion can change as more evidence is presented. That doesn't make you a fence rider. It doesn't make you anything negative. It's just that hmm, I have an opinion on something based on the evidence I have now. Correct. As we learned in Gannon's case, in the Murdoch case, and so in every other case, once it gets mm -hmm. into trial, we're going to learn so much more than we ever knew. 
exactly. And people but, forget that. They just absolutely oh, they forget did. it and they go crazy. When that PCA came out, it this is all they have. Mm -hmm. This is and when I said I lean more towards and I and I do as of now, I lean more towards Brian is most likely guilty. Now come tomorrow, if there's a crap ton of evidence that comes out that points to another person, I'll go with where the evidence leads me. But people were so mad. And this is when I, I realized, oh no, there's nothing that's gonna change this. It doesn't matter how much evidence they come out with. But they were so angry and they were like, you are willing to sentence a man to death because his phone disconnected from the network. You are willing to sentence a man to death because he was driving or I go for drives at nights. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. The PCA mm -hmm. is enough to make an arrest. That is it. No, I'm not willing to convict him on the PCA. I'm saying that, hmm. This definitely, I, I see that there's some evidence that leans towards Brian. There has not been any evidence that points towards anybody else as of yet, but people are relying on that PCA as if it's the, that's it. That's what they have. And it's like, no, that's enough for an arrest, not enough for a conviction, but that's right there is when I realize, oh my God, people have it so much in their brain that it doesn't matter what comes out, come trial, it could be a slam dunk. They are always going to believe what they believe now. And that's an issue and it's dangerous. It really is dangerous. It's, and, uh, it's extremely dangerous. It's, it's more of a just, I want to be right. I want to be right. And so no matter what else comes out, nothing else. I have to be right. And that, that's what it becomes. And that's wrong. That's not true crime, y'all. That's not how it works. Exactly. It just blows my mind continually. And then the fighting over stuff, like that's, that's another thing that blows my mind. The whole shit show that it becomes this whole drama thing online on multiple social media platforms. It, it, I just find it, sometimes it feels like we're in a giant social experiment with it, but yeah. <laughs> People are so dead, like here, someone said, I can't remember, what, so perfectly said that she leans towards um, an acquittal for Peterson or like it going back because she thinks that the, uh, it was bias and unfair trial. Okay, that's great. That's her opinion. Yeah. Then someone else up here is like, I think he's, he's guilty. Nana says, Nana Banana, love your name, by the way, I think I, is guilty in her opinion. That's great. There are some people out there that will fight to the death because they have those two opposing opinions. <laughs> like, I've got threatened. Why? I literally was threatened by someone. They came underneath my, because they, in this footage, they believe that it was in the back of this cop car. You could see mm -hmm. um, this like basically tapping. To, I don't remember what it was called, but it was something where you could tap into the phone and then like alter it and stuff. And I was like, that's mm -hmm. not what I see. You know, like, and I could have a healthy, good debate with someone. But he ended up literally coming back around and threatening to come to my home. And I'm like, this is a pro this is, again, how I realized, wow, it doesn't matter what happens in trial. People have their mind made up already. And it's yeah. too personal. You can't get that personal. Like These are our theories. And you have to go with where the facts lead you. And, and mm -hmm. if you're not willing to accept hard, straight facts and you're automatically jumping to it's going to be it's going to be a. Um, set up either way you know like that that's going to yeah. be fabricated yeah. if you're already putting it in your mind there's not there's no debate now mm -hmm. i can't talk with you because you've already made up in your mind and don't get me wrong i understand cover-ups happen that those things do happen yeah. not not often in a, in these types of cases i understand it's possible but mm -hmm. if that's truly the case come trial when everything gets put out right. there, there will be holes, things will be shady, but wait until trial, wait until you see all of that evidence presented. And then if you have issues, take it from there, but we're not there yet. It's possible, but not probable. Um, exactly. Absolutely. Have to remember that. Absolutely. Exactly. Hey, Jennifer, um, where was, it was uh, Harlots. I do not believe he is the first youtuber although i think he considers himself a blogger more than a youtuber but i don't think he's the first youtuber to be tried with interfering with the active investigation and the only reason i don't think that was some old documentary i was watching on 48 hours when someone was but i don't know if they were a youtuber now that i think of it they might have just been like on facebook or twitter but i do think that there have been others that have been tried with you know for interference of an active investigation so his is just a little wild right now. That's for sure. Well, and the legal system and the court system has not caught up to social media yet. Social media not. yet 
right? And technology, it's it's advancing much quicker than court and law enforcement the system has kept up with. But it will trust that in time, this type of stuff will not um, be gotten away with. And for people like Kim and Dot and stuff, it may not be today because the victims' families and law enforcement are focused on the upcoming trial. But there will be a day where I would I would be genuinely concerned because you guys have a big issue on your hands as far as being sued. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. And that, I mean, that's an, uh, another great point. Like, even if it's not criminal charges against some of these uh, YouTubers or some of these commentators, absolutely see some civil charges happening. Yep. It's, it's getting insane out there. I was just talking in Allie's chat today about, I think it was Allie's, might have been someone else's. But anyway, my son-in-law, when he was getting his master's in criminal justice, that he had to take a class, one of the classes, and it was a new class. They'd only had it for, I think, think two years at his university was uh, criminal justice and social media and how just trying to catch up and prep law enforcement officers for how to interact on social media, not like yeah. while they're on the clock, that type of thing. You know, if you're going to be a, uh, what's it called? The officer that that gives the information what's that called the point of uh, contact the um yeah but it's called something else not the liaison it's the uh, yeah i know i'm drawing a blank but you know what i'm saying yes yeah, i know what you're talking about and since then he's still he's had to do two updated classes just in the his course of what he's doing with his job so it's like this is continually something that they are working on to better all departments across the board, but it's still very slow. It's extremely slow. Yes, public information officer. Thank you. Yeah. I'm like, I knew Thank this happened name. I could Thank not. You. Yes. Thank you, Audrey. She did it too. So they're, they're working on it, but it's still like, even by the time that they, you know, develop this course and get it out there for even refresher courses while in active duty, it's already outdated and they got to do it again. Exactly. You know, so it's yes. very hard to keep up on. Absolutely. Um, but I do think as you're, we're seeing a new wave of law enforcement come in a younger generation. Mm -hmm. um, They'll be more up to date, right? Yeah, it's a double edged sword. There's pros okay. and cons to that, but yeah, yep. absolutely. So the poll was to move on to the leaked mess. I was a blank too, okay. Twist. Dude, I was a blank. I was like, I know they're going to We don't have to read through all of them again. No, no, no. We're it's not going to read through them. I'm just <laughs> going to touch on them a little bit. I know. And um, I didn't know if my subscribers had even seen them yet. Yeah. And they're definitely interesting. They are making their way around. I'm trying to, here they are. So here is, I'm going to share, I'm not going to go through it. It's, it's only a two minute and 57 second video, but that's because it's like recorded. <laughs> and it's like, at a very fast speed. So I'd put it on yes. the lowest speed because it's still fast, even at the lowest speed. It is insanely fast, but they mm -hmm. go through and there's a lot of controversy with these messages. And honestly, it was probably best to start with these because it's going to lead into the dot situation because I wanted to play a little bit of when dot came up on your panel. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah. Um, so this channel, though, what is it? Character analysis put yeah. out these leaked messages two weeks ago. Oh, what's it say here? Back in October, our author Howard Bloom wrote an article based on messages Steve exchanged with an internet detective. In the messages, Steve alleged that he spoke with a grand jury member and received inside information regarding evidence presented by the prosecution. These are the messages. Uh, the slideshow initially comes from sleuthing the truth. And they do have the note here. I cannot confirm that the information in these messages is accurate. So I do like that little disclaimer there. The hot topic is the accuracy. Like, are these faked or are they? <laughs> yes. Uh, so I'm, I'm curious <laughs> to your, okay, it only goes up to 480. Your opinion. I, I think I, I mean, I know your opinion, but go ahead and state it again on if you think yeah. these are legit or not. So I never would have went live with them if I really genuinely did not believe that these are most likely legitimate. Um, 
I can't say for certain. Uh, so at the end of this screen recording, you'll see that Brett um, mm -hmm. exits out of the messenger and she pulls up the profile um, that is Steve's profile. And she also shows like her screen where she's in messenger, like other, and you see Daniel from the drunk Turkey show. Um, yeah. I, and based on the messages alone, I am inclined uh, to believe that they are legitimate. Now I can't say for certain, but um, you know, one of the people within uh, this messenger says that, yep, they are a hundred percent legit. Um, I've confirmed that. So I can't say what Steve's side is uh, because I did not speak to Steve, but I think if these were fabricated, they make Brat look horrible. Um, and does they, not do her right. any justice. And there is a lot of interesting nuggets and some big revelations in there. But with that being said, if I was to believe that someone's fabricating it, I would expect more and less from Brat because you see the paranoia in Brat go crazy towards the mm -hmm. end and it really does not look good. So, and the things that Steve did share really align with the exact things that were coming out at that time. So I truly do believe that these are legitimate, but if I was Steve and I was being, I wouldn't talk to anybody, but if I was being addressed, I absolutely would not take uh, ownership of all of these messages because there are some messages that pose a serious issue, like the grand jury members sharing information with them and things like that. So it would be an issue if he came out and literally said, yes, these are legit. It's smart to say, no, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Right. No, I, and absolutely would. And I know that that is a controversy right now. There's a, mm -hmm. another creator out there who claims that she has spoken with the family. She reached out to the family and at, well, I was tagged in the community post, so I'll just say her name. So crime oh. solution claims that she, um, reached out to people, um, and confirmed that they are fake. And so when I asked what that some are fake, was, some are fake. That's right. She said some are fake. When mm -hmm. I asked, you know, what was the proof on that? Hang on, no receipts. Shay's here in the backstage. Is that you, Shay? Yes. Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> so some are faked is what she said. And she yes. had proof um, from a very reliable source is what I was told. And I said, well, it's really hard to be able to believe that by just taking your word. No shade against her whatsoever. It's just how how am I supposed to believe that they're fake because you say they are right. versus they're just real because word. this person says they are. And I um, I said, you know, these are screen recorded, which is harder to fake. And she, you know, she's like, well, you can splice them together. And you absolutely can splice screenshots and it's things possible. like that. Together. It is. Um, again, possible. I don't think it's probable. One of the things that I noticed when going through these, and I don't know if anybody else picks up on it. So when it starts out, you know, it's the beginning stages of, of that person's phone. We've all, if you have yep. an iPhone, you're very familiar with this shot right here to screen yep. record. Uh, the phone's at 31% and then it starts recording. I don't know if it'll show it on this or if I need to be, there we go. Yep. So it starts at 350. The time up here at the top is what I'm talking about is 350 and they are scrolling through these messages. Now this is extremely sped up. If like I have it on 0.25 right now and this is how fast it goes. Let me just show you guys on normal speed. It's how very fast. This goes through here. So it is, it's just zooming through there. They just zoom through like 50 minutes in less than a second. So that's, or 50 seconds in less than a second. It goes very, okay. Yeah. That was a minute and 22. Let's see how quickly they go through that. We're at 0 0.01. And they got through that in less than five seconds. So that's how quickly it goes through it. But the thing I notice is that the time is accurate. And I'm sure somebody way smarter than me could like figure out like what the speed of it was. But this doesn't change at all. 
Right. And so I'm curious as to where the splice is. Now then someone could come back and say, well, the texts themselves are fabricated. Right. Possible. But you would have had to have done a lot of work to do that back in June. I don't know. It just seems very well, hard to make the conversation flow the way it does in these messages yes. by faking them as well. And this was also not the brat had originally scrolled like she on a TikTok live last mm -hmm. I think it was last year. She turned her camera on so she's filming her computer. This is before this itself was out and she okay. was trying to prove that she was speaking to Steve and you watch her scroll through all of these like it's actually up like and she's sitting there scrolling scrolling and like you watch it load and then the next because she's trying to scroll through the, to the top. Um but like you said, you know, like it's is it possible? Sure. That's why we always say a ledge can't confirm right. 100%, but also can't take your word. I, like you can't say, well, hey, I I got word that these are not legit while not putting out receipts, not doing any of that. And I'm not trying to start crap on your, your channel, but also no, especially fine. coming from the person who literally scammed the other victim's parent. I'm, you have no credibility with me. Um, and so, what? oh, Kara's, Kara. You don't know what happened with Crime Sleuthing and Kara? I, I just recently heard this and I do not know the full details. I absolutely do not know the full details of that. Um, yeah. I just heard a very abbreviated story about her and and Jules working together, right? Well, and not working together. Money she has not Jules being, yeah. She what? She she just asked Jules to come on the panel. She wasn't working together. Oh, I thought they were. Okay, that's my bad. That's what I put it as no, that. Not funny. these two girls, and that money was not delivered. But again, I like I said, I just recently heard of that, and I did, have not seen proof or anything either. Okay. But yeah. I'm that blows my mind. So. Well, and the whole, I, I'm pretty sure her whole point was, hey, don't take anything, you know, for certain, anything, this could be a splice, it's a, this could be manufactured, all mm -hmm. while not providing receipts. So again, nobody was going through this saying, this is absolutely legit. Nope. I know I said, I can't confirm, I'm inclined to believe these are legit, but I cannot verify these. I know I was very adamant. I cannot verify these, mm -hmm. but even if let's say, uh, so she did get to talk to Steve, which I'm not, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. She does reach out to victims' families. So if he did say, well, some are manufactured to be, like I said before, I that wouldn't surprise me, but that also wouldn't make me jump to really believing that they mm -hmm. are. And when I say that, I'm not trying to insult Steve or listen, oh, he I'm was ashamed. going through horror what was happening, what was being fed to him is disgusting, but he is just searching for the truth and he's going to do what's in the best interest for this himself, his family, this case. And if he takes ownership of these, that could be a very big issue. And so I hear what she's saying, you know, but you also haven't provided receipts that this conversation even happened, that he's saying that they're um, you know, some aren't legitimate. But right. so, it, it would be a huge issue right. because there's there's mention of two grand jury members going yes. to him, and a lot of the information that he puts out to this end of, to this creator to Brat Norton, who was on the Crime Sleuth documentary, a lot of the information that he shares with her comes from those two grand jury members that came to him. Yes. I, of course, I don't think he's going to. And he name drops that. the person who gave it to him and yep. the, the secret witness. Um, what it's not called a secret witness. What is it called, Che? The uh, informant. Yeah, the informant. Mm -hmm. He he means a lot. And then even the things about Dylan that he said that's not for you know it wasn't for public consumption. Um, but it can be an issue. Getting back mm -hmm. that these grand jury members spoke to these families and fed the information of what they saw, what they heard mm -hmm. of before trial. You're damn right. This could be an issue. So I'm not surprised even if he did say they're not and they they potentially are that wouldn't shock right. it wouldn't shock me one bit as well yeah um the the thing that i struggle with 
on the thing that I struggle with, the reasoning or the proof that they are not legit from Crime Sleuthin, and this is no shade to you, Crime Sleuthin, if you're listening and you want to come up and chat about it, that's fine too, is saying that you spoke with a family member and the family member told you the truth and they want you to correct the misinformation, but they don't want you to show the proof of it. Why would they want you to correct that they're fake and not give you a tool to show that they're fake? That doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. If if a family member, and you say a family member, I, I don't know specifically, I heard a name the other night, but I don't know if that's ex- specifically who you heard it from. But if you say that, you know, say Steve did tell you that they were fake and he showed you proof that they were fake, why would he not want to clear his name with absolute proof right if these are faked i'm just saying i i would like to know the answer to that if if she happens to listen later i'd like to know because it just feels like if if he's like no they're fake and here's the proof of it and he shows our absolute proof he would want her to spread that far and wide right but exactly but i I am inclined to believe these are legit sorry shay go ahead you're fine. I'd also like to be clear that um, I was not provided proof that these weren't real or that they were fake. I did ask Crime Sleuthin if she compared the real ones mm-hmm. to what, like, Steve provided or something along the lines, and I wasn't given an answer to that. Same. So I was provided no proof at all. And I don't know why it's being told that I was provided proof. Mm. That's not true. You were to Oh, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know if the proof is like, I emailed her after she tagged me in that post and I was like, okay, so what is the actual proof? You know, cause I'm like just saying that they're fake is an actual proof for me. Right. And that's all I was told. Just the words. Yeah. Just same, like that. Same, same, same. And she didn't send anything. No, she she said that she was shown the differences. Parts were real, but some parts weren't. And a lot of words changed and things added from what I saw myself. Yes, that is possible. When it shows the switch back to the profile, because I had mentioned to her that there was, well, there's that switch back to the profile and you can um, clearly see it's him. She says that can be spliced in very easily. And, and I agree that it could be. There's the it possibility could it could yeah. be, but it flows so well. I don't, I mean, I don't see a, when you have a splice in edited videos, I, all of us, I don't know if you create videos, Shay, but for those that do create videos, it's very easy to spot those splices, even if they are so well put together, you can see yeah. the very, my, and especially when you slow it down. And I screen recorded this and yeah put it in my editing software and slowed it even further down. And you can, I I don't see any glitching at all. No, at all. It flows so well. So then to me that the only way that it could be edited is if someone fabricated these and somehow, I don't honestly, in my opinion, I don't know how they would be faked. Well, yeah. The only thing that could possibly be different is if some messages were deleted and we don't know it. That can be the only thing I Well, think. and you would see in Messenger, it would show you message deleted. Yeah, that's very true. Um, and, and and I did not, like, press her to, like, you know, give me any information. I just asked that one question. It was mm-hmm. not forceful at all, like, demanding of her showing me anything. Um, that's just not how I roll. I want that to be known. And also, um, when told this, um, you know, it, it's me taking somebody's word for it. But I also, you know, know people on the other side of TikTok that say these are real and used to associate with Brad Norton. So I am, why can't I believe them? So I should only take one person's word for it. So I'm up in the air and that's where I stand. But this does I, show mm-hmm. Steve's account and you can yeah. see who he's married to flip like with the account like you it it lines up more to be legitimate than not. Yeah, right here at the end. You got to pause it so quickly. 
wait, was Mine's I? more of like the way Brat acts. Like, why put yourself out there to like when she's having a breakdown about what's going on? Yep. So there, they slide quickly over. And again, when even when it's slowed down, the time still matches up where the um, everything up here still matches up. It quickly sl slides over to Steve's profile. And then... And that is his... He yeah. is... Uh, the Gonzo account is his account. And so there... Oh, and look, he's married to Chrissy. If you click that, mm -hmm. it is Chrissy's legitimate profile and she is married to Gonzo. It's... it's yep. Yeah, and all these are the public yeah, posts that you can see publicly because they're not friends now. And I know that was another claim made was that why aren't they friends on Facebook? And I didn't hear that from crime. I heard that from someone else. Like, why aren't they friends on Facebook? I find it very suspicious that you wouldn't become friends if you're talking to this person. Yeah. You have to remember a lot of people in the Idaho group were messaging Steve. He doesn't have to add someone to speak to them on Messenger. I speak all to has so many on Messenger and I don't mm -hmm. have them as friends on my account. Yeah, you just have to uh, accept the message request and then you guys can speak on Messenger. That's all you have to do. So it doesn't have to, you don't have to be friends to speak on Messenger. And I just feel like this goes so smoothly through there. I think that, and then that goes back to her, her original Facebook right, account. Exactly. So you can clearly see it's hers. Mm -hmm. Goes back to Steve. And then she goes here to her chat right. and you can see the Daniel her. from Drunk Turkey Show. Like it all just mm -hmm. li and it lines up. And again, if you are very familiar with the Idaho case and how it all unfolded, especially with the conspiracies and stuff within the messages, it lines up perfectly with what was being leaked at that time and like what was coming out and what it really does line up perfectly so but, right here it says that steve's message was on monday we can see down here that her message with anon or Inon, however you want to say his name was july 26 so the monday after that is when you have it it is july 31st which is the date of hang on it's her last message to him which is monday That was their last. It's, it's, like, it's like right at the very end. I got it there. Okay. So it says sent three days ago. So she screen recorded this on August the 3rd. Second or third, depending on what time it was, which it just lines up completely with those messages we see at the end from other people. I just, if you're going to put that together, that's a lot of work to put all that together. I'm just, mm -hmm. just saying. But, yeah. but I, I don't know what was expected to like, you know, all we could do is put it out, um, you know, while saying this cannot be 100% verified. You know, this is all alleged. So take it as it is. But I don't know what's expected. If you can't, if you don't provide receipts that even says something different, like as far as crime sleuthing, I don't know what you expected. Like you want to halt the live, shut it down. Don't even discuss it. Cause you, I don't take anyone for their word period. No offense, but you have to show receipts, but especially if you have the history that you do, no, I'm not going to take your word for anything, but it's just a little surprising to me that that would even be expected. Well, I'm telling you, I speak to this person and this is what they said. So you take my word for it. No, I'm going to Let me gonna... ask you, would either one of you because I know I sure as hell wouldn't, but would either one of you accept that as proof if someone came to you and said, Dot is legit? No, me. that's my whole Why? point. Like, it's, it's just it's not going point. to happen. And right. if, if you can't show us the proof, it, just, it makes me question. Just absolutely makes well, me question. And there's well, no shade in that. I just have questions. I have right. questions. And I don't understand why... Uh, oh, sorry. Mind and Monsters, we are looking at the leaked messages between Brat Nor Norton, the TikToker, and uh, Steve Gonzalez. And there is a question on their validity. So that was a big, big thing. Um, yes, it was Brat's screen recording. She Now, Melissa and Shay knows, know about this better than me. She screen recorded this as proof that she was talking to Steve. Is that what that was? So initially... People did not believe Brat 
was talking to Steve. Even back then, all the way in the beginning, I didn't believe Brett was talking to Steve. I thought she was just talking it up. But then it became apparent she was. She first showed, it wasn't screen recorded, but she first showed her messages with Steve on a TikTok live and she mm -hmm. actively, like, quickly was scrolling through, not fast enough that you could read anything to prove, because this person was, I guess, on the panel or on the phone, not believing her. You know, what, Gonzo? Who's Gonzo? That's not, you know, and so she's quickly sh scrolling through, and it aligns up with these same messages. But then I guess she screen recorded it, and she had played it. Um, TikTok is different than YouTube, so I guess TikTok... Mm -hmm. Um, for our subscribers live, which is like a paywall for us, like imagine a members, like people who pay for a small group, there were, I, I don't, I don't know, like, but she had played it and then somebody had screen recorded it from there and then posted it um, outside of that. And that's where it started getting all around. Um, she probably screen recorded it. Uh, I can't speak why she would have done it, but Again, she was probably getting a lot of backlash as far as not people not believing that she spoke to Steve. Maybe she wanted to share it with me. I don't I don't know why, but it aligns with the behavior that we were seeing at that time, at least. From Absolutely. Her. Have a good night. Perfectly. Thank you, love. Um, it, it does. And some of the things I've I'm sure you guys are are digging into what he said and all that. But some of the things that I looked into, I know, line up. So I I just tend to believe they're real I, and he I, has teals you're absolutely right he it is known that he has talked to um a lot of creators we know he talked to uh chronicles of the of olivia and mm -hmm. jlr he took jlr there are several others that have been open about speaking with him as well and well melissa you said you have some messages with him so i don't pers i haven't messaged oh i thought you said that sorry no no i said Retract. the only <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. I haven't messed up. I don't. I feel weird about reaching out to victims' families, and Same. I don't want to insert my, especially, you know, I'm sh like it. I think that each case is individual for the most part. I don't agree with reaching out to victims' families. I mean, there mm -hmm. might be like a situation where the, there are unique circumstances where I could understand maybe, but for the most right. part, I think, especially with this case, it's too chaotic. There's too many people involved. It's not even about oh, well, I'm trying to get to the truth. Honestly, it's very apparent that there's multiple people being spoken to, contradicting things. We're not going to get to the truth until trial, period. Exactly, exactly. And I just, one of the things, reading through these messages, and I'll drop the link again, if anybody wants to slow them down and read through, like read through them in their entirety on their own. But one of the things in reading through them that just infuriated me was the, the way that Frat spoke to him just so carelessly in my opinion just th there was one thing in there where she was like um nobody wants to find it the answer is more than i do and i'm like you're talking to and that's just me paraphrasing by the way yeah. but it's like you're talking to the father of a daughter who was brutally murdered and another girl who was like his daughter, like, how can you say something like that to him? And then the really horrible one is what Bodhi talked about up here saying that was fake was, um, oh, wait, that was Scarlett. Sorry. It was yours. Here it is. Saying that Kaylee sent me dot. I was like, when she went into that whole tirade about Kaylee sending her dot, I was like, it made me feel so horrible for Steve and then made me realize, I wonder how many messages he gets. Not exactly like that, but similar, just like these crazy things pertaining to the case. And how would you know, even begin to know how to sift through that, you know? Well, and that was my entire point, because even when I went through these messages, it was less about what Steve was saying. Like, let's say even if Steve's, some of his messages were manufactured, it was never really Steve's messages that I was using as a focal point versus right. wow how far is too far with people creators getting involved in these cases and look at what is being said to steve listen he is in the most vulnerable place of his life um we know steve is is more impulsive he's been like the forefront as far as the victim's family is most outspoken right. but he's not in his right state of mind naturally i don't mean i don't say that in a mean way versus that's what i would expect in a situation like he's in not not thinking 
the most clearly struggling. I, I personally think Steve struggled with feelings of guilt, despite he shouldn't feel guilty, you know, but I, it's natural oh. to feel guilty of, I wasn't able to protect my daughter, you know, like I'm her father in her own bed, you know, safe with her best friend. And, and this still happened. And so when, after she died, after, uh, law enforcement, you know, basically said, step back, we have to deal with this, you know, like we got this under control yet. It, nobody can deny that there aren't serious questions regarding this case, the eight hour time gap friends oh, were summoned. Sure. Moscow press conferences originally said both roommates were sleeping both roommates were downstairs. Then we have the PCA coming out. Dylan is an eyewitness. She was upstairs. She was awake. All of this stuff came out. So you can imagine the same way we're like, what the families are going to be most like that. But with Steve, I think he could, he can't sit still and watch as they handle it. He couldn't protect his daughter while she was here. And when I say that, it's not his fault. You know, he did everything possible, but so he will not sit by now because he is going to get that justice. So he can't directly be part of this investigation. And they were not happy with him because he was doing panels and not panels, interviews, um, mm -hmm. um, you know, mainstream media, criticizing law enforcement and the investigation. And so he kind of got cut off, you know, like they weren't funneling information. And he said, you know, like, I'm no, not getting more information. So yep. he can't sit still. He can't stop. This is a father driven to find the truth. And so unfortunately that leaves social media, all of these people who are willing to give information and social media can be an amazing tool. It could be amazing, but it could also be horrible. And I can imagine that even if it's unlikely, like the dot and, and Kim, Mm -hmm. Even if there's a the smallest chance that could this be possible, something to this that's true. When you want to hear it, child, mm -hmm. you're mm -hmm. not gonna yeah. turn the other way because God forbid you turn the other way and that end up being something. So I think Steve struggles with sitting back because if he stops, if he doesn't keep searching, if he doesn't keep talking, he's gonna feel the weight of, of the situation, you know, like, and that is just too much to bear. So there's yeah. a, there's a huge grieving process there. Yeah. And I think for him and, and a big thing that men do specifically, and I'm, I'm only saying this from experiencing my husband grieve such a, a horrific traumatic loss, similar. It's just, they, they dive in men dive in head first. They have to find all the facts, find all the things and, or, you know, bury themselves in work because what it does is it prevents them from going into that grieving process. I would just about bet that he hasn't even started to grieve no. the loss of his daughter yet. He probably won't until right. after this trial. Right. And so making himself busy, keeping his mind occupied, hunting for answers and all of that kind of helps with that to a certain extent, if that makes sense. Yep. And then to have this individual come in and say some of the things she said, like when, you know, he's talking, she, she gives him some of the information from dot as fact. And he's like, yeah, no, that didn't happen. <laughs> like, no, I don't know what, you know, who you're talking to basically, but no, that's not legit. That's not what happened to them. So, and then begging Steve to read Kaylee's journals, I, my yeah, jaw yeah. dropped during that phase. Like, yeah. and they've got Koberger, they're working on Koberger and Brat spends day after day trying to convince him it's some other dude. Yeah. I am just dumbfounded that someone would do that. I can't even begin to imagine what it would be like in his shoes. I just can't don't want to know but that's what made me so upset is that it was like i said less about steve and more about this is how mm -hmm. like the whole point was to show kim dot justin all these people how far it's willing to go where you're directly involving the victim's family as if he doesn't have enough going on it along with the rest of the families 
all of this, this isn't just YouTube, TikTok, social media. This is directly going back to the victims' families, yep. directly impacting them. Like you, they could never get back even that when the leaked audio came out of the murders caught on audio. Listen, as if it's not horrific enough to know your child's murder is caught on audio. But then you know a million people sent it to them and they had to listen because what if this is legit of this audio that's going around with horrific screams, blood curdling screams. And even if for a moment, even if for a solid minute before it was debunked, they had to believe they were listening to their child being murdered. Do you guys understand? Like that's, it doesn't matter if it eventually gets debunked and this, and, and as Dot says, I just want to move on. The, what about the damage? What, what did you do to them? Like yeah. that you can't, you can't go backwards. And it's just insane to me. It's insane to me that it's, and people really do are calling the defense, the prosecution, the FBI, the families sending all of this stuff. Like, so this isn't just, oh, talking crap on YouTube and panels and this. No, this is literally getting into the case. And if you think that the law enforcement and Taylor, everyone is paying attention to social media, they mm -hmm. are the same thing in the Watts case. It came out in Discovery. They were actively monitoring these Facebook groups, our little, little groups where we're just posting this, posting that. They were actively watching. So if you don't think that Ann Taylor, the prosecution, everyone is very much aware of what is being said over here, you're crazy, which should even debunk Kim more, in my opinion, because Ann Taylor is looking for exculpatory evidence. If there was any validity in Kim's story, that her daughter would be brought in for this, the grand jury that at the time, Einan Harsh was, you're telling me someone whose home was used as a fake alibi and who knew about the murders prior to 911 and it's all logged in Snapchat, wasn't called? She didn't even sign a sworn statement. No, come on, you guys, they are looking for this. They are aware. And if there was any credible credibility, any validity into this, they would be directly involved and now gagged. Absolutely. That's another big thing. It's like people are flying off the handle on some of this stuff. So he said she hadn't heard of this Brat Norton person. So th th she was in, this is Brat Norton. This is her TikTok. She's a big TikTok creator. She was in the Cyber Sleuth video documentary series, whatever you want to call that thing mm -hmm. that they did. And she heavily covered... Idaho for on TikTok. And honestly, her claim to fame, in my opinion, did I grab the right one? Yeah. Okay. Her claim to fame, in my opinion, is bringing Dot onto the scene. And because I don't know what else to attribute to her is just the fact that she gave the world Dot. <laughs> and yeah. it became a whole shit show from there. But the part that I don't know if it's scary or confused is like, I feel she genuinely believes that or, and I know that there are people and I know that you two are digging into it. That yep. thinks that she helped create dot help, help well, invent I mean, this individual. You know, yeah. I'm currently getting, you know, a lot of screenshots from a lot of different people, every, mm -hmm. every side of the story, like I'm collecting receipts from, um, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to put them together and figure out the truth, you know, to what, and not just this situation in totality, all of it. Um, and so uh, there, you know, if you go by one side, they say they genuinely believe dot, you know, if you go by dot side dot sent me screenshots last night saying that they paid me with the PayPal mm -hmm. and stuff like, so it's, uh, I'm starting to connect dot to Justin. There's a lot of parallels there. And so this is what I meant earlier by like, are these all individual people who just trolled? And then like along the way, it's like, oh, you're trolling. Like kind of like just combined to give each other more credibility. Is this people who went in it together? Like, and then I think the creators are separate. I think the creators that hosted them, some knew, some mm -hmm. absolutely knew. Um, and then continued to host it. Others didn't literally know, but knew logically and in their mind, but continued to look the other way for ill, you know, ill intentions, bad reasons. Um, and so, I, but I want to know where did it start? 
who are these people? What are their connections? What are their intentions? I don't know. But what I do know is that they are willing to lie. They are willing to lie, like dot cry uh -huh. with her story. And it wasn't her story. Like this is not at all. Sick. And we, and we need I'm, to know this. Moving I don't forward. even believe the story that she told, which I'm I'm gonna go with she because we she, as far as I know, they still didn't give like what pronoun they prefer. So I'm gonna stick with she. But like I don't even know that I believe the story she gave on your panel the other night. So no. I just feel like that Neither was manufactured I. too. Yeah, Heels, I think <laughs> actually did a video a long time ago about the connection with Kim with WSU Kim and the creators that were showing her on panel. I'm trying to scroll through her videos to see if I can find it. Who did one? Uh, Heels did. Heels in the air, if I oh, remember really? correctly. Didn't you, Heels? I'm pulling that from memory, but I'm pretty sure you did one showing those creators connected. Yeah, body. Um, that's what I'm starting to... Um, that's from what I'm understanding now, but... I. It's just so... It's frustrating. It's so frustrating. And it and you feel like when you debunk trolls or when you, you know, debunk misinformation or any of that, you feel like you are walking uphill through quicksand sometimes. Or like you're chewing Oreos while you're brushing your teeth. It's just like you're mm -hmm. getting nowhere sometimes. And they come out quicker than you can debunk them. It yeah, it is, you know, like and if if she genuinely believed that, you know, like I think it's a very big lesson to learn because that's a that's the entire point right is you need to be very careful you need to be very careful and it's one thing if you believe that person you chose to believe that person and then i'm gonna cover and push it just on on my channel and discuss it with all of you i think where it severely crossed the line though is when it's directly being communicated to the victim's families. Um, yes. So, but what I can't argue is the paranoia that I do see towards the end of these screen recordings. That this is what I meant by it made Brat look really bad. Um, mm -hmm. So, if we're talking about fabricating messages, I have no idea why all of those would be included because it does not look good on her. And it's clear that that is extreme paranoia. And so it makes you question, did she genuinely believe this? But we need to be like, that's our due diligence as creators with putting like, of course, there's going to be times where we jump too fast or maybe put out information too quickly. And that's going to happen naturally. And we just got to try to do better. But when it comes to things like this, it will, it can, and it will actually hinder investigations. It will impact people. All of the people, innocent people who mm -hmm. were accused of being this murder, like this, mm, so many people were accused of being the killer or killers. And at the end of it, everyone just shuts their laptops and go to bed. What about the damage that was done to them though? Like Everyone remembers the accusation. Nobody re remembers the retraction. I love you said that. I'm. I was yes. totally like, I'm gonna steal that because it is so true. We remember the accusation and not the retraction at all. Yeah. And it's it's such a impactful statement. It really is. Mm -hmm. Like you said, they get to shut their. You know, they come on and they lie on this platform, fabricate this stuff, and implicate real people who are out there trying to live their lives, they shut the computer, they go on with their life, or they show up, you know, months later and hop up on your panel and cry and pretend they're the victim now. He just wants but to what, move on. Yeah. Know, but what really he, happened right. is these individuals had their lives dug into, still are having their lives dug into on a daily basis, anything and everything put out on them. And their only crime, their only involvement is just the fact that they knew for not even just new, but four of their friends were brutally murdered. Mm -hmm. And so they're getting implicated in something because of that. It blows my mind. Well, and all I think about is it's a very dangerous game to play is you need to understand that you're dealing with families who or parents mostly who just have gone through the most unimaginable thing ever. Do you guys, are you guys familiar with um, Marianne Bachmeyer? No. I am not. Okay. So you know. this is always what I imagine when I say 
that when you've accused innocent people, this is what my main issue was with Kim is she went on drunk Turkey show and she named five college, actual legitimate college students, first and last names Mm -hmm. and said they were there. They were the killers. They were involved. Right. I always think about Marianne, Marianne, her daughter uh, was abducted and killed, um, you know, and, and other things. Um, And when he was in court, This is their video is out there. You could watch it. It's the most chilling thing ever because it was I think it was the time for her to do her victim's impact statement. And this mother walks up in the long like pea coat with her hands in her arm in her pockets. And she walks up and with the most expressionless face you can imagine, pulls out the gun and shoots the killer five times. She actually nailed him every time. But they didn't. It was it was older, too. They have it on camera. You can find it right on YouTube. Oh, my and gosh. The, the, the officers, they didn't even, like, tackle her. No, they just walk up to her. And after she's done shooting, she just drops her arm and she just drops this gun. And, like, she her eye contact does not lose it with, with the guy that just, um, yeah. just killed. That is what I imagine every time I think about you are fucking with parents mm-hmm. who just went through the most unimaginable thing and they are not in their right state of mind. And, and again, I'm not saying that in a mean way versus you cannot be in your no, right state no, of mind. No, no, it's, it's right a after horrible that. state of mind. It's a horrible All state of mind. it would take is for them, not in the most logical state of mind, to believe you and then want to take vengeance in their own hand. And I'm telling mm-hmm. you, watch that video of Marianne because when you see the nothingness in her eyes, how easily she was willing right in open court with all cameras recording to, to take that man's life for her child's that you took my child. And I like, I can't express the expressionless face, like the hollowness, but it was a mom who I'm going to get you back, you know? And she right. just, and the way the gun just dropped out of her hand, like she did what she needed to do. It's, it's haunting. It's chilling. It's, beautiful at the same time i know as as horrible i, I know i'm just sitting here but thinking like i i might not agree it with is. her actions but i think we could all it really is. understand you them can find it right on youtube but taken from what you. if steve oh my god what if what if he impulsively what if he was drinking one night and very mm-hmm. impulsively went with what you said and went and killed one of them yeah, because like, he believed your lies. Because he believed what you were saying. 10,000, 100,000%, I believe this is... Li- They're not thinking logically as it is already. They are vulnerable. They are emotional. They're, their brains... Are, like, do not do that. It is dangerous. Put aside the victim's families. But the people you are accusing, that is a very, very dangerous game to play with them. You're putting their lives in danger. You're putting their yes. loved ones' lives in danger. There's so much there. I just, I, yes. I don't understand it. Like, I know a lot of people say, oh, it's for clout. It's for attention. Any attention's good attention. And, and I understand what you're saying, but I just could not imagine getting up on a platform and flat out lying about my association to a crime and implicating completely innocent people. I don't know what type of person you would have to be to be willing to do that. Well, and now Kim's like, well, you know, I don't know if Brian's innocent or guilty, you know? Yeah. Like, I have, And it's like, wait a second. No, that's what made me so, so mad. New yep. You put those names out. I still have it in my notes because I was so shocked. And I wrote down the names that you, these are people, these are students. What are, like, what are you doing? This isn't, hey, I allegedly think more people are involved or based on what my child has told me, this is what I, I'm kind of, you put those names out there without mm-hmm. any hesitation. That is so dangerous because these victims' families, mm, I'm telling you, watch the video of Marianne and, and you'll understand because that's mm-hmm. always what goes through my mind is right there, that moment. She got justice for her daughter and any of these parents want to do the same. And they, all they have to do is just take one thing you say and run with it. So I finally found it. It took me a hot minute to find the heels Mm -hmm. in the air video, (laughs) but I don't know. I, here, I can play it real quick. We can see what's in here because I know heels won't mind. 
I'll grab the link for it. Let me speed it back up. I got it down on. Oh, no, I didn't. I thought it was down on. It does, oh, but as soon as you go to a new video, it goes back to normal. Oh, good, good, good. I've, I've always kind of thought of Steve as like Liam Neeson in the movie Taken, like doing yeah. anything to get his daughter. Right. I will find you. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I don't blame him. Like some of his outbursts and some of the things that he said, like sometimes I was like, dude, rein it in. But I right. also, there's that other side that's like, I totally understand because if that right. was my baby, I don't know what the fuck I would do either. I'm just, I don't there. agree with a lot that Steve does. But mm -hmm. I don't judge him for it because I can't even imagine my state of mind. You know, like I can understand. I don't have to agree, but I understand. Yeah. Everybody agrees differently. And we're talking about different personalities as well. Absolutely. They have a different approach to it. Mm -hmm. You know what, Heels? I looked all through your videos and I couldn't find it. And then I'm like, duh, just go to your history. So I found it in my history. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that works. So I don't know what in here if it tells us how are they all connect. So it might be more about them being connected, but mm -hmm. it might be a little interesting. Watch this real quick before we get into Dot coming up during the messages on Melissa's channel. That was that was something. That was really interesting. I yeah. don't know how you. Uh, I don't hmm. know what I would have done in that situation. We'll leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> you did good. Thank you. Olivia acts like she just met her, doesn't really know her. So the purpose of this video is to show she does know them. And I think she knows JLR better than any of them. But the one thing I found funny was how Kim says, it's too bad JLR can't get a legit job because he was in prison. Well, JLR never says he doesn't have a legit job. He never tells anyone that. JLR always says he works for a real uh, media company. Only someone that knows him would know he doesn't really have a legit job because he doesn't. Um, I will give him that his YouTube is apparently turning out to be a job. I will give him that and Olivia, not so much that other one. I mean, tragedy pimping is a real job, right? So with Kim and you had some things, you know, come out from her. Are you going to be uh, putting anything with her or any of the comments that she made? Yeah, I have something I'm putting together. Um, I'm going to give you credit in the beginning because she was the, you were, you guys are the first ones that she called into. Um, so Kim, we have a question from our chat. Um, some, some folks are wondering, did you mention that there was two cars at one point outside? Or So my, I, my belief is that there's two cars. That's what I believe. I believe right, one but you don't have anything concrete well, about it. Well, there's a car on the road, yeah. Yeah, you are. Okay. And um, I don't know why they're not sharing that name, but they all know whose car it was. Thank you, Mark. Right? So, all, you know, oh, I agree. you can say whatever you want about JLR. For some reason, she transitions over to JLR after saying that about the Elantra. But I don't know why. So she knows whose cars they are. She's seen this picture. I I don't believe that for one second. And I, I get where Heels was going with that because she goes to JLR. So is it something that she got from JLR? Probably. Oh, I agree. You can say whatever you want about JLR. I don't care. He owns his shit. He did his time. He did his time. He is. And watch other expressions change after she talks about texting them and uh, talking to them before. If you want somebody to dig something up, Check, like, oh, mind it. oh my like honest to god it's too bad he went to prison and he can't get a, like a legit job because he's a felon because he's brilliant i'm thinking to myself how did you find that i'll shoot him something and he'll find it and he'll pop up and i will and i shoot to you all the time right I, all, all of you guys expressions are priceless i i shoot discreet, discreet with discretion i have four people i shoot to you too mm -hmm. him and uh Olivia. Uh, what? thank you for coming out tonight thank you you're welcome much. my friend you're welcome. If you give me your number, I'll shoot you text too because I shoot det the detective all day long. If I see it, I shoot it. Sue him. Yeah, Why not? I'm drunk. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Called into the drunk turkey show. And they did a good job of that. So does anybody believe that for one second that she is, you know, I, I mean, I believe the part where she is sending out this information to other content creators, but the part of her talking with a detective directly, why the heck would she talk to the detective directly why would a detective talk to her she's nobody to this case you all nobody she doesn't remember the name though no yeah but she talks mm -hmm. to him all day every day she shoots him she shoots all the time. him all the time come on but, but no subpoena no sworn uh statements affidavit no nothing statement. nothing mm -hmm. nothing hey t how's it going love Oh my goodness. Was it text? Was it Snapchats? Was it calls? What was it? Probably Snap. She it snapped that in the detective. 
<laughs> I believe that. Oh, was I echoing? So sorry. So sorry. Okay, let me mute again. Betting her. There was certain validation that needed to be done. Now, the person that called us in stated that she had a daughter and a son that attended WSU and they had friends and a roommate that were close to the situation. I called the FBI on the 13th, actually, because I knew my daughter received the text. Every that is also true. She had received the text by 10 a.m. Kim mentioned to me that she talks very fast. So let's be nice in the comment section. You can slow down the speed of this video if you would like. All the Wazoo's records or the Poland police records are like, things are missing. So um, yes, the hit and run I knew about. And but there's something else that occurred and I'm not quite sure. I literally, I truthfully honestly- What's up, Molly? Not been on Molly yeah, Hill, right? Something else missing. My keys, my keys are missing. I have- So I see where you're going with that, Heels, that there's a possibility that they were all talking beforehand or absolute, at least during. So that kind of goes back to what you were saying, Melissa. You don't know when uh, everybody was not necessarily in on it, but how did you word it just a minute ago? Like, at least we're aware. Well, at least, you know, like, I don't know if they were in on it from the beginning or over time, you know, like they were individuals, but then somehow aligned together because, mm -hmm. hey, well, I'm doing this and you're giving me, they gave each other credibility. So at first it was just Kim. Well, actually Justin, but Justin didn't get as much traction as everybody else. But Kim came out and then when Dave came out, it gave Kim credibility, right? And right. even though Dave didn't go as deep as everything else, but then Dot came out. Dot gave Kim credibility. See, I told you these are the exact people I said were there. And now somebody else is coming out saying that they were there. They witnessed. And just like Kim, Dot evolved too. Whatever her starting okay. story was evolved into so much more until she eventually was in the car. She was in the car and at the scene of the murders. Like, first of all, the truth doesn't change. The closest to the truth is always going to be at the beginning. The truth does not change. So why is it that only after months, then whole, you know, Demetrius and Emma theories came out, accusations came out. And then somehow Kim directly involves Emma and Demetrius, and they were there the whole time. And it's like, wait a second, if that is true, it wouldn't have taken people putting them out. We didn't know about them yesterday. You would have been saying that from the beginning. But again, the freaking Kimball weed just growing and growing and growing. But I think I don't know if they were together the whole time. I'm starting to put at least a couple of them together from the beginning. Um, but Ooh. I don't know. And then it's as far as the creators, at least I could see a motive with the creators because the motive would be clicks, views, money, subs, growth. I yeah. don't versus peep the independent people, but I'm also getting receipts and, and some talk about money being involved with this too. So I don't, I don't know, you know, I'm, I'm trying to put it together. Money. See, and I, uh, I don't agree with, it's hard how to say this. Like, I don't agree with it at all, but I can see the creator motive. Like you were saying, I don't see the individual's motive, but to continue the fabrication, the creator motive is absolutely the worst. If their motive is truly clicks, views, subs, tragedy, pimping, bad actors, whatever you want to call them to know that they are harming these families and then reaching out to them and yeah. harming them even more, it I goes beyond bad acting and tragedy pimping, in my opinion. It goes beyond that. I don't, I, that's just evil. Get off it's Melissa evil. Jade's panel. She's ripping you apart. Da, da, da. <laughs> well, that's because I won't, you know, you won't be able to continue to host her <sighs> if she's but debunked right now. And what's right. the motive? If this was about truth, what like come on if it was about truth you would have no problem with that but if it's about well crap every time i get her on my panel my subs you know skyrocket my views are going crazy mm -hmm. and i'm getting shit done of super chats that's gross like and i have the screenshots like when i saw that i'm like that's gross because i was just asking very reasonable questions just trying to get down if kim's story is legit you wouldn't be nervous of being questioned every way up way because when it's right. the truth, you don't have to remember. It's going to be consistent. It's the truth. But that was an issue. It, it holds itself for sure. And, and there's this thing, like, I don't mind. Um, there's a couple. Uh, I'm sure there's a couple. There's only one. I can, there's one I can think of specifically where I put out um, a debunking video and I had something wrong in it. And I had a couple other creators come and tell me, like, hey, it's not that. It's this. 
I appreciate that when it happens, when someone's like, and here's the proof and here's the reasoning why, like me asking, you know, that question earlier to crime sleuth. And it's like, look, I'm not asking you to accuse you of anything. It's just like, if you can't show me the proof, I can't just simply can't believe it. it. You know, I just right. need to see the proof of what you're saying to fully go the direction you're saying. There's mm-hmm. nothing wrong with us correcting one another or, you know, fixing the misinformation because in the end, it helps us all get to the bottom of the story, to get to the truth of the matter. Mm-hmm. I don't understand why that becomes a big issue unless this is your cash cow. <laughs> you know, God up on your panel is bringing in the money and you can't let that story change that's a big problem big problem and i sent in private chat there's that 30 second clip of marianne um Mm -hmm. you know if you if you all did see it you know like i said back there it's just 30 seconds um you don't have to play it now if you don't want to but it's good to watch because it's heartbreaking and I'll be honest, like, I actually, I think there's only one person that I truly believe was subpoenaed, even though their stories kind of changed some. And mm-hmm. I do believe Enon was subpoenaed. Mm-hmm. Right. And well, we that was a big thing sense. that I learned through you guys was, you know, she's, and, and I get what T say. I'm like, it's, I, I said the same thing. Like the very first time I heard, heard her story, I'm like, nobody's going to believe this. Mm-hmm. There's no point in it. wasting time debunking it. Nobody's going to believe it. And then everybody started believing it. And I'm like, so many people. What is wrong it. with you all? But the thing I learned through you guys the other night was that uh, Kim's kid wasn't even subpoenaed. Kim wasn't even like, how is they even signed a sworn statement? With she is supposed to be out here. Them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Advocating for students to speak up. Please don't be scared. I'm going to take you under my my wing. If you know Mm -hmm. something, say something. If you saw something, say something. Oh, my daughter. Oh, no, no, no. She's not. She she said no. She's not. Are you kidding me? But first of all, even if what you're saying is true, it wouldn't be a choice. She'd be subpoenaed. But you're telling me you're lead, you're advocating for all of the students who saw something. You're advocating and asking all of these kids to put themselves in danger as you say it to speak up and your own child won't even sign a sworn statement. No, mm-hmm. no. I won't even sign a, swor- a sworn statement. They're not even subpoenaed to testify. Yeah, definitely a Kimball Weed moment. Absolutely. <laughs> it so is. Just blows my mind. And then to find out that there is a strong possibility that Dot is brought in to validate her story, to continue yep. that narrative, to continue the spin. Come on, yep. y'all. This is wild. Yep. Well, and, and so, I, oh, go ahead, babe. I was going to say, I also kind of feel like there's some who just don't want us to talk about it and keep on moving like it didn't happen. But you can't pretend like it didn't happen. There's a lot of people that have been on, have hosted them or been on panels with them um, that have had questions. Some have signed off on it. Some have not. But regardless, I mean, you have the Paramount series. You have a whole new world of people that have probably just stepped into this case. Yes. And it's a hit piece mm-hmm. full of conspiracies. I didn't see a bun. I didn't see a handful of um, creators outside of maybe one or one or two that I probably would respect and think that are putting out more legitimate facts in the case. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the debunk series was just kind of crazy that we've gone through, and I don't know if it's because of the um non-dissemination order and or gag order that like it's caused people to just you know go down the furthest of rabbit holes yeah but it's brought on a lot of different characters a lot of people that you think that could be connected may not be and there's so and you find out there's so many different groups of people deets like you Mm -hmm. got like your twitter true crime people your reddit people your tiktokers Mm -hmm. your facebookers yeah that's how there are so many like we think we're in this small little bubble of true crime but we're not there are so many different like i said earlier uh subsectors or different streets if you if you will that are doing the, the exact same thing we're doing it's just we got to find them you know so it but it's crazy there's there's more kims out there there's more dots out there 
in in Idaho's case alone, and then expand that to every case. That's what there I would say. Like, and thoughts in every case. When we were talking about Fred Hill and and Andy Renard, they are at least one of them is the Kim and Dot of that situation. It is insane. We How saw I- it with the Watts case, with the Trent Boltons. Okay, it went crazy with the Idaho case. Why this is also important, you know, besides all the other reasons we already discussed, is to educate yourself. There are so many, okay, mainstream media has now taken a back seat. It's social media people go and they get their information from. Mm-hmm. And social media is a double-ended sword. I, you know, I've said it before that yeah. what one of the most amazing things about social media is that we are not restricted with what we say. But one of the worst things about social media is we are not restricted by what we say. <laughs> you know, so it's, true. It's both. It works in our benefit and it works against us. And so I need people because what I saw with this case, what I saw with the Watts case too, but really with this case in real time as a creator, I'm like, people are trusting the creators that they're watching. They do not vet information for themselves, but there are so many creators that are in it for the wrong reasons and are willing to lie to you. And that is what I'm trying to show with that, mm-hmm. all that debunkable and, and the series that me and Shay were doing. It's that they are willing to lie to you. And then I saw a decent amount of people who just accepted Kim and Justin because who could possibly lie about something like that if they weren't involved? That is why it's important to see this because people are, I can't answer you why, but mm-hmm. they are. And so let's, fast forward to when this case ends, but it's the next big case, please like be educated and understand that it has law enforcement court. The system has not caught up to social media yet. And so people will do this type of stuff for whatever reason. And so you Mm -hmm. need to not only vet the information vet the creator or source you're getting it from and still do not take it as fact and just be aware that people are willing to do this. And yeah. I think that's important for beyond this case. It, it's I say it often, trust but verify. Like, I can trust you, but I'm going to go verify what you told me. Okay. I'm going to go verify the truth of the matter. And everyone should do that. And, yeah. and you shouldn't take, you know, MJ and Shay's word as they're nope. doing this debunking series. You shouldn't take my word as I'm saying something tonight. Go and verify it exactly. for yourself. Everyone should. And rarely do people actually go do that? Yep. <laughs> it's so crazy. And and so Sofa King Crazy, I <laughs> love that name, by the way. Justin, Kim, Clay. I don't even know who Clay is. Oh, those. I've been getting emails from Clay uh, from the beginning yeah. of this case. And actually, that's going to be something I'm getting into tomorrow, that mm-hmm. there's some connections here and some of the creators that are doing nonstop videos with information they're they're leaking out yeah. um are getting it from from clay or okay. natalie all right so natalie clay. on my boyfriend's computer yeah. is that something to do with clay that's, that's how not- she yeah that's literally how she signs the emails <laughs> Interesting. There's a interesting. There's a Natalie in another case. Mm. I'm kind of following right now. So what? A, probably not the same. But I was just kind of interesting. Van Life and Michelle Lee. Those two I'm extremely aware of. Extremely. Oh yeah. Dot Dago C J Frank Willie Rory Stevie slash Four Chan Mabel Baker. Don't know who that one is. Harry Dalton and are all a part of the Kimbleweed clan. Wow. Uh. Willie is not many. I don't know who Willie is, but Shay says no, not Willie. (laughs) No, Willie's not. Oh my goodness. They do. Willie's just (laughs) Willie. They do, T. They just buy the bullshit freely. Freely, freely. I don't see anything wrong with having a theory. No, there's yeah, absolutely nothing wrong with having a theory. There's not even anything wrong with speculating. If you, in my opinion, if you are clear with your speculation and if your speculation stems from facts that you have put together and put out, there's, you have to speculate based on facts. Don't speculate based on speculation. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to get nowhere. Absolutely. Absolutely. Cause then you're just deep in the conspiracy. Then you're just way (laughs) too far off. (laughs) Sophie (laughs) steals people's change though. (laughs) Does she? Ah. (laughs) <laughs> I love that. 
so she still has her doubts on what i don't know who willie is i guess we'll have to i'll have to figure out who willie is so he used willie. to be a panel guest mm -hmm. every live basically on my channel and he was uh somebody who went to school with brian koberger um and he was just he would just heavily debate that basically i don't in my opinion i don't think he was able to in digest and interpret the the pca correctly but he'd just be one gotcha. of those that um you know they have nothing they have nothing there's nothing there yeah. gotcha. there's nothing there there's nothing there. gotcha. the is friends this... oh, the friends coming out let me just say this real quick before she says her thing that like just always have you know just be aware of red flags and if it if it doesn't feel right, it's probably not when it pertains to friends speaking out surrounding a case. That's all I have to say. Just be careful with that. Mm -hmm. I was Shane. just going to say, I took Willie more as, you know, he wasn't like close friends with Brian. Mm -hmm. um, he has friends that were, but I think that he had a likeness to um brian's mother as a teacher at the school and had a lot of respect for her gotcha. and i think that it was more like you know how could this person do this you know like is it really this person and i think it's just kind of hard to believe in my opinion for him um given you know just knowing the mom the family so i didn't take it as he was coming with insider scoop he knew all of this stuff just loosely connect who was that one girl that came out on tiktok right after koberger was arrested knowing him and the fam do you guys remember her yeah casey Ernst. like i still have the tiktoks yeah. and that's so she is one of the ones he knows that willie right knew. and she Will showed proof of it yes yeah so, willie I mean, knew her, her brother Okay. Okay. So that, that puts some strings together for me because she, she was legit. She's like, I don't really know a whole lot about him now. And this is what I knew then. And I'm flabbergasted. Those type of friends coming out are the ones that I'm like, okay, that makes sense, you know, but it's the ones that can drone on and on for hours and panels and panels and panels and basically tell you, <laughs> oh, we saw this coming a mile away, but did nothing to stop it are the ones you have to <laughs> watch out for. Yeah. Yeah. I think the I think the friends probably got the most coverage. Uh, I think I believe Nancy Grace did um, an exclusive kind of behind the Fox News paywall, mm -hmm. um, and I tried to get in there to like watch it at least. But that was probably the most in depth like friends of BK kind of um, stuff I've seen outside of a few articles and some interviews. Yeah, but it just didn't seem like from a lot of the stuff I've. Red had been like very current close relationships with him, which I always kind of found interesting in the dynamics of Brian. Hmm. I do like that. So go ahead. Let me ask the chat, put a one in chat. If you do not know who dot is, I'm sure everybody knows by now, but I just want to make sure there's not some random person who does not know who dot is. What did pepper say? Well, Harlot said they just went to the same school at the same time, but a couple of years apart. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. They think you're dumb when you question their wild conspiracy theories. That is the worst. <laughs> okay, so Heels is the old... Heels, you don't know who dies? Criminality, hush up. I know you know who dies. <laughs> hey, yeah, how are you, love? Um... <laughs> She's the one random person who has no clue who does. So Dot came out. I pulled this up, and it's just at a random time stamp here. Let me go grab. I pulled up one of the panels Dot was on back in the day on Rory's panel. In case there was one person who didn't know who Dot was. Um, let's see. When was this? Where's the date? Why am I not? Oh, August 1st. Ironically, that's right around the time uh, Brat took those screenshots. So this here in the bottom corner is Dot. And then I'll explain a little bit of how she was exposed after this. But I'll let you hear. Just, oh, just oh, sorry. Think, just noticing who's on that panel talking about misinformation. <laughs> conspiracies being spread. Just pointing it out there. 
Now is um that one girl that hopped up? Is she on this one or was that was she no. on another one? Uh, on we, another Riley one. Lively. Um, no, not Riley. The one that hopped up on your panel the other rabbit. night. Rabbit. 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 I don't see her on here. I don't see her on this one. Yeah, that says murder. Out. Okay, so maybe that was a different one of that you were playing. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh, I just grabbed a random timestamp just so people could hear some of the things that Dot was spewing. Mm -hmm. And the big Dot reveal happened not long after this, and we were over in TikTok watching it live. Were you <laughs> <was> nuts? Yes, <laughs> it was nuts. I was like, oh my god. Oh, I can I can grab uh, I can grab that video too. We can play it after this vulnerable point that i had in my life you know so he was a very never pressed me never was like somebody who was pressing me of anything she was just like very welcoming and i really appreciated that and i developed a a, a communication with her and she's always been very nice to me and she has expressed a little bit about the things that she thinks about the case but she's always it just seems like she's just wanted to figure things out and get justice that's from what i've seen i don't i don't see what other people see you know okay so i do have to ask you a question so brat claims that you know who did it and that they planned it for months and that you were on around it's just what i had in the recording so would you be able to elaborate on that please um you said that you have you said you have me on recording so you. no 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 not you i oh. this is the first time we've ever talked right Okay. I'm, okay. I'm sorry. Can you please repeat no, that? Okay. So I have a recorded conversation between me and Brad and okay. about you. Okay. <laughs> and so what she's saying is that you told her that you know who did it and that they planned it for months and that you were, I don't want to say involved, but at the scene. So right. can you elaborate on that? If that's yeah, I can't. I, won't, I don't want to speak on that right now. Um, I'm going to, um, I'm going to refrain from speaking on that that's fine. to protect, to protect myself and her because Okay. Like I acknowledge the stuff that she has done to help me, and I think it's only fair to do that. Okay, um, Doc, can I ask you a question, please? Sure. So, if you want to keep yourself safe and and Brad, because you told her this, she has now shared that with Roy. Okay. Number one, number two, she's aired it on a live, nine hundred people watching live, and I have it. Yeah. So, what are you protecting her from? Are you like afraid of Brad? Because I'm just confused on why everybody wants to protect the person that is causing such an issue and accusing family members and unknown people and saying things that people are saying that are not true. Exactly. Yeah, so, like, so, so, what I can say is, is that um, I am like Brad is her own person, and she makes her own decisions. I have never. She has never done anything to me or said anything to me that has been um, something that was hurtful. And she's been. So I just grabbed her. Does she go on to explain more detail on this one or not? But you kind of get the gist of what Rory was saying earlier that prior to this, that Brat have released a ton of information that supposedly came from Dot. And then Dot ends up releasing it as well. And they are implicating these innocent people, these innocent bystanders and saying that they have something specific to do with the murders themselves. Yeah. Dot claimed that um, she was at the apartments next mm -hmm. door um, for a party the night of the murders that they heard blood curdling screams and using Dot's words, it would be, um, like being mauled by a bear. Okay. Those are her words. Um, and early in the morning hours, she went outside to smoke a cigarette and that's when she observed Emma Bailey, Demetrius, mm -hmm. Dylan, and a couple others standing around smoking a joint in the backyard of the 1122 as if nothing happened. Here we go again. You literally are directly naming innocent people in this as, as of now, innocent people in this crime. Mm -hmm. um, and Dot says, I never said that they were involved in the murder. No, no, you know exactly what you're doing. And then Dot's story evolved into, I was literally in the car driving, you know, like for the, for the murders, like directly involved. Um, but yeah, this is Riley's video. This is great.
Right. So here is Riley Lively, and she does a great. Oh yeah, people were spreading this. People still believe Dot. They, I yeah, get comments. Still, people believe Dot. Yeah, they still do. And a lot of the information that Dot spread out, people, even if they don't believe Dot. They, I don't even think some of them realize that their information that they're spreading came from Dot. So it's it's wild that it's still happening to this day. Okay, I've got to move, so let me play this real quick. Was that a party, you know, at the apartments nearby? Now I'm going to tell you who Dot is, okay? They have fabricated this entire story to help push misinformation that Brian Koberger is innocent and other people might be responsible. They're helping push the narrative of Emma Bailey. Um, I know Emma was there. And Emma's boyfriend. And they got mad at me on Brat Norton's live last night and yelled at me because how dare I question them. No, hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. It is disgusting to me. It is literally disgusting to me that somebody like you. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Brayden a longtime troll of various creators across TikTok who spews lies and makes things up for attention. You say everything about me, you talk about me, you degrade me, you put me down, but I'm not allowed to speak my mind. I'm allowed to speak how I feel. What about how the families of the victims feel in Moscow, Idaho, or the friends or the surviving roommates of you, Brayden, coming up with lies? How do you think they feel? How do you think the entire community of Moscow feels? Sorry, I had to switch my headphones out though. You're fine. Your girl's still with me. I'm that right is I'm the here. troll hunter debunking Dot did was she the first to debunk Dot? She um, went on um, because when Dot was on Bratz TikTok, well, so like the TikTok lives you are guys different. Hear me. I had to yes. swap out headphones. I don't know if. I think there's like this. Hang on one second. I think there's just kind of like a small group of them and Riley kind of led the forces there, you know? Yeah, Riley. Um, so TikTok, unlike Hello. YouTube, can you hear us? Are we working now? Yes. Yay. Can you hear us? Oh, I can't hear anything. I guess not. Oh. No, yay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, unlike youtube when you're on a tiktok live it doesn't say like you can't rewind or anything but what was it brayden had uh i think it was first his voice or he had a cam slip or something that people in the chat was saying oh my god that's brayden that's brayden and so riley posted a video saying anybody with any information on who this is reach out and then that's when it was she posted this video that it was meet brayden and so yeah she was the first as far as posting actually the information. Yeah, it was after, so after um, Riley confronted on that live uh, dot, the dot got off and fired up the live and then had a cam slip and fell asleep. Mm -hmm. It was wild. So I saw that and everybody's like, what's going on here? But look, I think at me, the look at me. Look at me. This is my panel now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Where's Deets on the motherfucker? <laughs> I love that line. Look at me. Look at me. I'm the captain now. <laughs> um, dude, this it's 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 a rabbit hole. But I'm starting. I didn't even get a chance to talk to you about it yet, Shay. Today, but I'm starting to make connections with dot and justin actually and i like with kim i see kim is the only one 
so far that like I'm like, all right, there's maybe, and I mean, she spoke about this last night, you know, like maybe there's the smallest little nugget of truth at the bottom of what she's saying, but something as tiny as her daughter heard about something happening at the King Road house prior to 911 being called. You have to take into account that friends were summoned to the home prior and ever they all lived like walking distance away. Like it's, everyone is walking distance away. And so there was communication, you know, like we know that. So is it logical to think that with the way that social media is and how fast these kids message that people didn't hear something was happening at King road before 12 o'clock even hit. I think it's possible, not the extent that Kim's claiming as far as like, I think it all depends on how much earlier and not the extent of we know who's dead, the injuries, things like that. And so is it possible that that happened via Snapchat? But sure, that's possible. And I do think that it's likely that um, Dylan and Bethany were communicating back and forth during those hours. But it could have been something as small as her daughter shared with her. Yeah, like we heard something was going on. And then she pushed and she pushed. And then she Kimble weeded her way where all of a sudden it evolved and evolved. And every panel she went on, she picked up another weed. And every every Reddit post she went through, she picked up three more. And then it just, oh my God, she's the biggest Kimble weed out there now. You know, like, and she keeps rolling. <sighs> Can you hear us? Yes. Can you hear okay. me now? Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you for holding it down. I was lost in your story. I love that you explained I, it. So sorry about that. I can agree with you to an extent, Melissa, but this is where I still come to an issue with is her kids went to Wazoo. I don't think her kids would have known about it that soon. Mm -hmm. Maybe within the sororities and fraternities at U of I, right. finding out a little sooner. Mm -hmm. But the Kim piece, I think she inserted herself <laughs> after the Brent Kopaka situation. That's when she changed, in my opinion. I'm trying to highlight Bendy Lou's comment, and I'm not. This isn't my stream yard. But <laughs> yes, Bendy. She's the snowball in Gypsy Rose's interrogation video. Exactly. That's exactly what she is. Sorry, there's like kids popping up in the backstage. So I'm like banning them. Kids? <laughs> Bendy Lou, let me see. Yeah. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Literal kids? Yeah. Uh, doesn't appear to be more than 12, 13 years old. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So, no, no, not today. Not, not today. Not today. My goodness. Where are your parents? <laughs> yeah. So, I'm guessing by now, now that I've finally got that whole mic and headphone situation figured out, uh, that you've thoroughly explained who Dot is. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So, we'll put on. Yep. so they, as Melissa and Shay are going through the leaked messages and they are just, again, egregious messages. Mm -hmm. Dot shows up, but now Dot is Henry A. And then I noticed as I was looking at this just now, they've changed their name again, huh? To Oh, did they? Yeah. Now. Oh, it, yes. I'm, yes. Stranger than fiction. That's what yeah. they came under yesterday. Yes. Stranger than fiction over here. And with her. With their actual picture, though. Yes. And I don't know if you're going to play the part. I don't even remember if it was a different live. But when I had that rabbit hole up and rabbit hole was. um, I do plan on if you're okay, okay. with that. That's on the next. Yeah, one. go for it. You can okay, play whatever good. you want. Yeah, I want to play a little bit of that, too. Um, But this first time that Doc comes up, they had been in the chat for a while. And finally, you gave him the link and said, okay, come on up. And you could actually, I think you could click on the name and then see just only their comments. Uh, I don't they have this new feature. I think that's only if you're, um, mm -mm. or is it for everyone? I, okay, I don't, to be fair, I don't know. I don't know. But them. Oh, well, I'd have to go back a little bit. Hang on. There, wait, no. Mm. Might have went back too far. I know I can do it as a mod. Yeah. yeah. I might have to. Henry. 
Well, I said their name, so there they are. Yeah. Right so that's just reporter block. Yeah, no, I can just do a reporter block. I think it is only if you're like a mod. Okay. Or channel owner. Yeah. I do like that new feature that is. Yes, pretty. it's cool. Yeah. So here they're saying, I didn't say many of those things. They were really frustrated because she's reading through, Melissa's reading through a part where, um, what's her name? Brat is saying that Dot had told them all of these things. And so then Dot comes into MJ's chat and is saying, that's not me. I didn't say that. You know, she's making it up. It's just an extremely wild situation. Extremely wild. I'd like to come forward with my receipts of how things transpired because yeah. Brett has made up so many lies. I'm willing to go on the record with the real truth. <laughs> Did they ever provide you with any receipts? I got about... um eight receipts last night and there was Ooh. no context with it but uh, when I say receipts I, like like they sent me something but right. in no way so far have uh it's other people's messages and again it's it's claims of being paid and and screenshots mm -hmm. of a PayPal but it does not show like I see like a five dollar and 92 cent like charge like it, it's <laughs> not what I, I don't know what it is. So I emailed them back and I'm like, I need you to give me some context here. Oh um, I guess I got to check my email again. But yeah, it wasn't anything that showed anything. Nothing of and anything. And I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Like if, if something comes through that does show something, you know, like I'll give it to it. But you could ask Shay because I even showed her. I'm like, what, what is this? You know, like I don't, I couldn't even make sense of it. Yeah. It was kind of hard to understand. So it probably is absolutely nothing. If they can't give you concrete proof of like, mm -hmm. you know, just saying like, hey, Doc, go in and do this. My guess is it didn't happen that way. Well, there, she didn't provide that receipt, but we did show the receipt of Brat um, saying, come into my live chat and say the DoorDash driver is redacted. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm collecting other receipts right now that to put some context to that because apparently there's another side to the story. Ooh, really? You mm -hmm. guys are going to have to check out her live tomorrow night. Sounds like it's going to be really good. Let's see. Let's play a little bit of this. Let me move. This is the one where we're yelling. <laughs> yeah, we apologize. We yelled. Hey, I have no, re no regrets. The stuff that Heather's saying. You know, I'm saying that there's a lot of stuff that Brad is saying that was said okay, Brad. and it didn't happen. And like at the end of the day, I made a lot of mistakes and um, I'm not here for people to believe me or anything, but um, I didn't say 90% of what is being said in those messages. And I just don't think it's fair. You know, like if you want okay. the truth, you can have the truth, but I don't think it's fair for her to say these things upon me and I didn't really say those things, you know? Okay. Did, she, did she ask to record you, though? No, she never did. And, like, the whole story, how everything played out is nothing of what she's portraying it to be. And I'm not saying that I didn't make mistakes at, at all whatsoever. I'm not. I'm just okay. saying that it, it's, like, now that these things are coming, like, these are very criminal things that are being said. And, like, I don't want to have any part of them. Okay. So, and thank you, Amac. <laughs> talk and welcome let's let's start here how did you reach out to brad so this is the honest truth i met brad in a 4chan um i was in i was in a 4chan when all of this this the entire thing started um when people were trying to figure out what was going on um with the idaho 4 case and i was in a 4chan and i was talking to somebody in a 4chan there was when a lot of people were speculating about a lot of different things in theories. And there was a chat that I was in and that's where I met Brad. And mm -hmm. um, she shared her theories and I shared mine. And that's where we became acquainted with each other. And then how did it evolve into, I was there. I was Right. There. Right. Well, yeah. So um, there was a person that talked to me and um, this was, this was on me. This was my stupidity. And um, I should have never, you know, um, believed this person or um, took it for face value. But Brat was telling me that this person was telling the truth, but they didn't want to come forward and they needed somebody to come forward um, with what they were saying because they wanted to be protected. 
Um, and that nobody, if I came forward with it, that nobody would really question me because nobody knew me and nobody would recognize my voice or anything like that because it wasn't this person. And there is so much to unpack with just that like little section there. Right. Ooh. Concocting this huge story to, and again, these are just, you know, dots. What they are alleging is that this was all put together to protect the actual person, the yes. actual person who was there and did all these things. So to me, this isn't, coming clean it's absolutely just more and more deflection on this troll's part well and she said these messages are 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 criminal these, these could be criminal. you know what do you think you did but mm -hmm. when i said you are hindering an investigation and you're impersonating someone because she took on the identity of a legitimate person she said how is that illegal when i was asked i was like you could ask to someone could ask me to murder someone i'm still going to be held accountable it doesn't make it illegal because i was asked you know but that <laughs> is dot's logic and her logic gets crazier as we go along in this right now yeah. just let him talk a little that's it's, great it's like she just it's like um sorry i think they said that dot goes by he so he okay thank you sorry i thought it was she but i, I think they go by they they okay well they. down um, in the chat there some of the tiktokers say that on his tiktok that he, he says he, he goes by he okay here's the problem uh, when originally i say she because originally dot was a female so right. i once i associate something like then it's hard to like you know think so i don't say it disrespectfully but that's yeah. she came out as a girl's identity so I, yeah. I'll go with they. Like I said, I didn't mean no disrespect there because like you asked the other night what the yes. preferred pronoun was and there was yes. no response. There was no there. answer. I tried. I will go with they for sure. And I will, there's I will no disrespect too. intended by any of us by that at all. We just don't know what we're supposed to use. So Yeah, I think that I don't don't believe me, right? That is such a weird mentality. I think with Dot, it's just so frustrating because it's the lack of like awareness of what the impersonation part of it was that really mm -hmm. bothered us. Like, and that they're more upset that, you know, they weren't aware that this got to Steve, not that it even got to Steve and what the effect was. It was, it was very frustrating. Well, and I noticed, and only when I listened back to a bit while I was trying to clip some of it, that she contradicts herself because at first she said she had no idea that brat was even talking to steve then she she'll later say that mm -hmm. well she told me she was talking to steve but i didn't even really believe it you know like i didn't take her seriously so wait so she told you but you didn't take it seriously because that's what you said you had no idea and if you did know it was getting to steve that you would have never done this mm -hmm. but then she justify i'm sorry they justify it all at the end by saying well steve didn't even believe it anyway how do you know what steve believed or not and does that at all minimize your actions what about the other people even if he didn't believe it the fact that if he believed it for a millisecond, like, or even pondered, like, is what this person saying is true? That's too much in my book. But what about the people that were implicated? There's just nothing. There's no remorse. That's what I'm seeing here from Dot. There is no remorse. No yes. Accountability. And there absolutely zero accountability. Dot is Brayden, which is why they have the B here. They've also shown up in chat has Henry A and now Stranger Than Fiction. So... Uh, lots of interesting names. And we've noticed that with Kim, too. There's multiple names on the screen. There's mm -hmm. the Luke Carter. And then there was, when she was on your panel originally, it was, was it like JK? Jake, yes. Like, was it like a JK or yeah, Shrine? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was something, or something different, too. So hold up. We can think for, yeah, you can. <laughs> you get to think for other people now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a, a lot of people did because it would just make it a, really easy to speak on it. And then that's not something thrown in your face by Dot either if we if we knew exactly which pronoun they preferred. Okay, let's play a little more. It gets juicier. 
And, um, and I did it. I did it because I thought I was doing something that was going to be helping this other person. Little did I know that all these things were going to transpire and there was going to be this snowball effect. And, and then it was like, I couldn't get out of it because all so many things were being said. And it was like, okay, now I don't know where to go from here, you know? And that's the honest to God truth. And I should have never, I should have never put myself in that position and I should have never trusted somebody. And that's on me, you know, but I don't want to be the way that those messages are portraying a conversation as nothing of what Brat and I talked about. Um, Brat, I have like screen recorded messages that I can send to you in an email where Brat talks about how much she was adamant to send me money. She asked on maybe seven different occasions that she wanted to send me money for a book with Howard. And I said, I don't want any money, nothing. I don't want anything to do with this. I don't want, she offered an alternative TikTok she had for me to get on. I did not want that. I didn't want my face, show, nothing, because I thought I was doing something to help somebody else out. And so, she was all on. about. So that? you're saying that somebody else's story was that this is what they witnessed and you came out and spoke as them. I uh, yeah, I'm saying that they asked, they Brad and that person asked me to tell the story as if it was my own. And that was a really, it was for me, the only reason why I decided, yeah, you know what, I'll go ahead and do it is because I truly, in my heart, I believed so much in what this person was saying and that they were so afraid. And um, I'm like, okay, well, I can have the ability to say this. Nobody knows who I am. And if they did find out, it wouldn't reflect on them. It would reflect on me. So I. So we have to remember, this is just the other night. It's already been proven that Dot Braden Henry is a longtime troll in other communities. So this whole like they wouldn't know my voice, this whole narrative that they're using right now could easily be debunked based on the fact that their voice is out there in other situations. But the thing that I picked up on, I don't know if you guys did, is they want to explain their their motivation. And, and they, they're doing this because they have to keep the other person a secret. But what's the first story that they tell here? It's about the money and the book. Mm-hmm. And then so, so they don't care eventually. They were like, I didn't care ever about a money. No, but you openly admit you were tempted by mm -hmm. the idea of the book. Like, mm. So were you promised something? Or was there, it just seems like a big motivator in a lot of these things. And I'm not saying it happened here because I don't know for a fact. But a big motivator seems to be money. And considering that's like the first thing brought up, it made me a little suspicious. Was somebody asking what doxing? Oh, yes, doxing is to put out their um, personal, their private information, identifying information, et cetera. Yep. With malicious intent. That's the big key there. If it's with malicious intent. They got paid no Henry's. <laughs> they might have. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I honestly hadn't heard of doxing either until youtube because when you're yeah, on yeah. Yeah. facebook and twitter i think most of us are on those platforms under our real names and stuff so it was really weird coming to this where everybody's like freaking out about doxing yeah i always find it funny because they'll confuse it with like public information i'm like no it's private and then also the ones yeah also the ones that'll be like you dox me with my name. I'm like, it's in your cash app link. And you're family. <laughs> you know, like the dumbest stuff. <laughs> it's like, wait, that's there. No, it has to be private information. Absolutely. Your public information is unfortunately fair game. Now, there are people out here on this platform who will tell you that your public information, if it's shared, is doxing, but it's not technically. Swatting, that's a whole... <laughs> oh, my gosh. There's the gaming squatting where, you know, they would call law enforcement and claim something horrible is happening in the home and literal SWAT team would show up at the house, burst in the door. Um, that would be considered swatting. But then there's like this new thing going around, which is calling in wellness checks on people 
for various reasons. And I think that's like a softer form of swatting that's happening around YouTube right now. <sighs> that's a possibility. That's a good possibility. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. The information that I got was exactly from that person, but I told it as my own story. And the reason why I'm coming forward and saying this now is because at the end of the day, like it was a poor decision on my part. And um, I can understand where people come from and thinking like, well, you know, why would this person say this and that and whatever. But like, there's another whole thing that happened and the whole manipulation that I had to deal with, with Brat and stuff like that. And like, people don't know how much I was manipulated. And at the end of the day, I'm a grown person and I could have stepped back and said no, but um, I was vulnerable in what I was going through in my life. And she was glorifying this idea of, you know, Howard Bloom, Howard, she, I'm a writer. Um, she knows I'm a writer. She knew I was a writer and her constantly talking about Howard Bloom is going to get your writings. Howard Bloom will get your writings published and like doing that. Like, yeah, that, that was um, something that intrigued me. It really did. You know, I can't lie and say it wasn't because um, I've been somebody who's been writing for a long time and to have an author like that be interested in me, that intrigued me. So that was part of, um, what was the driving force behind me continuing to talk to her, but she offered me money on several occasions and I turned it down and I even have screen recordings where she said, I've offered this person money on seven different occasions. They turned it down. She offered to cash at me money, like all these things and I turned it down. So if, if I was this person that was just about clicks or views or money, I didn't even have a TikTok. I didn't have a YouTube. I didn't accept any money from her. Like there was no other reason for me to have inserted myself unless I thought I was doing something that helped somebody else really genuinely help this person. And unfortunately <laughs> it was a poor decision, you know? <laughs> me, 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 me. That's all I hear. Like, look at me. I'm the victim now. I was manipulated. I was offered this or that. I was just trying to help. Just me, 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 me. And no remorse whatsoever. None. I, yeah, follow the money. Mm -hmm. It's insane. Totally. And what he, like, they justify, like, why else would I do if, if it was, you know, it's only to help someone out. That's the only logical reason. We have clearly proved that people will do and lie for no other reason than they enjoy doing it. Well, and, you know, they came up to preach about how they're not a bad person and they've taken accountability and, you know, they just want to move on. They don't want to be associated. Meanwhile, when I was going through these messages, I wasn't even focusing on Dot versus Brat no. feeding it to um, Steve. And then I, I, on the first panel, I was like, you, you don't need to like prove this to us. Like you need to make it right with the family. And then conveniently the next live chat that Dot came into said that they already apologized to the family and spoke to the family. Yet you didn't say that the panel before when I was going very <laughs> hard at you that you didn't prove you didn't need because really at the end of the day, where yes, you trolled us as the true crime community. You trolled every but at the end of the day, it's the victims' families that yeah. you need to make it you right. You trolled with. the victims' families right. and you also trolled these innocent people. That's the big exactly. issue. It's, you know, apologies to us mean absolutely nothing as by us, the true crime community as a whole. It's it's those people that have been seriously harmed and hurt by this. They're the ones that need the apology. Exactly. But what it just sounds like Dot adapted. Dot learned that what you yes. wanted from them Humbly was. did it. Mm -hmm. Picked it up yep. along the way. Yep. It tumbleweeded it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm telling you, there are a bunch of tumbleweeds. I know. It's, it's very it's, surprising, maybe. It's the crying and stuff that, like, really throws me off. Like, it makes me concerned, you know, in general. Like, how it got to be to that point. Is where... it in this one or the next live where Dot gets very, like, you might push someone to do something crazy? Like It's this live. It's okay. live. It's, like, that. it's. I think and, it's the second half. Right. Sorry. Um, I don't know. I know at the four-hour mark is when we start to get heated, and then I have a 
timestamp in the comments of the second part is she's not up there long at all. Oh yeah, no, the second part isn't good. It's this part. It's this part. It it's escalates. A, yeah. Yeah. This all is right. the best because this is when she's talking or when um, they're talking the most. The most. They do a long time. All right. But who's, but do you know whose story it was that they were asking you to tell? Well, yeah, it was this. There was a there was a whole thing on 4chan. Like, I have all the messages that this person. Can you send them? Yeah, I can. I can find them and send them to you and email them to you. Yeah, this there was a. It was a. There was a lot of stuff that went on with 4chan. Like, there was a lot of theories being thrown out. But this person, what the story that I told was what they told. They said they were, you know, um, at a party nearby. But see how everything gets twisted is. Even when I told a story for this person, I never said ever that I lived there, ever. Ever that I say that, I specifically said there was a party at an apartment nearby. I never, even even though I was telling the story through that person, I never said I lived there. I never said anything about knowing, being friends with Dylan and all this stuff like that. Like, none of that stuff was said. There is so much stuff that she enhanced and um, made to be bigger like she would, she would text me over and over again and say like, "Hey, I'm about to go live. Um, this is what I want you to say." Or I think Eden is the DoorDash driver. Or um, I think Howard's um working on a book deal with this. I'm going to film for this. Like um, I just need you to be on a three way call for this. Or um, just say this if you even if they say this to you. And like I like I showed receipts to people um about that stuff. And I'm not excusing like what I did in my. So Dot claims they showed receipts to people, but I haven't seen those out there anywhere at all. And you're telling us it's, a, you know, the receipts that you received aren't near what Dot is explaining here. But we did see in those messages where um, Brat did say to Dot, you know, say this in my comment section. And I think... The big reason for that was uh, Brat had explained to Steve earlier in the messages that like there was a, a video that Brat wanted to put out that Steve had given her. Maybe it was just a picture. And she said that the way that she does her sleuthing and her investigating is by putting it out and they get a lot of information from the comment section. That's not sleuthing at all, but that's what Brat claimed there. So I do believe that part where she tells Steve, like, you know, I told dot to do this and so i hadn't seen any other proof that they are alleging good night heather brat now we don't have to worry about saying the wrong brat yeah good night the other brat the other brat <laughs> it feels so bad you, just, you did it a couple of times head. too I, I do it all you the did. time you said heather yeah. brat a few times it's <laughs> like oh no but she's the only brat to me, so. Sorry. I thought brat Norton, like, I don't know, a couple times I, I said Brad. I don't know why. Like, <laughs> the way it flows out of your mouth, like Brad. I don't, not on yeah, purpose. She's, she's brat Norton on TikTok and then beyond the bullshit on YouTube. Right. But she's not extremely active on YouTube, right? No. Uh -uh. I think so. It is a master class on what not to do. As far as sleuthing, investigating, even if you just consider yourself like an information giver out there in the world, don't do it this way. Don't. My part, but I'm saying that like, it was, um, she wasn't this innocent person that was like trolled by me. Like she knew about me from the very beginning. And not only that, but she preyed on knowing my vulnerabilities and that person that was telling their story and use that. And then once I was in with her and talking with her, I started to trust her. And I told her things about my life, my personal life. And she would get into arguments with me and then try to say, Hey, you know what? I, I could tell this about your life. Um, one specific thing, you know, was with my gender, you know, um, and that was something that I held very close to me. She told me she slooped me and found my old Facebook account and found out that I'm the LGBTQ and you know that she could expose that and she found my driver's license um and when it did a background check on me um and all this stuff and she had my address so then there's some fear that started to to happen when this stuff started going on you know and i've never spoke about brat in this entire situation and the only reason why i'm coming on here right now is because i want people to know that like i was not some troll that was like sadistic and like trying to convince brad of some stuff like that and like and the stuff that's being said 
it was not what I said. You know what I mean? I, like, no, I don't know what you mean. Honestly, I think you're, you were both in on it. One doesn't have to be wrong and the other doesn't have to be right. So unless you could provide actual evidence that proves what you're saying, I, I'm sorry, you don't have any credibility with me. You, that's fine. I don't have to have any credibility. I just came on here to say that you, you can think however you want to think, you know, that's not, that's completely well, fine. Well, if you're saying this, then you sure definitely have the receipts to back it up, right? If, if these messages didn't go down the way you're saying, right. then you have them. Your well, what I, no, what I'm saying to you is, is when you're reading these messages, you're reading them as if what she is saying is things that I said. So here was a part I was confused on because Dot does this throughout this whole time he's up there up there on panel with you. And that is that I didn't say these things. I didn't say these things. Brat is saying things that I didn't say. Well, if you were part of a conspiracy where you were the mouthpiece for person C, why are you so offended now by the things that Brad is saying Dot said? It, the, do you see what I'm saying? Like they wouldn't be coming yeah. from dot they'd be coming from person c wouldn't they yep so exactly. why is dot so offended and so outraged if they are speaking for someone else and brat is putting in these messages something dot had said makes out what i was trying to understand because i was like wait a second if this was a legitimate story how do you know it's not the legitimate person communicating this to brat and brought communicating it to Steve. Why are you taking such offense to it? Right. That's what I was not getting at all. But but it's, in my opinion, clear that Dot was the one feeding Brad these things because they're so outraged. Just by MJ reading this these messages, they were outraged. So <laughs> what are you doing? Eight? By the way, I was going to thank you the other night for your super chat, 867. Uh, did you hit the wrong chat? <laughs> I hope you're doing good. Uh, yeah, the whole point was completely missed by Dot. Absolutely. Because they're outraged and they continue to be outraged. And it gets really heated here. Uh, well, I don't think Dot fully grasped the error of their ways. I think that Brat may have been using people as pawns to create branches of narratives that qualify each other. Absolutely. To gain trust and to get info to sell to media. I don't know about to sell to media, but definitely to grow her channel to put out as content. Absolutely. I agree with that a lot. And that and you is have not all accurate. your interactions, right? So it's easy to prove. No, but what I'm saying to you is that unless you have the interactions of what I was saying to her and then she presented it to him, then you're just, you're putting out hearsay. You're basically, you're believing I, what I read your comments in Brat Norton's TikTok. Did you not make those comments? What do you mean? I don't know what that was. You were was commenting about. in the chat about hearing the screams, about Dylan. Do you want me to pull them up? Sure, go ahead and pull them up. You don't remember what you said? No, I'm not saying that I don't remember. You don't have to be con you don't have to be condescending to me. Look, I came in. All I'm saying is that if you want to provide information about what I said to Brad and that what she said to him, make sure that you have the receipts of her and I talking. Then give me the receipts, right? Give me. Sorry, I'm saying, me in real life. Provide that to you because what not, are you mad at me about? How do you? <laughs> I'm not a. i am not because I'm not on a public platform saying, okay, this person said this, this, and this. Girl, you lied about a freaking quadruple homicide look, look don't come look, up on my panel telling me about how i do things. look this went this this went south really quick all i wanted to say is that what is being said is not accurate that's it then prove it differently the indignation of mm -hmm. you don't have receipts for what you're reading therefore mm -hmm. you're wrong after mm -hmm. dot did all of this stuff yep oh my or God. how am i supposed to be privy to your and Brad's communications. That's my whole entire point. If you want me to see it, send it. But let me tell you, out of all those screenshots Dot sent me, not the, all of them, there weren't that many, but there weren't the conversations between Brad and Dot. There were other people's conversations. So how am I supposed to read your conversations if you do not send it to me? And I offered numerous times, send it to me. And guess what? If your screenshots reveal that I am totally wrong and like, you were right the whole time. I will, because again, it's not about me. It's about what is the truth. But it circles back around to you're claiming this is a story of a legitimate person. How do you know that this is not Brat relaying it? You are so certain that it's you. 
so certain and they're so outraged by it it makes it obvious that it is there's just mm -hmm. no other way around it and i agree maybe it's 2024 that excuse of like they were gonna i don't know but maybe they hadn't been out to their family maybe that was their point that they hadn't been out to their family or something but i don't didn't buy that yeah i don't know what that predator means please be kind in the chat because this is not about that I'll just be clear on that so this is not about that so be as the saying the saying i have here is just be cool don't be uncool okay <laughs> just be cool get out of control with these topics they tend to yes i'm giving you an open opportunity prove it well i'm not can i provide them right at this very moment i mean will you though i can provide you the receipts of i provided your um co-host she read one of the very many receipts where brett asks me to go into her life i'm not yeah. saying that i was not accountable for these things i'm not saying i'm some innocent person that was a victim of brett but what i'm saying is is that like th she is making it seem like i was this like crazy troll person and she was like a victim of me and all this stuff and like all the stuff she said to steve and that's not accurate and for myself uh, that is not that's not okay to me because i didn't well, say to, well, like to be fair we're reading over the messages that Rat was having with Steve, and you know you're part of that story. Even though, but I never talked to Steve. I never asked Brett to talk to Steve. I never said right. those things. See, I, I get that, like but don't be angry with that. us because no, I'm, not, I'm not angry with you guys. I'm not angry with you guys at all. I'm angry with the fact that this stuff was sent to him, and these things were transpiring, and 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 it was like, okay, this is coming but, from. This but did person. you not think going out and doing this in general wouldn't get back to the families? What do you mean? I you have to elaborate on that. Because yeah. when you put yourself out there and went along with this with Brad, it you had to have known this would have gotten back to the families. No, no, I understand that I understand that what was being said would, but her directly contacting him and saying specific things that did not happen was nothing of anything that would have happened without her lying. Like he might have heard something and said, Well, I don't know, I don't think that person's credible. But she, like you guys have been talking about. She continually pushed and pushed this narrative of something that I said. And that's where the wrongdoing is. You know, that's where I have a problem with that because you're continuing to push something that I didn't even want to be a part of. So you're feeling like she's making herself to look innocent and, and befooled by this. Because no, no, I don't, I don't think, I don't think she's not, obviously not. I'm saying that like when her and I had a conversations, it was nothing of like me sitting there and talking to her for hours about, oh, this happened and that happened. It was nothing of that. Like the majority of the time she pursued talking to me and would call me and say, yeah. Howard Bloom just needs you to put, give me this one thing and you'll have a book deal and this and that. And like, I repeatedly turned that down because I had, my motive was nothing to do with a book deal or people like to, for people to think or know of me. I thought I was doing something good. Yeah, I messed up. But my, my heart was in like, okay, I'm doing something good for this person. They're terrified to come forward. They think this is a good idea. If I do this to help them, this will help the outcome of things. That's where my headspace was. And I don't want to be portrayed as a person that was some sociopath or some psychopath or some liar. Like, I'm going to defend myself in that. Can I ask you something? Sure. Was Rory from Thou Shall Not True Crime in on it? I, I won't. I'm a not video of a burning car to show your credibility. Prove, prove it was you. I can say to you that in regards to my car that burning car i can say to you with like i can send you the email when i get off of here that brat was on a live not last i don't think it was last night but the night before don't quote me but it was very within the past two days brat got onto a live she spoke about she said i talked to somebody that was blank in this community and i'm not going to put the name out because i'm not about getting other people and other communities involved i'm not going to put the name out there but she was speaking referencing this different community um, that apparently that I was, you know, so involved in. And she said, oh, and I found out this person told me that they set Dot's car on fire. Now, granted, I have receipts and proof that I have an active investigation over my car being set on fire. Like from Kia, I have an active investigation. She went on a live and laughed about knowing that somebody sent my car on fire. Like, why would Kia be investigating the car burning and not law enforcement? Exactly. 
That cool, that right? Kia. 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 It was, it was yeah. a started cool. fire in the car. From Kia, um, that they have an active investigation. That sounds more like a, you know, a malfunction than right. something nefarious. But it's, well, what do I know? <laughs> it's just well, more and more. Uh, apparently, that car fire video, this was not the first time it was used. It was used um, numerous times for other situations, too. So it, it's not like, oh, that car came out you know, that video came out related directly to this case. No, it's been used before. <laughs> oh my gosh. And so it was sent to Rory as proof. And Dot says they're going to send you the proof after the live. Did that ever happen? No. I didn't think so. No. I didn't think so. But he is above the law and they're going to figure it out. Oh, sorry. That's like a little side tangent. I just see more and more deflection, more and more blaming of other people and zero accountability. Mm -hmm. 100%. Yep. Yeah. Okay. D it is evil amped up on lies. And, and now we're supposed to believe that dot is the victim. Yes. And we're supposed to feel sorry for dot now. Correct. Three dot Dave, you should be glad you're not a part of this BS. This is insane. This is insane. Like, that's the level of the person that I'm dealing with. Was like, was Rory aware of what you guys were doing? What I don't know. I didn't ever talk to Rory directly, ever. She was talking, like, I knew Ro she was talking to Rory when Rory went on the scene and he did, like, the whole walkthrough or whatever. And then she started to go on his lives, uh, his YouTubes, and talk about, like, Linda Lane and all that stuff. Like, I knew she talked to him, but I never directly talked to him, like, I don't know. She used to tell me that he got involved in some like weird stuff back in the day and that he could have been a part of it. I don't know because I was fed so many things. Like I didn't even know anything about these people when she started talking to me. I didn't know about Rory or all these YouTube people, like nothing. Like this was all fed to me by her. I was somebody that was just trying to, I thought I was helping. And so Brad approached you with this other person said. So it's all been fed to Dot. It's all been fed to Dot. But they don't clear, and I know you're getting ready to ask it, but they never clarify what was fed from the original, you can't see my air quotes, the original person whose story it is and what was fed by Dot or mm -hmm. sounds like other creators. No clarification on that whatsoever. So none whatsoever. It just leads me to believe that Dot is just lying and went to these creators and they didn't take the time to verify and oh she's absolutely lying you know like mm -hmm. first of all, when someone is an established liar liar like that how are you supposed to believe anything that they're saying you know uh you can't pepper i don't know if any of them were around Krama or true crime on youtube prior to this i know dot was a part or supposedly a part of what a trafficking community or something. Yeah. I, I don't fully understand that side part of it, but a notorious troll on TikTok, I've heard that as well. So I don't know what else they were into. I thought it was very bitchy. She deserves a better time than co host. <laughs> oh, she's so more than a co host on the debunkable series. I love it that this other person actually experienced all this was terrified to come out on their own and they needed you to do it. Why, why couldn't they do well, it? They didn't approach me. We were just all in a chat. And then this brat was talking to that person on 4chan and right. I was a part of that group and I'm listening and watching as the conversation is transpiring. And I'm saying, okay, well, you know what? Like, you know, but what conversation, what, like, what was, how did you get involved? We, it was just, a, it was just like a chat room. Like it was in it, like it was in, a, it was like a just chat. Like if it, you were in a chat room, like one person posts, Hey, this is what this was. And then Brad posts. I, I understand. I'm trying to figure out where it became, okay, I will lie. And I will come out with this story. How did that happen? Right. No. So it wasn't, it wasn't like that. It was like, this person wanted perpetual, wanted their story to be out there. And Brad was like, well, how are we going to get out there? And they're like, I will not put my name up there. I won't put my voice out there. Nothing. I can't do it. I'm terrified. They were adamant. They were like, I talked to this person on the phone. You did? Yes. I talked to this person on the phone with their real voice. They called me on a star six, seven, but I talked to them and they were like, I can't, you know, they gave me this information and I, me, 
I, I was, I have a heart. I was vulnerable and, you know, and I was, I was convinced, I was convinced. I really, Brat was convinced. I was convinced. I don't know if Brat was in that. I don't know. I didn't know anything about her, but like, it was my poor judgment to go forward and make that story my own. Did and, you and offer? I, what? Did you offer? Did I offer what? There had to be a, a, an exchange. Yes. Yes. I did offer. I did offer. I did offer. Yes. I mean, I, I, it was not like, oh, hey, I'm willing, willing to do this. But like, at some point I was like, okay, I can come forward with this. And because I thought I was doing something good. Did you That's not think what, that law enforcement would look into it? No, no, uh, they did. They did. They deserved to. Like, I didn't, it wasn't not anything about me thinking like, oh, I was being hidden or anything. Like, um, they did, you know, and it was, it was my, I was a poor decision on my part. It was wrong on my part. It so was why was the narrative that you weren't, you were scared to go talk to law enforcement? Because I remember hearing you on the panels talk about that as the right. character Dot. So why whoever story you're saying this is why didn't they go just talk to law enforcement themselves they said they were terrified they said they did, did nobody would believe them all the stuff that i said was what they said to me they were like they fed me things like they were like okay like i'm terrified they're not going to believe me you know all this stuff they it, i mean how would i have known any of that i didn't know anything about what the heck was going on the stuff that they the reason why you know this stuff was presented was because they were telling me things i didn't know anything about what they were saying about the certain stuff that was going on. I only knew what they were telling me. It's like almost the exact same story from Kim. Like people were scared. So I've got to be the mouthpiece. <laughs> the same people thing. were scared, but not going to law enforcement, you know, like, right. come on. I think there's a lot of fear mongering that was like kind of happening here. A lot of manipulation happening, trying to manipulate subscribers and those that just want, you said it the other night, I don't remember which one of you it was that said, um, there's just nothing. Once the PCA came out and the gag order was in place, we got nothing. So that left this yep. giant void of people wanting and willing to fill it with false information but on the flip side of that it left this void of people wanting to gather that information too and they wanted to latch on to anything because there was nothing and there's like the perfect storm of bullshit yep uh, is this person really a writer just who knows what they are if they're a writer or not in real life no clue well, Stranger than fiction. Bullshit. You know, they definitely come up with a lot of bullshit. That's for sure. So. But then, I don't want to make this a big thing. I only just came on here to say that. Uh, well, I'd like to see the receipts. If you're willing to share the receipts, I'd like to see the receipts. I'd rather have the full context than not. Um, but let me be clear. I'm not minimizing what Brad has done. I think both of you can be uh, at equally at fault. I think what you did was horrible yeah yeah 100 i do too i 100 percent think that what i did was horrible too despite the fact that i had good intentions like it would no it was horrible and i'm on here right now because i'm i want to take accountability for that i don't want to be a, a, attached and affiliated with all of the things that will go on related to brat whatever she does in the future i don't want that because if, if i can if i can start you know and turn over a new leaf i can only do that if I am detaching myself from all that stuff and I don't want to be a part of that anymore, that's the only way that I can make things different. You know, there is the only shred of accountability you're going to get from dot and it, and make no mistake about it. It's not because they feel bad for what they did to the victims. That doesn't come until the next, next panel, but mm -hmm. it's because, Dot does not want to be attached to Brat and the bullshit that's coming out about Brat. That's yep. it. That's the only reason. Nothing to I do. I don't want to have any association with it. I just want to move on. Yeah. Yeah. And and I know Shay is about to get heated and then Melissa does too, but it's, it's so good because it was so justified. And I don't think I would have kept as cool as you guys do. I know you think, <laughs> but I don't think I would have, especially as a lot of Continues to spew it out. It is the conspiracy playbook. Absolutely, body. Well, well and I, I told just you further. Oh, I'm sorry, Shy. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was going to say, well, when I told you, Deeds, that like I get loud to a point where it's regrettable and I don't regret my words. 
this is kind of when it happens here. It's yeah, a trigger. I, it was worth it. I think it's justified. <laughs> but it was kind of my entire point that I was trying to prove of mm -hmm. the damage is done and you just want to go on now and move forward. And don't hold me accountable for anything Thank I you. did. But what about the destruction you left in the path? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you shut off your laptop and you just go about your day and go about your life. But real people genuinely got hurt, got affected. Innocent people got accused. Like, no, you don't get to just walk away because you are, well, I, you know, I, I, I don't want to be associated with this. I don't want my name back. It's not even your name. But it, that, that's, you know what? No, I get more pissed off. Is this is not your name. It's not even like you could turn around and say, I don't want my name to keep being associated. Who's Dot? You were called Dot because there was a big period with no <laughs> fucking photo. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. No, no, you're fine. You're absolutely it's fine. Not even associated to you. Just walk <laughs> away. Go live your life. It's ridiculous because, there, like I said, there's no accountability for the actions that happen to the victims and that ripple effect that we see happening from what Dot did. And like you said, they're anonymous. They were anonymous. Yeah, they were added as that troll or whatever. Well, grab a new troll suit and move on. But no, now we're back to troll again and troll harder. But this time, the role is play the victim. And that is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yes, ma'am. And it is infuriating. Absolutely is. It, it makes you wonder if there's like other dot like people in other cases, you know, and I'm sure that there are, but it's just disturbing. The and that's why I like the name that Riley gave herself of the troll hunter because it's like we need more, we need more Melissa's and Shay's and more Riley's that are willing, you know, more of the people in chat that are willing to suss out these trolls and call out the misinformation because they're multiplying a lot faster than the hunters are. That's for mm -hmm. sure. Well, I mean, even some of the stuff like we debunked, I mean, I'd also like say, you know, give credit to, you know, Melissa's chat and subscribers mm -hmm. too. Like when we did the tunnels, Jeff H was really active with us in chat. And I think as a community, we want to get to the truth and to get to the truth, you got to debunk some shit. You do. You do. It takes a whole team. That's for sure. And there's nothing wrong with this at all. Calling out these trolls and exposing them because, they're truly hurting people. They are hurting really? real victims. And and then just the accusations thrown on others. It just enrages me. Yep. And I ask him, you know, like, do you still stand behind? Like, ex hoping, like, that she would say no. But, like, do you still stand behind putting mm -hmm. out five people's first and last names? Uh, out there associated with the murders and she said yeah wow yeah. i missed that mm -hmm. that's gonna piss me off when i hear it oh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. and it was it was I do, have, I do have a question for you though sure because i do i do i excuse me no i was saying thank you to jack oh um i do i do trust riley and Riley says that you've trolled in other communities. Like, is what's the story there? No, that's that's not what happened. And I'm not. I don't want to get into that. I, I'm not going to get into that community of people. I like. I I have receipts. I have actual physical receipts of those things. And I'm not going to get into that because I'm not going to go with those other people. I don't want to start all that stuff over. But like, but I. Have, but but have you trolled in other communities? Never, before? never, never. What kind of things did Brat ask you to do? So I'm just going to reference, there was a person named B. I'm not going to say their full name, no, but no. they were a part of a group that there was an influencer named Bebop and Bebe. Um, they were a mother and daughter. I'm not trying to um, kick it off topic, but this is answering the question. They were a mother and daughter that did this family video shoot thing. And this B person started to go live every night and they were adamant that they were um, ass trafficked. I'm and, familiar they, with it, yeah. and they were dissecting videos to ears, to angles, to, and they did this every single night. Well, uh, Bebe got on a live and said, I'm suing this person for defamation. They have harassed me. They have put my daughter through, you know, all this stuff. I'm part of this person. They've lied. They've done wellness checks. They sent a cease and desist to that person. And, um, 
this person had claimed they are part of this intricate ass ring and all this stuff. I, oh. when, I, when I was somebody that supported her, I supported her because I thought she was trying to do something good. When I found out that her claims were unfounded and they had nothing to do with the, this, this child was okay and that this person was unearthing and bringing things up from this woman's past and constantly uh, being accusatory to try to rip this this child away from their mother. And granted, you have to think that when this child grows up, they're going to go and they're going to research their name and they're going to see videos that this person posted saying that they're mouthing something disgusting. I didn't want to be a part of any of that. Okay, but I'm saying, what did Brat ask you to do with the Idaho case? No, but you, but you, but this person, your co-host just asked me about that, what they're referencing. And I'm telling you, like, that this person has a lawsuit on them. This is the person that Riley is claiming that I trolled. They have a lawsuit against them for claiming these uh, these horrible things. And all the documents are there. Okay, but it's going off into a direction that I'm not familiar with. I don't want to... What did okay, Brat fine. have you... What did Brat ask you to do? Because you said when you first came on here, she's being a bunch of lies. She asked me to, what did she ask you to do specifically in regards she to- She just case? controlled me. She controlled me. What what to say, what not to say, when to go into a live, to try to like, you know, she would give me these ideas and throw them out there. Like, you know, and she's like, I don't know why you don't want to get paid. She said that probably a hundred times. I don't know why you don't want to get paid for this. You can get paid for this. You, you don't understand. You can get paid. I got paid like $7,000 from Howard for what I did for the information. He's going to write this book. Like you can get paid for this. I'm telling you, girl, like you could go, you know, and, and do this and, and, and get money for it. Like that was all she was about was money, money, money. Okay. And it all. And money, 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 money. And just the fact that doc keeps bringing it up over and over and over has I don't know, has me waving a red flag there. Money, money, money. Like when people money, scream. Money, 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 money. Yep. And I don't know. I, I truly think that that very well could be Dot's motivation here. I don't know if we'll ever learn the truth on that or not, but Dot's bringing, is the one bringing it up over and over and over again. A blue up when you had your cam slip no my cam didn't slip that video is from something completely different oh, actually, like no no no, no 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 i watched that live and your camera was on and you felt what asleep. live oh so my God. they had a live and it was very controversial because riley was confronting you about who you were and you weren't dot oh and you're then talking you about fired, okay, okay never mind I, you, yes you fired up a tiktok yeah. live and then you fell asleep and it showed a cam slip and so i watched that i was there Okay, no, I know what I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So, so that's wait. when everything went sideways. No, it didn't go sideways because no, I never, I never, I was never like my physical appearance was to protect myself. Like there, it was nothing. Like I never, like I, she already knew what I looked like, Brad. I, 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 because she knew that you were never the actual person. Right, right. Because of the four chan, she but had she pretended I, she didn't. I had a I had a video conversation with her, video to video chat, and she seen me physically as I was. Like she knew like who I was at, in myself. Like so, when that cam slipped, it didn't matter to me because in my I knew in my heart what I was trying to do. So when people are like, "Oh, your cam slipped," you're not who this person was. It was like I didn't feel I didn't care about the scrutiny I was going to get. What I cared about was like shit now this person can't really tell their story and now people aren't going to listen to what their story was i didn't care about it who found out who i was or like i had i'm not even going to get into the stuff that happened to me we're not we're not going to go there it's not about that but like it didn't even matter to me i just was more upset that that person was not going to be able to get their story out there i didn't care about what people thought of me you can think what you want to think of me it is what it is but it all crumbled apart at that time right when people figured out who you really were and did brat throw you under the bus as if she had right yeah no no but you're right you're right it did it all it all came to a head because i was not i was no longer able to portray myself as that person because obviously they see me on camera so yes in that sense it did and um when that happened the who i thought brat would be would be a person that would support me no she took she took the immediate chance to throw me under a bus and say dot was this that was that try to blame everything on me. And that was so messed up to do because she was equally as responsible for that scenario. And she took no ownership for that. I take ownership for that. I did. And I do right now. Do you? She took no ownership for that. And that was super messed up. You know what I mean? Because 
you know, it's frustrating to watch somebody degrade you and put you down when you knew that they were just as much of a part of that, you know, a scenario as you were. What do and you that's think, not cool. What do you think it felt like for Steve to find out people are getting up on panels pretending to be other people claiming to have seen these innocent, innocent people's names were being accused of murder. Innocent. Probably terrible. Probably terrible. Terrible wouldn't even. But I didn't. Touch. I never accused anybody of murder. Yeah. You, you, <laughs> you. Sorry. Yeah, I know. I love it though. Here you come. You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Wait man. a second here. No, no, you did. She made me, you're right. It, it, the finger pointing some other dude, it's, it's always, this is how they spiral away. It's the, it's the Kimball weed, like you said. It's just, yep. Insane. Hey, Leo. I, I, give I would to, love that pouty. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. I say I would give it to MJ. She's really good at doing these off the cuff interviews. I've been on panel with her with Kim and Dot, and um, it's just, she is good. Yeah, being by her side, like I know she has it and chat gets nervous and it's always a wild ride even for me because I'm just taking all the information in too. Mm -hmm. But you got to let them kind of talk them, talk their way into it. But well, this is good at holding them accountable. Very good. And that was one thing I wanted to point out. Thank you for reminding me, Shay, because it does come up in the next uh, interview I want to play if we have time. And that is that... It's not not that Shay and Melissa are believing anything that Dot is telling them. And, you know, they might go back and review it later, debunk it later, et cetera. But you got to let Dot speak. You got to let the person that is coming up to say these things speak so that you then have the clear cut quote from them to debunk later. If you're constantly, you know, going off script or whatnot, or, you know, trying to distract them from what they want to spill out there to the public, you're going to lose those moments. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying like, here, you're getting ready to say, no, you did do that because it's a clear cut fact. But Dot's up here trying to say, you know, that they're taking accountability. They're not at all. If you wouldn't have allowed him to, or her, sorry, them to just spew that out there, then you wouldn't have this for later. You know what I mean? And I know that that became an issue in the next person that hopped up on your panel. So... I think it's really good that you gave them the room to cut themselves off at the knee, basically. Agreed. <laughs> Seth, that, you saw. Whoop, sorry, man. I was going to say, and I think there were some people that were a little confused about when we had Rabbit up. It was, um, mm -hmm. I think, because, you know, Melissa already had a planned, like, schedule, and then also there was a lot of information coming out, and I think she deserved the time to gather her thoughts, because she seemed Absolutely. like, yeah, she seemed like she just had a lot she was kind of processing. Don't you agree, Melissa? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and I just feel like with Dot, you guys know so much, because you had dug into that whole situation situation you had debunked it with rabbit you're being thrown new information yeah. so you're just digesting at that point it takes well, a moment and the whole chat you know like tends to get very passionate which mm -hmm. i totally understand but you have half people saying get her down you know like and then the <laughs> other half wanting to i i like giving first of all i don't like to speak on anybody without giving them the chance to speak for themselves mm -hmm. but you have to give some, when you're trying to look for the actual truth, mm -hmm. you have to give them information. Uh, I'm sorry. You have to give them room to give you information. Yep. You have to sit back, wait. And even if it's a bunch of lies and, and miss I get it, but you have to give them room to speak in order to like absorb what they're saying and put little connections together. Cause if you don't give them that chance, you know, so it's really chaotic with these lives, man. <laughs> They can be. I know they can get a little out of control. Yeah. But in the end, it produces some good stuff. Absolutely does. I think the gig being up for Brat and Dot made Brat throw Dot under the bus instead of getting under the bus with Dot. Now, I agree with that, you. And that's part of what made Dot lose it. It's a good possibility. Yeah. For Dot, it's all about Dot's own woes. Yeah. Me, me, me. That's all I'm hearing from Dot. I agree specific people at that residence okay me saying that 
has no equivalent to saying somebody murdered somebody. That is something that I'm going to make You're clear. Leading the but you father. said you heard no, a murder like a bear I see sound. somebody outside. All right, what would be the intentions of doing that? Okay, but no, I want to make this clear. Me saying that I've seen somebody outside is nothing of the equivalent of saying I've seen somebody in the house committing this atrocious act. So do not, I do saw. not go ahead and say that that was sad because that's where things get twisted okay. and that's when things tell are me, not okay. Tell me what you're supposed to take from this. I saw these specific people outside at this specific okay. time. It was shady as fuck the morning. They were outside and they, what I was told, they were outside and they were smoking a joint. There is nothing sinister about that. I, specific, shady? I specifically even said from what this person told me that, you know what? It was like a regular morning. Like they told me there was nothing that, that gave any inkling that there was a murder that happened. I never said that any of these people were. Uh, no, you said you said you heard a bear like. A bear Roar. killing someone. That's what they said that they bear. they said that they heard. They said that they heard screams all through the night. They said it was I also said it was very normal from what they said. It was very normal for there to be screams going on because there would be parties and domestic violence. So I also the, said that. So the comments, it sounded like a bear mauling someone. That is exactly it what this person said. It was supposed to be in see, I think that's that's a really cheap way to get out of it the same way it's like, listen, I know No, there's no I'm not kidding out finish, of anything. Please, let me finish. I named these people as being there. I I am contradicting what the PCA says. I'm making you side eye these surviving roommates, but I just said they were smoking a joint. I'm not responsible for leading you to believe that they had something that you see, you see how wrong that is? You know exactly what people were going to take when you push that narrative. Not that they were smoking a joint, that holy shit, the PCA is wrong, they're lying, these other people. What about the innocent people that names you just put out there on a lie? On a lie, did you ask the person for any evidence that you were taking this story from? Yeah, I did. Did I you did. get evidence? I did, but them saying that there were people outside in the backyard, they weren't in the house, nothing. It could have been anybody. Well, then what anybody could have been out back there. Then what was so bad about the story that she had to come out with it anyway, if it was just so simple as smoking a joint? It wasn't so Oh, I loved how you just zinged them right there. Like, mm, no, if it was so simple, it's just smoking a joint. Why couldn't they just came out with it on their own? Mm -hmm. And here comes the word salad. <laughs> yep. Love it. I loved it, though. Like, you nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> Thanks. So bad. That's what I didn't understand. It wasn't so bad. I didn't understand why she didn't want to come forward with it or they didn't want to come forward with it. I didn't get that because it, people like there could have been people walking by sitting like people that had been to that house and party that were like, hey, I'm going to send the couch really quick and smoke a joint. Like it didn't mean they were ever in the house or anything like they are outside. You know what I mean? You don't know what was going on inside. They could have just been leaving them at the scene of the crime at the time that they weren't supposed to be there. How do you think people are going to interpret that? Well, it was believable to me because they were saying that all these people, they called all these people before 911 was called. All these people came to see what was going on. So it made sense to me when they said that. It was like, okay, that makes sense. Like, people were out there chilling, like, trying to figure out what was going on. That's what made sense to me. And there's a few of the TikTok creators that are in chat right now that I actually trust that were on to your story. And What do you mean on to my story? What, what they didn't you, believe it. They didn't believe who you were. We're, we're not even talking about that. We're talking about what Brett presented to Steve. Oh my gosh. More deflection. More, more deflection. Yes. Like it was totally dot story. There's no denying that this individual, Henry Braden, I can't even remember the other names, dot is the one that came up with this lie. Like they they are constantly taking ownership of it, even when they don't realize they're doing it. <laughs> like right there. Well, and I try to figure out, okay. But why did they come up? You know, like, because mm -hmm. I know from initially it's like, okay, she's clearly struggling, you know, like, um, and very impulsive. And, but then I, I'm like, re, you know, the last day I've been thinking like, no, but really why did, because they didn't have to, like, again, this isn't their identity. They could just move on. And then I started to think is, is this intentional? Is there a specific reason it's happening? I don't know. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of it. Good. And if any of us can help you do that, well, I'm so excited for your live tomorrow night because <laughs> if we can like start to understand a few of them, it might help in the future going forward to like pick it out quicker. Like I said, there's a, you know, this 
the case of Maddie so- Soto, which is really, really big right now. There's a couple I'm very suspicious right. are trolls. And a lot of it comes from previous knowledge of trolls, just their actions, the things they say. That doesn't necessarily mean they are, but it definitely, you know, raises those hairs on the back of your neck or sends up those red flags. And you're like, mm, let me dig a little here because this doesn't smell right. It doesn't pass the sniff test. I hope it does not. <laughs> and we need more people doing that for sure. Yep. That's what we're talking about. We're not talking about. But what you people- wanted to come up here and say your side of it because. But I'm not what coming up here saying, saying I'm some innocent person, and we I'm understand like, that. But I'm but- trying to convey to you that what was being said to Steve was not things that I specifically said. But it wasn't ever supposed to be you. It was supposed to be the other person. Correct. So did the other person say it? What do you mean? Did the other person say it? I don't know where she got that stuff from. I don't know what she did and who she talked to. I don't know if she talked to that other person. I have no clue. I thought she approached. Were you, the three of you, not collabing on this together? If no, it collab- wasn't a collaboration. It was It, it was this person wanting to tell their story and me willing to do it and Brad knowing both, both of us. I don't know if she would talk to that other person while she was talking to me. That's literally a collaboration. <laughs> Mm, that is yeah. literally collabing. Yes, it wasn't a collaboration. It was this other person wanting their story told, me willing to do it, and Brat knowing both of us. Um, what do you call that? I don't know. You know, like again, you know, like it's just semantics. You're just tiptoeing around mm-hmm. what happened, and it, you could use different words if you want to use. Yep. You know, like, but at the end of the day, it's the actions. It's the, they're the same. And that and and Dot is just angry if you give anybody else credit for what Dot said. Yep. Because it was Dot's story, in my opinion. Exactly. And they just get so outraged if anybody else tries to take ownership of that. So then they gotta pull that ownership back in. And I don't even think Dot realizes that they're doing it. Mm-mm. I think they're so focused on themselves. I mean, it just naturally oh, it's sure. it's a, a gravity to like bring it back to me. Yep. Yep. I have no clue. Like we didn't have conversations like that. So maybe she was talking to that other person. So how often, how active was this other person when you would go up on these panels and you would say the story, how active was the other person contributing to what you were saying and putting out? I mean, they weren't, they weren't actually in the chat, but they, they gave me their information and the things that they were saying for a while and then they kind of died down a little bit and honestly when it happened I started to think in the back of my head you know what maybe this is actually Brat there's something that crossed my mind like maybe Brat is actually this other person and wants to give me the story to say it but then I could take but remember Dot just said a few minutes ago that they talked to the other person on the phone and heard their voice yeah she did mm-hmm. oh the web we weave Oof the fall for it and she can get all this clout and all this fame and all this money and then everything could be directed and pointed at me and then like I'm this loser that just trolled people that's what crossed my mind I don't know what really happened and I don't really care what really happened anymore you know what I mean like at the end of the day it is what it is and it's done what it's done and I don't want to be affiliated with her and I want to move forward and do what I can do to make things better these are the ramifications and consequences of your no that's fine that's fine yeah, that's completely fine. I'm just saying that when when messages are being read, unless you have proof, please that w- send the rest. If I am missing something, the full context, send it. But what I'm saying to you is that you're reading messages that she's saying to Steve without have. There's no proof of the, any of that behind of what that's I'm saying. That's my entire point. Is it not that she is feeding this to the victim's dad, and it's all bullshit. That's I never point. knew she was even talking to the victim's dad. And never would I, if she would have ever said to me, like, hey, um, I know you're telling the story for this person. I'm talking to the victim's dad. I would have immediately been like, wait a minute. No, we're, we're not doing that. He should talk directly to this person. I would have never wanted to have anything. Honestly, when she mentioned maybe she was talking to Steve, I didn't believe her. I mean, it was very unbelievable to me that she would be talking to you know the father of these victims. Like, I didn't believe it. So... <laughs> So Brat told Dot that she was talking to Steve because at first it's like, well, she never told me. And then it says, well, if she mentioned it, I didn't believe it. <laughs> so which was it, Dot? Which was it? Your circle is coming back around all the way. 
big old so dot I had period. no idea she was. Oh, sorry. That's that big old dot period or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> big old dot period. <laughs> For sure. That's so it's, random. It is. It's a very weird thing to come in as the dot. <laughs> But then it just kind of all makes sense because everything's circle, all the avatars. Why not? Welcome to the shit show. Holy cow. (laughs) Relaying all these things. Like, you can have a personal conversation with your co-host tonight and say, these are my theories, this, that, and the other. And if she went and she projected them to the family member, when you're having a personal conversation, that is on her. Like, me having a private conversation, not having any clue that those things being said would be put out there like as a whole different situation. If I would have known the things that I were saying would have been put towards a grieving father, I would have never What did to you her. think was... Did, okay, that part I don't understand. You're saying you came out because this person desperately was scared. This person desperately needed to get their story out. And that is what your purpose was. And then you say you're shocked that it ended up back at the victim's father. Who else was it for then? Just YouTube entertainment, TikTok entertainment? It would have been to get the truth to these victims' families, to law enforcement. So how are you going to say- No, to law enforcement. Yeah, to law enforcement, yes. It, to the not whole the victims' point, families? Right. Not. I didn't think she was talking to a family member. No, to it law enforcement. get to them either way. Right, but not in the fashion of what the way the brat was doing it. Going to law enforcement and saying, hey, this person has something to say, and this is what they are claiming, and having law enforcement bring whoever in to talk about is different. They would have came to you. What were you going to do when they come knock on your door thinking you're the person you say you are? What were you going to do? I was going to explain to them what I'm explaining to you right now. You do know it's illegal what you did, right? What is illegal? You impersonated somebody. Who did I impersonate? You gave. Did you not give the details of an actual person who lived next to the house? And that's okay, so you're that's your so you're claiming that the person that I'm not claiming this is what you guys the, right. You're so you're out. saying that the person that I spoke for isn't true. Then no, you are you not. Don't that know. More words, Alec, coming. Oh my god, yep. you impersonated someone, Dot, and that's illegal. Like, and and you did it with malicious intent. I would say because you harmed others in the process by putting out those names, like. She took someone's identity and then fucking went with it. And again, this case was crazy. The people are crazy in it. It's conspiracies left and right. People are reaching out to these people, their real lives, their jobs, everything. And you took a legitimate person's identity and then claimed to be in a car driving the getaway of the murder people. Like, no, no, no. Yeah, it's really happened. It feels like we're watching like the aftermath of a stupid show, but no, this this happened. This person, this individual came online and made all these claims and accusations, and now watching them try to like backpedal and point the finger at someone else. I don't know how you guys kept it cool for this first like 45 minutes because I would have lost it already. Well, so much like was ha- like back then, so much was happening in the Idaho for a case. Like it was chaos. So it's like people mm-hmm. didn't slow down, I feel like, to like properly address it because emotions are high. Everyone wants answers. And then, you know, this is coming right up until uh, the brink of when Brian wa- waves his right to a speedy trial. Mm-hmm. So that's where I think that you know, even the Paramount series bringing these conspiracies back up to light came out. I think it is important to go back over because I don't think a lot of folks probably really digested like how wrong and awful this was. And it just, it was like a gloom, like a little blip in time. Right. And, and I see it getting worse, not better because we don't have anything happening in the case for over a a year right before we even see movement so Mm -hmm. again it's just that bigger void may may they wanted to come up they were in the chat while um melissa and shay were reading off these messages and they just kept disrupting and disrupting and disrupting and begged to come up till finally melissa's like fine come up (laughs) so well and to be fair also dot did come into melissa's chat like back when this story was going around. So mm-hmm. we've seen them around. It's yep. 
I mean, if we weren't like having something kind of on fire here in YouTube, you best rest just sure there was something on fire over in TikTok. And that's kind of where the dot piece like for TikTok comes more over to the YouTube side. So, um, but like you got to meet, we got to meet a lot of different, you know, creators and mm -hmm. I like just having, you know, good connections, different exchanges of information is always nice as well. So I think there from it, like there's been some good relationships formed. Right. And, and I get what Melissa's saying here to dot that, you know, you stole somebody's identity. That's a crime, which it is. Um, but I don't think that Dot actually did. I think Dot totally made up this story, fabricated it all on their own, or with the oh, help. No, of she others. gave information of a, a legitimate person. Mm. Really? Yes, the neighbor. I'm not going to repeat the name because oh. I don't want to, uh, you know, like attach her name more to it. But eventually, it evolved into that literal person. That's an actual person who lives next door. So they. So not all of dot's story but parts of dot's story was adapted from that neighbor's no that neighbor the whole thing that's never she cut out for me did she cut out for you Shay? yes okay i'm just making sure what happened i was like what happened <laughs> i was like wait is it me again but no so, so when Dot came out and she said that she was at the, you know, it, listen, the King Road residence, yes. not too hard mm -hmm. to narrow down the neighbors and that. So yeah. people started digging and pulling and this and that, that are you this, are you this person? And eventually towards the end, she claimed she was this specific person who oh. did live there and was friends with Dylan. That person never spoke out. That person never has no, I don't know if she has any idea what Dot has done, but that's an actual person who lived there. And you don't think people freaking people were crazy with this case, reaching out, reaching out to family members, reaching out to where she works and now associating that person with what dot is claiming. So yes, it was a legitimate person. Oh, I so I totally missed that whole part, that whole in part that they took that from the neighbor. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty sick. Okay. I'm a little mind blown. All right. Sick. No, no, no. I'm just, it's soaking it for a second. I know. It's a lot. Jeez. It, they, they just, be, even when you think you have a full grasp on what is happening, it's just like another thing. There's, There's so more. much with these trolls. So much with these trolls. Perfect. Yeah, kind of you, no, 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 no. You are not that person. That's what I'm saying. That's impersonation. How is it impersonation when somebody asks you to do that? It doesn't, someone could ask me to kill. Does that make it not illegal? Because I was asked. That's not an argument. That's that's nothing exactly. of an argument. It's not an argument. You were asked to do. I'm sorry. Can you go shoplift that Snickers? Oh, officer, I was asked to shoplift that. Okay, so what are you? what are stories? What? What are stories? You don't you don't Thank tell you stories in the middle of a murder investigation. Wait, in the middle of a murder investigation, what Fuck what do you homicide. did I say anything criminal happened? Yeah, yes, yes. Yes. What did I say are criminal you, happened? Oh, girl. Are you if you kidding me? What did I say criminal stuff, happened? Did I say you, that I seen anything criminal? You lied about something that I don't even, honestly, I don't know how you rushed your head at night. See, you tell me, oh, I thought I was doing it for the right reasons. You're sitting here and you want to say, because this is the time to own up. You want to say that you verified Sorry, the person you were talking can I say to. Something? You actually saw evidence that what they were saying were legit, or did you just take their word for it? Were you a little too quick to just jump on board? Yeah, maybe I did because I have a heart and they got So you me. didn't get evidence. So you No, I didn't and I admitted to that because yeah. I have a fucking heart. So. No, no, you don't. That's the thing. You fucking don't. You don't that know. You don't know me. Actions speak louder than words. So you you don't know a single thing day. about me or you this situation. I watched Sorry, can I address that? Yeah, sorry. I just wanted to find like a good stopping point before fine. Uh, switching directions. But oh, you don't know a single thing about the situation. Wait, the situation that you told everyone about? Um, mm -hmm. yes. Um, yeah, that's fine. Truth. It's just like, you're a little close to the line, just towing it a little bit. Take a couple steps back. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Um, but yeah, crime um, season. Absolutely. Yeah. No, I, I hear that you'd like to address what I said, but yet you had a lot to say behind a paywall where you blocked all of us yesterday. Right. So do you think that, uh, it would be right to, you would like to address things, yet you did not let us address anything, right? When you were in my chat, did you get blocked? 
Did you get timed out? Nope, you were free to speak. Yet when you go and schedule your live, then you time, put it on members only, and then you run your mouth and you made a lot of claims, a lot of allegations. You know what? I would like to address that. Did you give us that same respect? No. And you know what? I'm sure after you got called out and exposed for the lying you did, you did hurry up and get that money and send it over to her. I don't know. That wouldn't surprise me. But you lied. You lied. And so, um, yeah, that's so just cut it out. Crime sleuth and seriously, this isn't about you. It, it was never about you. But you do this in every freaking channel. You come and you stomp your feet. You are not the authority of these cases. Stop making it about you. And if you're going to talk on someone, do it publicly and allow them the chance to respond. Don't make people pay and then block everybody. Because if, if you were telling the truth, you wouldn't have to block me. If you were telling the truth, you wouldn't have to restrict it to a members only. You would have no problem saying it right to my face and addressing it directly with me. And let me be clear, this is all an issue because she stomped her feet in my chat and said she was going to call Rory right fucking now because I had Rabbit Hole up and Rabbit Hole was sharing her story and Crime Sleuthin didn't like that and Crime Sleuthin needs to put her nose in everything. And then uh, I called her out and I said, go call Rory. Go call Rory. Like, this isn't about you. And then she had a tantrum and I told her to leave. And then she didn't. And she stayed in. And then she scheduled a live for 36 hours later and then turned it on members only and made sure we were all blocked. I am curious, like, why why, why it was a big deal that Rabbit was up, if you want to. Yeah, the link's pinned. I can I can see her? So we've been here for hours, so let me pin yes. her. Go do your thing. Go do your thing. Um, but, yeah, you absolutely have a right to. I don't know anything about the Kara situation at all. So, I, uh, you have a right to speak on that for sure. But, uh I was curious, like, why it was a big deal that Rabbit was up there speaking. Um, this conversation is live, not the one with Dot, just the three of us. She has to farm. What? You walk away for 30 seconds. I don't. KD on the Idaho case or on the disagreement with Melissa and Crime Sleuthin? Okay, I'm going to play. It is a lot. Okay, I'm going to play a little bit more until Crime hops up here. Oh, there she is. Never mind. Hello, ma'am. Hey. Can you hear me? Yep, we can hear All you. Right. Hi, good. Yeah, I was too. Like, why? I was going to play that part next after we got through Dot's part because it, it is very interesting. I didn't understand why you were upset with Rabbit hopping up. I was trying to figure out where the echo was coming from, and it was my YouTube still playing. Okay. Um, yeah, I was I was um, equally confused and um, pretty surprised about how that happened. Um, I was just watching the live like everybody else. I didn't interject or say, hey, yo, those are fake. I didn't say anything like that. I had already put my community post up and tagged them. And the only thing that I asked Shay to send over to MJ was something else. And I don't remember. It wasn't about that. It was something else. I'm trying to remember now what it was. Um, do you remember Shay what it was that I asked you to pass on to her? What was that? Um, it was your community oh, post. The, the, no, the, the, um, the, 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 um, the drunk turkey, turkey show. When I messaged you and told you she was up there and I sent you that link. Why that was what I asked that? you to pass on to MJ. You also asked me to pass on the information about Steve. And, and somebody else. Yeah, asked. it was kind of in the same conversation. Because, well, like me. Well, they're I a don't, couple days apart. But okay. I don't check my, um, on YouTube, you don't get like a regular notification when somebody tags you. You have to go into the studio, or at least I don't. I get it in the studio, and it's under mentions. 
I don't get like a notification. So I just wanted to make sure that she knew. And it was before she did the Well, and you asked somebody else to get in touch with me too, right? But why'd you delete all your comments from my last couple of lives today? You deleted all your comments. I was just going back to look for that moment. They're gone. You and I have them. I have them because I knew you Because you, I did that during the live. I No, you didn't. No, because you didn't. no, because I have you proof. told you me. want to do this. Wait, 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 wait. First of mm. all, one at a time. But I will say, crime sleuth, and you didn't because I did. I, I did. I did say. I did me. say that I did. Me, that so it was because I felt that I said too much in the chat. Speak. Let me speak, please. I know you didn't for a fact because I came in at the very end of that live and Shay addressed it again, and I was so lost. And so when I watched mm -hmm. it on the replay. Um, the next day, the next morning is when I finally replayed the beginning of that live, your comments were still there. So I know that for a fact that the, and now they're gone, but they were there the morning after. No, because I felt that I had said too much. I was saying oh, too I much in the that. chat. Okay. People were asking me questions. Once um, Shay mentioned that I had reached out and told her, told her that thing. Um, people started tagging me in chat and asking me questions and I was responding and, and a couple of them, I said a little too much. What? I was. What? Was what? That? Did you guys hear that? Was that one of my dogs? I sound, I sound like a fire truck <laughs> in the distance or something. I have no clue. One of my puppies is having a nightmare. <laughs> oh my goodness. What the heck? <laughs> Where is it? Oh my gosh. That was awful. I was one of my dogs. I just don't know where they are. Um, okay, so, but it was at, after Shay had said that in chat, people started tagging me and they were like asking me for more information. And in a couple of them, I did say too much. I felt I did divulge too much. So I went back later and deleted them because I didn't want that out there. I hadn't gotten permission to say as much as I did. But I was kind of like, I didn't want that any, any of that to happen. I had just tried to keep that, you know, kind of quiet. But I was brought into it and I started getting, you know, you like all these. Brought into it. You but, came into my live. You made comment after comment after comment after comment. And then I had Rabbit up, gave her the room to speak, and you literally said, I have Rory's number. I'm calling him right fucking now because what? of what she what? said because of what she said do you remember what she said i don't care what she said it, it one of the big conspiracy she was up there saying she was saying, saying that she was saying okay. that brat and rory and kim or or was it kim and rory that some of them and her were like in this big scheme to put so, this scam on and stuff story. and he's not even been on youtube you in a while can't speak for him and what he did but, back then but it's not when i see something like that if people are saying awful accusations against somebody that person has a right to defend themselves yeah they so do. i i and it was pretty bad the things that she was saying it was pretty bad. She no was receipts she, was she had no receipts on that. I didn't say anything you, before how that. Do you know? yeah. How do you know she hasn't sent me receipts? See, that's the whole <laughs> point. I was giving her room to speak. I had no idea what she was going to say. And then just like Dot, just like everybody else, I say, send me your receipts. How do you know what she sent me? Because I got receipts. So how do you know what she sent me? You're just so quick to do But you it. let her say it all first, though. Let her all say I, mean, I will let her say And if I, it, first of all, it's my fucking channel. And just like I let Dot speak, do I believe Dot? Nope. I'll let well, her speak. And then I have my questions and I ask for receipts. Just because somebody speaks it does not mean I'm saying it's the truth, right? Just like you spoke, hey, I reached out to Steve and these are good. I don't take your word for fact either. I wait for receipts, which you didn't produce. But you don't get to throw a tantrum in my chat saying you're going to go didn't throw a tantrum. tail and I didn't throw a tantrum. not to address it. Well, I didn't if, throw a tantrum. There were people did. in the chat who were 
being very ugly to me because I wouldn't divulge the messages. Nobody gives a shit. What? No. So I Nobody asked, cares. I said, if you're going to go around saying that, Hey, no, these, these messages are not accurate and you're not going to give details. Yes. People are going to say, show the receipts. Or you shut were up. saying, you were saying, Oh, you know, it's a screen recording. It can't be fake. I, I tend to believe I that they're real. I said you said you beginning. tend to believe that they're real. I said that from the beginning, I, I cannot I verify too. these. I cannot say they're hundred percent certain, but I am inclined to believe they are legit to this day. I, I am inclined to believe they're legit. What's it to you? Just because you say you reached out and they told you and you provided no receipts. Am I supposed to shut down my live? Am I supposed to say, okay, wait, crime sleuth and says, uh, she spoke to. No, it's just, you don't understand no. how these things can be created. Oh, wait, 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 pause. We and that's what I was talking about in chat. And I was getting attacked. Nobody was doing you anything about it. The other people. Cut it yeah. out. Wait. Anyway, I asked there, who was comments, Pickle. I remember that. somebody with the name Pickle that was going at me hard. Oh. And I said, hey, mods, please. And then you stopped your yeah, life you for a like, second. You said, oh, just please. block Are each you other. Gonna allow this? Just leave. Just leave. How about that? No, you weren't being attacked. You were throwing a tantrum. I called you out. Mm -hmm. You got embarrassed. Yeah. People sided with me. And then you were like, really? You're going to allow this to happen? That's what happened. You know, I wasn't even talking to you. Wait, then, but then who were you in, talking in that? To? You 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 think that a lot of the things that I've said have been about you, but they you're weren't. in my fucking so. chat. I don't care if you're addressing my panel guest. Stop throwing a tantrum. Run shit the way you want to run shit on your channel. Oh. So you you want to address what you just said about me up here saying that I scammed Kara? I heard I just you want to play that back? You have no credibility in my eyes. You said you sat up here just now and said, I scanned Kara. Why did you say that? What happened to the money that, that you were supposed to give Kara? She got over 100%. No, 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 no. Wait, what initially happened? I don't know what you did after you got called out and exposed, but what happened to the money from your live? What do you mean? What happened to the money from the live? You said what? You got mass reported and struck, and you lost all the monetization. We're all creators here. Um, you could get no. I lost the. I didn't. I never see. See, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I never said. I never once said that I lost monetization on that live. What'd you lose? I said that the the super chats were reversed. All of Has them. Anybody ever heard that of that? Has anybody that ever happened. heard? That um, happened. And, and the reason that reason I believe, that... the reason that I believe that that happened oh, was perhaps me. it was a violation of the terms of service because I was raising money for a third party that wasn't me. That's the only thing I can possibly think of. But yeah, they took that back, but she still got all of it. No, I, I don't want to hear what happened after you got called out and exposed for lying because I'm sure. I didn't, didn't, I didn't lie. Her. I, I had already you paid did. her. You did lie. I had already paid her. You did lie. I know where you're getting this false information. Don't you okay. make assumptions. I saw you on J-Rod. I saw exactly what happened. Oh, well, good. Don't then you saw the receipts. Assumptions. You saw the receipts then. I, I saw your fucking graph, which I do not consider a fucking receipt. There would have been much easier ways in your YouTube studio to show exactly what you got paid out or no, Google ads. That's no, it had, it had the full graph. dollar amounts on there. I have the re I have the same exact screenshots. I can pull them up now. Did Kara lie? Did Kara lie? Did, didn't Kara reach out to J-Rod? Didn't Kara talk to J-Rod? I have no idea. I don't get involved in all that. That's oh, okay. drama. You don't? Okay. No. Okay. So. No. <laughs> the last I spoke with Kara, everything was totally fine. Okay. She did not appreciate how somebody else went and lied. Okay. Not me. She's cool with me. Okay. And if she's not and she's just telling me that, I don't really care. People lie all the time. I don't care. I just know that I paid her over a hundred percent. So you're saying your, your super chats and membership, anything you made from that day were reversed. Just the super chats. Yeah. All that, all the, all super of it. Chats yep. You made on a mm -hmm. live 
What was the reason they told you it was reversed? I didn't get a reason. They never told me. I emailed you didn't get an email? and I never heard. Mm -mm. You didn't they get an email? Me. No. You didn't get nothing? They just reversed nothing. The super chats? Nothing. I've never heard of that ever happening. I don't know why. Time. It doesn't matter. She mm -hmm. still got the money. No, it does because you lied. No, I didn't. You can okay. think whatever you want. I don't care. You it said I scammed matter. Kara. How did I scam Kara, Melissa? How? You had Kara on. You said, I'm going to give you all the proceeds to this, right? Right? Right. Okay. You had people send money to Kara after that live, right? The total proceeds from that live was two hundred and eighty dollars. Um, you show the the screenshots you showed equaled four hundred, almost four hundred, right? No, the her what YouTube the gives screenshot. me. You know okay. the 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 gross you're, amount is not what we get. After, you do know that, right? So you're saying after the cut. After YouTube, yes. Okay. Why would I give her gross? I wouldn't be getting that, right? So after the amount is determined that you know, this is what you get from what you raised, because we don't, you know, they keep a good chunk of the money. It was 280. It was like 390 before and then 280, something like that. I've got the screenshots. I can pull them up. Mm -hmm. So it was 280. The very next day, I gave her a hundred. Somebody else gave her a hundred. Not for an advance, right? That was because Kara. What? Why was it? Why was it? Why? Why did other people give her money? Because I asked them to. Not for an because advance. Because she right? needed the money now, but YouTube doesn't nope. pay you for a month. Did look you, back at the date of the live. Did the other people? Did you when you reached out to other people to help Kara that night? Was it for an advance? On the live, or did you? Yes, just it was, and those are in my yeah. text. Yeah. Yes, it was, and that is in my text messages. Okay. Absolutely, and we had a StreamYard video call about it as well. I care about receipts. It's because in my text. I can show you the text. Publicly, right? The I sent the exact same the text to that person that I did to another person. Yes, multiple people. The I same know. exact I text. Know. I showed them. Kara staying with. Well, how someone, are you not getting right, it? That she has to pay something along the lines of Kara staying with someone that she has to pay. Right. Anything you could do to help, I'm sending a hundred. Right. And then, but in the middle of that, if you have to consider this mitigating factor, in the middle mm -hmm. of that, the other person was being told by this video that they were seeing online on YouTube, claiming that. Um, Kara was like doing some bad stuff during our live. It was just nasty. So, but this person wanted to get to the bottom of that and make sure that that wasn't true before sending the money for Kara. So she you did and then sent it the next day when with me. Asked. So we both sent the exact same amount and then Kara agreed to wait for the rest of it. She needed the money, you know, then rather than, but it was going to be almost a month before I would get paid from YouTube. And I certainly didn't have $280. The other people so, asked, did not send money for an advance. They just they did. It is in my text messages. I don't care what you believe. I don't care. Okay. I go it's by in my text messages. She shown. also claimed that I had never, <laughs> she claimed that I had never tried to reach out to her during this time. But she seems to forget about. that she Ooh. also did respond to me. Who are you Finally, about? I'm not. You want you want to play that game? I'm not. This was all publicly shown, was it not? Get your paranoia away from here. This was all publicly shown. I watched this publicly play out. Okay. So you saying she this? I no. You're deflecting. You just said up here, and it was just kind of brushed over, like, oh, okay, I didn't know that, but it's not true. Right. You I said I that's why I right. I uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, that's why I'm here because she, you said, Melissa Jade, you said the words out of your mouth was I scammed Kara. And I want to know right now how I scammed Kara. You turned around. That's a lot. You didn't have the money and you didn't end up sending it. Now, if you sent it from then, now, that point until now, I don't fucking know, but you fucking a hundred percent played a fucking game. I showed when all of my cash at Victim's mom. When it came to the victim's mom, like, what's wrong with you? Reverse the super jet. You didn't even get an email. Well, I've never heard of that happening.
Never once heard of that well, happening. They that's can what did that have to do with shit? They can, so they can it doesn't matter. You. I they, didn't get. I didn't they can demonetize receive. you. Do you, do you not they understand can this? Can, do you, they can prevent you from I did ad revenue. The money but don't reverse the you did. Do you understand Crazy. that I was look, in a hole on that? Look, look I'm. Let's, that? let's that's what solve I'm one. To, how is it a scam if I'm literally in the negative? Sleuthin, let me talk, please. I've asked nicely. I don't make me raise my voice. Sorry, I didn't know that was you. Because so, <laughs> when you said that they did a chargeback right here, it says that they can't refund for uh, super stickers and super thin. And I have no dog in this fight. Oh but yeah, that's happened they before. Did a I have... back, so how did that happen? Did oh, you? Oh no, get no, no. You can. You can. You can actually, if you give somebody a super chat during a live and you change your mind, you can reverse that. Somebody, you absolutely you can reverse that. Myself and see how that but works. I haven't, like, if you can find out the reason, that's great. At the time, I didn't care because all I cared about was making sure she still got what I told her she would get. And she got that plus more. I think it was maybe like 50 after, more. Maybe after you were exposed for doing what No, you I was like exposed. I'm the one that okay. came out with it on my Why'd own. Say, well, I, I came I out address? with it on my can I address, own. Can I address something? Why would you say I got kicked out of the drama community? You talk you, I wasn't you talking know. about you. Hello. Oh, okay. Okay. So the whole live is about me. You literally copy the title of my fucking live. I didn't copy uh, anything You off talk of about your shit. Girl, why did you, why did you so involve Claus? Why did you invo involve Claus and lead her to believe that? I, I've i never talked to you. you you're deflecting you right now. now. You seriously are deflecting. Oh, okay. Well, you have not answered Would you like me question. to slow down? What, Answer my question. What's How question? did I scam? I'm Carol? sorry. Have we not been? Have I not been explaining this this entire time? No, you, you haven't. haven't. Around, you haven't lied. Dragged I in others. Paid her. Uh, let me answer. Over a hundred percent. How did I scam her? Shut she was out. well aware and informed the entire time, and she was fine on everything that was happening. You, if she wasn't, I I and I still didn't answer. pay her, that answer. would be a problem. You don't want that would answer. be a problem. You want right? Answer. You don't want my answer. You want your own answer because you, you don't know what you're talking about. That's the problem. Okay. Well, then I guess you got your answer, right? Why did you okay, say so I got you, you get to accuse me without oh, even knowing my, what you're talking you about? You don't want an answer. You keep answering for me. So when I say I give up, you're like, well, you don't have an answer. You're not letting me give you. I've been explaining it. You're not okay, satisfied. No, you're. But that's not explaining it. I am explaining it. You turned around, claimed that I got nothing for this. I got my, all of my stuff was reversed. Never heard of that happening. I call bullshit on that. They can stop future ad revenue. She was yes. already paid, you moron. Let, will you let me? She was already you? paid. That has, it's irrelevant. It didn't matter. Are you if, not getting that? If you lied. Don't along call her. Way, I didn't lie. And, you, let, let's just okay. let's just let's play your game. Let's say I completely oh God, lied. So why do you ask a question if you won't let me answer it? Because you're not making any sense because it's oh. irrelevant. Let's just play your game for two seconds. OK, let's just say I completely lied and none of the super chats were reversed. I still got every bit of it. What does it matter? She already got her and money. It didn't matter. You still lied and involved. No, what you try to do is you tried to pocket some fucking money and it didn't There was work. nothing to it pocket. Blew up in your face. No, and there then, was nothing. I didn't make a dime. In fact, I lost the super chats okay. and still paid her. I'm not going to answer any. Like, I you're never not went letting to her. Answer, so. I never went to her. Okay. If I had gone to her and said, oh, no, I lost all the super chats, so I can't pay you. That would have been wrong. Correct? Because I had already given her my word. This is the amount, 280. That is what you're getting. And after YouTube already took that, I had already given her 100, and the other person gave her 100. So she that was not towards, that there was, was not 80. an advance. I don't That's care. Where you're I don't care what you say because I got my receipt. You're she already, she Are already you got answer? the majority of it, okay. and she had agreed to wait okay. until I got paid from YouTube to get the other 80. I ended up giving her, I believe, 150. I've got my cash app receipts. Will you let me fuck so, talk? Was well, then, was, then was you need to find out what you're talking about. I am. You could have come to me and said, can I see those receipts? Because the cash apps have the dates on them. Yes, they do. 
Yes, they do. Then you can go and ask Kara, can I get those cash app receipts? I do not Come want to talk to the victim's families. It is way too invasive. Oh, okay. Why the hell but, would but I, I do when I find out show. facts and you just throw them away? You don't have facts. I do. I spoke with the family myself. They told me word for word. I can read it right oh, now. I've got it on my God. screen. Okay, while you're pulling that up, first of all, I'm sitting here trying to charge back my own super chat and didn't realize people were super chat. Thank you, Jesus. It, let me know if you guys can charge that These back. These messages have been proven oh to my be God. edited. Will you paid. let anybody else speak? Thank you, guys. Am I on a delay? Because I didn't mean to speak. I think it was just you. Maybe. But um, anyway, thank you all for those super chats. And please feel free to retract them and then show me proof that they retracted or I'll show you. I think you can. Um, I think there is a way that after sending a super chat, after Look, I went into time, my bank and it won't even let me do it from there. So that's I'm not, I'm not sure. This. I've never tried. Yeah. But exactly what you just said is what I'm referring to. Okay. You said I had already given her a hundred advance and another, the other person gave her a hundred. No, the other person did not give a hundred as an advance, the other person gave a hundred just out of the goodness of their heart because you exactly that is finish. why oh they God. were pissed that I let that out. All right, all right, this isn't happening because you're not willing to have a conversation. You will not let me finish. It's because you don't because want it's to hear what I'm going to say. What you're saying is wrong. I already okay. told you. I have the text to prove so everything that I'm saying. Question. So quit. Why are you repeating it then? I have corrected it. Okay, so then let's move on. Why'd you Why'd you uh, include clause? Uh, talking shit in the chat, leading her to believe I've never spoken to you outside of a couple of emails. I you definitely still never haven't answered my clause. question. I'm not what? going into sub what? drama. I'm not doing it. You just told me not. Oh my god, there's something wrong with you. You do not you can want me reverse. To you can reverse. A super somebody just said you can't reverse it. She's lying. Yes, you can. I don't know how. I've had it done to me. I've seen it done to other people. It's no big deal. I mean, here Google says you can't. Um, they're non-refundable payments. I'm trying through my bank and it won't even let me do a charge. Well, back. if you it just did it, maybe I don't I don't, I don't know. I just know that I have seen them go away. I've seen them, you know, be minus on mine before a couple of them. And then I've seen other people tell me that they they've had, you know, that happen. Mm. But in this case, it was all of them. But like I said, she'd already been paid. At that point, all that she was owed was $80. No, because and the money the other person sent was never towards <sighs> the money you accumulated on the live. The money but that see, you keep oh, saying that, although, my God, because you're lying. No, just let me finish this. Even if you think I'm Fine. lying, let me finish, okay, finish my your sentence. sentence. Pause one at a time. Melissa first, and then you're going to take a breath, and then Sleuth, and you can respond. Go ahead. She is Go asking, ahead. where does, when I said you scammed, you're asking me, what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is you went live with somebody else and you had the victim's mom on. And while you're up there, you say... All donations, all proceeds, all super chats are going to go to Kara. Okay. People send money because they want to support this victim's mom. After that live, you reach out to multiple people and you say, hey, you, you say, hey, I, um, and I don't want to say verbatim, but it was something along the lines of Kara's needs to pay the person of the house that she's staying at tonight. Anything that you're willing to send would be greatly appreciated. I'm sending a hundred. The other person sent a hundred, not, not as this is an advance for the money that's been made. They sent a hundred with no expectations of it getting back. They sent that hundred because they wanted to help. Okay. Then, and I don't know what the other, how much the other person sent, but you reach out to multiple saying that. Then all of a sudden you turn around and say, my whole life, uh, all of the super stickers and all of the super chats got reversed. I am out money now. I am out money. And you started getting some flat. You got some clap back for that. You got some uh, hot water. So you went up on J-Rod's live. And while you were up there, you turned around and said, we already paid Kara $200 in advance for that. No. Now, if you paid $100 and that was towards an advance, that 
I can't say what you paid for. But the other person, that hundred was not included as the amount that you were supposed to give Kara come payday. That hundred was should have been on top of the money that you owed Kara because that was just here. Yeah, of course I'll help out here. I sent you sent a hundred, I'll send a hundred. But what you were trying to do was include it. And as 200s, now I only owe her 80. No, you would have owed her 180 because that other 100 was not sent as an advance. So, And I don't even know what the other person sent, so I don't even know how much extra. You were trying to pocket that extra money or not have to give her the full amount. But then you turn around and said, I got nothing. I got nothing, which I've never once ever heard of. Never heard of that. I've heard of being demonetized. Wow, I cannot earn future ad revenue. That makes sense, but I've never ever once heard, and I, if I'm wrong, I will say I'm wrong, but I've never once heard unless you um, lose your channel, unless you literally become demonetized and you're in the process of an appeal where they will go back with already paid super chats, already paid super stickers and say, nope, we take it. The people didn't get refunded. You didn't get it. Where'd it go? It, poof, it's gone. No, I've never heard of that. And I think you were trying to let it get out with just, we already gave you 200. I only owe you 80. I think you probably pocketed what you already fucking made. And then, but then after the hot fucking water came out, you probably did make sure Kara had it back because you had no other choice because you were being exposed. That's no. what I think. Okay. That's what you think, but you're wrong. You're okay. wrong. I want to address a couple on. of things that she just put on the screen. The first one, can you? Well, no, no, no. First, I, I no, because I'm going to forget. The, the, can you put the Johnny Blackhawks thing back I up started, there real quick? I started to ask you after this. I think it's fair to address what Melissa just said. And you guys were talking. Okay. Earlier, can you remember um, that though? And yes, then I, I just said I started. So I, it's okay. in my card section. I'll bring it up in a second. But I think it's fair to address what Melissa just said. And then my other question is, you said this proof was out there somewhere. Is it somewhere we can pull up? Like you said, you showed the receipts. Is it something I can pull up to show everyone now? I don't know if J-Rod still has that live up, but let me I look have them. Um, folder. Okay. You want to play them? You want to show them? You want to show the, the graph that you showed to prove that you were, uh, you lost that money? Show whatever you wish. No, th these are your receipts. These are your receipts. They don't make you look yeah. good. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Because that's what happened. Why didn't you go into your YouTube studio and click on the actual video to show the revenue? Oh, okay. Yeah. Cause no, yeah. Other people are, are never I'm required to do that. I'm asking that would make most sense. I've you showed a before. graph. Why'd you show a graph? Because that was the one that showed the money being debt taken back out. The negative. Was it, go ahead it and show it. It was taken back out because it shows after you're paid, there's a negative there. No, no. Then why didn't you show the, because if you go, if I go into my YouTube studio right now and I click on my last live and let's say I made $50 worth of super, <laughs> super chats, it's going to show, show total ad revenue, $50. Why didn't you show that? Because it was actually relevant to the conversation. And that I think that's what you're missing here. The day after the live, Kara reached out to me because this was something that wasn't planned. Remember, this was just during the live. I got a couple of super chats and I didn't feel comfortable making any money off of this myself. So I just blurted out, hey, you know what? Any donations that I get, I'm just going to give it all to Kara because I don't want to make money off of this. You know, we don't make hardly anything on views anyway, but any donations that I get there, as soon as YouTube gets them to me, I'm going to give them to her. Okay. The very next day, Kara messaged me wanting the money. And I'm like, oh, wait, she didn't know how YouTube works. And I said, well, what was the date of that live? It was like the, it was like the beginning of the month. And it was going to be till the end of the month before, you know, things are processed before you get paid. That's how YouTube works. And I explained that to her and I'm like, I'm so sorry. And she's like, well, I kind of need it now. And I was like, okay, I'm going to see what I can do. You know, and I'll, and that's why I reached out to the other two people as well and told them the situation. I'm like, she really needs it now instead of waiting till the end of the month. That's can you help out? But this that's was not also, what you said in you the message. Can't you, I just did not, that's not what you. you said in the message though, right? Because these were shown publicly, that they were posted. Is, 
And I said in okay. there, I said, we also met on StreamYard, she and I, and we had a like face to face like this conversation about it as well. We didn't talk about it again in text. She went ahead so after that and sent the money. Initial, your initial message asking her to send money conveniently did not include this is an advance. Don't say conveniently. It doesn't matter. Okay, but can we agree it did not include you saying this is an advance? I don't remember now. Do you want to pull up the you, text? You just, all you asked, right? All you asked was, let's see. Pause for one second. Al, is that you? I just want to continue. It, it is me. I just had okay. one quick comment. All right. You can uh, finish, Melissa. I just wanted yeah. to make sure. Let me know when you're done, Melissa. Sorry. I just got one quick comment when you're done. Mm -hmm. Um, hold on one second. I won't worry. Thank you. Real quick while she's looking for what she was getting ready to say. You guys, um, Glowbug and Jesus Cow, thank you. You can reverse those super chats. I appreciate them and welcome. No, to they can't. If you have anything you could spare for Kara, she's having to pay her friend and his wife to stay there. I'm sending a hundred. Then you sent the cash app and let me know. Where where in that does that say, hey, this is also going to be an advance for the money I'm giving her? Do you see the messages after that? Yep. About the, the video that was out there. And she's like, hey, you know, let's let's meet me, you, and the other person. Let's have a conversation because there's stuff that I just found out, right? That's what she said. And then we met up on StreamYard and we talked. No, this And that's where I got to tell her more about what was going on. This Thing was posted publicly on a community page. Just I didn't post. I talked about the StreamYard conversation as well, our video chat that we did. We did that a lot. We so you're saying no, call. it's not included in that initial message. It was only at. It was only after. You it was a few minutes later because she's like, "Hang on, no, no, don't send anything either. Just hang on. We get. We need to wait and find out if this is true." Because at that point, she was thinking bad things about Kara based on that video, and she wanted to check it out herself i didn't need to she wanted There's, to well so because the, the the video that was put out about her was claiming that she was like doing drugs while she was on the live with us and there's all, right, all kinds of nasty stuff that, it was terrible that so she not. wanted to check that out then we met on Streamyard. she told me what was going on she was arguing with that person all day and she's like i want to check this out blah 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 that was when we had more in-depth conversation than just text. When you originally asked multiple people to send money for Kara, it did not. It was not multiple. Please. It was two people. That's multiple. That's more than one. And but say two. Say two. Oh, okay. okay. There's only one when sent you it. The asked, other person already well, said publicly you, that they did not. When you asked two hairs, people, hairs, girls. Okay. When you asked two people after that live, that live ended, you agreed to give Kara super time. Okay. That live ended. I message you, right? Let's put this into like an, I message you. Hey, if you could spare anything, Kara, she's having to pay her friend and wife right now. You know, her friend and his wife to stay there. I'm sending a hundred, you know, anything you could do. We can agree I know that, that wait, wait, let me finish. We can agree, right? That when that person, like, let's say you would send that money, there would be no expectations that that money was being uh, sent for an advance on the money. Okay, I, I right? think what you're missing, though, is that when Kara did the live and we and, and I was like, I'm, I'm going to give you everything that YouTube gives me. I already knew that it wasn't going to be for almost a month. Kara wasn't aware of that. Uh, that's besides right? the point. I'm asking. So that you, was when she was wanting it the next out, day. And we were like, oh, that's besides the point. Maybe that became pressure on you. What I'm saying is when you texted. But I didn't people, have to. I could have just said, hey, no, no, no. I'm not going to get anything. You know, I can't do it until YouTube pays me. But yeah, I wanted to help her. Instead, this is where I said you scam. Because then instead of just being <laughs> oh, honest. you, I was you, honest with everybody. Um, you message and you say, hey. You know, like she needs to pay for that. Like basically she needs to pay for the place she's staying in it tonight. You know, like tonight, like yeah. this is immediate. Okay. That's what she was telling me. Care. That money was never towards the amount you owed Kara. You still owed Kara the full amount for it. Now maybe deduct your hundred because that's out of your pocket. Maybe yours was an advance, but the others was not an advance. It and was she got all of it before I even got paid anything. 
but you she were trying to it. deduct it. You were trying to deduct it from hey, the total you know, price you owed. I'm sorry that that uh, I I wasn't aware that it was going to piss somebody off for me to say that. It was see it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I paid her myself way before you, it was, everything was fine with Kara Peter over and above. And I didn't get anything from YouTube. It's fine. I do want to address the thing on the, um, the Rachel Warren. Okay. So oh, okay. I when I was in a, when I was in a live, this was, I don't remember when it was. Yeah. Blackhawk's stepdaughter who found Rachel Warren's body. Yes. Course. The stepdaughter's needing counseling. And she was asking, you know, does anybody want to help? Well, as many people know, I'm doing probate for my parents. We were expecting that to be done shortly after that live that I was in. We were supposed to be done. But I didn't realize that we had a few more court dates. We've got one more coming up and then the probate will be done. And all of our inheritance from my parents will be released to me and my siblings. And I think it's because there's just so much there's it's a you know, huge house, lots of real estate and the vehicles and the land. Every, it's been a bigger deal than I thought it would be and take a little longer. But as soon as I do get my inheritance, I will absolutely send that and probably more. So you're, still, you're just you, absolutely. You're, yeah, you're I'm just not your pledge. You just haven't fulfilled. Exactly. It. Yeah, absolutely. Can you okay. highlight Jules's most recent comment? I'm more. I'm getting now on my own. This one. Sorry. I've literally Not never talked about. Okay, hang on. Sorry, um, that's true. This no, um, um, I'm getting it. Here we go. Let's also not forget. Debbie would tell her viewers on the lives that she was splitting mm -hmm. money with me, <laughs> and then not do because it because she told time. me she yeah, would send it back. Comment. Yeah, let me finish, please. I declined it the second time. I didn't. She never sent me anything. And I heard you say that on the panel. I because I yeah. watched that with Jules, and you said, "And I'm going to split yeah. all." And people were sending it. And I made like Jules twenty. Split. I made like twenty bucks. You, you guys do it? know that I'm a small I don't channel, give right? Shit. And what she told mean? me, I she told me that she would send it back. Would you like that she fucking text the message? The first to you? time she did, she told me she did. Did you she not listen to the comment back. or were you? Too okay, busy do I responded. owe you twenty dollars, Jules? I mean, no. come on. No, did you not read the the other people that I have had on and co-hosted with? I did pay them. Jules is the one that said she would send it back, and she that is not true said either. In that comment, the that first time true. she did say, "I don't want it." Mm -mm. The second time she didn't say anything, and then also, what about your your member giveaways? Not true. Are they all lying too? No, that, but see, that's not, that was already cleared up during that live with oh, J-Rod okay. as well. This person came up and said, oh, this is, she's going to pay her. I'm like, okay, what, who, who do I owe? My God, did I miss somebody? And they didn't even know who I was talking about They or who they were talking about. I'm like, well, then you need to go find out. I went back through my emails from my winners and reached out to them and made sure everybody got what they were supposed to get. The only person that didn't get it was the person who said, don't send it, don't send it. And that was the Sherlock Holmes subscription. She said she didn't want it, never mind. And then I believe it was MK that was in there that won $50 and he said, don't send it. So move on to, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, yeah, I'm just saying this said they didn't, a lot they of specifically didn't want it. Every single money. other person got and exactly what it's like every time I start talking, you talk over me. So I'm sorry that I muted you, but it's like every single time I start talking specifically, you talk over me. But it seems like there's a huge, huge issue here with money. And you guys say there's receipts out there and then and that they're not in Crime Sleuthin's favor. And she's saying that she did all these things. Is there any proof anywhere on any of this that we can look at? Deets, and there's one thing. And I'll unmute mute you, crime. I'm sorry, but like it's pull, every time I start talking. So sorry. I'm pull sorry. up the live and click on the live in Creator Studio and show the receipt for the live. Period. Story over. Yeah, that would be a very show us where your super chats were mysteriously refunded to the buyers because I can't find a single thing anywhere in all of internet land that says that's ever happened. 
So show us the live. That's why I showed the graph. I'm not going to pull up my YouTube studio on the live. I'm not That's doing it. I'm not stupid. I know it shows everything. I'm not doing that. You can absolutely. Even allegedly with Brittany didn't even do that when she was told to. You can shape when the window that she didn't get paid. Remember? Other than the live. She didn't show a receipt. <laughs> Not, I'm not doing this. I'm sorry. I've that. known you for quite no, no, a while. You're fine, but you but said this claim that you're making is quite there. ridiculous. But did you at? see when I did show Big Al? I, I have. I and what I'm saying is is that there's one definitive way to show this. And that's to show the, the stats from that live. That's what the stats are from the live. No, not the graph. The but there's also another screenshot video. where I showed with the exact stats from the live showing the, the gross amount. And then we had come to, you know, an agreement because, you know, it was in advance. We didn't know for sure we what it was going to be. know how easy it is to uh, uh, edit anything on Google. I'm sharing my screen. It, it showed, it showed the. Going. Sorry. Right. I, I just think if you want this to be dead and buried, you would pull up the live. And that would be the end of it. That but is the I end think that's what she's showing right Google. there. Can you see yeah. the amount on the top one, it's the top so left blurry. one? I is, is. It blurry for anyone else, or is it? Yeah, just no, me? this is just her, her, the receipt she used. But why I'm asking, you can click on the literal video and see ad revenue earned. This shows October 27th. Hold on, let me let me zoom up with my phone so I could read it exactly. This shows a top graph of October 27th, three hundred and fifty nine dollars and forty nine cents, and then on November eighth. It has a little negative three forty eight dollars on it. That's Do you see you that know. the titles are the same? I see that the title. The is that October twenty seventh was the live, right? And it has the the title of the live, and that's the total amount. What was the amount up there that it says? Because I can't read it; it's blurry. Three fifty nine forty nine. Three fifty nine. Right. Okay. So we had agreed that two eighty should be about what I was going to get out of the super chats, right? And that's why we came to that dollar amount because that's probably what it was going to be about 280 after they took their cut. And then down below, you see that that is the specific live, a very special live where, with where her, are you getting where the, the negative yeah. is where off of that. These screenshots, but the, the graph, if I want to get this for my last live that I just did, where do I go on my YouTube studio for this? Mm, hang on, let me pull up mine. And again, like you don't have to pull up your oh, live sorry. studio, mm -hmm. but can't you just click on the live, the video, and show the I ad? I always go through it. analytics, I believe. Hang on, let me look. Yeah, you just go through analytics. It's kind of the same thing. Um, okay, and then I think I go to, okay, so it's listed down there where it's like your top content. Let me go down and find the live. It should be on here. Okay, I clicked on view more and that's where I had gone. And now I'm going to find the live. A very special live. Okay. So I click on that and that's what pulls up the graph. And now on that one, it shows. Well, hang on, I got to change the date on it now because it's. Um, oh, I've, okay, where it says last 28 days up there, I got to move that. Okay, well, where's the money part of it? Dot done, left the building, T. These are fake screenshots. Creators know how the back end works. Yeah, it's real. Fake was, screenshots. These are screenshots that I took that night and showed them. Uh, well, you know they could be spliced. They don't even need to be spliced. You can go right into. No, there's there's nothing fake about what I anymore. showed. There's nothing fake about what I showed. Those I were pull, directly just from. Just show everybody that that. You it is not going to look the chat. same now, though. How, Every how time you you're pull the only up, one in history. That's had their super that's, chat. It's taken not away. true. I'm the only I've, one that's where, being well, put I can't in the spotlight. Else that says this I love how this is being turned around on me as if you I kept money. I didn't keep any money. That's the entire point. Okay. But you know what? It's bes the whole that's besides the point right now. What it I'm is saying, exactly the point. Oh you God. said I scammed Kara. 
I you didn't turn scam around. Kara. She okay. got oh. over and above and beyond. Maybe after all this, but not you after that. I and showed claimed, my cash. Out. Okay, ready, ready. You you were gonna give her two eighty. Now you gave a hundred out of your pocket. You were including Jules's hundred as going towards that. So you only had to give her eighty. That's scamming. That Jules no, it's was not. not towards. Jules was not towards. You want to it. believe Jules? You can. I don't I believe care. Receipts. I don't care. I believe receipts. It the doesn't. Re you I admitted. What you believe doesn't matter. Did care. you not reach out and She's say the you one? Had, if you she have was anything, the one that was not reachable. If you have anything you could spare for Kara, she's having to pay her friend and his wife to stay there. You can read it all it. day. We is had that, a stream yard. Where do I don't you say care what you be believe. Up front? A where scam. Do you say this, this is in no way, shape, or form any type of scam. Just stop. She got okay. above and beyond what. Can I address you? It was like, it been? was way more. Where did you? I mean, again, I have no dog in the fight. I don't even fully understand this, but where's the. Is there, did you show proof of what you sent to Kara? Yes. Okay. I did on the very live. And I sent her more after that than I haven't shown. Can other cash apps. I mean, not that you have to, but if you want to show that, I think that would kind of. I can send, I can send all of them to you. Yep. I will send all of them to you. She continued to reach out after, and I continued to help her. I adjust the. Uh, I mean, seriously, all the, the, the YouTube taking the money didn't matter to me. I was still going to give it to her, and I told her that. But you were taking a hundred off the top of that, and accounting <laughs> money that was not. It was supposed to be an you, extra hundred. It would have been three eighty. Jules's hundred was just for her. It was not. But that that is what, what she believes, owned. and that's okay. fine. It doesn't matter. Okay. She so still got two hundred and eighty from me. Okay, and we're Great. done. So can we move on? Sure. Don't call me a scammer. You okay. can say that you don't agree with me or that you don't believe me about the hundred from Jules. And that's fine. That is your prerogative. But don't call me a scammer because you don't believe me. That is wrong. Okay. Ready? Oh, Tia, yeah, she just explained that, that she yeah. still pledge. She still is pledging the thousand dollars. She just hasn't fulfilled that commitment because she's waiting on probate to be done with somebody's estate. I didn't catch you. Sorry. Yeah. Do you remember I said in the chat and I talked with you guys, I said, you know, I'm doing my probate should be done anytime now. I'm going to send, you know, at least a hundred dollars for Blackhawk's um, stepdaughter. I will still do that. The probate is not closed yet. And if anybody needs proof of that, fine. Tia, you can reach out and I will totally send you alone privately my probate case number with a link online where you can see that it's not finished yet. And you can see what happened around that date that caused it to not be finished yet. Happy to talk with you privately as long as you will not put that information out there public. You will see it's not quite done, but we are almost done. I didn't realize that we still needed to do a few more things at that point. Probate takes forever. My dad died February of last year. We're still not done. We're 13 months in. Usually probate's done 12 to 14 months is what I'm told. I didn't know that then. I thought we were going to be done. For a murderer, our family's estate only took about five and a half months so it just well, varies it varies I, well at the time that i mean i'll just go ahead and say this mm -hmm. we thought that my dad yeah. had we thought that my dad had a will but it turned out to be fraudulent so we had to pay an expert to come mm -hmm. and look at the document that was presented to the court as a will and they had to you know figure out what was going on it, it was did. a fake will. okay yeah that makes sense it had yeah. to go so through it took a little more time you had to decide you had to determine who with the yeah exactly the was. Yeah. okay right so that's why it's taken a little longer and that was a really stressful time but uh, we're almost done and then we'll all you know have our share there's four of us siblings and so kd um, says that kara is says that she's still owed eighty dollars no, I've got all the cash apps. I've got all of my receipts. Kara would not be saying that I still owe her $80. That's not possible. Not possible at all. And Tia says that, she said, then why not contact us and let us know? Our victim suffers. We would have not waited and taken a different route. 
Um, please hold. I'm going to go look at my email because I don't want to say something wrong here. I, sure, oh, sure, I sure. sent you an email. Hang on. Uh, yeah, I do want to get gonna back to that. Sure. Yeah. Well, in my chat or... Or yeah, what? yours was a few nights ago. That's the one I was thinking of. That wasn't last night. I don't know if there was a different chat on this somewhere else. Well, uh, yes, exactly. Don't count your chickens before they have. Okay, here's my, my email. Okay, right here. Did she not get this email? I sent this email on November 12th. Hello. I haven't forgotten. I was wrapping up handling probate for my dad's estate when along came a huge mess that has now caused a delay of probate closing and therefore distribution. I don't want to get into all the stressful details as I haven't gotten it all fixed yet, but suffice it to say, my probate attorney I discovered after the fact was doing, you know, some, I'm not going to, I'm going to forward this back over to her so she can read more of the details here. There's more, but it's hard to explain in one email. Um, I've had, to do some things to fix it. I'm going to send this to her because I'm not going to put this out publicly. Um, help us get this probate done and probate distribution will happen. As soon as I have it, I will let you know. And what Did she not get that email? What was the date on that? November 12th. November 12th, uh, Tia, she said. And she never, I never got a response to this email. And it was sent to decipherpodcast1 at gmail.com. <laughs> Good morning, JP. Is that your email, Tia? I did reach out. This was about the time that we should have been done. She said, I hadn't. contacted you in order to get that. You did not contact us. We have had to follow up. This drop was November 12th. It should be pinned at the top, but I can drop it again. Um... As long as you're okay. I don't want you to feel like you're ganged up on. Does yeah. she remember the date of the live? Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Um, I, I mean, I had, I had let her know that, you know, this wasn't something that I could just do, you know, like right now in my pocket kind of thing. This is what I wanted to do. There's another person. I don't need to name them, but there's another person who's on a, a case who I have already pledged to pay for her RN license, all of her schooling. And I'm going to do that because I'm coming into quite a bit. And I'm a very generous person. This is somebody in a case that we all know about. And that's been her dream. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to help many people, many creators that I admire and love are going to get lots of support. Are you giving a I'm not speech? going to, I'm not like... I'm not a freaking scammer. It really hurt. Oh right. Right. So we 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 that have been going this hurt. entire time off of the scammer comment. Can I ask any questions that I want to ask now before everybody Abs else comes up? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, sorry, I'm so sorry. I wasn't directing that to you. I, I do think really that. You came in for the scammer thing, so it's not like everybody's just like, and I get that. You wanted to address that. I completely you wanted to that. keep addressing it. Yep. But um, I do think that what went down in Melissa's chat is important to talk about, and that is only because, uh, you know, we all kind of witnessed that. So I do think that that's fair to talk about. I know Tia's here. If you don't mind waiting a moment to address this for just a second to you. I don't know what rabbit said that was so egregious that got you so frustrated Sleuthin, but something did because I remember the comments in chat. I, uh, Melissa, you said you have the screenshots of them, but yeah, it, you were like really mad. I, what, what was it? I mean, do you want me to play it to see, to hear what happened? See, we like, can see one of her comments right there. She says, "Yeah, there, there's there's, there's a couple part. still here, but yeah. not like the first so, where I'm calling." Her, lives, I couldn't find them on, on some I could. Yeah. yeah. So, I I don't understand what she had said because it didn't seem like to me when I watched it on the replay, it didn't seem like it was a a huge thing. She was implicating a creator who was not there to defend himself, not even implicated. She was directly accusing him, 
saying that she was um, secretly listening to phone calls and he didn't know she was listening. No, no she listened to Dot's phone calls. That no, Dot she said she was added in three-way without him knowing. Okay, let's listen, not real knowing. Quick. Let's listen to it real quick. How about that? Uh, that might make it very public, um, well-known people um, in that area and powerful people. And from that, he sent an email to me and asked if I could share a little more information and details about like what I knew and then invited me to work with him and do research. Okay. Um, and then, so I was brought onto a team. He said, I'm gonna have- Oh, I need to go back a little farther, sorry. Uh, I knew she was like barely up there when it when she said whatever yeah. it was, that was so upsetting. Her. Um, because I was taken over state lines and dropped off. Um, and so, but as far as that area, I understand it and I know it well. Mm -hmm. um, and so when I heard this on the news and um, like everyone else or most people, when I heard that there were two surviving roommates and you know the police were not called and obviously all of that flipped my gut, got my attention and then knowing about the area and having some still some some people that I've known for many years living there I um was interested and I had a phone call and I was given a couple of very big names um in the government um in Idaho and elsewhere and then um so I my knowledge of the case I come more from and the other people that I work with understand this I come more from the top of the organization the, that are behind this. Um, and so as far as like the students' names and everything, I have to like, hey, who is this? Is that Hunter? You know, that kind of stuff. But I um, was also, I don't know if you guys are aware of Rory from Thou Shalt Not Kill. Yeah, I, I'm familiar with Rory. Okay, well, I started working with him before he went live. So he was on a show with Dago and CJ. Um, I had written something about these names that I had that are very, public um well known so right there even before she's really even said anything you're like mm -hmm. and there it is yep um and i was watching hence like, why i eventually snapped because i was know. i was just saying everything was chill I, and like just because i'm giving her room to speak doesn't mean when she's done speaking i'm not gonna ask questions i'm not gonna ask for receipts but i'm giving her room to speak and then I see your ass in the chat just escalating. Um, people um, in that area and powerful people. And from that, he sent an email to me and asked if I could share a little more information and details about like what I knew and then invited me to work with him and do research. Okay. Um, and then so I was brought onto a team. He said, I'm gonna have you meet my two associates. So I get a call. So do you meet him then? No. So then I meet, and I think probably they're both in here. Um, so then I get a call, and it is um, Luna Nor and Brett Norton. Okay. And these are the two. Luna Nors. <laughs> so we speak on the phone for a long time, and then um, it started from there. And, and for months, we all worked together as a group. We had a couple people, no chains and sunny days, wink, wink, um, kind of come in and out. But um really it was roy no change no more yes okay i'm familiar yeah so yeah so um anyway we all worked together for for months and shared information and files and everything and we did do a show where you know kim came up live i had on, it up yes i yeah, was gonna play that yeah, now. yeah that's who i am so you do know who i am no so, i'm not familiar <laughs> if you were on the panel i didn't realize it was so on the what? How can you miss me? So well, because we're not that was being spewed. I was more focused on that. Well, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not a fan right. of it. I'll say it myself. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, great because Rory is such a huge part of this and what went on this night. So is Kim. Okay. Um, and and whatever I say, I guess falls on me. I don't. Want and see, like right here, I felt like that was just a funny comment. Like in my best Austin Powers voice, "Who are you working for? Who are you working for?" But then it yeah, that was a fine. Little, yeah, it gets a little crazy after this. I don't know if there's still before there. she also was like, you know, I'm sorry, Rory was working with Brad and who, you know, and then she keeps yeah. going. I want to get you guys into to any trouble, but these so are people sign that sign off on their bullshit. So uh, sign off on it. What What do you mean? Well, just like, tell us you... what happened this night. 
they're they're both absolutely full of shit. They are both paid to to come in quick. And here's here's the thing that that, um, that people there. I have Rory's number. I'm calling him right fucking now. Go like, ahead. I'm just curious though. Like, what did she say that was? Well, Is it maybe just, you were playing it really fast. I'm not sure. But she, <laughs> she said one those things. Five. She said those it's false accusations. Really he made oh. accusations against Rory. And I don't even like support. I don't have to support a creator to call oh. out wrong behavior. You're you know, I don't have we, have. we have no relationship with Rory whatsoever. Yeah. You don't I, know our relationship I, with Rory. I had issues with Rory. I called out Rory the entire time on my debunkable series for over a year. You're for somebody who claims that you need to have verify information being pro families. You sat on Rory's panel night after night after night. Day goes right. And no I, I was on that. the other side. I was on yet, the other side yet, during those me, lives. Was I not? Tell me. Was I on it, the conspiracy it doesn't, side? It doesn't or matter. Not? You sat there. But the oh my, is, it does. It does matter, MJ. Is, what was it so, does what matter. Crime Sleuth. Did I get a sentence out? You say uh, I oh, sat there on his right, panel. Right. I was there for the state side and the common sense side. And Rory said he appreciated that having the other the side up side? there. Okay. I was never on the conspiracy side. Rory oh. is thou shalt not kill true crime. Okay. I thought that's and who it was, but I he's, wasn't sure. He's, that they do. he's he's very fair the way he does things, as far as I have ever seen. I haven't been there in forever. I really went over there, kind of. It was like um he did this. We don't live care. Where we he, don't care. We don't care. The point is, excuse is that me, I'm don't interrupt me. Person. We don't care. That was rude. Oh, that was rude. What? You said I sat there like I co-signed I'm what saying, they did I'm and saying. that I'm clearing this up. You can't just spew bullshit about somebody and expect them to just sit I there quietly. Bullshit? I am not the one to just sit here quietly. I spewed bullshit? You just did. You Oh, you just, you just sat there with him all the time. You, did no, I only went over panel? there a few times did, for a specific listen, listen, purpose. That's like me saying I sat with Kim WSU night after night, but I, I didn't believe... Get, get the, you're playing semantics. The point is, is that what did Rabbit Hole say that was so so bad that you had to stomp your feet in my life to go tattletale? It's a and public that lie. He was in a conspiracy to How lie you know? to the public with, I believe he said Kim do you and know somebody she's else. Not telling the truth. That's you let her thing. say that because you don't like him. I, I didn't even. Do him. you see how you fast didn't you made that give comment? Give me any pushback on that at all, and that's why <laughs> I said what I said in do chat. You, do you see how fast you made that comment? Did you even give me a fucking yeah, chance? I didn't even think you they never said it. anything. I don't think they I, had been there yet. So I don't think she had even gotten to that point of it yet. Um, you, and she, how she, well, she doesn't know what she Rabbit is going to say. So you've got to give her a little room to speak before you can then. Okay. Well, there's no other reason I would have said I'm going to go call. Well, I'll go Rory. back and play. You want me to go back and play it on normal speed? I can. I guess I could even do it on like two or 0.75 if you want, but let's see. I don't think you'd even give it. So then I meet and I think probably they're both in here. Um, so then I get a call and it is um, Luna Nor and Brat Norton. So she's talking about Luna and Brat. Okay. And these are the two. Luna Nors. <laughs> so we speak on the phone for a long time and then um, it started from there and, and for months we all worked together as a group. We had a couple people, no teens and sunny days. Wink, wink. So all of them work together, and I'm assuming she's including Rory in that. Rory, Luna, and Brat, and she mentions a couple other names that I didn't really get. Um, kind of come in and out, but um, really it was Rory. No change Santa. no more? Yes. No change Okay, no I'm familiar. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, anyway, we all worked together for for months and shared information and files and everything. And we did do a show where, you know, Kim came up live. I had on, it up. Yes. And yes, I was going to play that. Yeah. Nice. yeah. 
that's who I am. So you do know who I am. No, I'm so, not familiar. <laughs> if you were on the panel, I didn't realize. It was so on the panel. What? How can you miss me? So because yeah, well, of the that was being spewed, I was more focused on that. Well, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not a fan right. of Rory, and I'll say it myself. Right. Yeah, okay. Well, great, because Rory is such a huge part of this and what went on this night. So is Kim. Okay. Um, and and whatever I say, I guess falls on me. I don't want to get you guys into to any trouble. But these so are do people you sign that sign off on their bullshit. So at sign off on it. What what do you mean? Well, just like, tell us you, what happened this night. They're they're both absolutely full of shit. They are both paid to to come in quick and. Here's a bam well, that comments there before she's even done with her right. sentence. Okay, that's why I said it because what she just said there, she said that well, uh, there's a that delay. It was Rory and Kim working together. And it's delayed. Exactly, Dee. Yeah. It was Rory and Kim working together for months, and this was a conspiracy, and they were being paid to put out she, this conspiracy. Well, she didn't say was, there it was a conspiracy, she's just saying that they were all together and everybody had been like and they, were around, and they were on it they were doing a panel and kim came up and she said they were both paid she didn't say that rory had paid her yet like I, that's not mentioned yet i don't know if it is later but that's not there but the well, it was because of what she just said that i said that in chat is, his I, name? I was just expressing my i was just expressing my opinion like that no, wasn't you to make an opinion. accusation without the person you can't you can't no you came at it like a threat Yep. Because I was going to ask him if he childish. wanted to come to the. I wanted why and does I, it matter? And right after that, I said, like, can "Why Rory, are you involving yourself?" I said, "Can Rory come up on panel and defend no, no, himself?" No, no, no. Was and that was when you said, "No, no, 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 no. I don't want him on you, my panel." If you play it, you could see exactly how it, it goes. Go ahead. But I, the point is, is that one. I don't even know why you're in my chat to begin with. You know, I really don't like you. So it was weird already that you're there. Two, but not only am I letting you be there, but when you stomp your feet and you go, I'm going to tattle on you as if this isn't a public fucking live for tattling. everybody to consume. Yeah. That's tattling. I'm calling him right now with stomping so, your feet. Go ahead. Because you what guys are you are even there doing in my chat? Putting out false information no, about him. No, because I. Yeah, that is false. I, how do you know? Where? If she backs up with receipts. What are you going to say? How do you know what she has? But the point is, is I never said, hey, ra what Rabbit's saying is 100% true. She came up because she said she had answers. She had answers. She had answers. I waited, what, 45 minutes before I let her up? And I'm giving her room to speak. And Have in you no spent way, five minutes on her no channel? no way am I Did saying what she's saying. spend five minutes on her channel? And in no way am I saying <laughs> what she's saying is legit. I have no idea she's saying. She's, she's telling me a story. Did she send you a receipt her, proving anything her, that she just said? Giving her room to speak. This is That's my That's just panel. irresponsible, though. Oh, it's irresponsible? It is. Letting someone speak. And wait, wait a second. Weren't you just up here spewing a bunch of shit without receipts? Is it irresponsible for Dee to let you up here? No, I didn't spew. Oh, okay. I did it. Wrong for thee, but not for me. No, that's not how that goes. You actually said a lot. The point is, I was expressing myself in the chat, and I usually would come to your chats because I liked Shay's input. Oh, okay. Period. Yeah. And I have always supported you, regardless. I don't. I don't. You don't have to like me for me to support you. And I let you in, and I didn't block you. I didn't. And I've never you out. done anything wrong on your channel before. Mm -hmm. I've That's been one different. of your one of your biggest supporters in the fiasco. Yeah, and then and through. then you turn and then you oh. turned around mad yesterday, and you turned around and said people like this that they they claim to care about the families yet they're spreading misinformation. Excuse me, I didn't I didn't say your name once, and I oh, wasn't only talking about you. I was you talking about all kinds of general. You're I was talking semantic. about all kinds of issues that we You're have. I have semantic. all my notes. You want to go watch it? I know no, you it took you 36 it. hours. I know you, you made your notes. I you actually made it public for a whole day. I left you it know, public for the whole you day. You know who you were talking about? You blocked me. You, you can't do that, me. though. I wasn't you just I wasn't talking me. about you. Oh, my. there are other creators that I feel are completely irresponsible. So you schedule like this the one that you have the issue with. 
I you, talked about her too. You schedule this live right after I tell you to get out of my chat. You're talking and, shit about you us. Asked Wait, about let me how finish. far away you're I could talking, it. You're talking shit about us in the while I'm still live. From your chat, you pre-block me. Yeah, so I said, I, was, I said, let me finish. No, that had already happened. You okay. I have the screenshots. You want me to show them? You pre-block me. So when I go over and try to defend myself and address it directly to you, I can't say a word. I had to come on my backup account. When I come on my backup account, those comments were deleted within a minute. You blocked multiple people. Then the night before I scheduled my members only Monday and the next morning you changed your live title to members only Monday. And then you decided to talk shit behind a paywall, will not drop your link and will not allow any of us to go in to defend yourself. Listen, girl, if what you're saying is no. the truth, you the, would challenge the, the, you me to come up on time. I was the one you would challenge me. So you sitting here and saying that it wasn't about you. It was absolutely about me. It was absolutely it about was, me. Yeah. Some it was not only about a few people. So I didn't even say call, it. I didn't even call it. you out Have by the name. Balls to say so, it. Okay. Well, I'd rather you call me by name. Have the yeah. balls to say oh, No, no, no. Because we all do that. Truth, even Deets does that. She gets accused of things being about truth, her that are not. You're, telling you're the doing truth, the same thing you that Brittany people. did. You're doing you the same thing that Brittany did to Dean. Stupid. People. Okay. Don't. I mean, there's no need to throw me into this because of. I'm other just using. It's, an, it's a true example. Reason. She's assuming that my entire life was about her. I never mentioned her name once. There were a couple of situations that I brought up that were similar, relatable well, no, for I my heard, audience. I heard a clip where you specifically talked about the things that went down on this panel. But I didn't call no, anybody I out by name and I didn't said, say anything. Right. I didn't said, call anybody out. And you said anybody who will willing to go over these text messages after I say, after the family verifies that they're not oh. legitimate. First of all, you never showed me any receipts. Second off, you said the least you could do is make sure to let people know that these aren't verified. Girl, I said that over and over and over and over that these are not verified. I cannot tell you 100% that these are legit, but I am inclined to believe they are. So you hid behind your your paywall, you had us all blocked, and you spewed the shit. No, I only had to make it members only because no, your, because some of no, your people no, not my people, right over. People it's in your chat, and then it started people happening. people witnessed how you acted, and then you felt tough. You wanted to create whatever. Life. You have no, you have no self-awareness. Hold on, hold on, Minji. You have no self-awareness when it comes to this, and this is what upsets me with you is you come into a live hot and heavy and i have called you out on this before i was joking and, I, and happy before she said that before Rabbit no you were not that. you were in there earlier talking about how i talked to steve g i saw the messages so you did come in there talking about it you lied about that Tell me in this too. chat where i said where i said that. and you never showed me proof of anything as steve nor did i ask you for proof i asked if you compared the messages that was not cool. Yeah, I, well, I told you that. You lied on me. You don't know me that well. The only person I've ever talked shit about to you, you is because I opened up to you about what happened with Brittany and I. I don't talk shit on people. I didn't like, say that you did. And I, I told yeah, you before that I always felt like you put me in the middle as a messenger between Melissa and others. And I don't like that. That's well, not fair yeah, to that me. And I did not like the way you came into either. chat threatening her with Rory. You have no idea what Rory has done to <laughs> either of us. Do you, you have no you, idea. Do you remember during this live when you said, you just sent me a message. Don't put me in the middle between you and MJ. Did you ever read the message? It had nothing to do with her. And I realized that. And I'm sorry for that. But I'm going to be honest with you. You went ahead and did your little community post. You said what you said about me behind right? your, your little paywall. And I'm I still scheduled. a member. So you're so stupid. Because my, my membership hasn't expired later. yet. I so you let me listen later. to you drag. And I got it all recorded. That's fine. I know what you I said. And I'm not a shitty person. I've been nothing but nice to you. Giving you grace. I even begged MJ to give you a fucking yeah. chance. The only reason that you were even allowed in my chat is because of Shay. And that was the reason that I was there. But I also supported you oh, too. Okay asking me to edit my lives you asked me i don't i don't even no, ask you, you. you asked me to Shay edit brought it my up. Live I when your name wasn't even mentioned you have no, some no, no. nerve you think there were people in your class that were accusing me of promoting my do you, you remember the chats in this chat 
accusing me of coming to your live you to promote you my have channel. The authority over cases and you stomp into other oh people's chats God. and you always know best. But you know what? We're not going to take up the whole thing. Tia's up here. I want to give her the chance to address what she needs to address. And I'm so sorry, Deets. I don't know. Oh. It's, it's fine. I just... I didn't understand this situation either. Like I said, I had seen it the next morning on replay and I, I truly didn't understand why you got so frustrated so quickly sleuthing. And I don't know, it was it because, you know, you had to have a personal connection with this Rory person or something, but it did seem to go from like, like I said, you, and like you said too, right here, you're joking. It went from like zero to a hundred. And then after this, it just got even mm. worse. I was I was like, dang. Yeah, I, I think I do take um, offense. I, I think I probably, um, I take it very seriously when I see somebody getting accused of something, especially something as serious as that, without them being able to be there to defend themselves. You accused us of some shit, yeah. bitch. Oh my Come God. On. You blocked us. You pre blocked us. Can I talk with I Tia? I never timed you moment. out. Were you? I'm talking were with you? Tia. Were no, you not actually, you're not. Me? You're talking to Melissa first. Were you not? Did I? Did I? Did you get timed out once in my chat? Were you blocked? I yes, allowed, I did get timed out in this live. I got timed out. I that I don't know about you getting timed out. I did I get timed sure out in this live. Well, yep. then I apologize for that because I had no idea you were timed out. But I know as sure as hell you weren't blocked. I know sure as hell you weren't blocked. I would no, never restrain you. You told me anyone. to leave the chat. I shut up. No, until and then you came back. And I and was totally quiet back. after that. And, and then you wasn't came back until Shay and literally said comments like, this is so unfair to me, heartbreak, then leave. But what you should, this, we're disrespecting Deeds' channel right now. If you were sitting on me in the you, chat. If you what? had an issue, you should have opened up your, I tagged you in my post yesterday. I said, open up your panel, drop your link. You refused, you talked shit about it, even in your members only live. Now we're disrespecting Deets' channel. Now we're taking over Deets' panel with your shit once again. And this is the because you point. lied. Then why don't you open up your panel yesterday? I could have addressed it right to you on your channel. On your channel. But we're okay. So, but, so it's channel. okay. No, 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 no. You said, oh, no, no, no. I don't want Rory over here. I don't want him on my panel. What does that have to do with what I just said? If you had an issue with me and you spoke shit about me yesterday on a panel, open it up unblock me and I will address it with you but you wait until I'm here and then you come in and do what you always do and you make it about you and you disrupt oh it and God. now I'm screaming on no, Jesus I guess you weren't watching your, your I understand that you weren't watching your balls. chat I understand that you weren't watching your chat so you're not aware of Bro, all the crap I that I was getting in your chat exactly and you're, what you're supposed to have a rule in your chat about being kind to each other right and then you respond back after I had just gotten attacked like three times in a row. Like, what do you consider? We go, attacked? oh, just block each other. Just block each other. What do you consider attacked? Well, we are adults. Read what Pickle I mean, said. We Read what Pickle be, said. That's the only one that comes to mind. We should be adults on this platform. If you like truly haven't, I don't block a lot of people or time out a lot of people at all in my chat or even delete their comments because their opinions aren't my opinions. And so if you have, like, if I had a major issue here with Pink Unicorn, corn and it's just random I, I could just block her and then block i wouldn't her. have that issue anymore it i it doesn't i don't think it needs right. to be the content create well, i mean if there's something completely egregious yeah that needs to be taken care of but if it's just stupid piddly stuff then block that person and move on do you remember what pickles had said though uh no but i can play it and see Okay, because that was the one where they had come at me several times. What okay, pickles were not what it is. under. Hold on, let me go get the comp. I'll, 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 I'm a mod. It was, it was down more. Not, it. Yeah, yeah, it was after, after this. Better. It was okay. way after Girl, this. Maybe just realize, don't act like a fool. People won't treat you that way. But if you act like a I fool in a chat, because I think you're, you're associating, you're making synonymous people not agreeing with you and calling you out as attacking. Were they attacking your looks? Were they attacking your character? Or were they we calling you out see. on your behavior? There's a difference. No, no, just watch what they said. Oh my God. And your response, when I, all I did was ask for a mod. You said mods, yeah. please. I said mods, no. please. Question oh my mark. That's God. All I like, said. Like, mods, please. please. And okay, well, you, you know said, what? oh my Actually, God, just block each other. I'm sleeping. Since you're talking about that point of 
uh, Melissa is saying, you know, you want to be called out for your behavior. And I don't know if you agree or disagree with that, but your behavior is one mm -hmm. to drop, you know, these enormous things to get attention. Um, and especially, for, no offense, but our channel is little. We hang out in the little kids section. We're fine with that. You came over and I sent Shay the screenshot. Um, the live that we did where you pledged $1,000 to our victim was on August 27th. August 27th. We heard nothing from you. Nothing. We had to chase after you. And then we got back some weird email about family drama and business that I could give a shit about. I just wanted, I wanted to help somebody. And if it was going to take this long, then we would have gotten her help. A thousand dollars was for, and I'm going to tell everybody what it's for because I want it to be very apparent. We were raising money for a victim who found a murdered victim. It was trauma therapy she was going to. It was yes, very and that specialized. Is why I touched it. But you know. It was very <laughs> specialized trauma therapy. And and I told you in that chat, I said, I know how expensive that is. I have a family member that's gone through that. So mm -hmm. I'm going to pledge a thousand dollars, you know, with plans to do more than that. And at that time was when we thought everything was going to be wrapped up really soon. But then we found out that the there was other stuff going on. We had to deal with all that. We didn't find that out. So, Our victim didn't find I, that out. I had and already told that you. Is I said I would reach out to you once my probate was done. That's right. it. I would just reach right, out. Right, you know. right. And then tumbleweeds so, and nothing. And meanwhile, I have a victim who still needs trauma counseling. And I mean, I'm just saying, you made the promises. I'll show the proof. And, Hey, P. Jake, it's not that I didn't pay. It's that I haven't gotten it to pay. It's from my inheritance that I'm still waiting for. And I've I told them that that day. They knew this. No. Oh, uh, I did. I, I did come tell you on. That. And then I said, come you, on. I did. I did tell you this. I didn't have it. I said, I'm going to pledge it. I'm give. I'm going to get it to you. As soon as I get it, you're going to get it. That's and what I said. Words of words. So, I'm going to go back and play it. Right. So make sure. Right there. So, See, I won't have it for another month. But I didn't want to get into all the details about my inheritance month. that on your live. Do that you understand been, that? No, because that would That's have been when September. we thought no. it was going to be done. Right. September. So we didn't hear anything. October, we didn't hear anything. And October, if you look at my channel, Listen, October was when make we all had the to excuses leave our house. You want. Remember? Make all the excuses you want. Here's These the are deal. not excuses. We, facts they are excuses. Of life. And let me tell you a fact of life. I have a 22 year old that discovered a dead body horrifically and needs trauma therapy. I, I could have come back and said, whoa, I've had way too much stuff going on. I'm just not going to be able to oh, do that it. That would make you and look good, too. That that would have been understandable considering everything that's happened since then. But I'm still telling you that pledge is still good. I've never tried to back out of it or anything. No, we've heard October is when from we got you. removed from our house. We weren't even in our own home from October to sometime in January. No, February. We weren't even in our home from October to February. They had to redo all of our floors and stuff in our home. We were kicked out of our house. It was a big mess. And so we had all of our money, everything was gone to, you know, living away from home. I wasn't even here. I wasn't doing lives. I wasn't doing my channel. For that whole period of time, I, I, I January, yeah. my house flooded. Out. I moved out for eight months and lived in a hotel. Still did lives. I don't. Well, I, mean, I, I just. Don't. I didn't. Pause. I focused, pause. That's when I focused on the probate during you, that time. Both of you pause for a second. I don't think we need to get into like everybody's life history here. I think the the simple fact is that there was a pledge and they thought it was coming in a month and now it's been multiple months. Can we not? I, I, can you not agree that that I do agree that it, was, okay. it sucked That's, all the way around. Yes. Yes. I was very disappointed that we were delayed, you know, again. That's all. Okay. And and uh, maybe some more effort into contacting them and reaching out like making sure you had the correct communication to know 
that they received the message would have been appropriate when, because I mean, and I'm not just saying this because it's, it's a money thing, but like those were victims waiting for that pledge. And mm-hmm. I do feel like that is a big deal. Okay. That's so, what I understand you know what I mean? them. Yeah. So yeah, this is the, the message that I showed. Where I don't know if it came from me or them. It was the same message either way. If it's shared from me or her, it's the same, same thing. And then, but I showed the messages after. Did you show those as well? Do you have them? Please pull up. I, I'm, why am I showing your receipt? Like, please pull them up if you have well, other Well, I mean, receipts. well, did she disclose those where, to you? This is Our deep. Whole conversation. This, isn't, this isn't her. See, this is where you're making assumptions again. This is not her. This is the other person you asked. And where in that does that say? Yeah, it's the same message. No, 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 no. This is not the other person. The thanks for coming was to her. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, the other person didn't. I don't. I'm sorry. Okay, then this is the other person. Okay. Yes. Please make sure you know what What you're talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, ditto. Uh, Mm. Where in that does that say it's going to be used as the advance for the for the money that I owe her. This seems- As I have already said, right after this is the further after conversation they the money. with the other person, not this person. It's the same text message I sent to both okay. of them. This person said no. <laughs> he said, hang on, because I've got this video and this person I'm dealing with. And oh. I don't know if this is true. We need to talk. We need to figure out what, you know, that was after that. I'm not going to show disparaging text messages about Kara. I'm not going to do that. You to. It's it's. Well, I'm you telling you what happened though. Not, but you don't want to believe it. No, you listen. You hit them up and ask for money for Kara to pay her friend. Nowhere within that does it show anything about. I'll I'll pay you the back text, as soon no, as the money comes had, in. Okay. The the rest of it was yes, and we had a Streamyard live right after this conversation. Where more was discussed. Where I explained her why I'm asking now. All right. Well, put it this Rather way. Than, Jules, um, you know, Jules' and word against yours. And Jules isn't the one up on panel with a bunch it's of people fine. having issues with money. Or, is she? No, right? Okay. So. Um, can I interrupt for one quick moment, Melissa? Excuse you, me. Go I'm, for it. You could have before. I just need a second. So I just heard you say before, Crime Sleuthin, that you were donating $100 or something to Blackhawk's daughter before you were going to give the money. Explain that situation again. I want to hear what you said huh? there again. Say, I'm sorry, what? You said something about you were going to pledge a hundred dollars prior to the thousand. No, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. No. Okay. I'll go back and listen. I think I might've misunderstood. I, yeah, we're, I think we're talking, we were talking about Kara. Mm. We were just, just now in this live, we were just talking about Kara. Yeah, I sent Kara a computer. I was part of sending her things. What is that? But you weren't talking about Kara when you were talking about Johnny Blackhawk. Uh, the, the thousand is the only thing that I've ever talked about with Johnny Blackhawk. Hmm. Okay, maybe I misheard. Um, I'll just go back and listen again. Um, okay. The hundred dollars here was about. No. Care only. That's it. Okay. Um, Dietz, I wanted to say thank you for letting me come up as I have not met you before. And that was very kind. And I apologize for coming up like this. Um, no so problem. thank you. I hope there was some resolution here. I I mean, I know it doesn't quite feel like it, but. And I'm just yeah, I'm very sorry confused. That, I'm, I'm sorry confused. that I didn't reach out to you sooner. I, I really am sorry that I did not. I should have. I do acknowledge that. I had so much going on and we were the way that this turned out, it really hurt everything with the probate. It was really bad. But, um, and I was just going through a lot of crap off of YouTube and I just, I didn't think of it at the time, but I, I still should have. So I do apologize that I did not reach out to you. Read sooner. Comment because Mimi just kind of made me feel a little bit better. A thousand dollars and then said, even here, you are sending them over that amount. That is how you continue to get yourself in poop. Oh, is the wizard uh, before? What? Mm-hmm. No, May May has said a few things in chat that are completely wrong. She told somebody in chat oh, some goodness. some stuff that I saw scroll by. I No. Mm-hmm. You okay. target victims to exp- exploit and F all over. May May, just stop. That's just, that's wrong. 
Well, I, I specifically and I did say asked me over that amount. I said, and I, I, I've said well, to okay. you, I just asked you. I will no. send at least a thousand. That's all I said. I will send more than that. You don't I have want to, to send. help however I possibly can. I want to help that, that girl. Cause I know that's traumatic and it's going to be super expensive. I mean, by the time I get the money, she's going to need much more. I, I paid for all of that with my family member that went through the same thing. And it is really expensive. Right. And oh, I'm thing, sorry. So sorry we, that I didn't reach out and let you guys know. Had we known, we would have made other arrangements to get her yeah, help I know. sooner. Because now there's other issues. I really am sorry for that. I really am. Yeah. Well, I appreciate your apology. Uh, I, a, I don't really need one. I The victims do, to be fair. Well, I never I had don't the contact know. information. And it, it, if I had, I don't know if I would have thought of reaching out to them either. But I'm just saying to you, I'm sorry. So if you would pass that along. And I still will. I am still fully behind that pledge. I will make that happen. It's, it's the, the day I get that check, I will make it happen. If I had it, I would do it now. Well, do not send it to Decipher because so. Decipher does not want to be the middleman. You send it to <laughs> the people who get the money, not to us. Okay. That's not ours well, and I don't want any part of it. I need to get that at that time, okay? So that you'll know what's happening. So. Deets, thank you so, again. I mean, I, Melissa, I, I apologize. You have a wonderful channel and you have the biggest heart and oh, you do so oh. much good and you deserve to be like this huge channel and I love what you do and I feel like shit that I hurt you. I really do. I'm sorry. So. Thank, thank you. Um Melissa, I'm sorry for interrupting you. It was very no, rude. you're you're fine. I'm I'm so sorry, Deeds. This got derailed. No, no, no. Us. I'm glad you got some answers that it sounds like you've been waiting for since October ish. So I'm glad that we came to that resolution. So maybe we can come to a few more because there's another person waiting in the backstage. Oh hell, I'm getting off. You all mm -hmm. have a wonderful night. Thank you, yeah. Thank you, you very Tia. much. I love no, you, Shay. Too. Love you, love you. <laughs> um, so Miss Claus is waiting back here and has been patiently for a hot minute. No, I'm not doing that. If you if you want to have her up, I'm not gonna be part of that because um I have I tried. I tried, she reached out to me an email and I tried to have okay, an adult on. mature conversation with her. And I, I apologize. I apologize to her directly. I did exactly but what I did. Why did you lead her to believe that we, I, we said those things to you? I, hang on. I was I'm the not this is, of this is what not, no, 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 no. When I say hang on, I mean let me speak, please. Oh my god. <laughs> If you if you can't even let me speak on my own panel, what the hell is the point of all this? But I was sent a screenshot of what you said about her. It was horrific. It's hurtful. Does she not have the right to address that? Because it does pertain. She did this to me it directly. Does pertain? I muted you, babe. It does pertain to this whole situation that Melissa and Shay have brought up. That has brought you here. It's been a big part of this conversation. Does she not have the right to say, "Hey, that hurt"? What did you mean by that? She has an email. I talked with her already. You want no, to? I saw the you emails. You want to make it a spectacle? I saw the no. emails. No, and you deflected. You would not show her receipts. I saw the emails. You gave her no closure. You okay. left it open for her, and that you, was wrong. You made her believe that we said those things about her. So you can, why? <laughs> Will you openly admit that I've never talked shit about her to you? Has she? I had my conversation you? with her. That's all I'm gonna do. Well, are you saying we have? Did she mute herself that time? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that wasn't me. Oh, I've never said one word to her about claws, so no idea. I've, I've had like what two emails with you? Never fucking spoke about claws. So why would you lead her to believe and doubt friendships that we said those? mean ass horrific things to her about her oh when we God. never did okay well, well I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna her. bring her Tell up us. if you refuse to speak to her but i do think that she has the right to address it like i said i saw the screenshot of what you wrote and i think she has a right to say something but i do not want no I, you said like if you bring her up it's going to be a spectacle i do not want that to be a spectacle at all none of it 
So I just, but I do think I'll it's fair that she gets to say, hey, that hurt. She did an email. We talked and I apologized. I said something in anger that I shouldn't have said. No, she never and showed I, any don't, receipts. Don't act like I didn't apologize to she her. Asked, she asked. No, she so asked you for the receipts and you're not She wanted me to share her. private conversations. I'm not doing Tell that. her who the person I'm is. Not, I'm not going. I'm not was going it, there. Why are you being I passive aggressive? Her. Listen, why are you being so passive aggressive? If you really want to go did there, tell her that, say it's I? no, no. If you really want to go there and you're alive, you wouldn't have been so passive aggressive. Try not to say our names. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. I'm tired of your shit. Address us like a real fucking woman and quit tiptoeing around shit because you've been lying, 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 and I'm tired of it. Okay. Is it private conversations with me or Shay about Claus? Because I give you full permission if... if you're saying you have an issue showing private. I give you full permission to show my messages with you. Well, emails, because I know, I don't think I've ever spoken to you on Messenger, unless I'm mistaken, to show it if I spoke shit about her. I know that you haven't, because we haven't really talked like that. Oh, okay. One down. Shay? I, I'm going to need some time to review my conversations, and then oh, I, will, I so will get back to D. It's not you. You made a comment. Anger at towards now you really us. want you want to okay. This is this is not how adults resolve an issue. If adults have a conversation by email, that's how it you should make be. The accusation you don't get to say, Oh, I don't like what Wait, you said. I in searched email through all my messages. It. I read through all my messages. <sighs> all my messages with you. Not once did I ever talk about Klaus to you. You lied. And I've and never I talked to you on the phone. in my live that my a lot of my content, a lot of things that I talked about, most of it had nothing to do with either one of you. Then who the is chat, it? You did this in the chat while I was still live. And you said, hey, since you guys are actively reading, which I was doing, why don't you tell Claus what you really think about her? And I'm not going to say the rest because it was horrible. So are you admitting now neither me or Shay said that to you? If, if Shay already says that she reviewed her messages, I know. Then I why make an accusation? More than one it doesn't person. come for me. Like, I've never said then that. Then that's fine. I, I I'm not going to divulge real, that information. Listen to me. I have a very good close relationship with Claus, and so does Melissa. We that's do support right. her in very many ways. We don't talk shit on her. I searched all my messages. I didn't I say that you did. I didn't say yes, that you, you did. It was my you are insinuating by you not, not saying I people's didn't. names. You and can your insinuate inner, inner, all kinds of stuff you, about I have Lori the, and do you want me to people. send the do you want me to send the recording to Deeds right now so we can play your live talking about us? You want to go there? You want to go there? It was public for a whole day. It was free to record. No, it was not public. It was it not. Was. You have it. It's been members live this whole time. No, it has not. I happen it to be a member until the end of today. It was so it's recorded, well, and I, I could play it, and I could review it. I just went to look at your um, community post to see when it was. It's still on member, like it is. It is on members now, but I did yeah. have it left public. It was only she up did not, yesterday. No, she never had it. Yeah, it's only one day. Do you old. remember? Okay, during the live, if you recorded it, do you see the part where her I whole live was, was members on? only live? Her do whole live was members only live, and she blocked us. I'm sitting in the link. Part dudes. where I played Stevie Nicks' song, one of her songs, oh, the Stop Dragging My Heart Around song. That got my, it said it can't be viewable. It wasn't just a, like, it couldn't be monetized or whatever because it wasn't monetized anyway. It said it couldn't be viewable anywhere. So I had to cut that segment out. It had me trim it out. During that time, it had to be public and it took all day for it to be trimmed out. So it just sat there public. So until I could switch it, it back. To print to uh, members. If it was your community post is two days ago, but your stream was only one day ago. after the stream was over is when well, I got that notice earlier that you had it public for a whole day. But if you had it off for <sighs> all that was editing, it shows you now what it is, not what it was. I'm I'm telling you exactly what happened. I can. If you have it recorded, go look and see where the part was where I played the Stevie so, Nicks song. It's during that time it was it. public while they were trimming it. I selected the option to have them trim. I watched the then, live last night. It did not post open to everyone. It's been it's been under members live only the whole time. I'm a member till the end of today. 
Listen, it it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday right now because it's 1 12 in the morning. By the way, happy birthday to me. And two, but your live is from Monday. So we're kind of playing a semantic with times here, but it hasn't been up for definitely hasn't been up more than 36 hours. If you did it Monday night, though, barely over 24 hours. Happy birthday, Deeds. I'm so sorry. No, don't worry about it. I was at five, and I think it was for two hours, right? 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central. Yes. And it was for almost three hours. This is just what it says here. Okay. So right after that was when I got got this. Yeah. Yeah. Right after that was when I got the notice that it's, like, not viewable at all. And, I mean, I can, I'll can i send you a screenshot of that notice. From no, my, no, I believe that. I've had that okay. happen. So I went in there, like, what are my options? And it said, what do you want to do? You know, I said, trim out the segment. So when I did that, though, while it was doing it for the rest of that day, it sat there public. I didn't even know that they do that, that they, like, that's just what happened. It was sitting there public for the rest of that day. And then later when I went back, it was like done, but it was still, it was still sitting there at like public. So I switched it back to members only. So it sat there from like eight until about one o'clock in the morning when I went back to it to see if it was done and it was done, but it was showing public at that time. I switched it back to members. So it was public for, from eight it was not public for us to come in and defend ourselves. You blocked us. You basically did a a very passive aggressive bitchy whiny fest behind members live only. It was fucked up. I'm free to do that. Why can't you just face us face to face? Face us face if you have nothing to hide. Face us. She derailed Deed's entire life. That's why I'm here. Letting and why didn't you? I made a community post and I tagged you before your live. And I I didn't want you on my members live. So you only wanted just like you derailed. You didn't want. You didn't want you to didn't hear ask from to me. come up. You, told you me didn't to shut up and just leave you, your chat. You didn't ask to come no. up on my panel. Wait, wait, wait. What did you just say? You she told me to just leave the chat. Oh, I you said shut up. <laughs> I thought you told her she did. never mind. I heard you wrong. I thought did you, you said say I you told you to up. shut up. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? Did Sorry. you tell did you just say I told you to shut up? You were telling me, she, she, stop, just stop, just block each other, just block each other. The, the, the problem with that, honestly, really think about this and consider this, please, not just for me, but for other people. If people are in your chat, anybody's chat, and somebody is going at somebody and saying, you know, I believe false things about them, what, you know, upsetting them, picking at them, picking at them, and then you tell them, just block the person. Okay, so that person doesn't see what the other person is saying. That's great, but the person is still saying those things, and everybody else can still see it. Well, at least you had the chance to defend yourself, right? Unlike what you gave to us. See, you, you just missed everything that I just said. No, I didn't. Honestly, I don't think you should have been in my chat, and this could have all been avoided, but I let you in my chat, and you stomped your feet. You made it all about you, just like you're doing here, but I did not tell you to shut up. Did I? Mm. I told you to hurt. get out. You did say get out of my chat. Yeah, I did. I didn't say <laughs> shut oh. up. I think you said if you're not going to shut up or if you're not going to stop or whatever, but I wasn't even saying anything wrong. I was defending myself against I the think you the were, and it's my happening. channel. But I, I can have it members were. only live. Yeah, and but, but what you're not understanding is you, live. I tried to do this directly with you. And I tagged you and I said, drop your link. I would love to come directly up. I'll come with receipts and we could discuss this together. Instead, you blocked us. You hid behind the members only. You talked a bunch of shit. Let me finish. You talked a bunch of shit. Then you waited for us to come over here. And then you derailed this entire life. Deeds is starting her birthday like this. This is (laughs) embarrassing. I feel horrible. And you could have been a big girl and addressed it directly with us on your own channel. You could have emailed me. I, I don't want to talk to you. Life. My members live wasn't about you. It was about yes, all of the fake was. friendships on YouTube. And you, you said, talked about I us. expected it from one and but the other one really hurt me. You were talking about me and Shay. Are you serious? Talking about how I felt and about even, the comment about the Krava stuff that like I mean you were taking jabs at MJ left and right. And one of the most fucked up was you said I'm not even going to repeat here. It was 
I was infuriated and I was like, you are seriously a see you next Tuesday. You acted like you supported MJ, but you never did. What? Eliza? Eliza's right. Real quick, Shay, though, you did that on Purple Nights with Eve's Live. I remember that. You, you bought a membership just to stream it and like record it and play it. I remember that. Because it was when I was digging into the stuff that was going on over there. Mm, I didn't stream anybody's memory. You didn't stream it. No, I remember what you said, though, that it was okay. Like, uh, you can't put it behind a paywall. Oh, no, no, you no. Know, she has Eve to get a membership. Her. No, yeah. Eve had struck her for, for playing her members live. Mm -hmm. and, but YouTube wouldn't let that happen. You know, re rejected it or whatever. And she was not happy about that. That's all. She literally followed MJ to the end of the YouTube plan. Well, I, I follow anybody anywhere. Well, like you're, you're so honestly, like you're so in, you're so, you try to be the authority of cases so much to where when I had a panel and I have Jules on and I have Ali on and I have Shay on, you, your name was not mentioned, but a, a situation that directly involved Jules, she, she touched on for a brief moment, just for a brief moment. You emailed me and you asked me to edit out my entire live. Edit out that live. It's put your name wasn't even mentioned. That's how entitled that you are. That's how much you feel like you have the authority of things. But you go I out of your you? way. And did I answer you? Nope. And you still show up in my chat and I still let you there. But what I'm not going to do is have you stomp your feet and say you're going to tattletale on Rory, who is the biggest conspiracy theorist, the biggest spreader of misinformation surrounding this case, while you're claiming, hey, that's not okay to spread misinformation about people. And you also don't know my relationship with Rory. You don't know what I've been through with him. So for you to say, well, he should be here and have the right... You could do what you want on your channel. That is my channel. And if I'm not comfortable with having someone, I don't have to have them. And it's not same you. Same for me. Same for yeah, me. But, you're, but if you could talk to me here, you could talk to me on your channel. So that's bullshit. I wouldn't want to talk to Rory here or my channel. You just acted tough, did it behind a paywall, blocked us all. And now you came and derailed this entire live and made this one about you. No, you've, you've made this about other stuff. I wanted to address you making the statement earlier in the live where you said my name and claimed that I had personally scammed you, Kara. You and that's an a lie. What do you think? That's but all I wanted to address. Wanted You're to the one that's struggling it, out. If you wanted to, if you didn't want me to respond to what your live was, you should have just let me on like I asked hours and hours oh, Okay, so because I wouldn't let I you said, on, you get to come no, over here and lie. No, but me. I'm going to respond okay. to the accusations and the misinformation you mm -hmm. put out about me. There's a difference. But thank you well, for doing this entire lot. So you were upset about, and rightfully so, about what Rabbit Hole said about your friend, Rory. I get that. And you wanted him to be able to defend himself. There's two things I want to state before you interrupt. Um, why not just contact him? Like, it didn't have to be announced. Mm -hmm. Just contact him and say, hey, these, these bitches are over here talking about you. Get over here quick. Or... But also, the live that Melissa was playing, the panel that you were on, and it was Rory's channel, Dot is up there spreading all sorts of information that he hadn't taken. Rory, the channel host, hadn't taken the time to vet yet at all because it's just a new person who popped up and is spewing things. Mm -hmm. Is it not the exact same situation? Yes, it is. But it doesn't count. I, I, yeah, I, I honestly, I don't remember that um the content of what she was saying i believe we had met before i don't know if that girl rabbit hole was there in the meeting before he usually would meet for like 30 minutes before a live and just chit chat kind of go over you know what was you know going to happen i don't remember if she was in so that there one, were meetings but so she didn't lie about that mm -hmm. yeah yeah, that is true. Yeah, she he would usually meet for a little bit beforehand and just kind of go over things um, and you know, make kind of a like a itinerary, so to speak, you know, for the live. But I was really I was there for the opposing side. I was never there for you know I was there to to be the that that other voice. That's what he liked me there for. Oh, okay, not for the conspiracy so side, but the other side. Like so just the, the only issue just that the... you took with Rabbit that caused this spiral, because I will say it was it was quite a 
quite a scenario that went down on on the panel when you were in the chat. Um, the only issue you really had was her saying that Kim and Dot were paid. That they were like in this together. It was their kind of thing that they were doing. That they were in something together. But, and but do I you just, know I just know I've had. Dot? All I know is I have had many conversations with Rory about this case and how he felt all along but about these people know. that she's talking about and the things that he said to me. I mean, he he's he seems to be a very fair minded. That's the only reason I ever agreed to go over there is because he's fair minded. He can see both sides. He's got know? a he's got a snake of a and tongue though. He never believed any of this crap. According to what he was telling me, oh, he was so there he to had, debunk it. So, you, so he intentionally said that there were tunnels that led. This was a drug house. Yeah. This was a trap house. There was tunnels that led. I, I, yeah, that house. I that you happened just before I met Those him. That words. was before he I never met him. It. Okay, that was before I met so, him. Like, misinformation, it. clickbait, like what? Yep, I don't know point. anything. And you sit right next to that. Him. It looks like you're allied with that. No, I was not. No, I was never there for that. I just said. All I want to go back and listen to those lies. I want to hear before. your sides. Okay. So if you were the opposition, why would you? I, I, I'm just not getting why you would be so offended that she said this thing about Rory. Like, where was the? I just don't understand the outrage. Because she was saying things. About a person who's Thanks. not there yeah. to be One able thing. to defend themselves. And then I asked right after this part in this live, I'm like, can Rory come up? After I flipped you know? out, you were like, oh, no, no, no. That wasn't towards you. That was towards her. I, I wanted to see if Rory got him. But who are you to ask if Rory could? I, this is my channel. And just because I was I just asking, her, there was nothing wrong with me just asking. I, no, you know what you could have done? You could have just texted Rory on your own and been like, yo, just heads up, you know, like rabbit holes on Melissa Jade's panel. And this is what she's saying. And if he wanted to come in, he could have tried to come in, but you didn't. You made a scene. You acted entitled. You That's not making a chat. scene. That is your that it's your interpretation. Is. But that me asking, is. hey, can Rory you come up? That's you're shouting from the chat tops. You, you like are losing on the your shit. Yard with your freaking feet, with your light up shoes, and you said that's not fair. I'm telling. I didn't say that's, that's not fair. I'm telling. Shit. That's the no. attitude you had. I have Rory's number. I'm calling right now. I'm a grown ass woman. I'll do what I want on my channel. But what did I do with rabbit hole when I felt like she was getting a little bit too much? And I was like, all right, all right, all right. I said, I'm going to stop. I said, I'm going to remove you. But I would appreciate if you could send me all of the receipts. I did it. I did my due diligence. I did exactly what I should have done. You had a fit. And I was expressing myself in chat just like everybody else. They were all, <laughs> several other people were saying the same kind of stuff. So we're not allowed to express ourselves on panel? You can, but I mean, slandering somebody when they're not there. Slandering, we didn't slander that, you. No, we didn't experience. slander you. How you do just, you know she's not telling MJ you MJ just said in even? this live, the only reason I came up, I was like, give, give oh, me the link, is God. because of what she said today. And it's because of what you said yesterday that I even said anything. What is like you're going around in a circle? See, me, yes. no, you're the one who has still on. not even acknowledged that what you said about me was wrong because no, I you don't believe Jules, so. and that's fine. But you know, I that does receipts. not give you the right to call receipts. me a scammer. She's allowed I to have an opinion. Receipts. That's my opinion. Well, you know what you said in my opinion then, but you didn't say that, did you? That's not what you said on this live. Prove me wrong then. Show your. Take a screenshot of your studio. Prove me wrong. I will publicly apologize right now. Please. Exactly. Oh, exactly. Can we let Claus come up, please? It was irrelevant. She okay. got over 100% of the we money. Heard your side. I shared my it side. It literally doesn't. Agree. None of the YouTube stuff even matters. She got paid all of it. Plus yeah, some. after you got called out. No that shit, is, I never it. got called out. Yes, you yeah. did. You went on J-Rods. That is why I you went on J-Rods myself. Oh my yes, because you were getting called out. Because she put out that video that was complete bullshit. But, That's Debbie, you, but, but yeah. Debbie, you're being so petty. Like every like time like Jules does a video, you go back and make a community post like with some smart no, ass comment ever, about it. 
I yes, you did. You did it recently it. on the Co- Coburg or Kovaca thing. I watched it, I and I was that. like, wow, that's so fucking know. petty, Debbie. Why it's don't you petty. leave Jules alone? If you don't like if, if, if you don't like you Jules, no, stop. If you don't like Jules, you don't have to go watch her content, but you did. She had a video about the Idaho 4 case, not about you. And you go back to your channel oh, and you no, make a petty video, ass community no, post no, 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 no. making Mark, fun of it. Yes, you did. We watched it. We watched it. That was so petty. Why are you playing games like this with people? Like be an adult. I tried to talk to her directly like oh, an adult. Oh my gosh. All right. And she but she didn't do your, like but this is the talked. Idaho case. This, you lied. trying to talk She's to her about anything. She's the one who lied and said, oh, she right. never even reached out to me. No, I hey, showed hey, all hey, of my texts where I had been her. trying She's to reach out to her. She's not on panel to defend herself. Crime Suthin, hey, by your own words. She's not here on panel. You can't do that. I'm oh, going to okay. call her right now, actually. Let me all make sure right. I call her. I'm going to call her right fucking now. You see how ridiculous that is? Whatever. I don't, it doesn't matter. how ridiculous that is? Doesn't it bother me? I She's mean, right like, there in chat. Oh, oh, no, but that, no, that doesn't count. Even you relaying to Rory, right? Text him. You could have just relayed to Rory what was going on, but no, that wasn't good enough. He needed to come on it my doesn't panel, matter. Right? You want, you wanted, okay. Like I did say in my members live, when you, you, you <laughs> just stop. your channel changed. Changed. Your channel's changed. The way you approach things, especially in Idaho 4, has changed. Why are you, you being so influence. petty and judging Melissa? Why don't you go do your own content? I'm just, I'm just saying. It's just I haven't even done it. It's amazing. Like, I haven't even Why done, are you I constantly judging her content time. and what she goes over, what we talk about? Yeah, I'm saying I stay, I stay away from that content. Right. Oh, do you? Because I did my cyber sleuth lives. You're emailing me. Edit that out. Then I do these lives. You're in every Oh, no, no, no. Because I got an email about it from somebody. Tagging you me got an email about that from somebody. You're tagging me in community posts. You're reaching out to two people to reach out to me to make sure I saw that community post. And then you're in my chat saying, dictating what I do. And then you were in I'm this dictated. life stopping your feet. I don't even go to your channel. Go mind your business. Cover it the way you want to cover you. it. I'll do it mine. Same. I didn't have you're to invite you to saying. my members. I don't, I've never, I don't even think I've ever been to your channel. Do your thing. Stop worrying about everyone else's channel. Well, how about try to vet your sources? Have you spent two minutes on Rabbit Hole's channel? Have you that, spent two Rabbit minutes Hole on their channel? Rabbit Hole is not my source. I had no idea who they were when they came up. Do you understand that? I had no but idea you let they her were. say a lot of stuff. I didn't even let her say one sentence before you stomped your feet. We all okay. just saw it. And I, I think you were worried about, about what she it. was going to say. No, she was worried about what she was going to say about no. Rory. No, I didn't remember. Who but she seriously, was. why do you try to dictate how other people run their channels? Like I this is something I struggle. With. Yes, you do. Shay, you make Shay, comments. You'll be true. very passive aggressive. Like why do people like me true. do these long lives when they could do a short video? I'm gonna do my thing. Well, then do your thing. People consume content in different ways. I try to be supportive of you. Do your thing. Don't worry about what others are doing. But you do, and you act like this. You can't come over to other people's channels and telling them how to run their panel, what they're going to talk about, how you read the documents better. I mean, it starts to get like, is there, it's like friction. Well, it doesn't true. feel like community. Do claim that but they why have are you policing you everything? Know what things are. I mean, come on. Do you, do you have no self awareness? Why are you trying to police everybody? I'm not trying to police anybody. I'm expressing oh. my opinions. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, no, your opinions there, there suck a lot. Anything, there isn't anything wrong with the, expressing your opinions. But if you then later go and say, like, here, I allow everybody to have an open opinion. I, I did uh, time someone out earlier because they talked about someone's parenting. And it's, I said, no, we're not going to do that here at all. That's too far. So are you later going to go on and claim that, like, everybody was, I allowed everybody to, to attack you, what, you know, and I saw you do that to MJ, and I was like, what do you want her to do, time out everyone and block everyone? No, I, there, was only one, there was only one person that was saying just things tables. that was just over the line, and I had asked them to stop, like, two times in a row, and they wouldn't stop. So I said, mods, please. Mods. And then she stops her lives. Oh, just block each other. Okay. Yeah, the mod should have went. That's actually that. that's actually a really normal response to give. I've heard a lot of creators give oh, it. It's a oh, nice yeah. suggestion. 
you well, could block that's each other I'm if saying, you don't want to. But just because you don't want to block like somebody. Each other. But if I, if you block somebody who's saying really nasty but you're in, stuff you're, about but you're just, chat, but you're disrupting yeah. Melissa's chat. She has a live going. Do you not no, see how you're acting? No, I was talking to mods. I Again, will, will you don't think that's going to distract Melissa and she's going to see what the hell's going on? She's, mm -hmm. She said before, the mods take care of chat. She, does, cares, she takes care of panel, right? And you're the only one who was causing an issue. I wasn't. Oh, my God. It was my channel. It was my live. I'm telling you. You caused me the issue that day. Not even Henry. Not even <laughs> Dot. I. I. Not. Do you realize that? Not even Dot was causing me that issue. You did. I'm just reading through here, seeing what Pickle said. I mean, they've said some negative comments about Rory, but I haven't seen anything to you. Um, I'm sorry, but it's just not the first time that we've had a run in where these temper tantrums happen over at Melissa's. So it's just, it gets old. I don't understand why this continues. I think it's it just maybe do some, I don't know. I rarely and talk looking on what's in going any on. chat. I rarely talk. Okay. Debbie, I sincerely, Debbie, I, I sincerely liked you, and um, I started watching how you would come into chats and act, and it was frustrating because I think and who, offline who's, you're very you sweet and about? kind, but you come in so aggressive and hot, you don't even realize it sometimes. And like I've even told you this before. I'm not You've always been welcome to chat. You were never blocked. It's just the like this the tone. It's the the and way you come in. Like it's just like why can't we be like? Are you only gonna chat when you have a problem, or are you supportive in other ways? Because I just see well, a lot more controversy than I see positive conversations happening. Do you remember when you and I had a private conversation about that? And I said, look, I really don't want to be there if she's not okay with it. You know, I, I say, you know, I've, I've said hi to her, you know, on several occasions, you know, and, you know, just trying to be, you know, just co you know, cool and chill. And, you know, she just doesn't respond most of the time. And I'm like, I really don't want to be there. She doesn't want me there. That's fine. And you told me, oh, no, she's fine. Everything's good. You're totally welcome there. People are allowed in my chat even if I don't like them. Do you get that? I allow pe I I have very I have porn bots blocked on my chat. Okay, I don't have to like you. I will allow you your opinion. That's a difference between me and you. You immediately blocked me when you went to go talk about me. I don't have to like you, but because, you're free um, to chat. You're still you not laughing. Blocked. You were laughing about my live. You're still not blocked. I won't. It was a, it was scheduled as a regular live. And then you stole my title and you did your first. Stole your, what title? Monday. What title? Um, members only my, Monday. I scheduled my members only Monday, which I do every week, uh, Sunday night, and that is when you literally change the title of yours to your very first members only Monday. Girl, you're petty. It's not for the same time. That. It's a member. What else am I supposed to call? You never it? done so a members only Monday. It was you already had a title. It was on already it. scheduled. Hey, for, hey wait, 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 where's Closet? Already, is she still backstage? She is. She's being a doll That's back weird. there. But Come I, on, guys, I, Can you please I think it's there. And if you want, um, I'll hop down suggested so it earlier. Can... The other two can hop off if yep. you don't. I can yeah, hop down. Like it's too yeah, I'll hop off. Here. I but apologize I though, Deets. I'm no, usually not conducted it. this way, but this is exactly my point. Please stop derailing lives. Please stop making it about you. I only came up to address one thing. And you guys could have addressed you it yesterday. Have bring, brought up other stuff. Could have addressed it yesterday when you said no, things you but said. You, it, does, no? it doesn't matter. You, I Thank came you, up Deets. to address the one thing. I didn't I'll derail anything. You. Thank you, you are really good. Talk to you are later. really good <laughs> about twisting things, but that's not what happened. I'll put my info backstage and leave. Okay. All right. Thank you. 
All right, here. Uh, thank you for being Thank you. I'm not. I'm not doing the immature stuff. I'm just you not doing. You don't have to. Nobody if wants I get, to do anything. If I get yelled at or anything, wild. I'm just saying I've gotten some really nasty emails, and I don't want to. I don't want any more drama. I'm done with it. Okay. I, I no, tried to talk no, one no. on Why one directly. You claim that people have a right to speak, then you need to shut your pie hole. See, I'm not doing this, deets. Oh, no, you can't handle the truth. Then why did you go in the scheduled live you had and state, hey, girls, why don't you tell sexy freaking whatever my name is? You spelled my initials. You didn't put out my name. But why did you go in there and say, why don't you tell her the only reason that they have you around in their channel our channels is because of the money you spend on their freaking channel. And then after that, you go, and did you tell them how they go behind her back, calling her crazy drunk? You had no right, no right to lie and manipulate. You talk about Never humiliating shit. No, Never said I you lied. talk about humiliating crap. I I haven't lied. Then tell me who it is if you're not a freaking liar. Well, Show me make, the receipt. If you make those here's, allegations, here's what I will do. I will read. I will read the email that I sent to Carol. No, I want to have the receipts. Who well, stated I'm not what? sharing. Well, I'm not you, sharing private no, conversation. No, yeah, because you want me to le be led on to believe it was Melissa or Alex. Because they're so nope. freaking. I people. never said anybody's you name, and I I never said Alex's name. Just you, stop it. Never. No, I'm saying her name because you're implying other channels. You're not giving me a name. I've given money on her well, channel. You know what? Alex's. Melissa I can read James. my email and that's all I'm going to no. do because I'm not going to get into no. a big old fight. I'm just not going to do it. No, no, no. It, yeah, and you still led me on in there not telling me who damn did what. So I'm not shut sure. your damn I'm pie about you. my not, friends. You lying you heifer. All you, want. you lying heifer. You're full of not shit. Lying. You're full of shit. Then damn tell me who it is, bitch. Tell me who it is, bitch. I mean, you did make some pretty heavy allegations. I do think she has a right to know when you're claiming her friends are talking shit about her behind her back. She has a right to know and who again, that is. I'm, I'm happy you're to read that allegation. Oh, you're I'm happy to read my you're email. Everything else. You're I'm happy to read my you're email. That's it. You use the excuse, oh, no. I can't say no. anything because Claus. of this or that. You're hey, full Claus. of crap. Hey, Claus, do you mind if I read out what she wrote on her channel? Go ahead. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you're okay with it. So, Crime Sleuth and Put on. I want, I want this heifer to be known for what she did. So she'll she do this out. to one sub. If she'll do this to one sub, she'll freaking do it to another. Do not be with this woman on her channel. So you do here. know that that's against the terms of service to say that on a panel. You know to that, right? To no, do. because I'm not. I'm just a plain old sub that no, you didn't it, give it is a still, right. It is speak. still a violation no. of terms of service to okay, say that. Okay, okay, then then strike me. But here, I'm going to read out what was wrote about Claus okay. in the chat. And it says, I know they're reading this. So, hey, girls, does sexy wild thing McLovin freaking Papa Elvis Claus. Hey, I remembered that all from memory. She put the initials. See there? Thank no, you, you only keep her around to get those very generous super chats. Does she know you call her a drunk, crazy woman behind her back? And then you put the hmm emoji. So those are some pretty rough allegations. And I do think that it's fair. She's asking you for proof if her friends are talking about her behind her back. And I said, I'm Who happy to it? read my email. Okay. Read it. I said, I am sorry. I shouldn't have said a word. I was angry and hurt. No, 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 no. Okay, no, if I'm not going no, to read. You're just reading no. that 
You didn't give me no kind of name. You didn't show no kind of freaking receipt. And at I'm the not end going of it, to do this if I can't read the no, email because I'm not going to get into a fight. I'm not going to do it. Like, no, you're a lying bitch. That's what okay, you fucking that's your, are. But it no, doesn't it mean that I'm you, lying because I won't share. You're a lying bitch. That's because, what the fuck you did. Okay. You're a okay. lying bitch. That's your opinion. You, you sent no, an email. Penny counts, bitch. Because I bet you there's several down there in that chat that fucking agree with me. You're People a lying know. fucking People bitch. Know. People know. Klaus. You're a lying fucking bitch. Hey, so you're sitting there and you're still poking, saying people know, people know, but you're not showing any proof. And I know you want no, to. No, I'm read saying this. I went over this. I've gone you, over this with you her. You want to read this email? I don't care if it came in an email. Not, you still, you still, you lying bitch, are leading me to believe it was just them because I won't share personal on any freaking channel that I paid money on. Okay. You're just jealous. I didn't damn pay your damn okay. ass. Piece of shit. Calls, calls, calm down. I feel like you're going to have a, a stroke or a heart attack or something. So breathe, breathe. But you don't have you to show don't. all of us. You don't have to show the whole world this proof. But do you not agree? She like, would share that. She would that pass that allegation it on. against you, Sleuthin. Wouldn't you expect them to share with you in private an email the receipts of what that person mm -hmm. had said about you? Because she ain't got no receipts. She's lying well, out of the pothole. You're lying people. out of the fucking pothole. Prove it then. Prove it. And nobody's proved Prove anything they've said about me. This. You should have stayed gone. You silly thief bitch. So if no one's showed any better about what that they have said about you, wouldn't you want to rise above, be the bigger person and say, see, this is how it's done. And that's why I was trying to read my email, but she won't let me. So no, okay. it has nothing in there. I meant somebody damn told you shit. So it ain't worth reading, bitch. Until you give me receipts, give me fucking names. You're I'm full not going to stoop to this. Shit. I'm not going to stoop to this. You already did, you piece of bitch. I shit. already sent you a lengthy email explaining and apologizing. So I don't even know why you're doing I this. Believe I don't accept your apology because you're full of shit. That's you what you're saying. No, you fucking did that intentionally against MJ, shaying them just because you wanted to get even. You're a heartless piece of cow shit. Did you use okay. flaws to make a jab at MJ and Shay and others? Why even bring it up if you didn't? I'm not going to say Why anything unless I'm allowed to read the email. Oh, Pickles said what he said about you. I didn't see his name in your live comment section. No, you pick fucking Claus because Claus didn't give you shit in yours when I was a fucking mob for your sorry motherfucking ass. Because I didn't give you one bloody cent. You ain't worth dog shit. You're just fucking jealous. You're fucking That's jealous of you, Jay. You're fucking jealous of all these fucking channels because yours ain't worth shit. So everyone's saying, Claus, to calm down. I think everybody's worried because you're so worked up. Babe. And I, I get it. You're frustrated. You're angry. Take a breath. Let Sleuthid say what she needs to say. I don't think she's going to go crazy or anything like that. Yeah, take a breath. Because take I've been dealing with this for several freaking days. I wonder who the fuck is going behind my back saying shit when I've done nothing but support people. And then this cow shit wants to go run in her mouth lying on people just because, oh, they're doing this and that in MJ's chat. So I'm going to get even See, with them. I'm going to spread lies about Claude. Oh, shut Glare, I'm you are the, the you're, you're, you're the nobody man. to talk, sir. He was correcting me, Sleuthin. He was correcting my word. So, I said, you know, I had said I said I wasn't gonna stoop to her with the yelling. Oh, sorry, and stuff. I thought he corrected me. Yeah, because your panels are so up a wad up your ass that you can't fucking handle telling the truth. You lying bitch. That's your opinion. 
Yeah, yeah in my opinion counts. I guarantee you half the people in that damn ship agree with me. Well, that's okay. <laughs> that's all you can do, bitch. That's all, all you I'm do. willing that's to do ready. because I already that's talked with you. I already ass. went back and forth that's with you in email. Motherfucking ass had me waiting backstage because you're too much of a fucking pussy to damn. I emailed with you. I emailed you with you. I didn't. I did not ignore your email, did I? Wait, no. Time out. No. Time out. It doesn't you matter about a fucking email, but you sure fucking ignore me. Well, I and I had already, I had ball. already deleted what I said, and I explained everything I to you. I mothership in there, and I wasn't allowed to go in there and say dog shit. Okay, the very first person who has never once said anything that they regretted, you can judge me. No, but you made a very public accusation against Claus, and I quickly, and then, I quickly deleted it because okay, I was then, like, you know what? You nah, I'm not going to. I'm not going to say that was when I. Public, you want to talk about? You want to talk about stalking? That the chat of mine that I had up there was only up there for a couple of minutes. That's how what closely that was being watched. How am I? I bet maybe I one person clear. saw it. I have no clue. The person who like screenshot it was just sent to me. I don't know when it was taken. Yeah, or it was literally anything. just up there for a couple of minutes. Then I was like, there's, you know what? I'll just read it. One minute, one second, two hours. Just yeah, fucking we've fuck all said things me. that we regret. You shouldn't have put it up there, you smelly cut bitch. Uh uh. No, deets. We're not. No. Uh uh. Yeah, so in yeah. my screenshot, there are three people in the chat. So, I mean, there, there obviously was several people that saw it. I don't know how many. It's been shared around. That's I'm just saying. You don't get to get up here and call me a God, cunt for saying something that I took down and apologized to you for. Because right now, now you are being a cunt by doing that. You're a fucking damn cunt, Lapisha, bitch. Whatever. Whatever comes in my face. Pause, pause. Well, I'm, I'm not going to stand that. Kind of That's just not cool. That. But I'm, I'm just saying, you did call her a hefty name too. So I just, and I get it. I get that you reached out, you retracted it quickly, you reached out an email, but that was a public statement. Does it and not deserve a public apology? Who emailed who first? And I I've been trying to read my my apology up. email. She won't. I don't stop. accept your apology because you've not told me the truth. You've not told me who stated what. Wait. And until you have the balls to do no, it, that's not how that, that's not how your... that works. No, so, shut okay. your mouth. You're so, a fucking liar. Claus, yes, Claus, but that's you're how it me. works. So, Claus, you're telling me that she didn't email you first? You emailed her. No. I emailed her first. I have the damn screenshots of it. And I, I already sent said that. I responded to your email. Hey, I sent it to Shay. I sent it to damn MJ. I if responded to you four times. Email, if any one of them want to send the emails. Four times I responded to you. Four times I responded no, to you. I you sent me to you first. several other emails after that hey, hey, when I told hey, you please, I was done. Can we get one of them to send all the emails so all of them can be read? Sure. Not just someone wants to. Yeah, I'll forward it. I'll forward it all to you right now, Deeds. Okay, that's fine. You can do it. You got my email. Not so. just your version either. Okay. No, the whole mm -hmm. thing. It'll, it'll be all not, you know, when you hit forward, no, 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 forward no, 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 everything. No. Yep. You're forward. as good as AJ. Oh. You're junior. There you go. I don't know if they're in order, but I just hit forward. So there you go. That's oh. the whole thing. And then there's several others that I did not respond to. Three that I didn't respond to. Give me one second. I haven't logged in on this computer yet. So I didn't, I didn't, I'm just saying I said something that I shouldn't have said. Period. You're damn right. I rejected it and I apologized to her. That's all that's all I need to do. That's all I need to do. 
I'm still wondering who the hell said something because you don't have the class. The class. Maybe, maybe you shouldn't have come at me the way you came at me, Carol. I didn't do shit to you. I you used to look at the email. Look at the email. Shut your mouth and let me speak, bitch. I didn't do jack shit for you. I used to fucking mod for you. Then you went away because you supposedly stole from somebody. I didn't steal then from anybody. What are you talking about? Don't, don't, you, you don't get to do that. You don't get to so sit there and say lies about me either. I'm not done talking, bitch. Where are your then receipts on what you just out. said? You just One, said I no. stole from somebody. Three. Then you fucking came back. You did a live about one of my friends. Then you ask people in that live, oh, can one of y'all mod for me in case some trolls come in? I said, I can mod from you. You fucking ignored my ass. And I'm like, what the hell is she doing? I've done nothing to her. Why is she not let me be a mod? Then I've not said nothing to you this whole time. And then you fucking go attack MJ in her damn live and shake. You're the oh, bitch, you start shit. What does that have to do with what, th that's, I didn't no, mod you because I didn't you know you. You went there and attacked them and then you put me in your damn comment section. I didn't mod you because I didn't know you. I was asking people oh, in chat if they would mod you. Me. You didn't you lying bitch. I didn't know you like that. You had me mod. You're, so you're going to sit up here and say I never mod before it was, for you. It was either before or after. It was after that when you it modded for before, me for a little bit, right? Before you went off and ran off with the money. Okay. What, Let me with take a breather. Money. No, Both no, no. no. no let, let's, what money are you talking about? Supposedly the money that somebody else was supposed to have. I think what? she's talking about the care of money. By the way, that money MK and Globa can verify it because I was modding for you. That money that MK won, he wanted you to donate it to that family. Oh, no, 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 no. I've got that. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We can ask MK about that. We can ask MK about that. No, 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 no. Hey, Globa, if you're still down there, bat me up. Because I was no, I talked. I talked to them in email. Just stop. Bring it up then. Bring it up. If it's facts, bring it up. Oh, I can't because so you're you're you're, you're throwing out these false Somebody, accusations because you're mad. It's just not. It's not gonna work. What you hey, hey. You said somebody hurt me before, so that's the reason I'm not going to tell you my receipts, because I'm not going to be like them. Read the email. Yeah, that's okay. what you fucking said me. So you're meant somebody still did it, but you don't want to fucking say who it is. You guys that's want me to read the person you are. That's the type of person you are. Not not disclosing. I regretted I saying that. that. Regretted I regretted saying that. Saying that. Okay, read and all the, not read all the emails because that's what you stated. I'm Don't not going to disclose ever. private conversations, period. Not going to do it. But you want me to read these emails, oh, which is a private oh, hold on. I got a point to make. You no, don't want to other people, them. my own. No, she wanted to forward so them so to you. Okay. Shut the fuck up. Oh, you don't want to say who the source is, but you sure don't mind going in fucking damn public and stating that shit about me. You didn't mind putting all that shit out in the air, but you're too much of a pussy to say who it came from. I don't need to disclose it because I already said you don't need to I retracted it. Shut. You're really overreacting. No, like, oh, almost nobody even saw company. that. It was. It's not a big. It's just not that big of a deal. Talking about me in here. Not that big of a deal. Talking about me, Mars. Mars. Can you block them? They're they're I didn't my ask anybody feelings. to block anybody. Okay, yeah, let's. Okay. You Pause. deserved them from pickle. You deserved them from everybody in that fucking chat, bitch. 
So, Claus, take a breather. Let me. Okay. So, wishful thinking, pickle whisperer wants to know. She says, I'm lost. And what this is about is uh, Crimes Lutheran got upset in Melissa Jade's live on Monday, or it might have been Sunday night, Monday morning. Anyway, she got upset. She went and set a members only live to call out members only. Friends. She went and said a live to call out fake friends. We went to set a live to call out fake friends. Okay. And in the comments of that live, she wrote a couple comments before it had even started. It was set for like 36 hours later. And it one of the comments was very disparaging against Claus. So she's very upset. And then apparently there was some tech or emails between the two of them. Do you want me to just read them or do you want me to show them? You can read them, read every okay. single one of them, because I have nothing to freaking hide. Okay, so, and this is permission from both of them to read it. Hang on, I gotta you read it. You can read away. Read that I... that footage, Bing, because I don't mind at all. And then Glowbug's in the back chat, but I'm gonna read these first. Glowbug. So give me one second. And I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You know how I get. I can't stand liars. I can't stand people that fuck with my friends and lie on them. It's disgusting. You would think you would have fucking learned because you lied in your damn email saying somebody screwed you over. But look what the fuck you did to me. Trying to fuck with me and my friends. You don't fuck with my friends. You don't fuck with them. Now you can read. I'm sorry. Now it won't let me log into my email. Sorry, give me one second, oh, girls. Now that you guys are ready I'm for me to read them, I can't. I'm sorry, Deech, but evil lying bitches like that bring out the claws. Um. Crime Sleuth, and I'm going to put another email in the back chat. Do you mind forwarding them to there? I'm sorry, I don't know. I'm what sorry, I, what'd you say? I'm going to put a different email in the back chat because I just like, apparently locked myself out of my email. Okay, hang on. And so make sure to send them all because, oh, she, you might not want to ask her. She's not allowed to dispose of, of shit like that, remember? She's not allowed to dispose. Oh, okay, you didn't get that email. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, well, I locked no, myself okay. out of my first one. Um, okay, you can send it to that Gmail, but don't forget the at the beginning. It's the same except for. Okay. And I'm yeah. sorry for all the old people that are wearing earbuds, but heifers like this bring out the shit in me. And damn, can you believe I ain't drinking? Just think if I was drinking. Oh, by the way, <laughs> for your little information, you redhead cocksucking bitch. Hey, I'm not excuse me. You know what? That's I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you. Deeds, I'm gonna send you this, and I'm not. I'm not gonna. This is not okay. Let's, don't call me. Don't call me. Don't. Calm, calm, calm. Bring it down. Bring it down. If you're Bring just here down. to do that, I'm not here for it. Grow the hell up. Shut the hell Why up. You and you let this grow the hell up. If you're not here to resolve this, then I don't need. I don't need to be here. I have about already, I've already said them. everything that I needed to say to you by email anyway. Oh, so read those I don't damn need to be emails, here. regardless if you're sorry ass is here or not. Nobody can read my emails without my permission. You know that, right? You already gave her damn permission. Did you rewind? To my you already gave sure her permission, you dumbass. You already gave her permission. And there's plenty of witnesses down below in the chat that heard Stop you say it. Stop calling names. Well, it's very you immature. No right you have no right to damn say crazy drunk and lie on them. Isn't that what you no. called me? Yeah, you did by putting it out there. Yeah, you did. Should be this one. Sorry, I don't. I reset the password, and for some reason, it's not. 
And I also well, no, I haven't sent it to yet. Them. I can't even talk. Can I talk to Deets here for a minute? Just stop. No, okay, so I, I don't talk and interrupt no, you. But but you know what? I need to talk to Deets here for a minute about this email. Well, Thank well, you. <laughs> Just take a breath. Why don't you shut your breath? No, I'm not it's gonna shut like, you know what? what? Whatever. I'm I can't Whatever. You, know, you forward you forward it to her then. Go ahead. This is not working right for me. When I go into the email deets, I go down to the very bottom one mm -hmm. and I go forward. It's mm -hmm. only got her first one and then my la my last one and then her second one. It's not showing the first one. I'm going to send it how it is, and you tell me. No, 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 no. You're not going to just send just, no, you're not fucking cherry picking shit. I want I'm, all of the damn emails that were sent. Hello. Yeah. Hey, oh, hey, sweetheart. You, sweetheart, hey, sweetheart, calm hey, down. That's what hey, I'm trying to do. Can you, can you forward okay. them to me, Klaus? So no, I don't know what you I got. I'm not sure if it's all in there okay. or not. Of course it's not going to be in there or not because she's purposely hey, intending hey, to move and shut out. Hey, try, try to keep up, honey. Done. Try to keep up, honey. If I was just going to send her, you know, like my side, wouldn't I just send her mine? I'm trying to send her the whole thing, sweetheart. Yeah. yeah. Just like you send the whole receipt God. showing proof of who That's said what. This. And I'll send you it bitch. another way as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For some, just sending like the individual little freaking responses. I'm and sorry, y'all people thing. downstairs, but y'all know this is a fucking bitch up here, right? So are you, apparently. Hey. You better call me Miss Bitch, you motherfucking piece of shit. Okay. Okay, let's see. I think this might have the other ones. So there should be, there's one, two, Three, four, five, okay. six, seven, seven total that I show on my side. Okay. And, and you both are okay with you reading one. these? Yep. Clauses first. And it was sent. Oh, thank you for the person who's sending those. I just got some more. To, okay. So then I can see. Um, <laughs> see, she's not pretty forward to me. I don't care. It's fine. So it says, since you're not showing receipts, and this is from Claus to Sleuthin, since you're not showing receipts nor showing names or verifications of what people or channels stated what, Alex happens to be a channel I supported. So no, I'm not no, showing... that's one of the last ones. That's yeah. not the beginning. That's, that's not the beginning one. Oh. Hang on, let me that see. Okay, so, let me see the timestamps. Look at the the second string that I sent you. I think that might have the first one um, because the first one came in at four sixteen p.m. Okay, so they're in reverse. Okay, they're in reverse. Yeah, my the one where I started with "I'm sorry." That's my response to that one. Okay, so the first one is but, from Claus well, at four sixteen. Yeah, I'm the first one who wrote okay. because she definitely wasn't going to email me and apologize. Well, Okay, so wait a it, minute. No, because mine's at 320. Hers wouldn't be 416 no, as a response. Is, is at 420. My, the first one I sent was the day prior, and she ended up responding to me the next, like, I now guess it was earlier today. I don't see hang on. That. Let's see here. So, wait. Ooh, hang on. They sent a bunch. Let me see if her time. Okay, yeah. Okay, so here it is. It's underneath that one, the one that says, um, Monday, March 4th at 11.18 p.m. Yeah, 11.18 p.m. It says, this is sexy, wild thing, blah, blah, blah. That one? Yeah. That's the one that I responded to. Sure she knew who the fuck I was. So? So what? Shut you're making you are making a much bigger deal of this. So is it this one that says oh, that starts I'm with you? A much bigger deal of this. 
I'm okay, making so, him up to do this. No, you went out really there not. and said you shouldn't have put out just because you got, oh, they treated me like me. So you wanted to get even and put my name into it. So shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck down. No. So, Claus, is it the one that starts, is yours the one that starts out, you didn't have to write out my name? That's the first one? Yeah. No, no. It says, no. this is sexy, wild oh. thing, McLovin, freaking okay, Elvis there it is. Papa I see it. Claus. Okay, you're right. Hers was on March 4th at 11, 18 p.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. It says, this is sexy, wild thing, McLovin, freaking Papa Elvis Claus, longest name on YouTube. I took <laughs> screenshots of the comments you made in your chat that you was doing for a live claiming certain channels were supposedly using me for memberships, super chats, etc. You stated that they really didn't like me and only wanted me around there for the money. You also stated they were there were people going behind my back calling me a crazy drunk. You also claim you have receipts on all of it. If you're not lying about this and my friends did this, then provide me with those receipts. You also claim you don't block people from your chat, that they are given or able to use their voice to defend themselves. Then why block and not give them the opportunity to do just that? Also, why delete the comments in your chat about me if it's true and factual? Prove to me you're not a liar. Send me the receipts. Because if you don't have any receipts, then it means you just used me as a target of a sick game of revenge just to get back at others. Show me the receipts. That was Car uh, Claus's first email. So, And then she responded with a bullshit, I'm sorry. Okay, so here it says, although the times aren't... It looked like Claus sent another. Did you? Did she send another email first? Because she ended up. No, yeah, she ended up sending me the bullshit. I'm sorry. Email. Then I responded to another one after that. Then she sent me another one, and then I responded to that. Okay. Um. So Sleuthin says, "I am sorry. I shouldn't have said a word. I was angry and hurt." I cannot stand two-faced fake friends and had just found out I had been apparently fooled for a long time. I wanted to hurt back for turning out I wanted to hurt back for turning out to be very two-faced about me. Uh, she wanted to hurt that person back for them turning out to be very two-faced about her. So okay. but yeah, she wasn't using me to hurt somebody. I should have seen that coming and publicly humiliating me for no reason. I lashed out in a passive aggressive manner using the first thing I knew might hurt back and get them to back off. Oh, so you're admitting here you used claws to hurt them. That's thank well, you. Anyway, thank you. It says, I wasn't trying to hurt you at all, nor use you for anything. I did not use your name. You well, you kind of did. Yes, you spelled you out the initials, my initials, so everyone. Hey, are we okay? I did not interrupt when you were reading her email. Yes, I read. did not interrupt. Well, I I'm do. immature. I can do what the fuck I want. Okay, right. then I then I will interrupt the entire time that she's reading your next one. Then how so, mature is that? We're not getting anywhere yeah, with this mature. that way. You do that shit we're not the getting way. anywhere. Right, girls, girls, we're girls. Let me read them. Let me read them. Let me read them. I did not use your name. I. I deleted, I, I, sorry, the spelling's a little off. I get it. You're probably frustrated, but I delete comments, chat with foul language and decided to delete my chat as well. I can't share. Um, oh, hang on. It goes down. Um, I can't share private combo combos because that would make me no better than the people who betrayed me. I can promise you I'm not a liar and I am sorry for letting that slip out in anger. Okay, when she, her first, um, one of her emails, she did send me another email in this interim time. Okay, I um, thought so. Angry that I had deleted her chat. She left a vile, disgusting chat message in my chat. Oh, my I deleted, I, I had already, so I had already deleted no, my chat at this point, never. right? No, she came I'm in a after. I love, I love. I don't think me, she saw my chat herself. Is what I'm saying because my chat at the time yes, that I she did. sent 
Uh, at the time that she sent it, my chat was not you. there, but she put a very vile chat in in the in the you know the live, and I deleted yeah, that. I don't saw what you brought about me. But you received a screenshot because it wasn't at that time. But that doesn't. My I chat mean, wasn't they, there. You're. We're just How playing to you know okay, I'm just saying. I'm just saying that was why I said that you in the email. Okay. Read it by myself. Calls. Calls. When did I say I didn't read it? Claus, just you're, okay. One second, real quick. Let me speak. So I get what you're saying. So Sleuthin is saying that she wrote out that that statement about Claus, and it it was horrible, whatever. And so then when Claus comes comes in and sees, or maybe was sent a screenshot, it doesn't matter. She still received the information that you put out there publicly. She comes into your chat and leaves a nasty message that you then deleted. I have not seen the nasty message, so I'm not going to say what it was. Um, then there is an email. So that was the first set of back and forth between them. And then it goes to, um, Klaus emails back and says, you didn't have to write out my name. Don't act dumb. We both know SWTMFPEC stands for sexy wild thing. McLovin freaking Papa Elvis Claus. <laughs> You led me to believe my friends, MJ, even possibly Alex, along with other channels, didn't like me and was using me for money. And that MJ Shay, along with Alex, was calling me a crazy drunk behind my back. And you're still leading me to believe that they did this to me without showing me receipts. You are proving to me you are a liar, period. And keep in mind, I said possibly Alex, while you yes. end up reading what in the hell she says. Um, and then hang on. I think it goes to the diff the other email thread she sent. The next one would start. Um, you are welcome to assume. I don't have that. Um, hold on. Hang on. Let me see if I got it in me, the screenshot um, she sent. By her oh, not giving okay, me I got it in name. the screenshots from Shay. It says. This okay. is back from, you know, Claus then demanded the receipts and rightfully so. And Sleuthin says back, you are welcome to assume whatever you wish. I didn't say that. So let's not add to the BS drama unless that's what you're after. I'm not. I'm not a liar. I am a loyal, honest person who doesn't use people, publicly lie on and humiliate people or disclose private conversations despite the all caps because clauses emails were in all caps i won't do it i'm done have a good day and carol replied but yes with, she don't humiliate people but she put that out there yeah. and she don't attack them so Klaus says, I took a screenshot of the first statement you sent me in this email and the comments of what you put out in your live. Now you're stating you never said that. You uh, just proved you are a liar, period. And she sends um, Sleuthin the screenshots from her chat, from Sleuthin's chat. And Sleuthin says, sorry, my son lost playing video games in the background of you guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> By the way, he thinks everybody. Yeah, I sent crazy. I sent two emails within a minute of each other, and then that yeah. was it for me. Yeah. So and um, so she sent the re you sent that one at six twenty five. She replied back and sent the screenshots, and then at eight oh three, Sleuthin replied. Wait. Sorry, there's a second screenshot from Claus, and it says, hmm, never stated this, and you never do anything to humiliate a person, and the results are in. This is proven to be a lie, along with all the false accusations you stated about MJ, Alex, and Shay. And then Sleuthin replied a couple hours later, read my first email reply again, because there won't be another. And then I did go ahead and write. And then she wrote right back. I haven't said a damn word about Alex. So don't even go there. Don't contact me again. I've said all I'm going to say. And you remember the part where I said possibly Alex, because saying a channel or channels, you know what people I damn paid super chat and memberships with. I Alex don't. Alex one of them, MJ. But you're not telling who said what. So I'm only to assume because you're leaving me to believe it's one of those people because you're not telling me who the hell it is. 
And that's it. That's all the and I and I've said already. Oh, no, I shouldn't I have said, said it. I retracted it within a couple of minutes, and that's it. So honestly, claws with absolutely zero proof. I would definitely chalk it up to a lie intent to hurt you. And I gotta say that. Yeah. So then, without any proof to back it up, that's all it. All it yeah. is at that point. Now, if there was proof to well, back no, it up, I, be a different I story. didn't lie. I did not lie though. Yes, really you didn't. did. Yes, no, you did. Until you throw up damn receipts, you're a fucking lying pussy well, ass. Well, just, just say no, you're an effing liar. Like I said, no. Sorry. You're a fucking liar. Okay. Okay. You are. I'm not going to be. And that's why I re I retracted it because I was like, you know what? I would. Knows you lie about this, you'll lie about anything. If but you but lie, you had. If Just you because lie, I you won't disclose kill. private conversations sec, doesn't second. mean that it is a lie. It means that I'm not yes, going to back it up with the receipt. No, I'm not going to do it. I retracted it. I retracted it and I apologize. I retracted it and I apologize. Every time you lie, you say you can't disclose I, information. Every no. time you lie. There has only been one other time that I couldn't, and that was from the family, the Gonzalez family. Still. So you're a yeah, liar. That doesn't make sense to me about the Gonzalez family, because if it was false information out there, wouldn't they want people to correct that? Thank you, Deets. But if it was one of her family members, if it was her husband, she would want her husband to know the truth. My if question is, somebody, though, she, my friends do not deserve to be lied on. One second, Klaus. So, you don't fucking deserve to be lied on. Shay don't deserve to be lied on. And any I already other said fucking it wasn't channel, Shay. So... It, you had all the people in here tonight saying, show her if you have the proof. So, so the only one left is, is it Alex. somebody else? Or are you the trying to make like, Alex. well, I could share the receipt without the name. That's all I could do. No, well, come I'm on. You know, you've been in here preaching. You've been in here preaching. See, editing stuff. Yeah. 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 It, it would be pointless. I exactly. I want you to read nothing without mm -hmm. a name. Because you're That's not why I retracted it. And it wasn't Melissa Jade. I already said that. Who is it? So then? My life was not all about them. I've already said that. Oh yes, my it was. feelings, right. my feelings yes, about fake was. friends listen to it. Wasn't it was just about, about me. them. Oh, shut your pie hole. It was about me, MJ, Shay, no, and Jules. It was about Jules of all trade, whatever her name is. So fucking lie. Not just, not just that. Not just that. Oh, now you're admitting it. Not just that. So it was about us. It was. Caught you in another it was about lie. You. My life was not about you. Did Some you of it was about me. Say their names Some of it was about MJ. Some of it was about Shay, and some no, of it I was about. I did not specifically MJ. say MJ and Shay and Claus. I no, never you said that. Don't out. I don't know. But it was that. Dumbass. And it was about Jules, too. Yeah, you added your little music commentary and every freaking thing else, but it was about us. My life was, had nothing to do with you. Yes, it did. Because you brought up the fact, and then I kind of feel sorry for the person that's paid stuff on other people's channel. I meant channel. No. I didn't say yes, that's the person. Did. Yes, you did no, too. Because people. I heard it. No, yes, I said people. Too. It's a common thing. No, no, I knew exactly who you were damn meeting too. I knew exactly who you were talking about because you put it in your comments section. I apologize to her, Shay. Oh, she says God, she doesn't God, accept God, it. That's fine. It's still not smell like shit, bitch. But don't you understand how it seems like, like Pepper's comment here, she only wanted to cause problems between friends because she was mad. That's absolutely what this seems like without any proof. Like and that's why I had it. no problem. I had no problem with you reading the email. No, when I make a mistake, remember you're gonna sit when I make a mistake, I oh, own it no, and I apologize. No, I remember in your life, you're good at, uh, uh, what is it, splicing things together? 
But real no, quick, no, you splicing things together. So how do I know you ain't so, splicing? Hang, this hang on, real stuff. quick, Claus. You make no problem owning it, and you do. You said, "I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I was angry and hurt." But then you put in the but that kind of negates the apology and says, "I can promise you, I, but I can promise you, I'm not a liar. I'm sorry for letting that slip out in anger." So it, when you put I that but in that. there, and then you so and it's it's a it's a I didn't say but. but. I, I no, you only didn't. She did I not said, actually the say end, the I word said, but. I can promise you, I'm not a liar. Calm down and listen instead of waiting to react. Listen to what I'm saying. It's you put in the apology. And then you go ahead and throw in the jab later saying, I can promise you I am not a liar. And oops, I let it slip. Like, you do you not see what happened there. You're still so you're sowing still basically a doubt in and discord in her friendships, even though you are apologizing at the front of it. Claire, shut up. The, Seriously. At, if anybody the, in this whole entire panel and chat deserves an apology, it's me from you, buddy. Well, just shut up the chat like one problem no, at a time. No. God, at the top you of your you heart's you broken, buddy. Just you do miss me with that. Up. At the top of it, you're apologizing. At the bottom of it, you're still sowing seeds of doubt and discord amongst her and her friends. Do you do you see that? I didn't see it. I didn't see it that way, but I I can see how it can be. Understood that way. I do it see is that. that way. It is that way. You're trying to sugarcoat a pussy ass apology. I'm not trying. I you. you, you I'm dealing with you. Deets is a reasonable apology. person. I'm listen trying to, to just. You oh, okay, to me. You can't. You can't damn disguise a piece of shit by putting a rose in it and thinking it ain't still gonna motherfucking stink. You are. Like you shit. have really. I mean, seriously, calm down. I mean, just. Can Don't you bring your volume down a little bit at least? Doing. I am worried. I, I am worried you're going to have a heart attack or doing. pass out, Claus. I am worried, like, for real, because you're... Oh, I thought it was I know you're upset. Down. I know you're angry. I get it, but I'm worried you're going to pass for out. For you, I can respect and calm down. Thank but for you. That thank you. So I'm so worried about your heart. Oh, yeah. Like, ooh. I, I know. I just feel like... This is just my opinion. You two take it for what it's worth, which is nothing. It's belly button. I, we all have belly buttons and yours probably stinks. So in my opinion, you wanted to hurt Melissa and Shay and you knew that attacking their but friend. That wasn't, that that wasn't about them. Let me finish what my yes, opinion it was. is. Then why bring it up to begin with? Why? So, so what did that is did, so it did have to do with so my life. To you. Well, no. Mm. What did I do so bad to you? Exactly. That you had if the right you're, to do that to if me. the point of you stating that comment in your live was not to hurt Melissa and Shay, then that means, Sleuthin, that you were just lashing out at Claus for no fucking reason. So which one is it? Were you trying to lash out at Melissa and Shay and then hurt their friend in the process? Or were you just randomly lashing out at Claus for no reason? Probably more randomly than anything. So you just wanted to randomly attack Claus? No, I never. And I, t I said in that email. Mm -hmm. I know ne I wasn't I wasn't I did not intend to hurt her to make yourself look good because I said what I said and I shit you are it was up for a couple of minutes and I read it a few times and I was like you know what this is no 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 I will talk about this subject in my it life that's fine no, because people were sitting there watching the live already saw it. I retracted it, it. I retracted no, it and apologized. That's all it I can do. You still, it's still in my mind wondering who the fuck said what. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, and you got to know. I understand that. I understand that. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I'm just saying I can't share private said. conversations. Oh, maybe it's somebody I know and you're scared to say it because you're afraid they'll come after your fucking ass. Mm. You're too scared. Why do you think? Why do you yeah, think I, they, they already did? You open your pie they already head. did. They're a fake. They were a fake friend. So. so they already came after you, and they're a fake friend. Why can you not tell her so that she can look out 
for this phase. I'm part. still, I'm just still not, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to, yeah, I'm not going to do it. Your house. I already said, your house. I shouldn't have said it. I was angry and hurt. No, no it's too much. And I was to lashing out in a passive no, aggressive no, manner. And that show. was wrong of me to do that. And once you get that shit Oh my god, I can't head, get a word in. in so this is not going to get resolved because she just wants to scream no, and, no, and call me a cunt and call me a bitch. I'll and be honest with it you, it'll it's never fine. be resolved until you give me damn receipts. What until if you that's how you feel? Me, yeah, what if, it will never be on. resolved. What it if will never reach, be resolved? What if you reach out to the person that allegedly told you these things about her and ask if you can share them with Claus. Okay, I, mean, I will do that. That would be like the only uh, way I it sounds like that. you're going to share anything is if that person gives you permission. And let me ask you another question. Let me ask you another question. If this person said this and that to you, we never had no grievances with each other. We were supposedly friends at one time. Why didn't you come to me and say something to me about it in private? Because it was, I mean, that's, a valid that's question. why I retracted it though, because it's, no, it's you not retracted just, it because now you if I can't say. answer your questions, then don't ask me any questions. No, the only reason you're retracting I just it is tried, no, you see, you just asked no, me, no, 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 you I just tried to answer you when you, you interrupted me with what you assumed to be the answer. You're acting like a fucking victim so, again. No, I'm not. You. I have owned. I own it completely. I've I emailed you back. You I talked with you. And you're too I've scared because if they found out you damn said something, they'll go after your ass. I'm not worried about that. It's already done. I already dealt with it. You know, a well, lot good. of people, a more. lot of people, guess what? A lot of people, when they have a problem with somebody, they go talk to them in private. And they do don't blast it on YouTube. You well, do I mean, that's kind of rich you considering you YouTube. blasted this on YouTube. Yeah, bitch. I'm not blasting this on YouTube. I yeah, said I didn't did. want this to happen right here. I had already talked to her an email. No, no. I meant your comment no, in your it chat. Doesn't matter. Right. That's it's why I said it. I retracted it within a couple of minutes. You didn't tell me who the person is. I don't need to just I leave don't it be. Care if you need to or not. You're making me wonder who the fuck said what. Deets already had a good idea. I will reach out to the person and see if they'll be okay with me sharing the messages. Yeah, right. Like you got back to T about that money. Right. Yeah. Okay. Throw a jab well, in. That's yeah. great. It, it's it's just. Wrong. And you never got in touch with her. I'll be waiting today to see her get back in touch with me. Let me ask you something. Are you still friends with this person that was talking shit about me? No. So how are you going to get in touch with them to ask if it's I still okay? still have their email. It doesn't matter. All I can do is send them an email. Yeah. I, and so I there's two, you. there's two more people in the back chat, but I don't want to bring like a bunch of people on at one time and it get even worse. Um, Claus, I unfortunately um, I think this is probably down. all I that's going to be. Down. He's back there. Yeah. I'll mute too. Glow, Glowbug and Tony people. Martinez. All right. Y'all can come up. I'll mute. Okay. Um, are you all right with that? With, I'm, I'm I couldn't. With I couldn't hear what you said at all. Uh, Glowbug and Tony Martinez. Why? I'll mute. Okay. Thank Why? you. Why you can't handle people coming up telling you what you are? This I came up here to defend myself against yeah. MJ slander. This is not going to turn into a, a bash on Debbie, Debbie night. night. That's just ridiculous. I don't know what they're like coming up for. I didn't bitch. see don't anything. Talk about the J. You like don't that. have to show Keep your face, name Tony. Sorry, Do not talk about her I like that. I defended myself. You're okay. a fucking full, full of shit. Okay. You better stop talking about Melissa Jade like that. Keep her name out your fucking mouth, bitch. 
So, Claus, I think it might be best to hop back down to the chat because I really don't want, I don't want your heart. <laughs> I think more, I'm I know. Fine. I understand why you're worked up. I do, trust me, but I feel like um, I do, I truly am worried. Do you have someone there with you <laughs> if your blood pressure shoots <laughs> through the roof or anything? <laughs> so, I'm okay. fine, I promise you. Okay. All right, I mute, and I will I bring, I will bring these two up. Uh, let's see here. If you go ahead and mute claws, let me add them. Hello, Glowbug and Tony. Hello. Good evening, America. <laughs> what can we do for you guys? Hello. Uh, Adiz, I just want to say I'm new. I'm newcomer to your channel. I saw you about a couple of weeks ago. I love your work. Uh, tonight was epic. Uh, probably not for the right reasons, but still very enjoyable. I loved it, and uh, I have I have three or four haters in your chat who have, oh. who are saying nasty things about me that's untrue. Um, so um, anyway, I just want to come up and say that I'm. I wish you happy birthday. Oh, thank and you. And those who know me know I'm a decent person, and those who don't like me because I stand up for the families of the victims of the Idaho Four massacre. Um, mm -hmm. That, that's their problem. So anyway, I've seen you. you I uh, thank you. I've seen you around at MJ's and such, and you remind me of my friend Cash. And I, I think you're hilarious. So, oh, thank no you. I, I, no I, shade. I know it's it's very sad that I make jokes of such horrendous things, but for me, it's part of my dealing with it's it. A way to get also, through it. Yeah. Yeah. If, if people laugh, it's well, great. You know. Um, uh, yeah. And, and that gets haters. I mean, YouTube's so crazy. Um, Why are they accusing Tony of being a peen bomber? Are you a ever peen seen bomber, him do that? No, that's um, that's a that that's a lie that was perpetuated um, by a certain cliche in, in YouTube. Um, someone someone did a expose himself or did an expose a, put up a photograph of a of a man's genitalia on Dr. Detective John's show. Um, that person admitted it on another channel, but but people who hate me because I went on his channel and said I don't like people victimising the families of those victims, um, mm. they don't like me because of that. And so they accused me of doing that, which is a, which is just a, just a lie that they've gone with. Um, I've never, ever known Tony to be anything but completely respectful of everybody i'm a little bit cheeky now and then and my my humor's to the limit but um yeah i mean you know i i have haters because i went on detective john detective john's panel and i spoke out uh -huh. about certain creators who are making money defaming the 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 family members of the survivor of the well the famous survivors of the Idaho thing, and the, mm -hmm. and the, you know the, the mum and mums and dads and so forth of of those children that were that were unalive. So, um, anyway, don't they call? Uh, do they call you guys kiwis? Aren't you a kiwi? Is that what it is? Yes, ma'am. Yes, I thought so. Okay. Yeah, but that's I, that's you. No, no, I'm, spe I'm speaking the truth, Dahlia. You know, if people in chat are going to be saying some nasty stuff about somebody and somebody knows that that person is not like that, it is being a decent human being by saying, hey, wait a minute. No, that's not, that's not cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, she's making me <laughs> That's it. I've never seen him do anything like that. I know some channels that he hangs out on a lot. Y'all go for it. Tell what you feel about her. Okay, sorry, sorry. He can say whatever. He can have an opinion. That's fine. I'm just saying I've never seen him peen bomb. That's just not cool. Period. Okay, so anyway, just ha happy birthday, uh, Deets. Thank you. Um, love your show tonight. And Thank to you, all Tony. my haters, um, please get better and get a life. And I, I, I want to say a certain word. I'll spell it out to you. J-O-B. Get a life and a job. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank okay. you, Tony. Listen to that. Hey, Listen to that, crime make bitch. <laughs> hey, Glowbug, what can we do for you on this lovely morning? I need to plug in my Mac. 
Okay, so I just wanted to come up because I heard Carol say my name. Um, so I just wanted to verify that in Debbie's live, I was also modding for her that night that she had Tara on panel. And yes, I believe it was MK who said he wanted his gifted, his gift donated to Kara or the family or whoever. Um, he didn't want it sent to him in the mail. That's all I wanted to say. Yeah, I couldn't remember if it was email or if he said it then, but I knew that, K that MK said he didn't want it, you know, like pass it on, something like that. All, and I, I did. I, was he, no, actually, all I know is he said so he wanted it donated. You said, yeah, yeah you there was something like that. I'm saying he didn't want it. You remember you I was doing that thing where I was drawing names? You I'm talking to her right now. It. Sit down. That's all you said is he didn't want it. He I didn't, he didn't want it. He didn't want yeah, it. That's all I remember. He did it. He rejected it. But people it. came back you later, people like you, no, saying, no, I didn't you give the prize money. Out, you let that, that was true. So you kept the money. I you didn't. I gave money. Tara over and beyond, show way above what I owed her. Show the receipts. I'm show gonna send the them to Deeds. I don't owe you show shit. Show the receipts. Show the receipts. I have you know already did. on J Rod's channel. I already did that. I showed all the cash apps. I have them somewhere on my computer, Glover. and I have them on my phone on my cash Glover. app as well. Glover, did she even and I'm going to send Deeds the oh, additional Deeds. ones Glover. that I sent Glover. after. Glowbug, did she one time say anything about him wanting to donate? All she stated is he didn't want the money. Sorry, I had That's to pull it on my computer. I'm sorry. That's no. all she stated is he ju di just didn't want the money. She never said nothing about him wanting it to be donated. Did I did I draw another name at that point? I don't remember. Do you I don't know. No, 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 no. Can, wait, name. pause, pause. Can one person explain what happened again? I'm so sorry. I had to like go find an outlet. So it took me a second. It was a live that go ahead, Carol. You can explain it. No, it was um I I know I was drawing names, right? Yes, yeah, and, and I knew MK and, was there, but hello, I'm trying to please. answer the question. Can you just zip it for a minute? I pulled I his name you and it. I knew he was in chat, but he took a while to answer okay. and then he said she what he said. It. Oh my she god, didn't you're say you're ridiculous. You she are ridiculous. You're, You're ridiculous. ridiculous. You're freaking ridiculous. Anyway, this is what happened in the live. She was giving out stuff to supposedly pay for to people. Well, MK happened to win, and he said, go MK. ahead and donate it to the family. I said mm -hmm. that. Shut yeah, your mouth. I, I just said to you today, all well, I said was you didn't want it. And then to me, when that was brought up, not one time did she bring up the fact that he said donate it. She he said it on the live. Said, no. He, Whatever he that. said was right there no, on the live. No, she just helped us remember that. that. Would you do shut you, up and let me Do think. you really remember every single word? Deets, for example. Yes, do you remember do. every word that I you've ever said on a live? Oh, do people hell ever have to yeah, help you remember? Know. Even Glowbug you know? just stated it. Even Glowbug just you're really, stated it. You're, the you're just... On. God, you're reaching. You're really reaching. You're reaching. I you didn't need to reach reach for any money. Okay, breathe, breathe, breathe. You need so to reach did, for a brain. did the money breathe? Did the money get donated? Yes. That MK wanted to it forward it on. It got donated, right? Yes. Yeah, right. Okay. Did were receipts shown of it? And I don't remember though, Glowbug. Did we I don't remember if we because he said he said what he said, and I don't remember the exact words that he said. I don't remember if I drew another name or mm -hmm. or what from there. Maybe Globo can help. I don't remember. I'd have to pull back you up know, the line and watch it. You, you didn't draw can you another shut name. Up, you just said you would donate it. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Globo? Another name was not drawn. She just said it would be donated. No one has ever seen proof. No one knows anything of where anything went. That's all I know. Okay. Do you have proof of it, Sleuthin? 
I'll have so to go back was... and look at my live. I don't know. Nobody's ever said anything. So I don't know. Okay. Yeah, this is a birthday party. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Happy by the birthday. way. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Dumpster yes. fire. It'll be good. Well, the rest of the day will. But I hope the rest of your birthday is a lot better. Thank you. Well, I just hope that we can come to some resolutions here. I don't know. Oh, no. She but... gives me receipts like she's given receipts of where all the money went. We're all what that money came out of my pocket, you idiot. Idiot, money? the money I did. A, the I did a, a celebration no, live and I did giveaways of gifts and cash. Okay, that's all I did. So it was just a celebration live, your yeah. own money that and right, MK1 a giveaway. something asks right. you to pass it on, and they're not sure if you ever uh wait. Petra said, no, Glabug, can you explain? Because Claus just, oh, and I think she explained it pretty well. Or may, am I missing well, something, Glabug? Like, well, MK I had also mentioned earlier that there was, only, then, there was only one person who didn't get what they were supposed to get, and that's because they said, no, don't do it. They said, never mind, I don't, I don't want it. And I will have to find that in my email, too, and send that to you. Who was that guy? That I don't, person? it was the Sherlock. Okay. It was the Sherlock subscription. Mm -hmm. They said they didn't want it because it was going to be like three months of it. And they weren't, they just weren't interested in it. So I said, I'll just hold that one back and do that at a later time. It's this thing where you get letters, you know, three or four times a month and you try to solve the, the crime and you get like a letter at the end of the month with the, you know, the answer. It's like these fancy letters that they get. Yeah. And yeah. she just said she didn't really want it just to save it for somebody else. So Everybody else said, said that he's the one who set up the live for you thinking she would do the right thing by Kara. I had to apologize to Kara because it was me the connect. Oh, he was the connect between the both of you for the show. He didn't set up the live stream. He connected us or he, he told me that he talked to her and that she said it was okay for me to, to reach out to her. And I did, and she responded. He didn't set up the live. He was supposed to, he was originally supposed to be on the live. I had invited him, but when I told Jules this, she said she wouldn't do it if he was there. And I told him, and he was like, that's fine. I respect that. And he was cool with that. He just was in the chat. So, I mean, I was up front about that with everybody, you know, and who I wanted up there. I had wanted Dago up there as well, but I don't remember why he didn't come. It didn't come up so it but, ended up just being you and jules yeah okay okay i guess she didn't want to be up there with jay like at the time people. yeah that was all okay and everybody there was, was okay with that i'm guessing that's why rock chalk is here in the back sorry i just didn't want it be overwhelming um is there anything else we can do for glow bug and claws i know claws i know what you want i'd love to get it to you too but it doesn't sound like it's gonna happen with unless this other person says that she can send them to you. Well, I think that's bull crap. If she ain't getting along with this mm -hmm. person, why should she respect them? Why right. should she respect them when she didn't respect me by putting that out in public? She's okay. shown more respect toward that person than me. Mm -hmm. And that's fucked up. I understand that you feel that way. And again, I am sorry. No, that's, I ain't done speaking. That's the kind no. of character you are. That's the type okay. of person you are. That is your I wouldn't opinion. Trust you. I wouldn't trust you with a freaking penny. I wouldn't trust you with one bloody fucking set, you bitch. Deets, I'm sorry for the bad words, mm -hmm. but I always speak facts. And happy No, you birthday. don't. <laughs> yes, I do, bitch. You don't. No, you don't. You're not mature You're at all. Fucked up, bitch. You are not mature. You are so bitch. immature. You're, You're so very fucking nasty, immature. You nasty, are a bitch liar, and half the damn chat down there know it. She's really hurt. I, I don't. I mean, I, I, really, I have tried to be as, as 
I try to be as yes. honest and humble no, as possibly can be. You're I saying, have you're apologized and I have retracted you're the comment. You're a snake. You're a snake. You're saying you have you're every so single so person, you every single person snake. watching this you has said something that they regret. Shit. And not just the damn newly dog shit. You're Everybody has said something that they yet. regret. That's I said it. I regretted age. it. Simple as that. You don't regret nothing. You just regret getting caught in what you damn did. That's not true. Yes, it is. Or you would tell me who the hell said it. You know what? What comes around goes around. And how you damn done me, you better expect it in return. One day you're going to get it tenfold for you doing this shit. I, okay. Okay. Just remember, I told you so. And when it happens, let me know so I can be in your face and say it. I told you so, bitch. Thank you. You're welcome. Fuck off. Right back at you. Bye, Claus. Like, just because I wouldn't respond that way out of anger, I understand where her anger and frustration come from. I completely do. And I do too. Oh, I, I really do. I, I really, really do. And uh, that is why I retracted it and I apologized. I own what I said. I regret what I said. I should never have said it. I know that. We have all said stupid things that we didn't mean or that we shouldn't have said. When I make a mistake, I own it. It was a stupid thing to say, and I am sorry. I really am sorry. Thank you. Well. I hope she receives that one day. I do. And, and hopefully if you do reach out to that person, I, I think it would just, I know it would eat away at me if, you know, someone said, Hey, this person talked about you, but I can't tell you who that would eat away at me for a long time. So hopefully. Yeah, I understand. And I'm, I'm going to think about it. I'm going to pray about it. I'm going to reach out to the person and see what, see what they say. If I get a response and we'll go from there, I will keep you informed. Uh, Rock Chalk, are you there? I am here. Okay, this is a new name I hadn't seen before, so I wanted to make sure. Yep. How's it going? I'm I'm doing all right. So, <clears throat> crime sleuthing, you are lying, and you know it. She About went on J Rods. Hold on. She first went on J Rods. She gave away a bunch of gifts. Then she didn't give the gifts away. She never. I did, sent I, it. Hold what? on. I never gave I, one on Jay Rods and right gave away gifts. What are you talking here, about? I'm not going to do this with you like the other lady because I'm going to tell the truth. You just said a straight, bold faced lie. That is not a lie because Pebbles came in to try to confront you about it and so did Doodlebug Fart. What and are you, you talking did, about? You um, is Jay Rod in chat? Did I ever yes, come on? He is that in chat. He did come up. Yeah, Jay Rod is in but, chat. But first of all, before we move forward, did you say Pebbles and Doodlebug Fart? Like, what? <laughs> Sorry. Yes, that's their names. They were, they oh did, she God. did a drawing. It all started, she did a drawing, and then she never sent the gifts out. But okay? I already cleared that up with you, that that wasn't true. Do you not remember our conversation? Are we really, I, um, obviously, go you back and watch the lie. Because that's you not were how apologizing the conversation to went. me at the end of it. I never apologized to you. As yeah, a matter of fact, that's bullshit. But yeah, anyway. you did. You were, oh, are okay. we cool? Are we okay now? I shouldn't have listened. Those other people because you were crying like a little it. baby, okay? That's not no, how it went. Okay, so I'm going to finish with you, Deets. I'm sorry this is your oh, birthday, no. and this lady's got to run it for everybody. No, but, no nobody's so, ruined my birthday. Don't worry so about So anyway, that. she did She did a gift thing. She didn't send the gifts out. Pebbles okay. came, and That's so did Doodlebug Fart to talk to her. And anyway, she wouldn't talk to him. It ended up being a big showdown. Well, a couple of weeks later, I was talking to J-Rod, and I said... You know, Kara never got her money. He said, what? And I said, yeah, she never got her money. You came on J-Rods, and you and J-Rods is still up there unless he took it down. You guys were fighting about the money. And you said, I gave her the money. I got receipts. You kept holding it up. In the same sentence, you also said that YouTube kept the money. Okay? You said they never gave any of the money out 
that they kept it and you didn't know the why. cash apps. I've said that we've already yeah. cleared. Yeah. Well, so. and you, well, don't talk to me that way. I am. You're not going to insult my intelligence because, lady, I'm way well, you're, smarter you're than you. You're not remembering things correctly, but go I ahead. I remember them very correctly. Anyway. No, you're not. I never gave okay, away. I never did any drawing or prizes. Finish. You not, can talk no. when I'm done. Yeah. One, at time, okay. One, One at a time. Let Rock talk. Sorry. That's, that's right. You have a mute time. button. You can mute her. I'll tell you the truth, and then you can talk to her. Yeah. Like, Super that's how that's going to go. I'm not going to sit here like the other lady. I feel sorry for the other lady, honestly. Um, I never met her anyway. So she said that YouTube kept the money, all this other crap, right? She got all upset. <clears throat> so J Rod set up another meeting. Okay. And J Rod talked to me before the meeting and said, I talked to Kara. Kara never got any of the money. I said, okay. And he said that crime sleuthing was coming on that night. She came on and the, him and her was going at it <clears throat> big time. And I was on the panel too. And she said, J-Rod, I don't know why you're talking to me this way. I don't understand why you're talking to me this way. And uh, I'm reading J-Rod's chat down there was to be nice. Anyway, uh, then she, he calmed down and then she just basically lied to him and he just let it kind of go. And I was like, no, you didn't pay her. And then she said that Jules gave $100 and she gave $100. And that she tried to give Jules the hundred dollars back. Okay, well that never happened either. Then you kept saying you had receipts and acting like you were holding them up to the damn camera, which nobody could see the receipts, and you didn't want to show them receipts to J Rod. Okay, two nights later, you're back on J Rod's. You're sitting in your parents' floor drinking wine with a Grinch shirt on, with these blinky -lee lights on there, crying. Because everybody caught you in all your lies. And now you're up here still lying. You took time off, all these times off, these months off, to come back and do the same stuff that you've did all this time to everybody. You and everybody else, you everybody else just is a liar. Chat, everybody no. else is a liar. And you just seem you have receipts that never. I show showed up. all of my receipts live on my phone because that's the way you should do it. I pulled no, up that's all not of the my way texts you do and it. all Nobody of my cash apps and showed Nobody them live on you my phone. You know what? You are the biggest lying lady I've ever met in my life. I don't know how anybody follows your channel. I, I don't understand it because now here you took your time off and now you're back again. And if you look in chat, you never showed J Rod the receipts. He's on here. Yes, I did. No, you did not. You did not show I any receipts. right there on my okay. phone. You kept holding Lying your phone on up my phone, where nobody can see everything. it. There's a difference in showing receipts. I can hold my phone up, too, and you see nothing. Oh, here's no, my receipt. No, I pulled up the, the full cash apps on That's no, not true. That's You're not liar. true. That's I, agree, not true. I agree with the lady that was on here before. I'm sorry. She's so upset. But you are the biggest liar I've ever seen. You can go back opinion. and watch the live, dear. Go back. I was and watch at the it. live. I don't need to watch it. Well, go ahead and pull I was it up. There. Somebody pull it up then, because that's not what happened. And you that know is it. what happened. And then you nope. were crying. I, and oh, you said, "Well, I said, how come you're always hiding behind your uh, your Facebook post?" And you said, "Well, because I don't. Do, I didn't do my hair and makeup." I said, "Well, sometime why don't you do your hair and your makeup?" And then, like I said, two days later, you showed up in that blankety shirt. Your hair was straight out. You were balling. You had wine. You knew you were busted. But you think every time you're going to cry. Uh, oh, and let's not forget the first time I confronted you, you said, I'm going to call Dago. And I said, Dago ain't my boss. Call Dago. I don't care who you call. You tried to threaten me with Dago. Then you tried to threaten me with J-Rod. Like, you are all about the threats. Lady, you need to get off of YouTube. Because you're the biggest liar there ever was. You were the one that came into the chat, if I recall correctly. I was and on you're the saying panel. All these things. So you're not recalling and right. I was on the panel. You, but you came up panel. on the panel and we addressed everything. And that is when I showed all of the receipts. There, there were additional cash apps that I sent to Kara after that as well. And I can also send, I'll send every single damn one of them to Deeds. I showed them all to that date on that live. You Where did not. You held your phone up and nobody could see anything in that live. Oh my God. Where and nobody where said, hey, I was, can't listen, see that. You were I so concerned about Kara. Where's, where's Kara now? You were so concerned about Kara. Where's Kara now? D don't, don't you dare. 
Yeah, because you don't freaking know. I do know. And yeah, it's you none of have, your business. You I know everything, and you have no clue what you don't going know on. anything. You just wanted. Oh, believe me, I do. You just wanted to have that money. That's all you wanted. I just haven't wanted, made a penny off anybody. Oh, you're lying. And you also threw jewels under the bus on J Rod's no, life. No, no, I didn't. I spoke a truth, and that pissed her no, off. So what? No, it's not the truth. But Dee, I hope fault. you have a good birthday. This lady lies. Like if her mouth's moving, she's lying. Go watch J Rod's live. I don't need it's to watch it. Up. I was there. I was there. I was there on the panel. Then you'll you need to, you need a refresher course, honey. Because I no, know honey, you need a refresher course. You need to quit lying. That's, That's what, not what you happened. Need. You need to quit lying. And you is need, the lie need still to, up, Jay Ron? You, you need to just keep watching your own stuff and leaving all these people alone and quit lying. What's it called? I don't. Know. J Rod. It was J Rod on point. Okay. What was the live called? Um, I don't even remember what the title was. I don't know, but he's in chat. I mean, he could sure come up and tell you. I guarantee you, he'll tell you the same stuff I told you. <clears throat> and I haven't talked to Dago. Yeah. I, I, I haven't I, talked we're to We're talking J about two different I things, Gavel Geeks. YouTube, I haven't talked Tap to J-Rod since chat. that. I haven't talked Not to J-Rod since apps. that. Nobody sent me cash apps during that live. Oh, wait. You, here. It's, it's three months ago? Yes. Okay. I would say at least three months ago. Got yes. It. Got it. Okay. And there's yeah. two. They're two the only, right there together. When when yeah. I first was there, he asked me to come up and um, address the issue, and I was like, okay. And then we he did fight. At the, we did fight at the very beginning because I was like, what the hell, you know? And then we got into you know more of the discussion. I don't know how long he was. I think he was. Yeah, there we go. See, there's all the stuff that I showed. Okay, let's go here. Since there's no chat, I'll make it bigger. There we go. That looks like you're showing receipts. Yes, please. There we go. All right, now. This is the live that we did on the 27th. Let me wait for that to pull up. Do you see where it says how much we made on the live? Right. Uh, $359.49. This was on, I'm guessing, the 26th or 27th. Or, well, the 27th right there. I can't see. Hey, it's 3 a.m. Cut me some slack. So that was supposed to be $359.49 that Kara didn't got, right? Can I finish or I'm going to leave? I'm just letting you know. I'm watching you, what you're showing you, me, honey. Okay, but you just, like, where? why did she get $359? I'm pulling this number up and this is where i Because you said that she was about to get everything that you made about life. Oh, my life. God. Yes, sir. I can't believe well, that you only got only $100. Me. No. I'm just saying. Well, she true. only got $100 you from you and $100 from you else. I can't fucking believe how you're speaking to me right now. I'm just letting you know that this is the truth. This, this is the is bottom not, line. This is Kara not true. You're not letting me even finish a sentence. I just started. Can I finish? Yeah, go ahead, though. You don't have to, like, go jumpy and shit. I'm just telling you, just you what Kara to told me. me. I've never had you ever talk to me like this, ever, in a, what, a year and a half that we've known each other? Well, I have I to tell you, I, I brought you here to talk to you. you everything. About something that I thought that it was very important for the community to Absolutely. know. Absolutely. Then let me talk. Go ahead, honey. Thank you. You're welcome. This is, this is where all the problems have started, right here. People not letting people talk. So, <laughs> this is what accumulated in donations on October 27th. This is not what we get. This is what came in. YouTube takes a good chunk of that. You know that, right? When you when you get super chats, you don't get 100% of the super chats. Correct? It's about 70% is what you actually get. Are you with me on that? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. letting you speak on out of respect. Yeah, of course. That is $280. If you go ahead and do the math, you can do that. Yeah, I was trying to remember how I came to that number of 280. That was okay, what it was, 70%. So in your analytics, what you see is your estimated revenue. They've already taken their portion out of that. No. 
No, it, it hadn't even processed when I did the screenshot because this is a screenshot that I sent to Kara the next day. That's why I had, that's how I had the screenshot. Hang on, hang on. There's more here. Let me look here. I'm sorry. I'm looking at my own backstage. I'm glad you're looking because I'm on the phone right now and I can't see it all. Um, I'm pretty sure what they show you is already a is after their cut. She says she never even got it though, Deets. That's okay. not true. I'll keep, I'll keep looking in mine. I'll play this. I'll keep looking and see if I can find a more accurate answer. Okay. All right. So she received. Now, during the live, this was all my idea during the live. She never Blair, came on to get money. It wasn't discussed beforehand. Once I got a couple of super chats, I was like, okay, wait a minute, y'all. I'm not trying to make money here. I don't want any money off of this. So all donations that I receive, I'm going to send them to her. As soon as YouTube pays me, I'll send them to her. Well, a couple of days later, I got with her and I showed her everything. And she received these payments. Oh, hang on. It pulled up on my other laptop. So I sent this right here, a hundred, and then Jules sent a hundred. Do you guys see those? So that's two hundred. That left eighty dollars owing to her, as of the first of October. Okay. That is what I would get at the, on the twenty-first of November would be about 280 of that of those donations. That's all I would get. Again, just to show you again, that was the super chats from the live. Or was it the total? I don't remember. When I actually added up all the super chats, I did 70% and it was 280. I went over all of it with Kara so she understood. She saw every donation. I don't remember if this is the whole thing or if it was just the super chats. This is just a screenshot I took showing the money that I made from the live. Could you pause for just one moment? You only, have, you only have one minute. Okay. So like I was saying there, I wasn't sure at this point if the 359 was like the total for the live or the super chats. I think it was the super chats. I don't remember. But I had actually gone back to my live and watched it and looked at every um, super chat that came in. And then went back to my analytics and there were a few that didn't show up that were in the live that didn't show up, but they weren't much. They were like $5 or something, but so they had been, I guess, retracted or whatever. But um, so I added those up manually and then did 70% of that. And that was the 280 that I told Kara that she would receive. And she received a bit more than that from me. Okay, so you actually ended up giving yeah. her money. So just to kind of clarify what I was showing there. Okay. Okay, I'm just, I'm looking in my studio to see if I have something uh, fuller context. Yeah, like um, a recent live maybe you know that hasn't been processed. Because I don't remember when I took that screenshot, but I just remember I went by the actual, um, I keep saying cash apps, I think, but um, I mean super chats. So, well, they I added they them up it down for you. If you go to even that graph that you're on on the revenue source, like here, I'll show you. I don't care because um, we end up donating most on here anyway. So, like here, they break it down for you into different colors. Yeah, so like, yeah, yeah. Your super chat, greens, your gifted memberships, orange is your memberships, your premium mm -hmm. watch page ad and super stickers so yeah so each one of mine that had either a super sticker or a super chat i added them all up and showed i sent her screenshots of all of it as well and then you know, explained to her the math because this was after she didn't know anything about how youtube works at all and i'm not even 100 percent on how youtube works but that was what we agreed to the 280 but she was wanting it then instead of waiting until because remember, our live was October 27th, but I wouldn't be paid for that until November 21st-ish, you know? But she was needing it now. I didn't have it all, so that's why I reached out to other people. 
But I do. And we just did our best to help her through, you know, until I got paid. And then it was sometime in November when they reversed just the super chat stuff, the donations. She still got all of the money, though. Yeah. I I still don't understand them reversing your super chat donations. I don't either. I don't either. uh, I do think this is, uh, I do think the super chat totals we see is after um, they take their 30% though, but I'm looking for a more concrete answer on that. Yeah, 30. Yeah. It's it's around 30 to 40, but I I did 30 30 for her because I was, you know, trying to, yeah, trying to, you know, guesstimate over. Right, but I'm saying the number that you showed on this graph, I think it's it's already been the 30%'s already been taken out. I'm pretty sure. Okay, well I'm going to the next screenshot I showed, I don't remember the it's gonna show here in a minute how much they took back though, and it was almost okay. that. So okay. Method, one method of uh getting money out of that one life hours less, like you know, for example, when people come here to my show and we get the their cash up, right. We promote their yeah, cash. Yeah, no, we didn't. Yeah, no, I, mean? we, I got no. Like that. We got no. Um, any other donations of any other type during the live? There were no cash apps, nothing like that. No. Right. Okay, it was just super chats. So. Which again, I want to make sure. Because I'm sorry to interrupt you. I just want to make sure that I had to let you know what the lady told me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They just. I know they probably didn't come out the right way, hundred. but I want to make okay. sure that I'm telling yeah. you exactly. What I know, well, so like that, you don't think right that I'm here. going around the bush, you know what I mean? Right. Oh, hang on, I just wrote on it. I didn't mean to write on it. Okay. So this is from you, Sleuthin? To um, no, mm-hmm. someone else. No, that that was Jules. Okay, so this is the hundred dollars that Jules sent. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just and then I was to pay her out. back when I got paid November twenty first ish. Okay. She denies that, and that's fine. I don't. I don't care. Okay, I'm just. just I went ahead. We're all yeah. keeping track as we go along. This is the yeah. hundred dollars that is from Jules, so it does not count to what was given to Kara because the three fifty nine is supposed to be just from you. Or am I hearing that wrong? Well, okay. So during the lives, you know, when I said, okay, everything donations I get is all going to go to her. Right. I tallied it to be two eighty. Okay. I figured I wouldn't have to give that to her until I got the money from YouTube. But then she, she asked for it like a day or two later. And that was when I went back and was like, I don't have it. So, you know, can we help her out? Because she did tell me she needed the money to be able to stay where she was and she really needed it. So I was just trying to come up with it for her now and then pay the other people back. If anybody else could help pay them back when I got my money from YouTube. Okay. In the meantime, so yeah, that's why I only had a hundred. She also did a hundred. That left her owed eighty dollars. So you're getting ready to show yeah. where they reversed the super chat. And I did, yeah, I showed that okay. in here as well. Okay. Up. All right. Well, I'll mute and play. Okay. This is the person who she was having us send the money to. This. Hashtag get into my paints. This is her. Yeah, she confirmed that. Though. She confirmed that the U and UL send her a hundred dollars each. So she got two hundred. Do you see yes. that? This is yeah. She, she confirmed that though. And again, she's not mad at you. I hope you know. That's why oh, I, like, I, I don't. I don't get why people. It's out there pissed off. This, with. this is why I wanted to brought you to the table. Because if Kara is not mad at you, why all the people should be mad at you? Right. Can I know, you pause for it. just a moment? I, so I know they I didn't sound. It didn't sound like. During this time, all the way before and all the way to present, Kara has never, ever been upset with me over this money, ever. I've talked with her plenty of times about it. She's never been upset. She was upset that there was a live about it. She didn't like that, you know. She was like, this is bullshit, you know. If I had a problem, I would tell you myself. She told me that. And she, I don't know what she told J-Rod, but that's what she told me. She was like, I don't like this. You know, she didn't like that this was done, but okay. well, people that were going around saying that I hadn't paid her and, you know, all these other, these other rumors and crap. And I came up to address it and yeah. So earlier Jules was in here though. And she said that the hundred dollars was hers on her own. It wasn't a loan of any kind at all. Right. But we, Yeah. 
that's not true, but that that's is okay. Not. Okay. Yeah. That that's okay. It According doesn't matter. I'm she's not still, saying she's, she's still lying. got it for me. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't even matter because I tried to pay Jules the hundred when I got paid, and she's like, "No." That was when she said that it wasn't supposed to be to me. She didn't even come to me and talk to me about it. She just did her video instead of talking to me. But it's what it is. It doesn't matter. She's Kara. Still got all of it for me. So, okay, so we'll see that, and then I guess we can see what Jules said on hers. Okay, dang, this is deep. This is a lot here, ma'am. Okay, good. You know, it didn't yeah. sound right, probably when I didn't interrupt you, probably in the way I said it. But I just want to make sure that the people understand that this is what she said. She's not mad at crime smoothing, everything is good between them. And again, like, I just wanted to make sure that I have you here so people could leave you the fuck alone. That's exactly. the whole purpose of this, that's you know what I mean? It's not like, you know what I mean? About this, and that's why I started yelling at you because I wasn't feeling heard. But and you, you are allowed. Heard, I hope you know. You, guys you are haven't even heard the allowed. worst of it. You guys haven't even heard the worst of it, okay? You know what happened after? See, this $100 was from Jules. This isn't, we wanted to not make her wait a whole month for the money because, you know, I don't get it. I, I didn't get it until the Hi. 21st. Hi. So, Instead of having her wait a whole month, we wanted to help her. So I put a hundred and she put in a hundred. That way she's got most of it and she'd only need to wait till November 21st for the other 80. Right. That's I'm all listening. we could come up with because that was out of our own pocket. We weren't paid from YouTube. All right. So she was owed $80. Now look what happened though. Look here on November 8th. Can I? Can I just ask a question? Because I have no idea what's going on here. But like, yeah. why are you showing? Why are you guys going through this as if anybody should matter what you guys are doing in your cap cash app or anybody else's <laughs> money? Why? If, if I don't know, okay because with... I'm getting accused of not paying her or I don't yeah. know what. But it's yeah, so... so check out what happened, though. Look at November 8th. The only reason I had to come up here is because I hadn't subscribed. I had unsubscribed and subscribed. I'm doing all kinds of things because J-Rod and I are just becoming to be civil. So I haven't officially subscribed to him. I unsubscribed again. I would never be back. But then I got called to come here. So yeah, but you, like, you, know, you know, I'm subscribed <laughs> to you, girl. So I was like, I was like, well, if I have to subscribe for five minutes and I have all this stuff, if I have questions to ask him, and then he has the, he has the link yeah. up there. So I'm like, I'll just go up and ask because I otherwise have to wait five minutes. And we know me that sitting here for five minutes, I'll walk away and forget. So my question to you is, did you, I mean, it, who, if she's not upset and you're not upset, then why are you going through this? Because right. so, asked me to come up. I don't know. Let why. me, I was just let, like, me let me, right? let me explain real quick. Right. What's going because on is that like rock chalk. What's going on? Listen, let, let's just, uh, okay, let's be clear. Okay. Him, but, so he contacted me. So, and I have um, no problem saying so. Soothing, if you give me one second, please, I'll appreciate to, to interact with, with, with this situation. Okay. So, Megan, I'll explain to you real quick, right? Kara is the mom of one of the victims in the Idaho Fall case. She came to Crime Sleuthing Show. And then Crime Sleuthing said that all the donations, the, 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 whatever was made on that live stream, it was supposed to go all to Kara. So, um, it was people Why that I don't know. Okay, how can, I, can I just ask a question? Whose live stream was it on? Mine. That was a crime sleuthing in hers. So why is it? So who's Kara? So Kara is the mom of one of the victims in the Idaho Fall case. Okay. So did someone? And so any money was supposed to go to Kara. That makes sense. Okay. So any money that was made on your live stream was supposed to go to Kara, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got it. So it was some people that I don't know how how I don't know from where the gossip came from. And again, it not, not gossiping. Let's say uh, oh, it's totally misinformation. Gossip. Because I, I want to say misinformation to the point that, again, I don't, I don't, I don't want no one to blame no one about nothing. Because at the same time, um, that I'm sorry, Judy, I didn't see you there, honey. So at okay, the same I, time, let me at let the me same go ahead time, and finish this. Let me go, let me finish this really quick to get everybody up on the same page. But, but you see, Sluthing, no Sluthing, if you see me, you interrupted me, and I don't go. I have never go to you showing well, interrupt. I, I, I told you I don't have much time. I've got to. I, I, I know you don't have much time, but if you allow me to uh, explain to our guests real quick, 
you get going. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, you can keep going. I just want to show this, and then I'm going to go, and you guys can continue. I have to get up at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Yeah. So, and it's already midnight here. Oh, yeah, I'm nosy as hell. And, and it, it I have no nosy, idea I might about well just any be of this. Right Sorry. <laughs> I had no idea about any of this until last minute. He asked me when I come up and talk about it, uh, and I'd let him know. Well, I, I guess had my, a few question minutes, you, so. my question to you is, did you, did you or did you not, did you give all the money to Kara? Do you see what's on my screen right now? Um, okay, but, but but she didn't got that much money. Come on, uh, let, let's be clear. Like, yeah, let's let's talk about she only got a hundred dollars from you and Joel's. Okay, that that that's the bottom line. She only got from whatever money you said that is up there. She only got a hundred dollars from you and a hundred dollars from Joel's, which is no the one's total, business. The but at the same time, when you say every every little bit of money that I made on this live stream is gonna go to Kara, I, I, I totally understand you don't get. The whole full amount and you get a, a deductive out of that. It's it's like you to take a percentage, but I said at the same no, time, no, look at what's on my screen. It's been so there. long since that. When was this live stream? It was October twenty seventh, as you can see. On and you're gonna tell me that at this day today, Kara only have a hundred dollars from you? No, two hundred. No, but the other hundred she got it. She got it. The other hundred she got it from from Joel's. And so Joel's Jules, money didn't have nothing have to, to do with your live stream. That. We wanted, okay, I didn't have right? that much money. But, but right, can you answer that? Joel's money don't have nothing to do yes, it did because with your money because you show me from your pocket back. she got $100. After no, you said she was about to get every little bit of. J-Rod, don't let her argue. J-Rod, I'm just going to be the client victim. I'm here. just saying. Just, I'm just letting her know the, the facts. Jules was with me. That was our live, okay? No, that was Kara's live. No, that was our live and Kara was our guest. So we told If it her, wasn't for Kara, the live wouldn't be on. You know that, right? I told her she wasn't even supposed to get anything until November 21st. Jules and I decided to go ahead and get her as much of it as we could ASAP just to help her. We had already told her she wasn't, we didn't even get it until November 21st. You know this, right? You get paid at the end once a month around the 21st of each month. Okay, so you're gonna tell me that, that you didn't have no that. money to, to give Kara what she needed to help her, and, and now she gotta wait until whenever to get the rest of the money. Do you, do you see what's wrong there? No, 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 because she didn't- You see how long the live stream, the oh live stream has been there for a long time, and she only got $100 from your pocket. How do you not understand this? I'm, I do, I do, I see the cash app. You send her $100, you, you, you said you made 300 plus, right? And you're not gonna get that right now, right away. And it's in the duct tape on the screen on the bottom. Do you so see it was no way for you to pay Kara whatever you made on that live stream and no, just look. forget about it, so we don't have to talk about this yet. Can you look at the screen? Did the money that was paid? I would be paying her back on the 21st of October. We wanted to make sure that Kara had as much as we could get together at that time, without making her wait for a whole month. We had the live on October 27th. I wouldn't get paid by YouTube until November 21st. But just a couple of days later, we went ahead. She did 100. I did 100. When I got paid from YouTube, I would be giving Kara the other 80. And then I would be giving Jules back her 100. That she and and that's when? Me. That, that's when? That when, when we're supposed to this happen? Oh, my God. Okay, now look at the screen. See the 359? up here that I had accumulated in super chats. Now look down here on November 8th, minus 348. Do you see that? YouTube took away my monetization off of that live because of so many assholes reporting it. Uh, of that uh, live? Oh, oh. Hey, am I the only one completely fucking lost? I, I, this, this no what's being shown here doesn't look like anything i've seen i i'm so confused as to all of this is anybody I, else lost i'm so lost i think it's made up if you listen to j-rod in chat he says the same thing i'm not made up that was my screenshot from oh of course you wouldn't make it up Ron susan you would never make anything up yeah we all agree you would never make anything up i'm just I'm, uh, okay so i think melissa's dropping the link for me here. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. No problem. Okay. 
I don't. So there's a way to show this that's a lot better than these screenshots. I'm confused mm -hmm. here. And just to clarify, this is what I meant when I said what I said earlier. This is what I was referring to. This was all public. And this is specifically because the $100 that Jules sent was never towards the YouTube money. You kept saying we. It was only after Jules saw this and heard what you were saying that she was like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's not what happened. You reached out. You said Jules needed help. Exactly. I'm sorry, that Karen needed help. She sent $100. So when you're up here on this panel and you said, no, 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 I, not just $100. We sent $200. No, the 100 that Jules sent was never towards what you owed. It was completely separate. So the only thing out of the YouTube money that you owed her that was paid was 100 out of your own pocket. And Jules explains it in that video that I dropped because I don't want to speak for Jules, but I just wanted to clarify this is what I was referring to. Um, and mm -hmm. the link is in the back chat. So, and I got Jules, I'll play that. And and I agree with what Gavin and them were saying. When you get demonetized, which is what you say here in this video mm -hmm. that you got demonetized, you, if they demonetize the video, not your mm -hmm. whole channel, just the video, all you lose off of that is your ad revenue. You still, like you said, you got demonetized because people were reporting it. All you would lose is your AdSense, not your Super Chats, not your memberships or anything like that. It would just be the And ad. tell me how that happened. I don't know. I didn't know and I don't know. I don't know. I've never seen a screen like this. that before. And I'm, look like I said, I'm looking... I've been demonetized before. I can show you exact, but that was the entire channel. I've had a, no, I have had a live uh, demonetized because of copyright stuff for playing music and whatnot. And so I could look it up and see what that looks like too. I'm, that's why I'm lost here. I, I'm not saying you're lying. I'm just saying like, it, it's, these receipts aren't making sense to me. Maybe they will to someone else, but to me, they're confusing. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I, that's why I said earlier, you know, hopefully you can set a little bit more context. The screenshot that was shown to prove was this, yet you could very easily click on even individual specific videos. You don't need to look at your channel completely. Yeah, you can do you that. You can pull too. up the video itself and show the amount of ad revenue pulled up, earned, specifically super chats, gifted memberships, ad revenue. It breaks it very much down. Or you could have just gone into your YouTube studio. But for some reason, you showed this graph. And I, it was always shady to me. But it was misrepresented Jewel's role in this. And like I said, her video speaks for itself. But this is what I was referring to earlier. Okay. I gotcha. Thank you. I'll play that. Is there so right now all we've seen is Jules hundred dollars is in J Rod's video? Is there proof of the money you sent? Oh, maybe it's coming yeah. up here. Okay, okay. I just want to make sure we play that before we. All right, I'm gonna hop back down and chat. All right, thank you for dropping that, Melissa. I no, appreciate. of course, it's the least I could do. Thank you. Okay, let's see. It's coming up. I who started talking about conversation yeah. came all about out there to me if you ask people get mad or nothing because this is the first and foremost like when 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 i said that someone's gonna get all their money they're gonna get all their money then that that uh, you know what i mean and if i say i'm gonna cut you a percentage of it i'm gonna cut you a percentage of it you know what i'm saying like just bottom yeah. line and it's gonna be right away I, I, like i'm not gonna tell you that to have people waiting for the money because it might as well i I'd rather than not say it and then just pop up with the money whenever I get the money. You know what I'm saying? Agree. Agree. Right. So, okay. So, so let me it did bother me that it came to my ears. And again, it, it, the source, care, the source that he told me, I just wanted to let you know, like I told you on the phone, the source that he told me didn't came like a malicious way to me. I hope you know, because in yeah, the same time, like, like I know that Rock Track probably didn't win at you the right way, but in the same time, yeah, no, you know what I mean? She really, she really didn't came right to me like in a like yeah. talking shit about you. I hope you know. Whatever she's talking I, to you yeah, right now, I've she's never, talking to you right now. She never came to me like to start shit, so, you know what I mean? All right. So after that happened, Kara then asked me 
to make a GoFundMe for her, which I did. I haven't posted it anywhere or anything like that. We were going to do another live and stuff because we wanted to, um, you know, make up that difference for her. You know, she still needed some money and I certainly didn't have $80 additional to send to her. She needs help. She's needing some help. I'm not going to go into it further than that. The GoFundMe explains a lot right. of it. But anyway, so I put this up. I didn't advertise it anywhere. However, somebody came across it and they donated $25. She agreed that anything that I received, I would send immediately to her. Somebody sent $25. GoFundMe immediately sent me $23.97, which I immediately sent to her. So I haven't done anything else with the GoFundMe. Wait, that's Nobody else has a, donated. That's not a receipt. That's like where's the rest of the receipt? I miss it. Sorry, I was looking at another page. What do you mean? Sorry, I'm looking at this. Okay, I see the direct deposit portion. Of the Somebody came across it and they donated $25. She agreed. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I just looked back. I was looking at my uh, okay. studio and I, looked and, at, I saw and, the 23 and like the paint up there. And I was like, wait, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Um, I just went back into my um, analytics for that live and I got you a whole screenshot. I just sent it to you. Okay, on my Gmail? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's so I, ju I just took that screenshot. So is there any other receipts or just that? $20? I don't remember. Just that $23. Yeah, that was the, yeah, she had me do that logo fund me and that was it. I never got any more from that. So the only receipt shown here was Jules $100 and this $24. Oh, wait, you're going to go. Yeah, that's all I'm seeing. There it is again. This one was for me to her. Uh, there's the it says for advance for Kara. Kara. Yeah, there's the other hundred I sent that day. Okay. So, like, yeah, that was the 200 total, I think, isn't it? I sent her. Hang this on. is at 8.31 p.m., the one at the beginning, I think is. Is that the one at the beginning? Okay, because I couldn't I could remember if I sent her the 100 then or what. But I'm going to go into my cash app. I sent you that. Um, I'm going to go into my cash app and pull that person up that she had me send those to and send you all of them. Oh, yeah, you shared it here, 8.31. Uh, and then this one is at I can get back to that. I sent her a total of, okay, so there was 100, 105, and tw the 2397. But the 2397 was separate. It was just for the GoFundMe. So 205 is when I sent her total. Sorry, I'm just trying to find that other one we just saw. Where'd it go, dog in it? Dog in it. Mm. 
I am not seeing it. I know I just just on it though. Well, I'm sending them all to you again. So. Okay. 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 Well, we'll pull up Jules video here. Uh, where did it go? It's in the backstage. Give me one second, y'all. Sorry. I mean, all her video does is say that she never agreed to do the $100 as an advancement. That's all it is. And I acknowledge that she says that. Okay. And she shows the receipt or the comment from you. Okay, let's go a little bit before this comment's posted, see what she says. He's asking questions and he's being really supportive. And then, then Debbie mentions that all of the donations from the live are going to be given over to Kara, which is fine. But he then says he's going to match the donation, which was awesome at the time. And I was like, wow, I can't believe he just said that. That's awesome. That's cool. Little do I know that while we're on this live stream and for I don't even know how many hours after the fact, he was telling Dago like 180 degree differences. Okay. He was actually trying to pay Kara to not interview with us. Like he wanted to pay her $500 to not interview with us at all, which is odd because his entire reasoning behind that was that you can't give money to people in Kara's situation and expect it to be a good thing or expect it to go right. And so he didn't want her to make money off of this live. So he was going to offer her money to not do the live, to not make money off the live. You see how like weird it didn't make any sense. Right. And it didn't make any more sense to me. The more that it was like a conversation that I was hearing the next day, because there was no money conversations, which is like the whole reason why I'm coming out and talking now. I really want to jump ahead, but I'm really trying not to, because I feel like you all have to like know all of it. So I'm trying my best to like keep everything in line here. But basically, AR sent Dago a message that showed a conversation between Kara and someone else, someone that was speaking to Kara on behalf of AR Hayes, basically claiming that me and Debbie were going to put holes in Kara's story, which didn't even make sense because what story does Kara have about that night? She, she doesn't. She wasn't involved. She wasn't there. So there is no story to poke holes in. So right away, I was just like, okay, is this just like a like a jealousy thing? Because you're like you're you're, you're claiming money is the reason that like she shouldn't be getting money because it's bad for her, but you're going to give her money to not. It just, it, it just, and then I read those messages and the response was basically what I deemed to be like really sarcastic. Like, and I won't do the interview. And it was just like, it literally to me read like a woman that was tired of the interview. Like I didn't feel like there was anything like ridiculous in that because he even came out in his video and it admitted that he offered her money to not do it. So that just basically like concreted it for me, considering the fact that we did the interview with her, that that was just like a smart ass retort. <laughs> like it wasn't legit. She was just, she's just tired of people telling her what to do. That's how I took it. And to me, that's how it seems still. And, you know, him coming out and claiming all of this stuff, it didn't help the situation at all with what was already going on with Kara and, like, just the response that, the you know, the way that people were responding to her, it already didn't help. Because, like I mentioned, we were kind of, like, not advertising, but we wanted to show, you know, that we were going to be talking to Kara. And so in some of the community tab, you know, comments, people would be like, how much is she getting from this interview? How much are y'all paying her? Because she said she'd never do anything on YouTube unless she got paid. And just really, like, hateful stuff. And, like I said, at the time, there had been no conversation. And to this day, there hasn't been a conversation about her getting paid anything from that live. All right. When Deb announced that in the live that all of the donations were going to Kara, that took me by surprise. I, I distinctly remember exactly, like, the moment. Because I remember sitting back and being like, oh, God. Because all of the usernames, <laughs> all the people that I had just talked all this shit to, just, like, flashed in front of my face. You know, like, it just flashed before my eyes. Because I had been arguing back with people. Like, people were leaving really crappy comments about her and money in the interview. And I match energy. So if you come at me crazy, I'm coming at you crazy back. And now I just knew, like, oh, God, here we go. All the comments are coming. All these people are going to start running their mouths because of this video right here, what this guy just put out. So it, it heated me. Like, it really made me upset because, again, I was not getting anything from this interview. I have never once, ever once been paid to be on Deb's lives literally ever not the time for the live that we did with Kara not the two or three times however many times before that I had done a live with her I have never once not once ever been paid a single penny doing anything on Deb's channel ever so everything that I was doing was literally just to try to show someone some support there was no ulterior motive there was nothing else that everything all the clicks all the views all the money that was made everything happened over there not over her 
So I had a whole bunch of people just hating everything, especially after the video that he put out about that entire situation. So it just, it just really made me upset because that wasn't the situation. The money thing wasn't supposed to happen. And I'm really like, I'm upset even more now that I know that now, like I'm being used as part of someone's fake cover story for something. But I'm also kind of glad that what was said in this live was said because it proves that Kara didn't do the interview for money. Okay, so before we even get to that part, like the next day after I was asked by Deb to send Kara money. I was literally sent this message. If you have anything you could spare for Kara, she's having to pay her friend and his wife to stay there. I'm sending $100. Get into my paints, the cash out. Let me know. That is the message that I got. I sent $100 later on that night, a couple hours later, a few hours later. Nothing and his wife to okay, stay there. Okay, pause right there, $100. please. Get into my... Okay. So she skipped over the part. She mentioned the video about AR, right? Mm -hmm. But she didn't. she didn't mention that after I sent this message that she was like, well, wait a minute, we need to talk to Dago. This is happening. This is being said. This is what AR is doing, blah, blah, blah. And I'm only mentioning AR now because you're showing the video that mentions him. But um, so AR came no, back no, later and, minute, and apologized. Wait AR, why? Why are we um, talking about AR? When he's um, not she here to defend she himself? Was, yeah, she was, she found out during the live, AR Hayes was in the chat and he was saying he was going to match the donations for the live. And he's so whatever still, we uh, raised, he was going to match Kara. it. He's but still then, helping Kara right now. That <clears throat> Anyway, well, okay, so. But he's not here to defend himself for you to bring his right, name up. I'm not, I'm not saying anything negative about him. I'm saying what she's talking about, what she just played, was what we talked about after this message. She was saying, I don't want to send anything yet because I'm still checking into this. We need to ha um, have a stream yard with Dago. And then that's when I reached out to Dago, sent him the same message and said, Jules wants to do a stream yard. He was really sick. He didn't come up and talk with us, but we talked on stream yard together. And then after that conversation, when we were all on the same page, both on the same page again, then she sent the hundred. It yeah, you need, you need to check with Dago again because he wasn't sick. That is not why he went up there. But yes, I have the entire text conversation still on my phone. He said he was like, thought he was going to die or whatever. He was really sick. No, he she really said it wasn't. And I, I said was it. in his Discord. He lied to you. That's not true. Then he but lied anyway. to Jules because he told Jules the same thing. Yes, I know that. But that's not the truth. Okay, well. Um, Dago was very upset about the, the video as well. And he was trying to, we were just trying to figure out what was going on. I hadn't heard anything about this video that he had done until she told me. And she was like, well, let's talk about it. Figure out if it's true, blah, blah, blah. Cause he's saying all these things, you know, about what happened during the live. And she, you know, she was surprised because she hadn't seen those things in chat. I had never seen them. He came back later and deleted his chats from our live. But she said he said he was going to match donations. But then, like she said, during the same time, he was also live saying these other, like, you know, 180 comments. It didn't make any sense. So that's why I just want to add some clarification here where she skipped that part where we did text. We did talk on the phone. We did meet in StreamYard. Then she sent the money. I didn't just ask her and she sent the money. I have all of the text on my phone still. So that's all I'm saying. And Deets, I sent you two emails with the yeah, sorry, analytics and the cash apps. That disconnected from my Wi-Fi again because <laughs> I'm on my hotspot and it like automatically tried to connect to the Wi-Fi, which isn't working right now for some reason. So it kicked me again. But okay, so yeah. I have four cash apps you sent me and I was I, I'm sure these names have already been put out there but I was just redacting them because I don't well I don't know if there's somebody's name or not so um okay I'm getting those loaded up let's see here I'm gonna play play this just a little bit longer while I'm loading these onto my uh stream yard I paint the cash out. Let me know. That is the message that I got. I sent $100 later on that night, a couple hours later, a few hours later. Nothing about mm -hmm. the to Kara is what Sleuthin is claiming now. Nothing that she is saying in this live that I found is true. Now, people know how I feel about J-Rod, all right? And 
I, we still have our issues. This doesn't change anything, but I'm going to leave a link to his live in my description box so that you guys can go and listen to all of this yourself. It's all within the first like 20 to 25 minutes. I didn't even listen past that because everything that I needed to know when it came to me to get me to make this video is all said in that time frame. Okay. What Crime Sleuthin is claiming is that there was a conversation had between us about Kara getting money in advance of when YouTube would have paid Debbie for those donations. And that is false. Now she definitely verifies what I already knew about how Kara didn't know anything about the donations coming to her. And I've been talking to Kara. I've been talking to Kara since I believe the 20th, November the 20th is the first time I actually sent a message to Kara. And for the past few hours, we've been texting back and forth so that I can get down to her side of what's going on here. That's why I'm kind of glad I decided to redo this video because it was going to be before I had a chance to really talk to Kara. And I'm glad that I did because it gives me a little bit better perspective about what's happening. Okay. What Deb is claiming in J-Rod's live from, I believe it was Friday, is that the $100 that I sent Kara and the $100 that she sent Kara was some sort of advance since YouTube doesn't pay us until the following month. So anything that we made in October, we just got paid for on November the 21st. That's why I do my YouTube giveaways because you guys know I do giveaways every month. My YouTube giveaways are scheduled to not be announced until after that ad revenue check hits the bank so that I can make sure that I have the funds that I need in order to pay my winners the second that they get to me so that I don't have any issues. So in case you guys are wondering why my giveaways were strangely in like the third week of the month or some crap like that, that's why. But what she's claiming is not true. There was no advance. There was no conversation about me paying Kara $100 and then getting paid back from Debbie. I don't know why she's made that part of this entire situation up because it's not true. Now, I don't know about the rest of this. There's some like, what it looks like is going on here is pretty gross, okay? It looks as if Kara was used and is being lied to. That's how it looks, okay? But I also, I don't know how YouTube really works all that much, okay? So I don't wanna sit here and say that Deb's story is a complete lie because I don't know. I also don't do lives, so I can't explain how that works. Now, from what I'm understanding, from talking to some other creators and from just what I've experienced myself, okay, backtrack, Deb is claiming that the money that was received in donations on the live, it was like $359. On November the 8th, it's showing that it is now like negative $348. So she's basically claiming that whatever money came in donation wise was taken back from YouTube. But she's claiming that her video got reported by all these people, which is why she lost monetization on the live stream, like for people to watch it, that she lost monetization on it. But this is the problem. Monetization and donations are two completely different things because you can have a not monetized live stream to where no one in your live stream sees an ad as it's live. Because I've been in lives where I get an ad in the middle of it literally being live live and there's an ad, okay? You can have um, a live stream that's not monetized whatsoever where no ads play at all, but people can still send you money like in the little chat thing with the super chats and super stickers and whatnot. Okay. So a live not being monetized and the donations, like it's two completely separate things. They're not even on the same, like they, they don't even compute the same when it comes to like the back end, when it comes to your ad revenue and what you get from memberships and what you get from super chats and super thanks and stuff. Like it's all in different brackets. Now she's claiming again that she found this out on November the 8th and that she reached out to Kara and let her know and then was supposed to Okay, so yes and no. You can um if you if you don't monetize the video, I don't believe you still get super chats. Now, if you go back later afterwards and take monetization off, yes, you still get to keep the super chats that you got previously in there. And but if you're demonetized, again, like we said earlier, if your video is demonetized, you still keep all your Super Chats, memberships, etc. But I will say here, and Sleuthin sent this over, and she shows here that she got, I don't know if you guys can see that clearly, a big upward spike, close to 400, so it would be like the 359, and then there it goes down so i mean that that is here on under this video a very special live with xana's mom um, and i honestly don't know what happened i don't, I don't know, know what happened. someone better at youtube understands that because i sure as heck don't and i never made anything on it afterward either you can get super chats and memberships while monetization is turned off okay yeah, you can. You can. Because I have done that. When I'm on a live and people are like, oh, there's ads. I don't like them. I'll just turn it off. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. A lot of people do that as well. They don't monetize them until after they're over. Um, so I, 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 really I go back and forth. Well, maybe if you that. went up there where it says revenue source and click it for that specific video, it would have more details. I don't know. 
But then here are the super chats that Sleuthin sent over. There is yes, this Holly. one for, hang on, let me take that comment down. Oh, thank you for, you, you redacted that. Thank you. I, yeah, I didn't know if that person's name was out there or not, so I thank redacted you. that. But it's $24 on November 15th. That yeah, that was the um, the um, the GoFundMe because you know she was needing the money and it was you know still over a week away and she wanted me to promote that. I didn't ever promote it, you know, but um, it was mentioned on somebody's live and they got she got like one donation for twenty five dollars and they sent me twenty three something and I sent it to her. So yeah, they keep um. A little bit of it. Well, find me. They keep like, I think it's 50 cents a donation and then 3% overall. And yeah. combine those things. So that sounds accurate. So then here's this um, donation. I'm getting one of yeah, these. Yeah, that was the first two. one. Okay. So there's the first one. This, is this Jules' donation? No, that's these are straight off my cash app. Okay, so these are different than the one that Jules sent to you, the advanced. Correct. Yeah, you. hers had the black screen, right. On our, Okay, so I can go back in the... So this is October 28th at 7.31. Here's another one for $80 on November 27th. And there is one for $25. They say for Kara, I don't know who's cash ups or anything. These are. Yeah, that's her her friend that she had. The the guy, the first the first cash ups that we actually sent, okay, so the hundred dollars that we sent before, yeah. she only got thirty dollars of that, she told me. She so said that who yeah, are the three she, different individuals that the cash ups were going to? This person, Corey, was standing there with her. She didn't want me to send it again to the Matthew guy because he'd kept all of it um, before. And that's in my messages with her on Facebook. I can send that to you. Um, he he ended up tricking her and said that he told her at the time that it was only $100 that she got. And he kept, um, I believe it was 70 of that for like her rent or whatever and gave her 30 but he didn't tell her about the other hundred until later. And she never, she said she never got that from him. So that stuck, that sucked really bad. Um, and that's why I was trying to, you know, think of some other ways to, you know, get some money. And that's when she said, well, how about a GoFundMe, and, you know? And then I decided, you know, I really wasn't comfortable promoting that. Anyway, but um, yeah, okay, and I didn't have any money to send her myself. So that was this was to a different that different cash app, and then these two go to right. this green's garage, yeah. That's where there's were people that she was with, you know, standing with that she said, Yes, yeah, send this to this person, and they would give it to her. They'd go to Walmart or whatever where you can cash it out. So, so that's why I put for Kara only <laughs> on there because I think that was the second one that I'd sent. That one. Yes. So that one was the 27th. And then this one was on the 29th. Yeah. So we've got, yeah. 205 and then the 24 from the GoFundMe. And then. Um, yeah. I was just trying to get her up there to, you know, what I said I was going to pay her and, and try to do a little more, you know. So my but, the question here, I don't, maybe you can clear it up. So this is at, so you took all these screenshots. This is at 7.31 p.m. on October 28th. Why does it say over here, this same $100 one is at 8.31 p.m.? Time zone? I don't know. Well, you, you took the screenshot, so it would be the same time zone. Mm -hmm. Or did you not take your screenshot? I don't know. Let me look at, that might be from the, a screenshot from the text message. I don't know. Here's, this is Jules, yeah. right? This black one? Yeah. Yeah, the black screenshot. And then this is yours. Yeah, the one from October 28th. They don't they say anything. Yeah, I just, just now took those screenshots off my phone. 
I'm going to go back through my text and look to Oh, sorry. I guess, could you guys see it? I forgot I still had the overlay up, so I don't know if you... Oh, know. well, yeah, not really, but... Actually, it's kind of side by side, so that's perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how it was before. Well, no, I have I have your screenshot up in a brand, and so actually kind of... I thought maybe it was covering it. This is the... Could it be from the, um, the time change? I don't know. <laughs> I really have no clue. That's was what I asked, and I was like, that's weird i mean yeah, it's, it's the all same. the same but the time i mean i could go in and look at you know how you can go in there and see their web receipt it'd be the same so you sent it on october 28th when's the time change Anybody know the, i don't know what it would I be don't know. It necessarily matter it's, it's just, the same one though um, i didn't send her another hundred it was just that hundred what cute yeah, the, the one from Jules is her screenshot off her phone. She must have like, you know, the um the what do you call that? Yeah, the dark. Yeah. yeah. I can't read stuff on black, so so yeah, that hmm. No, yeah, is this today because she took it? Like, I don't know when the video was shown on J Rod, but you can see. Well, yeah, I mean, I had I had taken a screenshot of it and I had sent it to Jules, but the number that I use for my, you know, like my YouTube friends and stuff mm -hmm. is text now. So hold on. So those messages, I don't have the premium version, so those messages expire. Well, okay, so I do have another screenshot that I could send to you, um, a screenshot of the screenshot in my conversation with her. I can show you that. And it also says 8.31 p.m. And it also says that gets deducted from the proceeds. And she said, hopefully it helps and shows her we believe her. This was after our StreamYard conversation. So hold on, I'll send that to you too. Okay. Second, deets. oops, the deets. The deets. Time change is in November. Okay, thank you. Thank you, T. Yeah. No, what? So, yeah, that makes sense. You'd fall back. Yeah, okay, so, oh, I didn't put a subject line on the email. <laughs> but I just sent you a screenshot of, of the, um, the screenshot in the conversation with our, a little bit more of our conversation. And, you know, privately, I can send you more of it to show you what we were discussing in the text. Address not found. Hang on. I put the wrong address in there. Hang on. Um, the, oh, I totally messed up the email address. Hang on. The, so I'm doing it for myself. So. There we go. Yeah, that, I mean, that is a really good question. Why are they in the paint app when you're showing them? That's what pulls up on my computer when I pull up the paint um, image. Yeah. I hate it. I hate it. I do have freaking Windows paint or whatever on my computer. And I can show that as well. No, you don't have to. I was just curious. Like, 
So a bunch of people were yeah. asking. Like, yeah, oh. when I pull up a screenshot or any image on my computer, it pulls up as like pain or whatever. And that's why I use um, Canva most of the time. Mm, hang on, let me see where Jeff is. Don't want to be showing no numbers on here. Yeah, I didn't redact anything, so you can redact whatever you want on your side. I got it. Just double checking and making sure. Okay. I tried that. Google is watching, and I don't like this laptop. It reverts back. Like, it tends to revert back to um, default on a lot of stuff. Like I have three monitors set up and I want my big monitor with the good speakers, you know, to always play my sound, for example. But every time I pull something up new, it automatically defaults to my Yeti microphone speakers. And it shouldn't be doing that because it's not the default. But it still does. It does everything default on me all the time. So this is the message with Jules where mm -hmm. you said, awesome, I did too. She shows a screenshot of the cash app and it does say uh, 831 there that gets deducted from the proceeds. And is this, who's in purple, you or Jules? I'm, I'm purple. You. Okay, I thought so. It says hopefully, it Jules says hopefully it helps and shows her we believe her. I don't know if that means anything to the people that are questioning all of this, but. Wow. Why did that? You mean why redact? What, Adam? I'm sorry. Why did that? Did she mean redact it? Um. So, yeah, Whoa. between this time was when oh, we had. Wait. What is this? Is between, a message between Jules and Sleuthin? Yeah. Yeah, I had already sent it. Yeah, it does say that gets deducted from the proceeds is what you say. I think they're right. questioning you saying deducted. Yours was deducted from the proceeds. Yeah, this is her cash app. This is Sleuthin's cash app. She's on the right side in the purple. And she's sending a screenshot to Jules. That's after Jewel sent hers already. Right, because we had talked before this to clear up her questions. No, Jules didn't send me the screenshot first. She did not send me a screenshot first. Does she have her screenshot? Let her? me go further up in the conversation. Hold on. Let me clarify this. Okay. So Imagine. here is... Hang on. Okay. Down. There's this screenshot on full screen on Jules. It says, thanks for coming. My pleasure. If you have anything you could spare for Kara, she's having to pay her friend and his wife to stay there. I'm sending a hundred. Thanks for letting me know. Let's see if there's any more screenshots on here. And then this is where she says, um, you know, I was at, I asked her if she was um, able to help. And she said, after we discuss the stuff Dago told me and get it all cleared up because it has to do with Kara and money and that cash app. And I said, okay, let me know what time. I'm concerned and confused. She said, text Dago and y'all can talk about it before we get on the stream yard. He was the one that sent the info. And then um, I told her Dago wasn't responding to me yet. And she said, he threw up when we were on the phone earlier. 
do a stream yard and I'll get on and talk to you real quick. My phone's almost dead if you can. Send the link via email. And I said, I'm at the store in town. Be back at the house in a little bit and I'll send the link. Okie dokie. And then sent. And then that's when we got on the stream yard together. After that was when she sent the um, her hundred dollars. And that's when I responded and said, great, I, you know, I did too. Here's my screenshot. So. It really was a misunderstanding and it's fine. I was just seeing. So Jules doesn't actually show the screenshot in here. Um, that one she did. This, yeah. this one she doesn't show the cash mm -hmm. app screenshot. Okay. I don't know. Just making sure I'm not missing it. I don't remember. Okay. Okay. You sent me something else. Or no? Melissa did deets. Oh, sorry. I didn't know if you caught it. Sorry, hon. Oh, check my messages from who? From Melissa Jade is what it looked like in the chat. Yeah, the one that says four Kara with a heart that's got the black background. That was Jules. The white backgrounds are mine. Uh, where did you send them to, Melissa? She's saying her cash up. Yeah. Okay. Here. I know what you're asking now. So. Yeah. I've said that. Yeah. That's correct. Advance for Kara for YouTube. $100. And then. Oh, sorry. I'm not sharing. Hang on. My bad. We, we jump to another screen. I see what you're saying. Okay. This is the hundred dollars. Okay, see, and I noticed that this the wording here was slightly different, and she caught that. Well, let me pull it up. But that, wait, that's the same, even though the it's word the letters do look different. So it could just is it just the program or something? See, I noticed like here on the one you sent me that's the overlay, there's no like black highlighted around the the word commented there, but it's the same cash app account. Yeah. So this one's from crime sleuthin that says for YouTube and this one, the black one with the four care heart is from, Oh, wait, wait. So you're saying, and you can see the date and the time. Hang on. And look at the messages are texts. Yeah. I mean, on hers, hundred dollars for care for you. Yeah. Yep. And then look what date and time hers is. Am I missing what was it? Okay. Yours was the advanced, and you only mentioned that after she sent hers first. Jules was never towards what you owed, Kara, from your own channel. Jules is right. So you're saying, but she, but can you hop up here? Because I feel like I'm missing something. So she showed all of these that equal it doesn't equal the 259 that you said you were going to send her it equals 205 but she shares this the tool. what so hang on let me make sure i'm getting this right so you said originally what was it like 359 and you took 30 percent out because you felt like youtube hadn't taken it out yet we'll go with that um so that would make it a total of 251 and 30 cents that it was supposed to go to Kara. So you have 25 here, 80 here, 100 here. And this doesn't count because this is the GoFundMe. I mean, so there's. I mean, a, it doesn't, it doesn't, because we were just trying to get her. Yeah, I was just trying to well, get her to the 21st. Yeah, I was just trying to help her. GoFundMe. So, right. I mean, it's like a $46, but like, Unless I'm missing something, those hundred dollars are separate. That's still um 
this one is still uh jewels is hundred dollars and this one is sleuthin's hundred dollars unless i'm just like way off here right that's the that's when she got 200 when i got paid on november 21st i was supposed to give kara the other 80 and then give jules her hundred dollars back i personally think my opinion i don't know but yes we did have that conversation and agreement it's fine if she wants to say yeah. that that didn't happen i don't care but what I really think happened, my opinion, is that once I said it out there on the interwebs on J Rod's channel that night, maybe it made her mad that I had let that out, that it wasn't just a donation she's supposed to get it back. I don't know. But when I tried to give it to her back, that's when she told me, no, it's not supposed to be right, you know? Mm -hmm. and that's what started the big kerfluffle. So. Let's not forget Jules isn't here to defend herself right I'm, now. That's why I said it is just is just my opinion. That's the only thing that I can possibly think of as to why. You know, I was trying to give her a hundred dollars. That's it. No, she so the okay. So the one that she sent me. Hang on, let me go back here and move it to it's date. Not the date. It's the it's hour the different. Overlay. So the, the reason that the one in the J-Rod video says today instead of the date is because she took it on the day she sent it. And then right. today she went into her cash app just now. Um, I think I cut off the time. Oh, no, I didn't. 3.31 in the morning. She went into her cash <laughs> app and took a new screenshot. So that's why it shows today's date instead of just the word today. And then the time difference, as we discovered, is because of the time change. Okay, why is she lying? I'm still... I'm, I'm not... <laughs> she's lost. saying that I'm lying about Jules. So, that uh, Jules, hey, Jules feels that it was just like purely a donation. She says it didn't have anything to do with an advance. That is her position, and that is fine. It's fine. Because she was there. We were... Because I asked her to help because Kara needed the money then rather than waiting for a month because she didn't realize that we don't get the money now. You know, she saw the money coming in and then you reached out to me. Okay. Can I get the money? And I'm like, Oh wait, I don't Do get that know? until okay, November so 21st. You called I it. I have all of those messages with me and Kara about it. That I so send to you. Um, you called, um, here, let me. She gave Kara on her own, according to the. She sent me four cash apps. This one, it was a, um, the GoFundMe that someone donated twenty five dollars to, and this is what was sent after. Uh, GoFundMe takes their portion, so this doesn't count as from sleuthing. So then there's this. So she did a hundred dollars, then um, another hundred and five. So 205 is what she sent Kara based on these three. Oh, let me take your comment down. Based on these three screenshots. I really feel like I'm missing something too. So I'm going to peek at something and I'll be right back. $100 was from her. Own. I guess my only question would be is, you, you, I know you and Jules both call it a different thing. You're like, please send an advance. And you were under the impression you were going to send a hundred back to Jules. I don't know if you ever did that or not. Jules was saying, no, it's a donation. You never owed me anything back, but. Exactly. No. And I couldn't. But, send, she oh, said, no, don't send, send it. it. Right. Oh. You're never supposed to deduct the hundred dollars Jewel sent from you. That right? is her position. That's her opinion. That's her yeah. thing, right? Now, but that's not what we did discuss in our streamyard period. She changed she but period. the hundred dollars from July doesn't count in what's owed from YouTube. Hundred dollars. Oh, Jules. Oh, Jules, you mean? Yeah, I think that they mean Jules. 
the whole reason that I had asked Jules and Dago if they could please help was because Kara reached out, oh, not knowing that we didn't get the money right away. You know, I take a bathroom break real quick. Um, Kara, <laughs> your math is way off, honey. So, uh, Teresa's up here. I'm going to mute and run to the restroom. Go for it. It's your it birthday. Like you, you do what you got to do. Fine. Hi, yeah, Teresa. How are you? I'm good. Okay. So one, I'm, well, I'm, I'm exhausted, but now I'm like invested in this and I can't <laughs> fucking go to bed. So I'm like dying. I just, I just it's need crazy. to get the math right. So there's, there's 300 and, and how much? $354. No, it was 280 is approximately what I should have gotten from YouTube. Okay. After. So here we go. So, there, so if we go with your deduction of the 30%, of what it was you believe that you should have given Kara two hundred and eighty dollars right correct? that is what yes eight two hundred eighty okay. is what Deeds she just added up more. what you gave her and said it was two hundred and five dollars I know and that's why I'm feeling like I'm missing something because maybe I'm gonna have to go back through my messages with her on Facebook but I feel like I'm missing something Right. So there, there's, there's no matter whether, okay. whether, so the $205 is strictly out of your cash app, nothing to do with jewels. Correct. The 205. Yeah. Whatever she just added. You up. sent her $205 from your cash app. No GoFundMe, no jewels. Correct. Right. Yes. Okay. So uh, under under what you think you should have sent her would have been 280. So as of right now, you still owe her 75, correct? Maybe. I'm looking through all of my cash outs right now because I mean as of that last one, I thought we were, you know, square more than square. Okay. I'm just looking through all of my cash apps to see if I sent her any others, like under a different name. All I did on my cash app was search for the name Kara to, to pull up anything that had her name on it. And so I'm just seeing if there's any others. Okay. Don't know. I don't, I, for me, I don't send a lot of cash apps. So, I mean, it wouldn't be that much. Maybe you send a lot of cash uh, apps. Well, so you have to go through more, but. Uh, yeah. So well, I, I use my cash app for all my online stuff, you know, to pay all of my memberships and Google and Spotify and Canva and screen, you know, all my stuff is through my cash app. Okay. That way nothing's associated with my actual credit card. It's easier to, you know, cancel stuff. You can block them and all that. Without having to deal with your bank. Okay. So if we go for, if we go with what, what happened, what's going on right now with what we know, take away jewels, take away GoFundMe's, you thought you were supposed to send her 280. You sent her 205. You still need to send her another 75 if you can't find that. Now, the next yeah. thing, th this is like the, the easiest fix to this whole thing so that <laughs> Beats can go enjoy her birthday <laughs> and the rest <laughs> right? of us can go to bed at some point. But if it's $354 and you think that YouTube already took that, the next step after the $75 part, the next step is to figure out, and I don't know this, and even though I am a creator, I don't know this off the top of my head, $354, did YouTube already deduct the, the 30% or not? Yeah, I don't know. I had actually that's, that's gone like easy, in there and we just can easily go into. I can pull yeah. up my computer right now, and I can go in there, and I can fix it really quick. I can find that out. So I came to turn my computer on and it's warming up and I'll See, do it well, so we can get that done. Anymore? So that'll be, so then if it's show it anymore for that live. So what, what I had done was I had gone back through my live, watched the entire thing and wrote down, wrote down every single cash app and super sticker that came in. I mean, super chat and sticker wrote them all down for the full amounts, right? Added those up and I, whatever <laughs> 280 is 70% of is what the total was. And I had sent all of that to Kara with a list of all of the, you know, donations and everything in the total and said 70% of that is 280. So I don't know if we're working off the 356. I don't remember right now. You know what I mean? Okay. That what numbers on the number. graph though, that you, that you showed on J-Rod? I don't remember if that was the total for the live 
That one, I don't remember if that was this like the total. Or, oh, the one on J-Rod? Yeah, this one. Is that the total or it's just for the... Um... No, this is just, all it shows is that it goes up to almost, I don't know, I thought that might let me zoom in closer, but it doesn't. Um, it goes up to almost 400 and then a few days later, well, yeah, about a week yeah, later. Yeah, that's just it. That was a full down. page screenshot. I can go back and do that again and put my cursor. So if I put my cursor on the little points, it has the exact amounts. And I can screenshot that if you want. It was the same amounts when I put my cursor over them. On J. Raj, he shows this. Yes. October 27th, making 359.49. And then, and that's what I don't remember now is like you know the full total or if that was just the donations. But two eighty was the amount that I went over with Kara, showed her all of the donations, and explained they take about thirty percent. So I did the math. Okay, and this so two eighty is, you know, is what Kara Kara was under the impression she was getting, and at this point, correct. I think the easiest fix is. To figure out whether you sent the other 75 otherwise you need to send the 75 there's a bunch of creators in chat and i'm sorry you guys i can't i'm on my phones and i don't i don't have it connected to be able to chat back with you but i do see your comments tons of creators that are in here that have been doing this longer than i have are all saying it is after the that it is um what I'm seeing the 359 on already has the 30 percent taken out like yeah. i said i don't know that so can you um, look in that chat real quick i don't want to yeah. say that out loud well, that doesn't apply to anything. So, um, I'm just saying you were saying about sending, right, you know, right. right. So, so can't at this moment. Gotcha. Okay. But will if if I can't find anything else, absolutely. Because I thought we, that was like, I thought it was just over. You know what I mean? And she was totally fine with it. Well, and um, regardless if she's totally fine with it, I think that the the point of it being about your integrity is what's kind of happening yeah, right now sure. on this live it really mm -hmm. doesn't have anything to do with kara per se it has to do with whether people trust you <laughs> number well, one I, and number yeah, two when, when i first went back to her and told her what happened you know with youtube she didn't want anything I, I understand. Like, That's all I'm saying. I, I, said, no, I don't. I, I don't. I know, but I don't care about what Kara you. wants or what Kara didn't want. I. The biggest thing is about what you promised, and making sure that you deliver on what you promise. That's right. really the I, whole thing. I, I. I totally agree. So I think that's the easiest fix. Yeah. And I. And my advice yeah. to you would be: if you choose to make that decision again, you have people donate directly to Kara and nothing through you. Yes. Yeah, I'm not going to do no more of those kind of nothing. Nope. Nope. That was a mess. Never. Do so can like you go before. into your YouTube studio, go to that live in particular and pull up the super chat. Reverend. I know that Dietz showed how to look at just the super chat line on that live in particular. And just go so, yeah. see what it says on there then. And if you, you would easily be able to tell if that math, maths correctly on what you got paid so here's what you do you just come in pick a random video and do content okay tragedy pimps you click on it then you're going to come over to the left where it says analytics yeah and i would start on analytics and then go up well to go into five. the individual video first and okay. then go over to revenue and then it'll tell you on this video, I made 1645 in super chats, 1792 in AdSense, and $2.80 in memberships. Then it, it breaks it down even further, but. Excuse me, Miss Deets. Yeah. Happy birthday. I'm sorry. Oh, thank you. My, uh, okay. my, nephew, my nephew made state basketball, and I got to leave here in 40 minutes, and I got well, a four and a half hour drive. Have. Thank you. Um, but I wanted to make sure you guys got to the bottom of it. Thank you. I think we're, I think we're getting there. I think yeah. we're getting there. Yeah, well, I'm glad I was able to get you. you at least you could look up J-Rods. So. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you for pointing us in that direction. And no I problem. Just, 
Goodbye, Cat, like and, and happy birthday to you. <laughs> okay, so for Super Chats, it says 182.03. And for Super Stickers, it says $58 even. So let me get my calculator. It says what? 182.03? 182.03. Hang on, I gotta grab it. I need math and at four. Okay. Okay, can you take a screenshot of that and send it to Dietz? And make sure it has the live on it, like the which live it is? Yeah, see like this, it'll show everything. What why why are you guys I might send it to Deets if it's not going to be displayed on a, a live, but I've gone above and beyond here. That's fine. You can send it to Deets. I, yeah, I trust I that Deets is going to put. It's going to tell us what it actually says. Just somebody. All you need right now is somebody to verify what you're saying. I because already, right, I showed it on the thing. You didn't. You showed a graph, which is the whole issue. This was the whole issue. That's why everybody's questioning. Oh, okay. you're showing, like, you showed a graph and that doesn't tell us it doesn't tell like us the information. Here's the yeah, thing. I don't care good. how much money you sent Kara. I don't I wouldn't have sent Kara any money, but that's me. So this isn't about that for me. This is literally about just getting to the bottom of the facts and the truth behind what is really going on. Send it to Deets. Deets will come on here and she'll say that is the correct live. This is how much money there is. And I'll go to bed. Well, this <laughs> one <laughs> Let me see here. I think we all will at that point. Yeah, I think that the, and, th and here's the thing, you don't want to show it, that's totally on you. That's yeah. completely on you, but then you can't get mad if everybody in the chat is questioning your integrity and whether you're telling the truth. Do you guys not remember when certain somebody said they didn't even get paid at all for one month and then they went and showed a very sketchy little shorts that they did? That didn't prove anything. Most of it was redacted except a number zero. Yeah, but we're telling you right and, now literally yeah, what you need no to show <laughs> to make it so that we don't question that. I know exactly what you're talking about. But I, I irrelevant because I'm not contributing to that either. So I, like I said, I just you, you can take a screenshot of it, make sure it has that live in it, send it to Deets. Deets will tell us and case closed. This is how much it was. This is how much you were supposed to send her. This is what you sent her. You already showed her those. We know you sent her $205. Let's just see if it matches. And then we can all move all right. on. All right. And then you can go and make a live and say, look it, I didn't lie. I was correct. I told the truth. This is exactly what I did. This is exactly what I said I was doing. And none of this matters. Okay, hold on. I'm going to send the screenshot. I just, I don't want this one displayed. Okay, dude? Or anything except what's relevant on it. I'll delete it right after you, right after I see it. Take a look at something. I'm Jackson, you're <laughs> I am eating birthday cake granola, if that counts as anything. Okay. Have y'all had this stuff? It's the bomb.com. Yeah, I feel like it's like time for breakfast. I know. That's why Let's I go out to breakfast eats for granola. your birthday. Yeah. Screenshots. <laughs> so Deets, what's on the what's on the agenda for the day? Nothing today. We're going out this weekend to celebrate. Hubby's working. So his birthday was actually last or on Saturday, the previous Saturday. So um, we went out with Marshall on Sunday and then we're going to spend the weekend away from home, away from the city. From YouTube? <laughs> away from, oh, for sure. Away from YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll be good. Just a quick little getaway somewhere warm and tropical. Okay, so you can see Super Chats, 182.03, Super Stickers, 58. Okay, let me Okay, this is her live. Wow. Yeah. Melissa Jade, I want to start singing like reverse, reverse. Man, you had a 
Sorry. Yeah, that's impressive. Okay. Yeah. So it does show Super Chats 182.03 and Super Stickers. Sorry, my thing is in the way. Um, 58. And it and you see the picture of it being on that live. It's on that live, a very special live with Xana's mom, Tara Kernogle. On October 25th. Mm -hmm. The screenshot that I sent you before was on that top one up there in the left where you see it says um, content. That's that page that I screenshot you before. This one is the one that you said to go to revenue source. Yeah, this has, um, yeah, October 25th, uh, 2023 through March 5th, 2024. That's the whole time frame. So 240, what is 70% of 240? It's everything she's made on the, um, it, it's not, it wouldn't be, it's, it's already marked at 70%. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they did that. Okay, so 240. Yeah. And that was, I think this is because some of them went away. You know, at the time I had come up with 280. I don't know how, maybe I did my math wrong. Well, but did, I you came up, but you came up with 354, correct? That, well, that was what's on that graph. Oh, that's what's on the graph. Got you. Yeah. You go to content and you put your little cursor over the dot on there. That's where it shows, you know, the, the amount. Where? If you go to this? Yeah, see where you, yeah, see right there? Yeah. So the little points. I had a spike, you know, because it was just the one live, right? Yeah, first, you have yeah. more continual, you know, revenue daily kind oh, of thing. Oh, yeah, because it's mainly. Um, yeah, you see, I didn't make nothing on it after that. It was just the live. That's not the only time that I've got any revenue on that live. Just that one day. Yeah, and then it does go straight back down. Yeah. Okay, so did you at one point during this live, and I may have missed it because it's been a lot, uh, beats one, I don't know how you do this, man. Like this is, I, you are just so calm and cool and collected the entire time. This is, it's crazy to me how you pull this kind of stuff off. But to, like, did you say at one point that there was no revenue, that the live made no money? Yeah, I she said, said, yeah, here, I can pull it up. She did say that. Sorry, I guess I should let you answer, not answer for you. My bad, go ahead. I said that YouTube had reversed all of the cash apps or that not, see, I did it again, the donations. I know what you mean. You're saying and cash I think apps, I said but it's the super chats. I, I, got I didn't you. know what they, yeah, I didn't know what they had done. You know, I didn't understand it. I just knew that that amount right there that I think it says, 348 something was reversed on the eighth. And but my pay for that period did not um process until the eleventh. And I kind of like I don't even know. I have to look back at my AdSense. Yeah, that's well, my AdSense will have I wish the AdSense would, um, like, um, it's not real clear on AdSense. It's, you know, for the whole month. Um, so, let me see. It doesn't, like, sit down. tell you for each date, you know what I mean? It's just for the whole month. Everything that you made until a certain date of each month. And mine usually processes about the 11th or 12th. And then I usually get it between the 21st and the 25th. See, that's one the time I got it on the 26th. I always suck at getting into it. Like, I always forget how to get into AdSense. So, give me one second. Okay, I think it's in here. Watch page. 359 was what it was originally saying. That I was making on the live, and then they took back 348. And I don't know why. I didn't get very much at all on that live. Let's 
Tara, your math is way off. Way off. That's not, I wish. <laughs> That's not correct at all. They never made no 400 and something dollars on this live. Not what I actually got. So in AdSense, it will show you another graph and it shows you exactly Let me go to mine. what they sent you on each. Wait, hang on. That is for. Sorry, hang on. I'm trying to. Gosh, I've never paid this much attention. I come in, screenshot the memberships, pay that out. Like I don't even trying to figure out here. So this will tell you what they sent you for that month. But I don't know. I don't think it. I don't know if it breaks it down further or if it does, it's somewhere I'm not seeing. Oh, here we could pick just super chats. Well, that's not right. So I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what was what would have been reversed. Yeah, that's I, I don't freaking know. I assumed, like I said, I just assumed that it, it, it. I don't know what they took back. That's just the amount that they took back. I don't know. When I had when I had added everything up, I, I believe I had come to 280 for 70 percent of whatever the total is, and I have it written down somewhere, but. Since then, you, you know, I just don't have it handy. But I have, like, you know, a whole list with all the math. Let me go look at my messages with Kara because I think I have it in there. But, I mean, Deets, I can even show you a screenshot, if you want, of exactly what I got for the whole month of October. Well, you're not proving yourself to me. I don't want you to think like that. Like I said, I, I have no job in this I didn't make any ever. So it's at cool. all people coming at you you're that's who you're yeah. proving it to i didn't um, make anything so so she's this is the am i sharing this screen yeah okay so here she's sharing this graph that on october 27th i think this would have been an estimate obviously at the time of 359.49 but then on november 8th it shows a deduction of 348 and I don't understand that. Like I said, I have been demonetized for re reused content. And even like this isn't even something I recognize from that. So I don't know what it would be. Okay. So should I just don't pay enough attention to this. So, okay. Creators and chat, you guys help out here. When they take your money from YouTube and they put it in your AdSense account, does it show a negative? You know what, and you guys no. know what I'm talking about because around what, the 11th, 12th yeah. of the month, they remove your funds and they put it into AdSense. Yeah, no, they it just doesn't process over at all. You know, it doesn't process into AdSense. At um, all. hang on. Ask that question one more time. Sorry, go ahead. So, YouTube takes your funds, right? They're holding your funds. They take your funds and they put it in your AdSense account approximately the 11th 12th of the month that's why they say if you get demonetized after the 12th the money that's already in your adsense they can't take right does that make sense but mm -hmm. if you if it if you're demonetized like on the second of the month then they can take any of that you know what right. i'm saying right i was demonetized on the fifth of the month and so lost you got you didn't get paid at all no didn't get that at all all it shows in adsense um, the screenshot I had taken at the time came from the mobile app, so it would look a little bit different than if you're on a computer, but it just shows ending balance zero for the three months I was demonetized. So it just completely wipes it out, takes it down to zero. Right. But if you if you get demonetized after, and I don't remember the dates, 10, 11, 12, it's somewhere right there, which is why I'm wondering if this has anything to do with the eighth. Just like I said, trying to trying to figure it out. And I don't I don't pay enough attention to that. Mm -hmm. my own stuff to know the answer. Um, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to look in my own studio and see if I can tell. Criminality. That's what I wanted to know when 
when they process the funds, does it show them as a negative, then show up as a negative on this graph? What do you... I don't even know where the hell that graph is. The one that she, I don't know. Oh, this one here on the screen, I have no clue where this is, except for maybe because it was an estimate instead of like, let's see, let me go look at something current that hasn't processed yet. Because you were, were you looking at this like the next day, I'm guessing? So like if I go in my last live and look at the revenue there, I, I don't I don't have a graph that looks like that. That's where I'm I'm just trying to figure out where the hell that came from. Um if you in studio on a computer, yeah. um yep. is where I'm at a laptop. Okay. You go into the live and then click on analytics and then click on revenue. That's where I always go. Okay, so here's what mine looks like since my stuff's already out there everywhere. Here we go. This is the live, my last live that I did. Yeah, that's the, the graph. This is the graph? Uh -huh. this is, no, this is views. Well, I mean, go to, we'll go to revenue. I'm not. There's the estimated revenue. Do you have the, do you see if there it says overview, reach, engagements, audience, and then revenue? Yeah, that'll just. Okay, see. yeah, that's that right there is what I see on mine. That's why I sent you. Okay. Um, Yours just looks different a little bit because you have more continued, you know, like. Now, where did you, but what did you click on to get to a negative dollar amount? Like, where did you see any of that? It would show right there on the graph. Can you show that to her again? On this the graph is where, right? yeah, on, on mine, it looks, it's like this, right? But then it oh, just sure drops. The, yeah. The rod pick, well, I don't All right, let me go look at one that I got demonetized. So yeah, here, see, this is the, I don't know where you're, the one where you, sh you did show, oh okay. no, you sent that to me. Hang on, you sent that to me, right? Yeah. Yes, this, that one. Mm-hmm. So on my side, if I were to put my cursor on the top of that one that's close to 400, I can go back and tell you exactly what it says. I've been looking through my messages with Kara. Yeah, so, I, don't, I don't know what color everybody has. Um, it just depends on your computer. The current one you sent me has color. I mean, what colors and stuff people see is dependent on their computer. Okay, so content. Going back into it again. So I can tell you what those points said. I can do new screenshots if you want. But hold on. Let's see. Okay. So going into analytics. Here is a different one with like, I don't know. Oh, that's right. okay. See, oh, there it is, honey. I'm sorry. Do you see where it says see more? That's gonna what that takes me into is the more detailed ones, correct? That's where I took the screenshot because it had all the details and where you said to click on the revenue source and all that. That's this is where I got the screenshot. So on there, the top number says 361.62. So what it says today, 361.62. And then the one on the bottom says minus 347.97. That's what yours says today? Today. That's what, yeah. I guess they were still processing when I took those. 361 minus what? 361.62 is the top dot. And then what and I'm they... gonna I'm gonna take just a screenshot of that little area so you can see it. Okay. Oops, did it do it? Okay, and then the bottom one says 
Okay, let me make sure that one screenshot took right because it, I don't know if it did before I send it. All right, sending you these, hang on. All right, there you go. Those have the numbers. I'd never eat on a live, and here I am munching down. You went to breakfast without me? <laughs> well, you have to. I got some granola with that, Chitty. <laughs> oh, I'll share. Do you want this shared or no? Um, just take it, make sure it's okay. I think it should be okay. Let me look at, let me look at it. Mm -hmm. It's just a close up of the, um, the numbers. You can see what the dots. At the yeah, top, to make sure you wanted it. Um, yeah, that'd be fine. It's just the cursor where I put the cursor to show the numbers of the from mm -hmm. the first one that I sent you with my cursor on the top and then the bottom one, the minus. So do you, when did the negative go away then? That was just this the big screenshot didn't show anything because it's just the, just the revenue. Okay. And you took this the day after your live when you were going to be talking to Kara about it. These, I believe so. I'm still looking through my um, screenshots and my messages with her on Facebook to see. Well, there's this see. one. Number six. I'm almost up there to that area. And there's that one. Yeah. So I have no idea how YouTube adds up the stuff and what, what they do. I don't know. What was the date of the live? October 25th. I'm not going to lie. I can't believe there's 350 y'all in here watching this at 5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it is three, almost 3 a.m. here. I'm like, what the hell am I doing with my life right now? <laughs> It's it's hard to, you know, like just freaking prove shit, you know. I I mean when we scheduled the live, I wasn't even thinking about money. Okay, so isn't that them paying that see I don't know, I don't have anything. I went through several of my analytics that say negative 347. Do you T? I you don't, don't you have anything no. that says negative like that? No. No, that was this was before they processed. Well, it couldn't have been before they processed because the date on it is November eighth, and the live was October twenty fifth. Before they, you know, they process at the month for the month. They do it around. I always mine no, no, always saying, processed so, around the eleventh or twelfth. So was that three, the three forty seven ninety seven? I I I'm just trying to figure that out why didn't it's go negative. to my AdSense. I could show her. I can send Deets a screenshot of just my AdSense for what I got on November 21st or whatever it was. I can send that to her. But it doesn't, it won't break, no, that, that won't break down what you got paid for this like one. And this is the only one I think is a concern at this moment. Right. But that's, I mean, that I, I don't know, maybe November, other people have a different one. The November 21st payment was for this month. It would have gone from October like 13th to November 11th or 12th when they processed. 
and then you get paid on the 21st to the 26th. You get paid a month behind for the previous month. She didn't know that at the time. And so she was asking me for the money a couple of days later. And I was like, whoa, I'm not going to get that, you know, until November 21st-ish. And she was like, oh, crap, you know, I need, you know, to she needed to pay for her, her way there. Her friend was letting her stay there. So and then he ended up keeping most of it. Like this <laughs> is the where... screenshot you have on the screen right now. Oh yeah. It, the one that says it says negative 347.97. The yes. screenshot right before that mm -hmm. said this 361 one. something. Hang on, let me take the comment down. What's That's the date the on the other one. screenshot? So this one's October 27th, 2023. And that's the when they, they takes them a couple of days to process it. Mm -hmm. Like when you get um super super chats and super stickers, they don't show up on your, your revenue. No, I, yeah, I know that part for a couple just, of days. Right. I'm still just trying to figure out how those two numbers are different. One, yeah. and now like, I'm trying so figure I'm figuring trying to figure that out. And then yeah. I'm trying to figure out how there's a negative there and when does it come back to a positive i haven't made anything else on that live ever no like i like did did you get uh i hate asking you this personal like did you end up making anything at all that month hold they on just, i'll, just, I'll show you exactly what i made no hold you're just, i'm just trying to clarify you're saying that they just took for out, the whole month right for the whole month for the whole month no, I got a very small amount, and I'm going to send you the screenshot. For the live or the entire month, you were your money was taken away. Right. right. No, just not not even for like the whole month because I did get a small payout <coughs> for you. They didn't take away all of it, but for the entire month of of there, I'm going to show you. Is You sent okay. me. So I'm going to send you this screenshot to show you exactly what I made, Deets. And I mean, I would prefer really that you don't. Just tell them it wasn't a freaking huge amount. You know what I mean? Okay, November. This is what I got November 21st. Yeah, they didn't take away. And no, this was for the entire month, okay? So here it comes, just in it. Um, she said that they didn't take away all of it pertaining to the month. Because I asked. Take, yeah, they didn't like demonetize the whole channel why. or like all of it. I got my other revenue for the month. I did have other content. And I just sent Deet a screenshot for my AdSense. Okay, so it wouldn't be what I made for the whole month for my channel. It would not be in your November AdSense. It would be in your December because October. No, 28th, October, no, it was. Look, can I finish, please? October 28th is after the cutoff. So that's actually included in your November totals. So then you would receive that in December. Um. No, no, okay. November 21st is when I got paid for my October 27th live. It cuts off on the 11th of each month for what you just got paid, for what you just did. The check that you get, the check that I got on November 21st covered everything from October 12th to November 11th. That's the cutoff date each month. Then whatever you make in November, then you get from uh, from November 11th or 12th to the 11th or 12th of the next month. I'm not really sure what date they cut it off. Okay, let me look and add. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it's the 21st. Am I crazy? I get paid you the get, 21st. You get it. Yeah, you yeah. get it. I get them on different days. You get them anywhere from the 21st to the 26th. Okay, so when did they cut it so, off? So. Mine vary. 
It's usually the 21st, 22nd, 23rd. Well, the payout date wouldn't change. Like, I get the payout date might be, it, yeah, it goes from the 21st through the 24th, but, like, the cutoff date. is like the 11th. I don't know if they took all the revenue from that particular okay. live. I just know that what I got for the entire month was what I just sent to Dee. Oh, changes to payment info, including removing payment holds, must be completed then, on the 20th. Changes made after the 20th of any month won't take effect until the following payment cycle. What is the payment cycle? Let's see. Okay. AdSense payment cycle is monthly. As long as you've completed the steps to get paid, we'll issue a payment between the 21st and 26th of the month during this time. Um... Under dollars. And then I'll go ahead and show you as well my December, just to be sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like. It could, it, I mean, it, maybe it was December, because wait till you see this. <laughs> like, it might have been. I thought it was just, the, I don't know. I don't freaking know what the hell they did. But there's December. Take a look at that. One of the questions in here is, can you live off of AdSense? <laughs> oh, goodness. No, I said they, re I assumed that they reversed the um, the donations. I thought that maybe they reversed the donations because I wasn't getting money for myself, but for a third party and that people were pissed off, you know, about the live anyway. Maybe they reported it. Maybe it was some sort of violation. I didn't know what the hell happened. I just know that it happened. You know what I mean? So at this that point, that live is, that live has been demonetized, is what you're saying. So anybody who watches it at this point, there's no money coming in. I don't know if it's demonet. I don't know if you could go back and do like um, <coughs> a super thanks or anything like that on it. I don't know. No, I mean like you're not getting any ad revenue or anything like that. She it's hasn't, not making money anymore. She hasn't received any mm -hmm. more ad revenue based on that graph, but I think nope. she could still earn money on it because. Um, it has the estimated revenue, so I, that mean, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know. think You'd have so. to back live and see if you could do a thanks or something. Okay, so. Or wait, there's a spot where you can look and see if it's still earning. Let me look at the details. Content performance. So bottom line, at the end of all of this, you they did give you all the super chats. We now have totaled the super chats to being two hundred and forty dollars from the screenshot you sent Deets. You sent right. the screenshots of the cash apps that added up to two oh five. Right. So now we're talking about a thirty five dollar discrepancy. Should be pretty easy to rectify that. Right. And I stopped looking through my cash apps because I've been doing all this other stuff. Yeah, she made, I mean, uh, extremely I small make, amount in December. Squat. And, um, did I, did I, I don't know how did you make any kind it. of money to write home about whatsoever. In, in November, not, no, but I mean, it would be enough to cover those, to cover that. But yeah, no, literally it, that's it. Right, right. Yeah. I mean, just just freaking tell them. I don't give a shit now. Just tell them. Show it. Yeah. I don't care. So November was two eighty seventy six, and then December was like thirty some bucks. Uh, thirty eight ten. Yeah. So, was it December that I was paid for that live? No, if it was in October, you got paid in November for it. Okay. Well, That's what I thought. And then unless he, it wasn't he, demonetized, then you would keep making money every month on it. That's why yeah. one of the reasons I was asking. Yeah. So right. the I lump made sum anything on it at of all your super chats, you would have gotten paid for in November. Okay. And you this paid her the, the 205 So up right. until this live, did you not realize that you had gotten the money for the live? Or was that, where did that miscommunication come in? Because I thought at the beginning of this, you had said that you didn't make any money from the live. No, I don't. Or was that no money that in your pocket? That amount said was for my entire channel for the entire month. That's all I made. Not from the live. I didn't make 280 from the live. That was for my whole channel for the whole month. 
and I had lots of other content. I just don't make that much on YouTube. And that's yeah. Wait, and wait, 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 wait. You're telling me that in the month of November, your my, channel only made $280 the entire month? Correct. That's She can share the screenshot if she wants to. And I sent November, there's December what? as well. Yeah, that that's doesn't that doesn't even make sense. That that Does video has that video itself has like over thirty thousand views on it, and they you would have got the ad revenue up until it was demonetized. Mm -hmm. Plus until all the super chats, ending. which we now know is two hundred and forty. I don't have that much going. I don't hardly ever do lives. I just do videos. I don't get that many views. I'm a very small channel. I hardly ever do lives. Lives is where you know most of the the money and super chats and stuff like that comes from. Okay. But Prime, but Sleuthin, on that one you sent me that you don't want me to share, look at the, the watch page ads on it. That's confusing to me. Right. Well, I don't have, that's all I made for the whole month. Though. That's the check that I got. Okay. So that's, hang on. Going to, so I don't know what they took. The 340 mm -hmm. or whatever is on the screen. I don't know what they took that from. And did you show Deets what you made in, in December also? Yeah. Yeah, it was $38.10. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to go look real quick. That is all I made. No, her screenshots are not in the paint pro. Well, I, I'm not saying them in the paint program, no. When is this one from? Okay, this one's from November. Melissa Jade, I haven't lied about shit and I haven't been busted on shit. Just shut up. Well, I think her issue is that you said she was slandering exactly you about the money. I and have now we're been trying to figure out the money. Everything. Yeah, I have been showing exactly everything that I've been asked to show. Okay, so. I said I earn <clears throat> no donations. And she still got the 205. I thought it was more than that, a little bit more than that. Not much. You know, I thought I spent like 250 total. That's what I thought. But I need to go through the rest of my cash apps and check. But I'm not mad. So it looks like you did like anything. three three lives in September or September in October. And I don't know how many. Um, and also, you don't. Some other like it depends nope, on what? your um, your current like um, status on like how much you make per thousand your your views. Some months I'll make only like a dollar something per thousand, and some months some months it's like four dollars per thousand. It varies with everybody, and there's some people that get like fourteen dollars per thousand. If the more views that you're currently getting, the more you make on your ad, ad revenue, the more they pay per thousand views. It it fluctuates with everybody and every channel. Scara, your Hi. math is scary. I'm sorry. I, I, I deleted your comment, Melissa, and I meant to delete Sophie King. Sorry about that. It was just a delete of the comment. Um, here, I'll put up on screen what I accidentally deleted of Melissa's, which was better yet, I'll make my own video. I just want to delete cool. it to be like, hey, let's not get too crazy down there. That's pretty much what I make, TPE, if that. If even that, usually not even that. It's no big deal. Okay, so creators, creators that have had a video that. that has been demonetized, mm -hmm. do they take all of your ad revenue from before that? Do they take it away from you? I don't know about, well, hang on. I do have one that's been demonetized. Let me go look at it because of copyright music stuff. Let me go look at it real quick. You just don't like that I'm actually showing, Melissa, what I'm being asked to show. Even though I don't want to, I'm trying. I'm working with Deets here. 
Mm. So if you don't like it, why don't you just zip it? Because it doesn't matter. I'm showing they her never take your super chats. Them. I know that part, but um, and I don't think they will. They will stop your future ad revenue. But I'm trying to figure out if Blair they take any back ad revenue. revenue. Uh, Do they take any good. back ad revenue? Because I thought once the ads watched, I mean that's your that's your payment. Can they take your back ad revenue? I know if your whole channel's demonetized, they just take it all. Super. Yeah, no, all. not just the but, video. Yeah, I'm looking for just. I let me see. Hang on, I need to look and see which video that is. That... <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I said I assumed Melissa J. Clean your ears out. Um... <laughs> Sorry, I gotta look. Jason, I'm always demonetized. <laughs> okay. It's not what you know, it's who you know. Let me see. <clears throat> it's like blocked in three countries, too. It's weird. I don't know what. Oh, yeah. When I signed in, I got all big alert. Then I'm like, you're not getting anything here, 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 here. Yeah. And then, like, totally. Uh, it's ineligible. It's partially blocked. Maybe, maybe you so. did just monet, demonetize that whole line. Okay. Because so as you saw, I didn't make a penny after that date. And I would have made continued, you know, at least ad revenue, right? They because, would. Because if so, I, but it's just a flat line all the way across there. I made nothing after that. So on the one that I have that's partially blocked, it's ineligible for monetization, has copyright restrictions. I don't even know how this is possible because this has been on private on my channel and it says that has a, but it's just an estimated dollar 47, but it actually has not earned a, a dime since it was, uh, since it was demonetized. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. I got nothing. And it was passed on, well, Joanne. Oh, I got chat from it. Okay. I still think that the bottom line comes to that the video definitely made the money. It made the super chats. You got paid for the super chats. From the looks of it, it's 240 bucks. You didn't make any more ad revenue. Once it got demonetized, you sent her 205. The $100 from Jules was a gift from Jules. And the GoFundMe money was from the GoFundMe person. So that, that, that's all done. So I think that's where we're at with it. Yes. Each song exactly what I made for the whole month for my entire channel. That I just read it. them out. I think yeah, I that they them. they may have just just stopped or demonetized the video. I don't know. I had never had that happen before. I never had anything reversed before. I didn't know. I'm still not sure, but I I don't know if they if they did just reverse the donations. But it was most of the money that I'd made, as you can see. It was almost all of it. So maybe they left. The, a little bit. Maybe they left. I don't know. But like for the whole month, the what was it, two forty for the whole month, or two sixty? No, the whole month was two eighty. Two eighty. Right, but two forty of that is from the super chats and super stickers, which is what you were giving to Kara. Was just the super chats, correct? Did you say any revenue made from this is going to her? I, I don't know because all I made for the entire month for my whole channel was two eighty. That is what ad what I got from AdSense. For got the it. Entire month. Yeah. It is um, so it. somebody's bringing up the Jules thing. No, so the screenshots from Crime Sleuthin's Cash App that she sent to Deets from her own Cash App adds up to two hundred and five dollars. Here, I'll show them. Not the not counting the jewels money and not counting the GoFundMe money. Correct, Deets? Correct. Two oh five. Let me stop sharing this. So Correct. there's this one for a hundred. This is hers, not jewels. There's an eighty dollar one and a twenty five dollar one for two oh five. So there's a hundred dollar one, yep, an eighty dollar right. one, and a twenty five dollar one. Correct. There was also the twenty. Three something. Nope, that's the GoFundMe yeah. money. That yeah. wasn't We're that wasn't part of this. Right, yeah. I'm just saying. That, yeah. yeah. See, I just want to hop up because you're getting mad at me because it was exposed what you did. I what, didn't do anything, uh, Melissa J. Melissa J. I didn't do anything wrong. Let me speak and I'll get down. Good. You said from days after that live all the way to today, you didn't earn 
a red penny, not a single cent. You said all super chat was reversed. Poof. It was. That's what I'm away. fucking right? assuming right? because you I don't know where the money went. I don't know finish. what it took from. Let me finish. You would know, even if you did assume that you would know the moment that the paycheck hit on the 21st and there's hundreds of extra dollars. Oh shit. Especially if you're making the amount that, that you're saying. Sure, you're making, right? out of what I made you the whole know. month for my you entire would, I don't care. I care about that one life. I don't care if you made 10. Well, million. obviously I didn't make that. jack squat because I'm I not, got 280 I, for the entire month on my speaking, channel. How much did you make for that one life? I don't think I made any. You made nothing, so you're telling me all of that extra came in from. I don't know. Three other all lives I know have? is what I got paid from YouTube. I don't know how this shit works. No, you I've know. never gotten she anything you reversed. Her YouTube. It showed yeah. the last screenshots that I just showed with the the dollar amounts on them. Look at that. Which if one? She wants to show them again with the numbers on them. This one. Showing the three sixty one sixty two. That's how much that, and that's a current screenshot, right? That Correct. is how. Much that and then was. then the next one. Three forty-seven ninety-seven was deducted. So you do the math. When I make no, ten dollars, no, no. you I make ten dollars. Whoopie do. Ten dollars. Do the math. Where I don't. You, you do the math. I'm not from? doing it for you. Three sixty-two you minus three forty-seven is what? That's how you're doing it. That's how much I made on the live. I didn't make any other revenue off that period from that saying, nothing. Over three hundred dollars is missing. You never That's got paid for that. It is deducted. Three forty-seven ninety-seven was deducted from that live. From Super that particular live. First. I don't fucking know. That's what you're saying. If all that money is gone, super chats were it probably said. I don't, I think that was more. The three forty-seven would have been around not much more. It was a little more than what the like the total of the donations. Take two hundred and eighty. And add 30%. That's exactly how much I had added up in all the entire, like a mm. couple of days later, I watched the live again and I wrote down everything, added them up. 280 was 70% of that total. Um, okay. I, just, I don't want to put you on, on blast or anything, but because of that one screenshot that you don't want shared, you just said that like, that's all I made on that video. When in that screenshot, you and I both know that's not exactly true. But I didn't get that. You see, I just sent you exactly what I received. Right. Right. I didn't get that though. Yeah. That's what I did. That's what was processing yeah. or what I should have made. I don't know, but that's not what I got. 28076 is what I got on November 21st. And then on December 21st, I got $38.10. So, okay, okay. Go back to the 280. So I don't I don't care if if there's even half of it missing. Was that from the Carol Live? It's for the entire month on my is channel. That, what is for everything? Carol, it's all what is, everything. What is, Videos, what is, lives, whatever. What is specifically from the Carol Live? How much of that is from the Carol Live? Uh, uh, how much of what? I don't know. Oh, you know, yeah. 361, oh. Yeah, 361, 62 minus the next one of 347.97. You're saying the, the other 200 and something came from, did you just say you only did like two other lives in uh, that whole month? You're saying the, the rest of the revenue came from those other lives? Correct. You could simply prove this. You know that, right? Um, I have proven plenty. No, you way haven't. Plenty. What you've proven is that you went around. Show the, you go said, ahead and show my you November and December screenshots. You um, went around revenue and from Amazon. Not a cent. And then you even asked subscribers to help send money. Right There's there. 28076 is what I made right there. And you're saying that's not from the Carol Live. You're saying $10 is from the Carol Live? It would have had to be because they took most of it. The rest of it was from other yeah. stuff. From other stuff? Yeah, just from other content. Some other content? Yes. So, so this is a and normal $38 month. $38 is all I so got. That's a December. normal month, $38. But we're supposed to believe the 200 and something dollars isn't from the Carol Live. This is I did another month. live. I did another live with her, but I don't think I did any donations during that live at all. 
I don't Wouldn't think we've got any cash apps. Be able to show, pull it up, and show how much ad revenue, uh, how much revenue you pulled in for those other two. You lives. can see two exactly lives. what revenue I got. It was right there on your screen. No, like see, it listen, or I'm, not. I'm here, that is what I made right for the whole if, month. If you were telling the truth. And you were getting. I am money. telling the truth. Let I've shown finish. all the receipts. If you were no, you haven't. You've cherry You're not going to challenge me any further than that. Just, shut up. We're creators up here. We're creators up here. We know exactly how to navigate YouTube Studio. We know exactly how easy it is. I think you need to own that you lied. You did get revenue from this, so I don't want to ever hear you say again one that I slandered you. I and made two hundred and eighty dollars for the entire month. I don't. Are care you blind? If you made ten dollars on that live. You said you didn't get a cent. I don't freaking know. You know. I said I didn't get any donations. No, that was no, obviously all, all reversed. All super chats. All super chats were reversed. We always get a few bucks for ad revenue. Yeah, a little. Duh, I bucks. told her on the live, and everybody knows, and I've said it 500 times, all donations would go straight to Kara. I never said anything about any ad revenue. Well, I'm not talking about ad revenue. I didn't make shit on that. I'm talking I might have made ten dollars max. Chats. The super chats people sent specifically for Kara because you told them all revenue was going to Kara. I told them all donations were going to Kara. Okay, all so super you, chats. Would you like me to go ahead and add another ten dollars? Because I'll do that no, for you, honey. I, no, I don't give a it shit. It appears that if, according to what Deets got, and I don't have it in front of me, but you you pulled in over two hundred dollars. Pull in over two hundred dollars on that live. This one, you're not the entire month. You're because you're not showing specifically that this came from another live girl. You have three. I just for the showed whole month. the revenue, the total, and what was deducted. So, I, I mean, I, I don't have any crayons, but you're just gonna have to go work it out. No, you're literally avoiding it. And you know, if no, I've right, shown my screenshot. No, no, you, if you I can't you're, under, look at this cropped. Okay, first of all, I you can't understand it for you. Do you see? Uh, do you see how cropped this is right now? You sh you saw how I'm not really showing my us. entire freaking ads no, page. No, no, you don't have to. The one fucking video. Deets pulled us into her YouTube studio. She didn't have to do that. She made herself vulnerable, pulled us behind just to show you how easy it was. It's so easy. The fact that you were going <sighs> out of this way, you are cropping, only showing little numbers, refusing. You got money. I don't care maybe if it wasn't the full amount. You got I sent money. Deets you one lied. Full page. I and you I lied. she's not and everybody that one. here. That's everybody here because I didn't get that. Everybody here witnessed it. So don't ever say I yeah, said it. Yeah, but it doesn't make to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I I'm sorry, the whole you were page showing no. everything. Melissa, I'm hello. sorry you exposed yourself. No, I didn't. I, I sent it say. to her. She didn't pull it up on the screen, but she saw it. God. Because I didn't receive that. I'm still trying to figure it out, though, because, I mean, you got to admit it's confusing. If you figure it out, please let me know, because no, I really don't know. There's no drop on it like the other one. And I mean, of course, I, there's no, I mean, you, you do show this, which is that it's not near as what is on there. But I don't, I right. don't know. It doesn't make sense to me based on, you know, just looking at my own stuff. Yeah, that's why I sent you the Where other screenshot showing the, the total and then what was deducted off of the big graph. You know, I zoomed in for you on the numbers with the mouse. Mm -hmm. That's literally all I made on the live. And then they took most of it back. It's no big deal. She's, think, I still yeah. paid her. And see, that's the whole point. When I told her what had happened, she's like, okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We can do something else. That was when we originally started talking about doing a GoFundMe instead of worrying about the live and the money and all that. She's like, well, can we just do a GoFundMe? And I'm like, sure, we can do that. Because she was saying she needed a car really bad. And I was like, okay, we can, you know, do you can read the GoFundMe page. What, you know, she wrote, she wrote that. I'm like, I'm not speaking for you. If I'm going to do this, you have to send me what you want on the GoFundMe. And I waited for her to do that. She finally sent it to me. I made the GoFundMe. That was going to be a replacement for the live. And we were hoping to make enough to get her a car. But we really never really went anywhere. Because afterward, I was talking with other people. And they were like, you know what? Eh, might not want to do that. You know? Somebody put it somewhere. And she got that one twenty-five dollar donation, and I sent it to her the same day. Cashed it out, sent it straight to her. 
but I never did anything else with it. And then I got that little bit of YouTube money and I sent her that, I think it was 80 and 25. Yeah. So BL asked a question again, like I said, I don't even know this whole situation. So I'm like the worst person. No, no, but she wanted to know that. There were, okay. No, nope. No cash apps, no PayPal's. In fact, we did, <laughs> that was another thing. Um, several days later, she came back after when was, hang on. Let me see when the date was that she came back. She did a second one with me. No, and I, that one, she brought a cash app with her and people were starting to send her cash apps and then she couldn't get into it. Let me see when that one was. And I put in a request at my bank to reverse it. November 4th. Know, we'll see if in a few days, if it actually, if it reverses it or not, but I was unable to reverse the one I tested last night. Yeah. So yeah. I had sent her a cash app donation just separate on the November 4th one, just a small amount. And then other people, but then it was, they were getting rejected because that wasn't a good um, cash app. You can go on my live and try to send a cash app. The one from November 4th, you can see it. It's on the screen and everything. But if you try to send money to that cash app, it's no good. It didn't work. So she didn't get any of that. So let me clear this up real quick since there are people coming in later. The Wait, well, before you start clearing up anything, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna hop down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going to bed. I'll yeah, have to I catch the the next time. few hours tomorrow. <laughs> now all Good the dogs are woke you. up and everything's crazy here. I know. Good talking to you. Thank you, T. I'll talk to you guys later. Deets, go enjoy your birthday. I <laughs> hope you. that this gets resolved somehow. Yeah. Me too. Thank you. Bye. Bye, love. So I guess we'll just recap this here real quick and then call it a uh, morning instead. That's of not day. accurate. Whatever was just on the screen. <laughs> um, so here, no, no, that's what I'm going to correct. That's what I was saying. Hang on. I got to find the screenshots on J rods real quick to correct that. Cause it's got, uh, got the one from jewels on there. Correct. BL. No cash apps, no PayPal, nothing. Just the um, super yep. chats and super stickers. We didn't put up any cash apps. And I didn't Ooh. receive any um, cash apps or anything myself. She okay. didn't. I didn't. Nobody did. To the best of my understanding, this black one here is Jules' cash app that she sent. Um, Dahlia, there's something wrong with you. That she sent to uh, Crime Sleuthin for this whole situation for Kara. The hundred dollars here. That is Jules. Um, here, Crime Sleuthin shows her hundred dollar cash app, and that is the ones that she sent us tonight. So, the black, the night colored hundred dollar cash app was Jules. This hundred dollar one is hers as Sleuthins, which is also here. That's the exact same cash app. So the if are, I didn't fake anything, the times, the times are different because of the time change. The first one that's taken in the background that says 831 was taken back in October and there was a time change since then. So that's why you're now seeing the 731. Would you so, like me to turn on my camera and show my cash app live for no, you on my camera? That. There's oh, they're, they're saying that I like, faked it and whatever. I didn't fake anything. Those are the exact amounts that I sent. There's 80 and there's a 25. So there, there's the her cash ups. So I I got nothing else. Um, Matthew was her friend that she was staying with. She needed it for her rent there. She was staying with um, a friend and his wife. And he kept one of them. I don't know if it was mine or Jules, but he didn't tell her about one of these $100 cash apps that she got. And on one of them, she only got $30 of it. He kept 70 for the rent. And I guess he kept the other hundred. So she didn't. One more time before hopping off here, just so that they're on here. Cause I plan on deleting them out of my stream yard after this is the, um, this is the first one that Sleuth and sent. It shows a big spike there and then a big drop um 
this is the here let me take this down off the stage this is the gofundme amount that was sent complete it wasn't sleuthin's money so it's completely separate but it was a 25 five dollar gofundme she forwarded it on to kara this seems really accurate as to what you would have they they keep if i remember correctly they keep 50 cents and then three percent so that sounds right and then these are sleuthin's cash apps that she sent to kara this is the screenshot she sent me of her message with jewels that i redacted but it shows the hundred dollar cash app that she sent to or showed jewels that she was sending to kara uh, Sleuthin sent this. It shows you the live and that she was supposed to make 361 62 on it. And then she says this is where they took out on November 8th. They deducted 347 97 Brianna, uh, no times wouldn't change on the receipts. The time on that cash app changed one hour because of daylight savings time. And here is her AdSense. November 1st through the 30th, she made two eighty seventy six, and December 1st through the 31st, thirty eight ten. Um, I'm always good. If I make like that's you know, anything over 50 or $60, I'm good because that pays for, you know, my StreamYard premium, my YouTube premium, my Screencastify, my Canva, you know, just pays for everything. And that's all I care about is just covering that, you know? So... I don't know what all, I don't even want to know what all that totals up to. It's, it's more than 50, <laughs> but, um, yeah. I mean, it does, it does take a decent amount to run even, even a small channel. It absolutely does. So yeah. And we it, don't, we don't make anything and I'm not here to make money. If I wanted to make money and like blow up on my channel, there's mm -hmm. been several opportunities where I could have done that. And I, I don't do that because I don't put out, you know, I don't do a bunch of lives. I don't, go live with every new thing on cases and, and talk for hours. And that's great for some people, but I just can't with my life do that. You know, I just do mainly videos and I'm trying to start to do more lives, but I'm just not a lives type of person. So it was October 28th. So. Um, and Melissa, no worries at all. It was, it was a great life. It was a great life. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Um, the trolls are out trolling in the Idaho four case. That's what we learned in the beginning version. Yeah. And I don't get into all that conspiracy sh crap. I just don't. So, so I don't make much and it's okay. I'm cool with it. I've grown really slowly and I haven't done anything. I didn't do anything nefarious. I didn't scam anybody. If I'm short 20 bucks or whatever on her, you saw what I put in the back chat, you know, so that'll be handled. But um, no, I'm going to put this back here in the back chat. Maybe I can do this. So I think, so the reason that it changes is because she took the first screenshot. Let me pull this up on the phone, then y'all. I really got to go to bed. Uh, let me see here. She took yeah, the first that. screenshot that is shown on J-Rod's here is the day that she sent it october 28th 2023 this screenshot here she took it this morning at 3 30 a.m her time so that's why because it's after november 5th is why the time went back an hour and it's you know exactly an hour and everything that's the way i understand it and i could even send you the you know, the bottom part where it says show the web receipt, you know, there's that yeah. screenshot too that, you know, yeah, I think that shows good. all of that, the full details. And I wouldn't want that put out public. Okay. But, yeah. All righty. Well, I... that wasn't a dig shell. I'm saying I don't go into the, you know, oh, God, there was tunnels and it was a cartel and all that. I don't do any of that stuff. I just do. Oh, thank you. You did boring stuff. So. You did not have to do that, but thank you, thank you. Um, any anything else? Within anything else? Anybody else want to come up and throw something at me? I don't care. We now or forever hold your peace, or at least on this. Yes. Show. 
I haven't kept anybody's prizes. I haven't kept anybody's money. None of that happened. That in that same live that you pulled up at the day runs, we also addressed all that too. And that was all resolved. It was all explained. Here, let me drop the link to so, that if anybody wants to go watch it on their own. How 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 the hell do I exploit the families, Melissa? That is just ridiculous. How in the world would I ever exploit a family? No, you're just pissed because I did contact the Gonzalez family and found out that the screen recording was fake, manipulated, put out on purpose to discredit people. See, and, and that I Brat herself had gotten fired for doing that. And I, I, I told you, and you don't want to believe it. That's fine. I don't care. Well, it, it, I find it very hard to believe. I, I get what you're saying, that you reached out to Steve, you spoke, or a family member. Sorry, you didn't say Steve specifically. You reached out to a family member. They showed you proof and told you it was fake and, and gave you all the proof of that. But then when others ask you, like, okay, what's that proof? You're like, well, I can't share it. And I just don't understand why if they are ready and willing to debunk it to you, why would they not want to debunk and, it to everyone? And I did send another message today, and I asked... I was like, can you give me something that I can put out public? Or mm -hmm. if you can't do that, could you put something on the um, family Facebook or maybe have your attorney put something out, something about it? I said, because this is really going around and people are really confused. So basically what I was told was the beginning and the end are the real parts and the rest was spliced in. It was all created. And yes, you can do it. You can make a fake Facebook profile looking like anybody else with the same picture and everything. Have your little conversation. Put your dates in. Put your narrative, whatever you want. And then screen record it. And splice in the beginning and the end. That is what happened. And I was shown the what I was shown was the beginning part. What was actually there and what was clearly not in the screen recording. So... But you he, said he shut her down did. really. What you, actually happened was he shut her down really quickly. The sentence, like I, I'm sorry. Like I know we're you're going fine. on like eleven. Hours I know you're people, you're tired. But, I'm issue, sorry. but the issue is like the interrupting <laughs> when someone's talking. It's like excessive, girl. So now I just completely lost my train of thought. Sorry. No, earlier you said that some of the messages were altered, not all of them, not the entire right. section of messages. Well, that Correct. would be extremely hard to do with the way that this flows. Almost impossible, one might say. I will, I'll talk to you privately. And if I get permission to put out what I was shown, then I will do that. I reached out because I wanted to cover the messages myself because there were some concerning, you know, things in there. I was like, what? But I didn't want to do that unless I at least tried to reach out. Even if I hadn't heard back, then I might have went ahead and, you know, covered it a little bit, you know. But I try to hard I try hard not to spread things if I don't know if they're real or not. So I always try to reach out to a source first. And they reached back out and told me what they told me. And it is true. It is fully true what they said. To me, whether the what they told me was true or not, I believe them. Can I make a recommendation? So. There are a lot of things that I've witnessed over the last 10 hours. You make a lot of definitive statements. And we have since learned out some of those definitive statements aren't quite as defined as what you have made them previously. So I don't know. I would just be a little more careful with that, saying that this is an absolute fact when you're not willing to show that it's an absolute fact. Um, because I think that's what gets you in a well, lot. What, what I'm saying is an act, absolute lots, fact lots. is that they did reach back out and tell me those things that I'm telling you. Oh, thank you, Vex, girl. Cool. You didn't have to do that. Thank you, love. So. All right. Well, thank you for coming up and showing that. I'm sorry. Let me get to the bottom. I don't think anybody else had any other issues to deal with right now, hopefully. Thank well, you. You girl. have a very happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you have a good morning. Get some sleep. You treat yourself with something really big. <laughs> you deserve it after all this. That's what I'm that was wild. That was a nap. You're, you're, I mean, you're always fair no matter what. I appreciate that. And I think everybody should appreciate, very much appreciate you for just being fair. There's not a lot of channels that 
will take the time to really look at things. And so I appreciate that. Whether anybody wants to believe me, I, I don't care. I don't care. I show what I can show and tell what I can tell. And it's all I can do. Okay. Well, so. have a good morning. All good right. Day. You too. Have a great birthday. Thank you. Good night. Bye, everybody. I don't know if we reached any resolutions. I feel like maybe a couple small ones, and that's a step in the right direction always. Um, again, that whole whole situation with the money and Kara and all that, I am completely in the dark on. So for those that were involved, all of that is here in this video. It's not going anywhere, whatever it means to you. Um, an understanding hopefully will happen. Um, I feel really bad for Claus and I know that like a lot of aggressive things were said on and underhanded things were said on both sides. So that was, that was a very tense situation and I really hope that there can be some resolution in the future right now. There is none and there's a lot of hurt, hurt feelings. I can tell that. So Oh, what did Kraken ask to say? Oh, oh, well, I hope not. Okay. Mm. You try to make Jared's victim into a bad person by showing her criminal record. What? The cousin or hero? I don't know, which I'm, I want to hear what TPE says before I click off here. Sorry. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the. Oh, thank you, Shell Wayland. I will. I'll have a great day. Cliff's Conspiracies. Episode one lost super chats and revenues. Okay. No, I can't get sucked back. I just got a CTP's answer. That that I do know the the Jared situation pretty well. She might have taken off already. All right, I'll reach out and find out what that was all about. Every creator needs to check this out. Cliff's Conspiracies episode one lost super chats and revenue. Wait, is that a new video that just came out not too long ago? Someone told me about that, I think. Mm -mm. That's like a month ago. Okay, I'll drop this in the chat for anybody wanting to check out what Fat Girl was talking about. Thank you, Fat Girl. Okay, TB, thank you. Try to sing over the line of our agent. Okay, oh, I appreciate that. Not the sun, my TV will sleep. Thank you. Claus <laughs> woke you up. I know. I was seriously, there was a couple times I was genuinely concerned she might have a heart attack. So I was worried about it. But I know. Yeah, it's been 10 hours. All right. I'm going to bed. Night, y'all. Love, love. <laughs>